Hey, you made it to the next part. Good job. Let's keep going. Listen, women be weaving. You're not me, I'm too busy longing for girls. Not if sweet Aphrodite has anything to say about it. I love it when people repost funny TikToks here. I'm never downloading that stupid fucking app. You are my little messenger pigeons. Men has no need for the nine to five work day. You know what man does need? Chickens, a food garden, ample time for hobbies slash creative endeavors, a picnic basket, and various jams. And two hats for weather. Did a hobbit write this? The hobbits had it right. The microbes inside me are pleased by my yogurt offering. I live another day. That's so creepy, but why are they so right? Knuckle tats that say firmware. Brother, you're overdue for an update, and I'm about to start installing. Today's aesthetic, gritting your teeth through Skyward Sword's janky swordplay because it's the only mainline Zelda title where Zelda and Link's relationship is explicitly romantic, and damn it, if you gotta bleed for it, you will! I just wanted to see them hug or kiss, goddammit! If we really boil down Journey to the West, isn't it really the meme reject humanity return to monkey? STOP BOOING, I'M RIGHT! Unintentional newt slander. Intentional newt slander? Wait, we're talking about actual newts, right? Unfortunately, no. SHIT! I can hear my brothers talking in the hall and one of them was like, No bro, trust me, I have the leg strength of a fucking orca whale. And the other was like, Whales don't have legs, idiot. They do have hip bones, though, because evolution decided at some point whale with legs would be a good idea. Oh, why the fuck? But it did. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my web series about a pansexual and an asexual who are roommates. Oh my god, they're tomatoes. No! I mean roommates! My fucking iPhone sliding keyboard hates me! Oh my god, they are tomatoes. Oh, I can already see where this is going. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my hidden veggie tales lore. I fucking knew it! An enemy is just a friend I haven't worn down. Are you saying that you're the main character of a kid's cartoon? I'm saying that I'm going to be friends with you is both a promise and a threat. Oh. Twilight, but instead of a dramatic reveal about how Edward's a vampire, Bella just shows up to class one day and slides a copy of Dracula across the table to see what happens. He autographs it and slides it back. How dare you hide this comedy gold in the tags? Does anyone else remember Tack and the Power of Juju? Remember how hard Nick tried to make it a thing? Like, Tack was put in everything, it was treated as a main Nick tune, but no one really got into it and he was just wiped off the face of the earth? Little did you know, he got rebranded. Think about it. Tack, a character we were trolled into thinking was a Nicktoons character. Now look at Neck, an actual troll. Tack, Neck, put it together, people. Donkey was right. Neck is truly a masterpiece. Okay, but whose idea was it to get Tom Hiddleston, a classics graduate, to get into character as Loki and stand on a go-kart in Pompeii yelling to all the inhabitants about their impending doom in Latin? Because honestly, that seems kind of like Christmas and a birthday combined level of treat for him. I'm feeling dangerously affectionate today. One might even say... Soft. Ah yes, soft. The Tumblr's version of thirsty, probably. I don't know. Sometimes ADHD is making schedules you know that you're not going to follow, but you're optimistic about trying anyway. Shut up, Danny! Am I going into this knowing I'm doomed to fail? Yes! Specific favorite dynamic is depressed person and the immoral but funny parasite monster slash alien they're host to. Ratatouille. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, yeah. So, you're telling me in the span of 24 hours, thousands of staff bots have taken over Tumblr less than a week after this website asked us to trust it with their money? Ooh. I hate when people say, why or why not? The reasoning for my thinking should not have to be explained to you, mortal! The inside of my mind shall remain a mystery! Andy put up a gif of the milk spilling, like, like Patrick, you know, the little one. You may be an open book, Spongebob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. 
Egg recipe. Difficulty, egg. Time, egg. Ingredients, egg, eight whole egg. Step one, put egg on plate. Step two, look at all those egg. Step three, congratulations. You made egg. Sometimes you can pick up a cat and hold it, and it may make noises at you. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. That is the 50-50 jaw of cat. A limerick. Doesn't look like a limerick to you? Try this. A dozen, a gross, and a score, plus three times the square root of four, divided by seven, plus five times eleven, is nine squared, but not a bit more. What the heck? Heck, 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 heck! Poetry is not meant to be used like this! Aliens has everything you need in a horror movie. Body horror, anti-capitalism, cocky butch with a big gun, cool robot dude, and plot-relevant forklift certification. And aliens. Oh, fuck, shit, I forgot it also has aliens. One time I fell asleep with a half-eaten bag of chips on my chest, and while I was napping, one of my cats jumped up on me and chewed up the bag and sent the chips flying everywhere. And a bit later, I woke up completely covered in shredded bag and chip pieces, and the last thing I remembered, I had started eating some tasty chips. So for a short while, I was convinced I had blacked out and got into some sort of uncontrollable chip frenzy. I mean, wouldn't you? Sounds about right. I know I just called you dude, but I'm trying to flirt with you, right? Andy? My dude? Dude? By the way, I'm pro-quitting. This is a quitting positive space. If you're doing something and you decide, I don't like this, or I don't want to do this, then you should quit. Quitting is awesome. Grinding only works in video games. I quit all the time. It's great. Embrace the power of, you know what, fuck this, and see how it can improve your life. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? As an archaeologist, I find this a very awkward question. Answer the question, grave robber. Ugh, of course you're a Leo. You know what? Y'all don't get to have stars anymore. I'm putting them up on the shelf until you can learn how to use them correctly and navigate back to Spain or some shit. Fuck you. Carpe diem, seize the day. Carpe noctum, seize the night. Carpe notum, seize the ass. Seriously, if you guys don't stop reblogging this, I'm going to carpe someone's neck and break it. Carpe column, seize the neck. <coughs> hey, is there anybody free tonight? I want to check out the bottom of the ocean, but not alone. You know, once you step into the ocean, you're no longer alone. And that's a threat. Uh, oh. Okay. The moon is proud of you. And so are the stars. And so is the sun. The aliens are watching you, a little confused about your life choices, but are proud of you too. <laughs> it's just basically cosmic wonders. Do you ever associate someone with their icon so much that you just assume that they're the same gender as their icon or something? And then they post a selfie and you're like, wait, you're not Thomas the Tank Engine! What are we? Writers! What are we gonna do? Right! When are we gonna do it? <laughs> Hey, congrats on the vaccine, dude. You're now a fully-fledged 5G wizard. And if you stand near me, you get free Wi-Fi and become gayer. You're welcome. Pro tip. Whenever you're feeling discouraged as a creator, think of the absolute worst popular media you've ever seen. Then remember that no matter how bad it was, it got popular. That's the worst art I've ever seen, but I have seen it, and I can do better. You know, I like this. This is good. Why do we only drink cow milk? What does whale milk taste like? I want some whale milk! Uh, are you okay? I would be if I had some whale milk. Unite- Official United States, there is a dark part of the internet you have just summoned with that statement. Put it back! If you identify with the Joker in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna need you to get in your clown car and drive the fuck away from me, please. What if I'm the Joker, but like 50s goofy Joker, where his plan involved tricking the mayor into thinking he's on a high classification in Europe so he could impersonate him and pass the silly laws in Gotham? Alright, you can stay. For now. <clears throat> Y'all did it, Phil did it. You all would've if I would've. Correct! It's almost a complete sentence of contractions! The South is out of control. Hey, what... What happened in 1915? We don't talk about 1915. Well, at least they eventually realized they should start filling the bottles with coke. <laughs> I, 
Ohio happened in 1915. <laughs> they got down with the victims. Yo, just discovered a neat trick. If you make brownies but don't cut them, you can eat the whole slab and say you only ate one brownie. Don't do not do this. Oh, God. I think it's very brave and sexy of me to still play Pokemon games in the exact same way I did when I was five years old. Ignoring all stat changing moves. This is an offensive move only household. If you effectively strategize using stat changes in battle, fuck you. The only stat we care about changing is changing the enemy's HP stat to zero. I love cats so much. I would literally die for any cat. Show me a cat right now. That's my favorite cat. How about this guy? That's him. That's my favorite guy. Wholehearted suggestions. Trying to have the same mindset as just cut your hair to grow back when making decisions. They're not all make or break. But if I don't order the correct sandwich at this coffee shop, my life will be destroyed! Well then buy every sandwich, just in case. Pakicho, as someone with an English degree, I just want to say you have a spectacular way with words, prose, and poetry. Thanks for existing, you're very cool. Doctors hate me. Scholars love me. What did you do to make the doctors hate you? I am a terrible patient. It's the furry salary post, isn't it? Maybe that too! You don't know me! My gender is the giant skull-shaped disco ball in the 2002 live-action Scooby-Doo movie. Ah, yes. The true cause of gender envy. Just imagine that sequence where that ball comes down and somebody in the background, probably me, is going, God, I wish that were me! Today I learned humans domesticated dogs before they developed written language. And now the hairy little bastards never will. The best gorilla joke of 1897. Gorilla. Did you hear about the gorilla who escaped from the zoo? The zookeeper. No, I did not. That is because I am a quiet gorilla. Muffled sounds of gorilla violence. Man, the people in 1897 were mentally in 2030. Don't worry. We'll get there. I'm so confused whenever I see ads because I feel like ads have no effect on me, and so it's just kind of funny that companies spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to advertise to no avail. Until I remember that my boyfriend will download 90% of the games that show up in ads on his phone. He will be playing a mobile game and get an ad and fucking click it and download it. Anything for the free crystals, man. Oh, shit, I forgot to scream at the end of this. Um, I'm going to need some motivation here. Andy, uh, help me stub my toe. All right, three, two, one. When I was in elementary school, I thought that the reason we were supposed to capitalize the first letter of people's names was a sign of respect. So I always refused to capitalize the name of my fourth grade teacher or George Bush because I did not respect them. Lowercase. Derogatory. Ugh, everybody wants an ADHD husband until we start doing house chores at 3 a.m. because we can't sleep. Oh, I want a golden retriever lesbian girl boyfriend until it's time to give us indoor enrichment. What is a lesbian girl boyfriend? An experience. Is it crazy how saying sentences backwards creates backward sentences saying how crazy it is? This, this needs a warning sign. Don't mess me up like this! Wait, is it actually genuinely a thing that Americans don't have kettles? Then how do you make tea? By throwing it in the harbor. Stop talking trash about Greek gods! Athena is wise, Hephaestus is productive, Dionysus is a pansexual icon, Demeter is generous, Zeus! Aphrodite is badass, and Hades is efficient! If you think evil thoughts and concentrate real hard, you can manifest them as purple orbs. You can throw them at enemies to inflict a poison damage over time effect. Tiny little grapes of despair. Probably a bad RPG idea. An axe that doesn't do damage, but makes enemies smell nice. How about a bow that only shoots when you're aiming if you're blackout drunk? Or a sword that does untyped area of effect damage with D12s? Many of them. Or how about a sword that is actually just a really big butter knife? I'm saving all these as ideas for cursed items. I love every one of them. I'm playing Oblivion and I stole a wheel of cheese from a store. And then like two hours later, I'm in an Oblivion gate, drowning in lava. 
and a guard swims up to me and is like, stop right there. My bounty is five gold and this dude is on fire trying to arrest a cheese thief. Employee of the month. Also because you're swimming in lava, you just ruined that cheese. Writing prompt. You walk in a room to find that the only way to escape is by writing a name of a real person on a piece of paper. This will kill that person. Wait, ma'am, 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 you only need to write one name. Too late, this is death note, the escape room now. Do bananas float? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, thank you. That is a really nice photograph of that floating banana. That, that should be up in a art gallery somewhere. Andy, put that up in an art gallery. Make it look nice. This makes me feel a little melancholy. The inevitability of time, don't you think? What do you see? Banana. Sharks every time there's a cataclysmic extinction event. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, good thing I'm so smooth. Sharks are so smooth, extinction events just slide right off them. Do you really think your spirit animal is a wolf? Come on now. We all know you're a worm. Or a pathetic lizard. Yours isn't a wolf either. <sighs> Look at me. Look at me! I'm a rat! Another writing prompt. You're happily going about when you vanish into a cloud of smoke. Suddenly you're standing in a ring of candles. A sorcerer holding a tome looks pleased at your arrival. Turns out Earth is hell and we're the demons. And you've just been summoned. <sighs> Bad choice, buddy. Superiority complex? <laughs> I find it quite simple, really. Is Achilles a twink? The greatest threat in the history of forums. Locked by a moderator after 12,239 pages of heated debate. God, I would have loved to have seen it. Fuck ship headcanons. What do you guys think about headcanon characters as exes? The only tags on this post. Squillian and Squidward. And they're probably right. Personally, I would love to introduce some medieval peasants to synth music. Not for sinister reasons. Just because I think they'd like it, actually. Well, synth music draws on the rich history of string music, so I think they'd play along at a fiddle. Which? What devil's music dost thou play? For it fucks verily. Oh shit, I did the accent again. Andy, Andy, please. Andy, I'm sorry. Please don't, don't blow me up. Please. What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Fuck! English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Fuck! Say fuck again! Say fuck again! I dare you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say fuck one more goddamn time! Oh, the miracle of science! If you have two hands, you can pet two cats at the same time. Science is beautiful, man. I don't understand why some people use fractions instead of decimals. It's pointless. But anyway, you gotta draw the line somewhere, or else people will think you're being irrational. But that is beside the point. <laughs> Jeff, shut up. Mobsters are part of a mob, and so you'd think lobsters would be part of a lob, but oh ho 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 Life just isn't so simple now, is it? Aren't we all just trying to be more Tisha Adams just a little bit? Excuse me, some of us are trying to be Gomez, actually. Honorable? Respectable. Where would we be without you? Does the average man get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is it does? The San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935. You know, sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. No. No, it hasn't. It's so annoying that you have to order the whole pizza when you just want a little green pepper from Papa John's. Grow up and ask them. I just got a box full of greasy little green peppers, and they said that people do that all the time. You're just scared. <laughs> Everyone's fucking mean on this site. Dear women, looking at pictures of capybaras on the internet won't solve your problems. You have to kill people. But what if I'm looking at cave bars that are trained assassins? I was just sitting here eating candy hearts and literally every single one of them has words on it only, but I just found this one with Arthur's face on it? How and why? Please explain. 
ho, ho, ho. Looks like someone forgot a very important part of the song. It's a simple message, and it comes straight from the hearts. <laughs> the reason I stay up late is because I don't want my free time to end and tomorrow to stop. I feel so called out, and yet so understood. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> bus drivers who reopen their doors when they see someone running towards the stop are neutral good. And any other kind of bus driver is automatically lawful evil. Chaotic evil is the bus driver who saw me running to the stop and waited until I was at the door to close it and drive away! Fuck that guy. What should I do of this empty stomach of mine? Fill it with rocks. Okay, does anyone that's normal have any suggestions? Chocolate milk! You ever been so stressed that you're calm? This is my constant state. My chill is fake! How are you so calm? I've passed beyond stress, beyond hysteria, into the gray, misty indifference of complete shutdown of all but emergency services in my brain. I have never felt such a mood in my life. Hey, Tumblr zoologist, does anyone know whether there's a plausible theory as to why, out of all the big cats, lions somewhere along the line decided, Oh, wouldn't it be cool in evolutionary terms if our tails had pom-poms on the end? What is it for, please? <clears throat> the old razzle-dazzle. The judges will accept that. Streaming music. Every song is on every platform. Streaming shows. Okay, so season one is on Netflix, season two is on Hulu, except for the season finale, which is only available on HBO Max in Japan. Uh, yeah! Hey, PM, do you know the Muffin Man? He yeah, stole his wallet on Drewy Lane. What did he do? Called Sienna Fat in a negative tone. Had to be done. So how much did the ass have on him? Was it good clean left? Come on, man, I need details. Let's just say his store is under new ownership. Look at me. I'm the Muffin Man now. No, 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 hold on. I can do that better. <clears throat> Look at me. Look at me. My Elder Scrolls Online Review. Two stars. I was playing ESO for the first time with my partners, and I didn't realize the menu won't pause the game. So in the midst of trying to message my friend Cyboogs, who was at a higher level than me, that I needed combat help. A skeleton creature started beating me with a club, and all I could send River was skeet and dead heavy top before dying on impact and leaving the game, to which River got my message at 3 or 4 a.m. and saw I was offline for two hours already. Be gaze and behold, this echidna in Australia has been seeking ants in Red Earth. Knuckles? Damn, Idris Alba's looking good. I just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. You sure? <laughs> Two cups vanilla extract. Jesus Christ! The human life is a strained, intense one. I envy the life of a smooth rock resting on the beach, warmed by the sun. Unaware of the trials and tribulations of sentient life. Do you need to talk? <sighs> I wish I was a croissant. So I got soft banned from a local coffee shop because one time an old woman saw me sitting by myself and reported to the manager, There's a Dracula sitting in the corner! Being asked to leave <laughs> a physical real life area and calling it a soft band is pretty good. Ooh, I'm so glad I don't have a tumbler. Wait. 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 How did... What? Is this... What? what? Arrow people are either the best at giving relationship advice because we see through societal bullshit, generally the solution is either talk to each other or break up, or we're the worst. There is no in-between. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> Lightning make a no! Good shit! What are they doing to you? <laughs> Kachinka! Kachinka! Fucking. Fucking. T Rex Lapis. <laughs> <laughs>
Yagley! Is this Ozymandias wine? <laughs> You've heard of Grand Theft Auto, now get ready for a steely wheely automobile. <laughs> Disregard the constabulary. <laughs> Delightful. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even know it's a tomato? I just realized that is in fact a pile of ketchup. Serbian cave hermit receives COVID vaccine and doesn't understand why others won't. A Serbian cave hermit has received the coronavirus vaccination and urges others to do the same. I find it funny that a dude living in a cave for 20 years decided to vaccinate as soon as he heard about the virus for the first time. You leave your cave and you hear that there's a global pandemic, but good news, there's a vaccine. But bad news, a lot of people won't get the vaccine out of jackassery. If it was me, I'd be like, shit like this is exactly why I'm a cave hermit. Google, why is your name Google? In 1997, what we now know as Google was called Backrub. They decided to change the name to Google. A Google is a very large number, 10 out of the... I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my Google Assistant turned on because I was doing this thing. <laughs> oh, fuck, fucking God. Okay, I don't even know if I can start this over. Anyway, for Google at a time was called Backrub. Backrub. Can you imagine if that was still in play? <laughs> like, you can download all of our latest apps at Backrub Play. Radiation is just little bugs in the air. Why are people afraid? It's just bugs. It's not real. <laughs> Idiot doesn't even know how radiation is angels and other celestial risen do. Bugs? Angels? Well, what's the difference? Well, damn, you got me there. Are you a philosopher? Boy, I'm dumb as shit. Boy, I'm dumb as shit is just rephrase Socrates as I know that I know nothing. So what's the truth? You know, there is literally no rule that says you have to get married and start a family. Normalize splitting a mansion with your five best friends and ten dogs. Oh my god. I want to do that. The year is 2025. Scientists are still scrambling to figure out what Ziggy Zig Ah is so that they can give the Spice Girls what they really, really want. The Spice Girls are getting impatient. War is a us. I literally cannot stop thinking about this official achievement art. Who did this? Why is Steve a cat boy? <laughs> well, I could I could probably tell you who did it, but uh, if I do that, Andy and I might have an argument on this edit. Uh, Andy, <laughs> put in. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying these words. I haven't said these words in a long time. Andy, <laughs> put in quiet chat. I know it's stupid. I know we haven't worked on it in a long time, but it's just slur slide in very slowly as I'm trying to explain to you why I think this is funny. Just, just do something. I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I feel something terrible has happened. And finally, nothing will fuck you up as much as the realization that there's no real reason the alphabet needs to be in order. What? What? What have you done? <clears throat> the ocean is a soup. Well, the ocean's murky and has a lot of fish in it, so by New England standards, technically, it's a chowder. If tweeting is the act of posting something on Twitter, can we call the act of posting something on Tumblr? Tumbling? <laughs> I have such great ideas. Love to be paid a leather pouch heavy with coin that makes a satisfying clink as the mysterious stranger sets it down meaningfully on the oaken table. As a Target cashier, you had a guest pay $53 all in quarters yesterday? No, you don't. You'd probably feel different, Peter, if that money was for you in the Target. Revenge of the Sith AU, where Anakin can't kill any younglings because they set up hundreds of space Home Alone style booby traps around the Jedi Temple. <laughs> he opens the door to a bucket full of sand and loads its contents all over his head. 
<laughs> you just hear him. <laughs> you just hear him go. Aah! Well, according to the article, over the three years of human bites documented, there were 6,339 bites. In those same three years, there were only 45 shark bites, meaning that you're actually 141 times more likely to be bitten by a New Yorker than a shark. Dag a New Yorker. And this was sent to me because I'm a New Yorker. And let me just say, I haven't bit anyone. Yet. <laughs> Dying your hair to look like a fictional character? God, you're pathetic. Hey! Fuck you, Sonic! So this true scum make a very angry post like, Oh, you can't trade and collect gender identities like Pokemon cards. And I think that's a quitter mindset. Anyone want to trade genders with me? Yeah, sure. Which ones do you have? All right. I have the rare Among Us gender. There's like only five in existence. Okay, I can give you my holographic B gender and my shitty dream gender. <gasps> OMG, deal. <sighs> A great day for the Tide Tide Spider community. Behold, a terracotta piggy bank made in East Java in the 15th century. Oh my god. Andy, show this to Amy. Just, just do it. We'll see what happens. You could just post a gif of her reaction if she doesn't want to do an audio thing. Memes. The DNA of the soul. Genes distributed socially. Everything is a meme. Blood. Booze. Treason. Death. All eternal in society, and as a result, memes. In conclusion, your honor, jury, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That, that, that was beautiful, me. What does an everything bagel even have? It just seems like a bold claim. Hey, 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 hey! Listen, everything bagel's got everything. It's got poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onions, salt, and... <laughs> oh god. I'm bisexual, which means I have both the limp wrist condition and the I'm gonna lift all these chairs by myself if it kills me syndrome. <laughs> this explains some things. Writing prompt. As an author, you're the ultimate god of your world. Your hero became powerful enough to step into reality. He then asks you to explain why an omnipotent being would permit so much evil in the world. Not realizing that you placed all the evil there to spice up the story. <clears throat> story Thieves. You're thinking of Story Thieves. It's an entire book series. Go read it. It's really good. Minecraft News. The new Blood Caverns biome has been toned down to include only 30% of the viscera. Sorry. Fucking robbery. I said sorry. What's a queen without her king? Well, historically... Better. Well, what's Juliet without her Romeo? I'm alive! Power move. Make a D&D &D character with the same name as your DM. But with cool in front of it. Yeah, this is my character, Cool Jose. He's like normal Jose, except he didn't fail his driving test three times. Three times, Jose. Three times. You know, if you put a dot on the Major League Baseball logo, it looks like a bird with arms. <laughs> Now this is the cuts that I drew this set for. <laughs> Every shonen character. I'm 11 and I don't care if I die! I mean, have you ever met an 11 year old? 11 year olds have the self-preservation of someone who has met God and wasn't impressed. I mean, look at Ash Ketchum. He's like 10 or 11 and he's seen like six gods. Tried to punch, I think, two of them. God, the new girl has so many more polygons than me. I'm pathetic. I'll never be as popular as her. And then her sister shows up one day with an even bigger polygon count. I mean some massive polygonal bahungus. Humongous polyhongo gogongolus. Ah, this is what the late 90s consoles wars were like. Listen, Neapolitan is the only good ice cream. My pal, those are three flavors on the same tub. Right, and Dan, I beg to differ. You take them, and you mix them up. You got the ultimate flavor. It's got the lightness of vanilla, the tanginess of strawberry, and the luxury of chocolate. How dare you say these words to me. <laughs> Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. You should totally get one. I'm just saying. Dude, dude, you have X's for eyes. Are, like, are you okay? Is anyone here a doctor? Uh, sometimes I just entertain myself by sitting down and making weird noises. And for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna do just that. Andy, you can put whatever you like for every noise that I make, or you can just leave it a blank, awkward pink screen. 
hey, it's your call. It's your call. I don't know how much you've already done, but here we go. Mm. Pasta. Mm hmm. Pasta. Pasta indeed. Pasta precisely. Love opening Tumblr and just saying things. If you don't understand my post, that's okay. Because I don't either. Probably bad RPG idea. The Jello Mold of Holding. Acts like a bag of holding, except anything take out of it is encased in jello. Roll for fruit flavoring. Wait, hold on. I like this. This is this is a good idea. How change your URL? Lesbians and bisexuals need to unionize and start biting people. Like vampires. Mysterious heartbeat detected coming from cosmic gas cloud. I mean sure. Whatever at this point. All hell the glow cloud. Wait, hold on. Wait. Ray? Ray, is that you? I love pinning Discord messages. It's like hanging them on the fridge. You go into someone's house and their fridge is covered in sticky notes that say shit like, I got glass bones and paper skin and every night I shatter my hog. Yeah. Why does anyone eat mint chocolate chip? Like you already brush your teeth two to three times a day. Why swallow toothpaste flavored ice cream? Bitches who say mint ice cream tastes like toothpaste must not brush their teeth because no the fuck it don't. Pitch. A Muppet movie where the Muppets play D&D. And it cuts between the Muppets around the table and the fantasy being acted out. But instead of just being the Muppets dressed up in D&D fantasy costumes, it's celebrity actors, but the Muppets do the voices. And the actors have to act how the Muppets would. Imagine a barbarian played by Jason Momoa, voiced by Miss Piggy. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned on celebrities doing voiceovers. Who's laughing now, Jason Momoa? The reason vampires go to hell and werewolves don't is that vampires just suck the juice out and waste the rest. If I saw somebody lick the sauce off some pasta and leave the bad noodles intact, I'd condemn them to eternal damnation too. I've been on this site for so long that this is actually this is making some sort of sense. Today I learned that until the mid 20th century, golf clubs were not numbered, but had wonderfully funny names. Brassies, Niblicks, Baffies, Mashies, Jiggers, Spoons, and Cliques. Hey guys, want to hear the seven news slurs for British people I just came up with? Andy, Andy. We can't allow this. Uh, destroy today, I learned that. They've had enough. Oh, jeez. No, actually, Dr. Pepper is the scientist. You're thinking of Monster Energy Drink. My mistake. I recently heard about this young adult novel in which Schrodinger's cat and Pavlov's dog team up for a cross-country adventure. So I headed down to the library to see if they had a copy for my ten-year-old daughter. The librarian said that my description rang a bell, but she wasn't sure if it was there or not. Jeff! I can change him into a llama. Might throw off his groove, though. These twenties really ain't roaring, man. Yeah. They're screaming. Writing prompt. After Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, he decided to make his own paradise. Both compete to have the best afterlife, and sadly you lived a sin-free life and got sent to heaven. God is throwing a very boring sin-free party. You spend your time trying to get kicked out so you can go to hell. I looked at the basketball in my hand, and then at God's halo. His back has turned. I had no regrets. In literal seconds, I was greeted by a crying, laughing on the floor, Lucifer. That sounds beautiful. Somebody draw this. Hey, I'm starting a union for smart Alex and wise guys. What are the do's and how do I sign up? You just gotta put your two cents in. Future gays are gonna be writing posts like, oh, to be a young touch stop gay from 2020, stuck in quarantine, unburdened by social interactions, 
but longing for the embrace of my love. Gays in 2021 will write like that. And <laughs> still are. You know, not all construction work is equally enjoyable. For example, enlarging a drilled hole is boring, but fastening pieces of metal together is riveting. This joke would get the exact same reaction in 1870 that it gets in 2021, and I love that about it. Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's good! I like that. I actually really didn't get it. They said it couldn't be done. Venipiogram. This is the most important visual pun to have ever been posted on the internet. What is happening? Pytosis is happening! Ugh, what is that obnoxious glowing orb in the sky? The sun. I'm gonna fight it. Hey, boy, are you from tennis shoes? Because you're the only tennis shoes. You get my drift? People who suppress their feelings are scary. I'd much rather associate with the person who will punch a trash can and break a window, but come back feeling sedated and hungry for chicken wings. Yeah. Yahoo answers, how do I resurrect someone back to life without making them zombies or vampires? Well, resurrection is basically impossible nowadays because the spirits need a reason to come back to the world. And have you seen the world lately? Did you know? By replacing your potato chips with grapefruit as a snack, you can lose up to 90% of what little joy you still have left in your life. Worst. Fruit. Why does it exist? I am the gender of being a funny little guy. Uh, he, 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 if you will. You're not even Jeff. Wait, Yahoo answers, how many humans in a trench coat are you? We're actually six trench coats and a human. It's very uncomfortable for all parties involved. What? Yes, I am both the friend who texts back immediately or leaves you on read because I'm reading fan fiction. Depends on the day. Deal with it. Being a vampire sounds cool at first, but you have to remember they can't have garlic. And what kind of sad fucking existence would that be? What is the point of eternal undeath without the spice of life? Just truly bonkers how much I love lying down. Like being horizontal? I'm parallel. Well, it's paralleled by both the floor and the ceiling, but I see where you're coming from. So, what's your stock portfolio like? Oh, well, I've got chicken, beef, vegetable, the classics mostly. Well, keep it up and before long you'll be a bullionaire. <laughs> I bake muffin. Muffin tasty. Well, flavor is muffin. It's muffin flavored. <laughs> My first joke I ever made was drawing a comic where two people were staring at a dress in the window of a store. One of them says, I would die for that dress. And the other says, I would kill for that dress. And then they look at each other awkwardly. This is when I was like six, and every day I wake up knowing I'll never be able to top this. My magnum opus. I love it when you're drinking citrus drinks and you can't feel your tongue and your entire face starts sweating. It's so cleansing. Um... My doctor said I'm allergic to citrus. Me as the sole survivor of the apocalypse, commenting last on every YouTube video. One day you'll get an alert that someone liked your comment. It was me, on a separate account. I got bored. At my funeral, the audience will watch my favorite comfort movie, and whoever checks their phone first gets disinherited. Actually, I like this. This is, this is good. This is a good idea. I'm gonna do this. Andy, make sure I do this when I die. Do just fine. You could do more, you know. Yes, I could have gone to Russia and wrestled a bear. Talking about things we could do, you could have fucked right off. When did everyone agree on calling Tumblr a hell site? Literally day one, my dude. Day one. Stick. Mmm. <gasps> a stick indeed. Ten year old me wants to pick it up and swing it around like a sword. That'd be great. If only I had a magical editor that could just let me use that for at least probably two seconds of me just bonking something with a stick. If only. I could fix him. Yeah, well, I could accept him as he is. You don't like the murder? Grow up. The atrocities are part of him, and I decided they're funny. Right before this video, I got an ad using PM's voice. And thus, my life as a voice actor and YouTube dude have finally collided. That said, though... Today's video is brought to you by...
Uh, apologies for the delay on this one. Someone has been very busy with other things. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been doing my usuals. You know, seeing friends, watching the humans. Breaking the YouTube by being you? Yes, breaking the YouTube. <laughs> no, shush! Question one. If you unraveled your hair bun, how long would your hair be? Mm, I don't really have an exact measurement, but I know it's very long. One time, Shiro pulled on my hair ribbon and the sheer magnitude of hair that hit him forced the poor man to poof back into his spirit form. <sighs> I thought it was pretty funny. Actually, that kind of answers the question too. If you got really hurt in your physical form, what would happen? Uh... I try my best to stay out of trouble, but if something does happen, much like Shiro, I revert back to my spirit form and rest up how I can. Usually it takes a day or two to recover. That said, if something happens to the moon itself, like if it got hit to the point of explosion, well, I would become one with the universe again. Spirits like me don't really die, we just get rare chances to live like humans do. By sheer damn anomaly, huh? Who knew? You did. What? Nothing! Question four. Isn't there multiple universes where you exist? <laughs> Doesn't that apply to everyone? <laughs> Got him. Question five. What is your relationship with the other spirits like Solaria, Ray, and Shiro? Solaria, despite being much older than me, sees me as a big sister. Mainly because when she first met me, I was taller and bigger than her, so she kind of latched on to the idea. Ray, I suppose one could call my mother, in a sense, if I am to believe her story of being the cosmos herself, but I am not entirely sure. Uh, as for Shiro, uh, um, well, he's sort of, you know. They holding hands. Hey, it's not what you think. Ch Chiro is, um, very special to me. And it's not my fault he is so kind and sweet. A little blunt, but also equally naive. And his eyes are so pretty and he becomes a big pretty dragon and I just want to write, wait! No, no, bad phrasing, bad! Question six. Any interesting quirks or powers you have? <sighs> uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> Powers. Um, so, um, sorry, just. <laughs> anyway, powers, yes. I can create shields and any sort of protective barriers out of my own spirit. I suppose it was given to me out of my purpose with the moon to keep the earth safe from space debris and the sorts. I also learned in spirit form my tears have rather profound properties where if they make contact with existing primitive life, like microscopic sea animals or flowers, there's a chance they can create new types of life! Isn't that cool? Hmm... I wonder if I have done it before. <coughs> hmm? What was that on the screen? Nothing, just a, just a glitch, it's fine. Hmm... Are you being the suspicious one? No. Don't lie to me. Really want to know? Yes. You sure? Yes! Tell me! All right. <clears throat> you ever notice how Grape and Asai are the only slimes on Earth who can form into elves or humans like you? What? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute! <laughs> I... Hey, lazy people. Why, we didn't even do anything. Ah, <laughs> form of laziness right here. Taking the Twitter post, putting it on Tumblr, and then sending it for me to read. <laughs> Classic lazy. Still read it, though. Eventually, they'll need to reinvent Superman's alter ego because nobody reads newspapers anymore. Clark Kent, the BuzzFeed editor. Ten people who are definitely not Superman. Meanwhile, BuzzFeed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they have the new one coming out. What if they just do that? Men's section? <laughs> More like where the hot women shop. Women's section? More like where the hot men shop. Soup section? 
More like, where's the clothes? I don't go to the gym because it says no food allowed and I'm a damn snack. I'm just following the rules. That's why you don't see me and Andy at the gym. Doesn't matter though. We're both incredibly jacked. Andy, put up, put up a picture of us. Yeah, see? Look. Authentic as hell. Music distracts me from whatever I want to do, but at the same time, I can't do anything without music. Having bad sight has its upsides. People think I squint so much because I'm just focused on the conversation, while in reality, I'm just trying to see you. I just got diagnosed with forehead kiss deficiency. Me too. Maybe we could trade forehead kisses? I don't, I don't know, just thought if you wanted. What's gender anyway? Isn't gender that thing you make a smoothie in? No, no, that's a blender. Gender's when you give up fighting, I believe. <laughs> no, that's surrender. Gender is the person that serves you drinks at the bar. No, 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 that's bartender. Gender is those people in Atla that control elements. I don't know why I said Atla. I meant to say Avatar The Last Airbender, but y'all knew what I mean! Kinda of funny when English teachers say stuff like, I can tell if you didn't read the book, or I can tell when people BS their paper. <laughs> no, you can't. You can tell when people are bad at BSing their paper. I didn't even read the Spock notes and barely scammed the Wikipedia, and you gave me an A. You kneel before my throne underwear that it was Born of lies! There is no difference between exercise and black magic broth. <laughs> black magic broth? What's wrong with me? Starting over! There's no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first and drain you of energy, but the more you dabble in it, the more powerful you become. That is the most inspiring thing I've ever read. Snom, has anyone tried to send you bad vibes and asks? Once. Did. Did Snob kill them? No. I think Snob did. I hate it when I misplace my glasses because I'm forced to walk around looking like I'm suspicious of everything in the room. What about you, Cabinet? Huh? You sketchy piece of shit. Did you take them? Did you fucking take my glasses? Bloodborne is just Dark Souls, but wet. Pardon? Dark Souls is defined by its absence of anything resembling life. Miyazaki made a world that is almost utterly devoid of growth or flourishing at all. Everything is in the final stages of rot and decay, reduced to the cracking skeleton of what it once was. And not just metaphorically, the stone and grass and trees and just everything about it are so terribly dry. Bloodborne though. Bloodborne is fucking dripping wet. The stone in central Yarnum, wet. The bosses, wet. The weapons, wet. The combat, wet. The plot points, wet. The way it's so utterly obsessed with liquid, fresh death gore in a city in mist of ruin rather than having died off long ago, wet. I was on TikTok and I saw a video. I looked in the comment section and this guy is saying everything right. His comment was spot on. It was perfection. Like you read my fucking mind. I gave it a like then I realized something. I've seen it before. That was my own comment. You'd think I'd be ashamed, but I just think I'm the greatest. Overstimulation sensory overload really is like, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my shirt tag being itchy and these two strains of hair touching my face and the TV and one of the shoelaces being undone and air touching me and the plane flying overhead and my own thoughts about remembering to buy hummus! I can't talk, I have socks on! <sighs> Tumblr, I've warned you countless times about being a mood. I'm gonna need you to stop. This entire website could be deleted right this second, and I still wouldn't move to Twitter, sorry. <laughs> well, look whose account is deactivated. Where are you now, Steam and Sequences? Are you on Twitter? I think you might be. Oh my god, babe, kissing my knuckles, that's so- <gasps> Stop! Stop! Stop licking my ring <clears throat> According to a recent survey, 7 out of 10 people don't notice when a word in a sentence is replaced by a musical instrument. I hate you, Jeff. Oh my god, please don't embarrass me in front of the great stone obelisk from whence all darkness comes. Swear to god, mom. On the bus and just watched a six-ish year old girl walk into a tree because she was reading and kept going without looking away from her page. Good on you, random girl. I've been there too. Keep walking. Keep walking. She's going places.
mostly into trees. Probably bad RPG idea. Make it easier to distinguish between in-character and out-of-character comments by doing all in-character dialogue three inches from the GM's face. Okay, so I'm gonna roll for initiative now on this guy, is that okay? Honestly saying, oh, it comes with lore about anything that has text explaining the use and or contents is one of the funniest things. Looks at instructions on my ramen package. Oh, lore! Lore on my ramen package? Call that a... Uh, flavor text? Remember, toe beans are the signs of a killer. Funnily enough, I'm not 100% joking. While many animals have paw pads, the particular kind of soft, squishy beans found on house cats are an adaptation for stealth. Squishy beans mean you're looking at an ambush predator. These are the beans of a killer, Bella. Making art is literally actually like doing an exorcism. You have to get it out of your brain. You have to. I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh... Andy, what we did before, ask Amy if it's like an exorcism and then just give me a gif of her response. Yeah. <sighs> I woke up today and I don't like it. One time I dreamt the Undertale movie got released and the only reason I found out was because my friend sent me a message in all caps telling me Addison Ray was Metaton. <laughs> Kind of works. I don't know. Here's a picture of Addison Ray. Here's a picture of Metaton. Do 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 the math. Reasons to be frog shaped. Reason one: You are frog shaped. Reason two: You can sleep on a lily pad. Reason three: You may be one with the bog. Reason four: Ultimate friend shape. And reasons five: Frog <laughs> concept. Elves are supernaturally good at everything only because they live to be bonkers old. And if you were hot and sexy for thousands of years, you'd be kick-ass at archery and tree climbing and horseback riding too. But there's like 20-year-old elves out there that are just straight dumbasses who can't do shit. Concept, non-elves can't tell the 20-year-old elves apart from the 2,000-year-old elves. And third concept, there's a 20-year-old elf in your tavern and he's counting on this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short, I'm not short. This is because today I was at the beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so uh, I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort and it went absolutely not excellent. Yeah. Writing prompt, a murder mystery where every character believes themselves to be responsible for the death and tries their best to cover it up. <gasps> the real kicker is that the guy died from natural causes! I want this book. I wish my body was ablaze with astral charge. Could really do with some cosmic infinity coursing through my veins right now. Tremble before my might, whatever. Ah, <sighs> the centuries of frozen slumber not treating you well? Yeah. Elephants, please stay in your car. Oh, come on, let the elephants get out and stretch the legs. They've probably been driving for a while. No, I'm not tired of being nice, and yes, I just still want to go ape shit. Things can coexist. Stop asking me. I want to be very nice, but in an ape shit kind of way. Me mentally flipping through the various daydream universes I crafted up like records in a crate. Hmm. Which fantasy shall I indulge in tonight? I hate that this is me. Okay, I'm just going to say it. The word in parentheses meme is way better for tone indication than actual tone indicators. So true. Sexual intent. I'm sorry, what? So just to avoid accidentally using offensive language, I'm just gonna start using 90 surfer dude slang because inadvertently offending someone is totally bogus, dude. You know, people might not want to be called dude. You are radically right, and that is so not tubular, my friend. I apologize. I find your poor grammar and spelling to be offensive to my eyes. Watch me catch this gnarly wave of I don't care! I just really cannot believe this fucking thing exists. Imagine making a robot this built, and its purpose is to play table tennis. I mean, this is just an anime dude for a sports anime about tabletop tennis. Tell me I'm wrong. Me is a Silent Hill protag. What the heck? What the hell just happened? What in goddamn is going on here? 
What on earth? This door is locked. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a dick, but don't you also mean <laughs> Ethan Winters from Resident Evil 8? Maintenance notice. We're crashing this site with no survivors. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Quick, get all the memes. Oh, shit, they're doing it right! Hmm. I wonder what you taste like. Battery acid, go away. Digital art is like flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally. I refuse to flip because what I don't know can hurt me. Absolutely valid take. Or is it? Andy, flip the video. Oh god, this was a mistake! Flip it back! Oh, thank god. You know, it's a shame that the Spanish word for cheeseburger is not hamburger queso. Why is it not? Yeah, I think Comfort Sons is pretty cool, though. Songs! I meant songs! Comfort Sons! I have one of those. Behold, this is Grape. He's my son. He's an absolute bastard. You never pretended to be a bride when you were a little girl? No. Like, literally never? Why pretend to be a bride when you can be a meerkat? The premise of minimum wage when it was introduced, was that a single wage earner should be able to own a home and support a family. That was what it was based on. A full-time job, any job, should be able to accomplish this. The fact people scoff at this idea if presented nowadays as though the people that ring up your groceries or hand you your burgers don't deserve the luxury of a home and a family is disgusting. Also, if a livable wage breaks the system, then the system deserves to be broken. Just saying. A young boy runs into the room, his short hair ruffled and glasses askew. His face is a light shade of pink and he seems out of breath, though he quickly composed himself, smoothing down his shirt and fixing his glasses. He extends his hand and opens his mouth to speak. I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh my god, stop! Parents be getting upset when their head cannon for their child doesn't turn out to be cannon. Exactly, but never say it like that. Anime art styles where the eyes are so low and the mouth and nose are so high that they're almost on the same plane are terrifying. I'm cute! No, you're not! You're horrifying! I'm so sick of scrolling and then BOOM! Spike trap! Spike trap! Spike trap. Well, guess what post below me? Bam! <laughs> Fuck you! Eh, sandwich yourself, idiot. I like how there are two universal constants on Tumblr, and those are Jesse and James, and Doofus, Mertz, and Perry the Platypus. And honestly, good for them. It's what you call perfect character design. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, time to make a post on Tumblr. Surely no one will interpret it to be as offensive and bad intentioned as possible. Hey, not wanting anyone to disagree with your post is- By Talos, this can't be happening! Like clockwork, holy shit! Ah, oh, fuck. I had an idea, god damn it! ADHD is fucking rad, because I can be trying to make a silly sentence on Tumblr. Around the world, 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 around the world. And that's how the body of Christ helped Johnny assassinate the President of the United States. Yeah! Why are we humans so good at bait and wait methods slash techniques? Nobody's matching you on Tumblr, huh, pal? Do kids these days make up songs about killing the Wiggles and Doc McStuffins, or did Barney the Dinosaur just unlock some latent primal rage in my generation? Probably. What if I... <laughs> TNT block. Redstone dust. No, don't! Ugh. Fine. Redstone torch. Son of a bitch! <laughs> When I was little, I thought I could see people's auras, but in actuality, I just have bad eyesight. If cop could speak, they would all have French accents. Mon dieu, you have caught me. I don't think that was French. Your YouTube channel got more explody. What changed? Explosions. In fact, Andy, for the course of this video, put tiny sad little explosions at random spots that no one expects them. Starting... Now, he stared at her with what was probably a normal amount of eyes. Probably.
Two houses both alike in dignity never establishes the level of dignity they both obtain. This is usually assumed to be high, but it could in fact be extremely low. Thus, an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet with both houses being a rival clown troupe would not be in opposition to the text. In this essay, I will... Where's the SAOP? Your friends love you. You are not a burden. You don't weigh them down. They chose you. Lord help me because I can't stop saying I may have girl boss too close to the sun to myself whenever I literally do anything. Okay, but well, now I will be too? Back when I worked at Walgreens, I didn't know which hazel was a real thing. People would come in asking for it, I'd be like, yeah, it's on aisle three next to Wolfsbane and I and Newt, you fucking idiot bastard. Zoe, Wolfsbane is also a thing, and I of Newt is just the old-timey way of saying mustard seed. But, Talos, this can't be happening again! If 666 is evil, then 25.806975801127 is the root of all evil. <laughs> You have a fucking calculator in your shower? At Pascal, while I'm number one, do back the calculus just for fun. Messing with the new students at Secret Wizard College by making up spells that aren't real. <laughs> you don't even know how to cast Mungus Blast? What's a Mungus Blast? Wow, you don't even know about Mungus Blast? Please, I must know what a Mungus Blast is, I beg you, tell me! Look, if you must know, head down to the archives and ask what the hovering orb of knowledge what a Mungus Blast is. Make sure you ask really, really loud. Really loud. Fuck algebra! I don't need it! Just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from here! I feel I should clarify I'm a mortuary science major. My aunt used to write horoscopes for the newspaper as a part-time job. She had a friend in college who A, always read that newspaper's horoscope, and B, didn't know my aunt wrote it. So whenever the friend had a shitty episode, my aunt would make her horoscope as positive as possible to tear her up. Long story short, they recently got married and they're both my aunts now. What do you mean, long story short? Give me this entire Sammy K romance novel right now! Behold, proud boy. <gasps> a fellow gamer. The writer's blessing. May you write 1,500 words with ease. May your characters be lively and not cardboard. May you need a little editing. May your muse visit you as soon as you sit. May the internet not distract you much. And may your phone lie dormant while you write. Okay, but on the subject of writers, having writer friends is being like in the world's tiniest fandom. Except to get new content, you have to beat it out of the author with a stick. Being a writer is like being in the world's tiniest fandom, and you have to beat content out of yourself with a stick. Being a writer and having writer friends is like you're all in different fandoms and you take turns beating content out of each other with a stick! All hail the content whacking stick? You know, the most important thing they don't tell you about being gay is that as soon as you have any creative control over your appearance, you will start dressing like one or more of the Muppets. Does the Count from Sesame Street count as a Muppet? I think he counts like generally as his main character trait. Nine hours of studying, and I can't remember my own name, but I can remember how to kill a man using a toothbrush, so... There's that. The hell kind of classes are you taking? I'm a forensic criminologist. Our slogan is, can't run fast enough to be a serial killer, so I'll just help the police catch him. My dad just described the size of a large dog to me by saying, he could, like, stand up and make his own fucking dinner on the stove. I mean... It works. Marvel characters who are false advertising. Ant-Man, he can be any size, not just ant-sized. Cyclops, this fucker has two eyes, not just one. Winter Soldier, he's there all year round. Wolverine, <laughs> doesn't wear a Wolverine fursuit. You'd think he was a furry, but no, he isn't. Iron Man, suit made out of gold titanium alloy. Spider-Man only four limbs and doesn't shoot web out of his butt. And Mr. Fantastic, <laughs> he is just awful. So how important do you have to be to have been assassinated instead of murdered? That is a good question. Well, if the motivation is political, then it's assassination. Otherwise, it's murder. You can't be assassinated by accident. If a jilted ex murders the Prince of Placeland, it's just a murder. If a jilted ex is also a member of a rival political faction, 
it may be an assassination. Now, if a jilted ex is driving home in tears and accidentally runs over the Prince of Placeland in the middle of the night in a neighborhood where the streetlights are out because the Prince has questionable infrastructure policy, it's manslaughter. Uh, thanks, murder side of Tumblr? Human DNA has an information storage capacity that very neatly fits the size of a GameCube game. Thus, it would be possible with gene editing technology to store a copy of Super Mario Sunshine inside the human genome. Details and image. Super Mario Broth Mad Scientist Moments? So what you're saying is... <laughs> I can run, do. My plan is to make candy dice they look like normal dice, and use them normally through sessions until one day I roll an at one, and then I just eat the dice to the horror of my friends. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. I'm always so flattered when bees buzz around my face. I'm sorry, miss, I'm not a flower, but it's very sweet that you thought I was. No state proposal. Massachusetts. Ah, so that's how they got Dunkin' Donuts to California. It all makes sense now. People who think this planet was created for humans to be ours are so wild to me. 70% of the planet's surface is undrinkable, uninhabitable death water that sharks love. How is that a human-centric design? The Earth was created for various types of crabs. What's even the point of using a spoon for soup? Why don't we always just drink it? Maybe the spoon is there to keep us humble, to meet ourselves, so we do not get lost in passion of soup. Hey, Copernicus, it's just soup. I just heard a Minecraft door sound in my head. That was your brain leaving. <laughs> Got him. Hey, remember that four-word cooking horror story? Guess what? <laughs> There's a follow-up, so let's recap. Just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Two cups of vanilla extract. Okay, but what did they cook after they drank two cups of vanilla extract? Wow! Never seen someone invent a whole new type of sin in just 14 words before! Good... Good job! Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS every time they order their Pokemon to attack. That's just, that's just if Pokemon, if it was shot in New York City, and he was Youngster Joey, except Youngster Joey is also Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's Brooke, but, you know what? Doesn't matter, the joke still stands. And he put, put Joey's face on Youngster Joey's face, okay? There, boom, did it. Avatar AU where Aang wakes up like three days before Sosin's Comet returns and he has to speedrun the entire series. Oh my god, please say more! So the South Pole and North Pole exist in the same map file, so if you break out of bound, you can go from one to the other without having to travel the world. And Zuko's redemption stat and hair stat are tied to the same variable. So if you just put the right wig on him, he becomes automatically redeemed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why I am unworthy of forgiveness. You have 1,263 open tabs. How do you live like that? How is your computer not fucking dead? Okay, but all I've done today is sleep. <laughs> I woke up at noon, ate lasagna. <laughs> I went back to sleep right after. Method actor Garfield cosplayer. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I just found out OSHA official deactivated. I, I don't even want to commit OSHA violations anymore. Not without my boy OSHA. This is literally Joker's relationship with Batman. I hate that I can agree with this addition to my post. <laughs> I'm at Tumblr University, and they told me they never even heard of your URL. <laughs> Shut up, straight boyfriend. Hey, watch out. I heard there's an ape on the loose and they could uh, be anywhere. Wait, <laughs> he's right there. Run! A lot of pets will ignore you, but only a cat will follow you from room to room and check your lines of vision to make absolutely certain that you can see them ignoring you. Well, here's a fun fact. Cats actually have very good peripheral vision and do a lot of checking things out with it. Full frontal staring into your face is, for them, an aggressive statement. Hence why they do that a lot when they're trying to make you do stuff, like feed them or play with them. 
if a cat sits with you but at an angle and won't meet your gaze, they're not ignoring you at all. They're hanging out. They're having a chill bro time. If you want to smile at your cat, look at them till they see you, then give a slow blink. This is a cat smile. If a cat only glances at you to give you a blink and then looks away, this is a warm greeting. Like, hey there, buddy. Be polite right back at them and don't seek out or hold sustained eye contact in friendly, casual situations. Hmm. Cat Etiquette 101. I googled the world's funniest joke, and this was it. <clears throat> Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping. They pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, Holmes woke up Watson and said, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. Watson replied, well, I see millions and millions of stars. Holmes said, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and even if a few of those have planets, it's quite likely there are some planets like Earth out there. And if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life. And Holmes said, Watson, you idiot, it means that someone stole our tent. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good i like that one post that be like if i were a monster that had to eat people i would just eat horrible people are so absurd to me how often do you see known criminals on the street billionaires out for a nightly stroll around town effectively fucking never if I have to drag myself to the grocery store, you think it's gonna be any easier for me to hunt Bezos and company every time my stomach growls? I can't bother to plan meals more than a day in advance. How am I gonna perform whole ass detective work to confirm someone's a serial killer before I eat them? Y'all got that much time in your hands? Planning five course meals every night of the week? Don't make me laugh. Eat a pedestrian and tragically wrestle with guilt like the rest of us, idiot. Coming this fall, Ripley's Believe It or Die. And later at night, Ripley's Just Go Fuck Yourself. Probably bad RPG idea. You give all your dice a little smooch before you roll them, so they'll give you a natural 20 out of love. <gasps> I love you, dice. Beautiful dice. Good dice. Mwah. Rolls. Nat one. You mother... All right. Let's just set the record straight here, okay? I get asked... Most occasions, if I will start doing readings for Reddit and Facebook and Twitter, because most people assume Tumblr is dead, which is not. I'm pretty sure that thing is going to live until the end of time, which means I might too. But that's not the point. I don't do Twitter. I mean, I'm on Twitter, but I don't voice late night Twitter posts. It's not my brand. But there might be someone out there who does. Someone who's wise and brave beyond his years who edits the most weird videos on the internet that are most likely mine, has a really, really awesome voice, even more awesome than mine, and might be editing this video right now. Andy, you wouldn't have to know anyone who does that, right? <laughs> Balloons are so weird, like, Happy birthday! Here's the plastic sack of my breath. God. Thanks, I hate it. To the person who stole my Microsoft Office license, I'm gonna find you. You have my word. <laughs> Pre-nap me. Gosh, I'm just a little sleepy. I could use me a little nappy nap. Post-nap me. Why? Why do I exist in this world? <laughs> How do I know what is real? What is the truth? I'M SO THIRSTY! And the average cumulus cloud weighs as much as 2,500 donkeys. Yeah, well, how much does a donkey weigh? Um, about, uh, 1 in 2,500 of a typical cumulus cloud. With this watermelon, I shall rule the world! <laughs> Would you take me to the beach? <laughs> Looks like you're already on the beach, you silly boo! This girl is camping with her boyfriend in Byron Bay, and who turns up shirtless? I want to move to Australia. I mean, look at him. He's so slim now. How do people just randomly find shirtless Chris Hemsworth in the wild? You've never been to Australia in summer, have you? Oh, yeah. We got free-range Hemsworth women all over the place. They're actually getting to be a real problem. There's a small nest of them living in the roof of my in-law's garage. I keep eating their gravelias. <laughs> what the hell is a gravelia? Covers are important people! Covers are people!
And apparently neither are exclamation marks, but we'll, we'll ignore that, shall we? Not even God can prepare you for what you're about to see. What? What is it? Behold! Baby legs! Okay, mothers, if your kid refuses to carry the trash out to the bin, just tell them you had to carry trash for nine months. Ooh! A game show where a toddler has to choose between a check for a million dollars or a small basket filled with around $8.14 of dollar store toys. And in the corner of the TV, you can see their parents in the locked soundproof room watching from a screen and screaming the whole time. I need this show in my life right now. My talent is identifying birds. Oh yeah? Okay. What's this one then? Yep, yep, nope, that one right there. That's a bird. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that was somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages. And I'll never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted this new school is scary. I hope I make friends. And not a graphic description of a squid dying. Well, you can't please some people. I still did pass because I did fulfill the assignment, but I just saw her pursing her lips like, hmm, all right, all right, this kid's, uh, this kid's going on a watch list. Okay. Okay, 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 guys, think, 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 think about this. Someone in this world has consumed more mayonnaise than anyone else currently alive, and they don't even know it. Poor bastards. I was at the zoo the other day, and there was this fucking goose trying to act like a fucking flamingo. It was a peaceful day in flamingo world, and you are an imposter goose. You know what? Being a serial killer is much like being a comedian, in that you either hit it big and get your own Netflix special, or you spend eternity popping up on shitty podcasts. Huh. That was a hell of a Venn diagram tweet. Can't wait for the final boss battle of Duolingo when you fight the 50-foot owl armed with nothing but your wits, a sword, and your shaky grasp of verb conjugations. Oh my god, Duolingo, I just got it. Holy shit! You know what? Technically, you can go the rest of your life without eating or drinking. What the fuck?! My favorite thing to do when someone asks me to perform a simple task is to say no while doing it. Someone, hey, can I borrow a pen? Me getting a bag of pens out. Absolutely not, perish! Might I interest you in some... sushi? Okay, soon realize, um, Andy's doing stuff too. If you, if you like his edits, you'll like his voice too. His voice is good. Go, go to this post right here in the description. Pin comment too, because I know some of you do not read the description. I'm watch, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you right now. Go to that page. Check out his stuff. You'll love it. All right, we're done here with this collaboration. Andy, make the video explode. <laughs> Won't form a coherent thought. Just know I have a lot to say and several things to be enraged about. I can't do everything for you, so fill in the blanks. Warning, your storage is almost full at 18%. Okay, can someone explain how 18% is almost full? You ever fantasize about sharing fruit or someone washing your hair for you and you're like, Oh, I am just a little pack animal. My love language is indeed monkey instincts. Monkey. Monkey. Being a macro-organism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm just mostly a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its powerless queen. Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, Somebody to Love, all hit singles. And all the direct product of a band that was formed when an astrophysicist and a dentistry major found a new friend in an art college, who then went to recruit a fourth member from the electronic school. Based on this alliance, I propose the rift in society between arts and STEM students was fabricated to keep us separated so as to dilute our true power. And fabricated by who, you may ask? The business major. The only member of society who reaps no reward from art and science, and thus must weaken us so as to stay ahead. In this essay, I will... 
Where's the SAOP? Life hack. If someone makes a racist slash sexist joke, say with total seriousness, I don't get it. Can you please explain it? Then watch them crash and burn. <laughs> it's so weird that Daisy Ridley is eyeballing that Lara Croft role in the Tomb Raider reboot. Like, sure, Star Wars was really big, but you can't just be a beloved space hero in one franchise and also be a big name as some kind of combat archaeologist. Who's ever doubled up like that? <laughs> Call out post! You! You're a good person and you treat yourself unfairly. A lot of people are reblogging this post with, no, I'm trash, and I just want to say, listen, you little problematic fuck. You have more value than you realize. Fucking love yourself, goddammit! Abba waited until our darkest moments, when the world needed them most, and then they returned. Avatar. <gasps> My sister is making mac and cheese on the other side of the house. <laughs> you have a nose? Yeah. Wow. Small world. Oh, thinking about girl wizards again. Not witches. Witches are responsible and ecologically knowledgeable and stuff like that. Wizards are like, <laughs> I'm gonna do indivisible magics. <laughs> yeah, they do be like that. I'm watching Planet Earth, and there's this one small scene where the most crowned seal ever swims past. And i just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. Bless you. I just don't understand how this happened, but here's a picture of a lemon from my backyard. What the ever-loving fuck? You know, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons... Only sacrifices! Dear rat, for hours you have chewed through my ethernet cable, limiting me from accessing my Tumblr blog. But now... I finally have you trapped, hey? Whoa, 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 you can't keep chewing, I need to post this trap! When you need to pay respects. What? Where's the time signature? Are you telling me you need a time signature to play one note for a joke post? And for all you non-music people, here, allow me to clarify this joke for you. That's the note F. Mona Lisa and her possum. Oh, this isn't real. You can't just post fake stuff on the internet. I am so upset because I want this to be real so bad. Well, it can be real if you believe and or help me break into the Louvre. Someday I want to see a show that does the no filler episodes thing from the opposite direction. Just a whole season worth of low stakes character pieces that seem to move the overall story absolutely nowhere. Then episode 26 pulls all the triggers at once and this massive Rube Goldberg machine of a plot the show's been quietly setting up for the background the whole time hits you like a truck. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I'm pretty sure there's two shows out there that have done this. Andy put up a picture of the amazing world of Gumball and Rick and Morty. I'm just saying. Just saying. Probably more so Gumball. My favorite self-care tip is to pretend you're a demon inhabiting a human's body and you gotta look after it. Treat it right, cause these things are weak as fuck, man, and you gotta protect your host. You know? That might actually work. Is the sugar a seasoning? I did not come scrolling through Tumblr at 4 a.m. to be assaulted with this. <sighs> I don't... I don't know, man. I always laugh when somebody declares James Potter on the verge of expulsion for his pranks and fic. Because Malfoy was literally a Death Eater trying to kill the Headmaster. And Dumbledore was like, Hey, let's just see if we can gently glide him away from this. I'm pretty sure the only thing that gets you expelled at Hogwarts is if you actually have straight up murdered someone. <clears throat> Tom Riddle straight up murdered someone. And Dumbledore just keeps an annoyingly close eye on him. So no, that didn't even work either. Fun fact! It's coming. I'm already here! Get away! This is where I watch my parents die, Raphael. Hey, yo, check out this cool frog. 
He's gesturing at himself. I, I, I remembered Raphael was a turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Frogs, frog power! Frogs. Frogs. Count it off! One, two, three, four! Frogs. I don't know what's funnier. Pets with stereotypical human names like Brian and Michaela, or pets with completely ridiculous names like Hamburger and Concrete. Counterpoint. Both. One of each. These are my cats, Switchboard and Gary. Enough of this, this character is my son. This character is my nephew. Not my responsibility, but I am taking him out for lunch and buying him Hot Wheels. This is just when your friends have an OC that you really love. That's your nephew. Andy, put up a picture of Amy's Ethan. Behold, this is my nephew. <laughs> Which is also weird because I voice his dad, so also technically still my son. Sh what have I done? Let me slip into something more comfortable. Downscales into 4080p. This is just me taking off my glasses. I'm reminded almost daily about how glad I am that Redditors remain out of positions of power and decision making. Far more upsetting though is the fact that the world seems to be run by Twitter users. Sometimes I think thank god Tumblr follower count is hidden. People over Twitter let the numbers go to their heads so much. Also, Tumblr numbers mean nothing considering the amount of bot followers. Even funnier when someone on Tumblr expects you to treat them as royalty for having a lot of followers like they are not also a Tumblr user. If you brag about your follower count here, it's like announcing your own clown shoe size. One time I dreamt my therapist was following me around at work, constantly interrupting me, trying to get me to talk to her. But how did that make you feel? Undertale of you where everything is the same except everyone swears like a sailor. Isn't that just Underfell? I'm pretty sure that's just Underfell. All right, I'm saying it. Barry B. Benson is a Jerry Seinfeld Mary Sue self-insert. Even as a kid, I got the feeling Barry got the human girl because the director was the main character. Fuck! Recent studies have shown that, in order to make room for learning spells, wizards will willingly give up the part of their brain where they learn from the consequences of their actions. <laughs> Magic me brain go brr. I think a lot about gaining weight as a form of healing. Character. Gets a little bit fat after a life of hardships. Me. Groundbreaking. Incredible. Life-changing. Kyle Gallen? I like your moxie. This is good for my brain, thank you. Ties a balloon to snom. Look, you're flying! I have once again taken to the- Hang on, this is too high! Get me down! Get me down! Okay, I'm just gonna say it. <sighs> Uptown Funk would have made it into the Shrek soundtrack. That's... That's the truest statement I ever read. Just found out there are two bones in my shin and two shins on my body. That's... Four... Bones! Fuck this shit! Dude, that's not even the worst of it. Go look up what your ribs are made of. Okay, I will, but I'm warning you, if it's bones, I'm gonna be so pissed off. God damn it! A name is a spell you cast on your child when they're born. I cast Get Bullied in Middle School. Power word. Melvin. Today Papa John's called my Starbucks and... <laughs> Starbucks? <laughs> Starbucks! Anyway, <clears throat> today Papa John's called my Starbucks and they were like, are you guys interested in a trade? And five Frappuccinos later, they gave us two large pizzas and a large order of cheesy bread. Okay, but this seems adorable to me. This is what my coffee shop does with the subway next door. One large latte equals one six inch sandwich. We trade at noon and 7 p.m. This is how the world should run. <laughs> oh, Fucked up would it be if you jumped in a ball pit and it was just tomatoes painted different colors? Dashcon 2, I've got an idea for you. Seeing teens call 20-somethings old as a gotcha is so funny to me. Like, you are priming yourself for one hell of an existential crisis in five years. I laugh at 30. Oh God, I'm fucking old as fuck now. Fuck! My blog aesthetic doesn't have a name. It's just me walking around picking up pebbles like, ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. There should be a heart key on the keyboard. You're absolutely right. Andy, put up the heart key button. Now spam it. Spam this ending full of hearts. Just do it, do it. Hit it like it's the muffin button. Just do it. Oh my God, look at all these hearts. It's taking over the video.
I would laugh if you just did nothing. Human, what is this thing your medical books refer to as adrenaline? Oh, that. It's a drug our body produces and injects into our bloodstream whenever we're in danger or pain. And what does it do? Speeds up our everything and makes us feel good. Everything makes so much sense now! You created a horror movie called Alien. Yeah. That is damn well offensive. No wonder no other life forms want to contact you. It wasn't even accurate! So how long do humans live? Uh, it depends on a lot of factors. Oldest person ever made it to 122 years. And the others? For most of our history, you were dead by 50. Did you change your genetics? No. Was it a decrease in... Yeah, it was mostly a decrease in diseases. Oh. We also spend a third of our lives unconscious. What? It's our favorite part. Why do you choose to live in such inhospital climates? Remind me how you got to this planet? Well, we just built a ship that allowed us to travel through the vacuum of space. And how many of your kind died before you were able to safely travel through space? I see your point. Human, what is spam? Spam the meat, spam the junk mail, or spam the Monty Python's Flying Circus sketch? I beg your pardon? They're all related. Surprise me. Human, you seem tense. What is the matter? I'm worried about my cousin. He's going to have surgery later this week. Oh, how awful for him. But what is the purpose for this procedure? Well, he's getting a kidney transplant. He's been needing it for a while, but now he's finally got a donor. Hold on. Transplant? The donor? Yeah, one of his kidneys is being replaced. Ah, cybernetic enhancement. C crude, but effective. Cybernetic? Oh, <laughs> no, he's getting an actual kidney. Ah, uh, an actual kidney. Oh, I hadn't realized humans were capable of creating one. Perhaps you are more advanced than I had initially assumed. No, we don't create it either. It came from another person. Wait, what? You, well, you see, if you're an organ donor, your organs will be used to help other people when you die. You mean you tell me that humans willingly have their organs harvested after death to be used as spare parts? I, yeah, I guess so. And... This actually works. Kind of? Right, okay. I see what's going on here. Let's all joyfully vocalize at the alien. Nice try, human. Oh, spirits, you're serious. What are these sour cream and onion chips I found in your pantry? Oh, those are basically sliced potatoes that we fry to a crisp. Those in particular are just flavored with a couple of other foods. Fascinating. May I try some? Sure, but I do warn you, though, they're highly addictive. They're good, right? I finally see humanity's desire to steal. So, you feed yeast organisms sugar and then bake them alive in temperatures high enough to kill someone and then eat them? Yes! So you explain that humans chased after things in the beginning until they're too tired and kill them. But another human informed me that is called teaming. Can you explain this? Oh, teaming is when two people on opposite teams team up to kill everyone. So you actively betray others and work with them and kill others? Yes. Barbarians, I know. Good, you understand. Human, why are you pressing buttons on your computer? You're just looking at a picture. Oh, no, this is a video game. It's a form of entertainment that humans use to enjoy themselves. What are you enjoying then? It's called Minecraft. Here, let me show you. Five months later. Uh, dude, Nerva, where are you? I beat the game and built the machine that functioned as one of my species' war fleets. Would you like to see? Nice. Human, I recently learned of a video game franchise called Destroy All Humans. E yeah? I am disappointed that you believe that extraterrestrial life would behave in such a matter. Don't look up Doom then. You're not gonna like it. Human, why are you staring at that photograph? And what are those circular objects in your hand? Uh, it's my wife. And these are rings that are used to signify our love for each other is lasting. So why hold them both? Well, my wife, Sarah, died a few years ago due to a head-on collision. And I hold on to these rings because she was special to me. 
you humans are truly a confusing but fascinating species. And those were my final notes on humanity. It's been quite the couple of years, but I've decided it was time for me to go. I think I've learned more than enough about them. And besides, I ran into a few good friends that are not of that world either. I think they'll keep it in good hands as well. Thank you all for listening. I apologize that this is the last of our conversations with each other. But as humans say, don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that it happened. Thank you all for being here and being the weird, absurd, heartwarming space orcs that you are. Um, actually, all of my systems are nervous. <laughs> I don't be here. Behold a healthy breakfast of yogurt, peach, and apple disguised as eggs and fries. Do this to me and I will kill you. Bill Gates makes windows instead of gates. What? What is it about rain that makes worms go absolutely Buck wild for pavement. Uh, if you must know, that's their dance club. My friend texted this to me and said she couldn't tell if this was a drink or drain cleaner. It's giving me such mixed messages. Like it says non toxic and industrial strength, but also no sugar and gluten free? The drink of all time. Don't you see? It says multi purpose because it's both a drink and drain cleaner. Guys. It's sparkling water. I, I, what? I really need Elon Musk to change his company name. Tesla doesn't deserve to be remembered this way. Yeah, I agree, but also at the same time, he'd probably go with his last name, and I don't want to pick up any sort of electric product that says Musk. I want to be a bartender, so whenever someone orders a Bloody Mary, I can pretend I didn't hear them and ask him to repeat it a couple of times, and by the way, keep a big mirror behind me like in those old West films. <laughs> Just to watch some magic happen. <laughs> Do you ever have the urge to tell someone to shut the fuck up even when they aren't talking? You ever just check how much time there's left on an episode just to make sure they won't stop there? Uh, he yeah, fucking... Bojack did that to me a lot. The 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s seem to have all separate unique personalities, but these last 17 years seem to just be one big chunk of time that has no significant meaning. Finally, someone said it! These last 17 years have an oh no feel that gets bigger and louder with each consecutive year. Until eventually, by year the 25th year, you'll just hear one giant oh yeah! Home is where you fully understand how the shower works. <laughs> if that's not the biggest mood, I don't know what is. I never speak a sentence without saying actually, genuinely, seriously, or literally, because I need everyone to know how sincere I am about the bullshit that comes out of my mouth. Yep. My main method for making friends has always been one, make one friend. Two, hope that this friend has other friends. And three, hope that these friends accept you as friend one sidekick and tolerate you long enough to bond. Alternatively, you can be the Roomba. You can be that awkward little robot that no one understands and everyone slowly becomes attached to you because you're always there and it's wrong when you're not. And you can let people strap knives to you. Siblings can be a pain until you're crawling around shirtless and blind at 11.02 at night and they come to help you. There's certainly a story there. That feel when you're on mobile and you have to work hard against autocorrect to keep your lowercase aesthetic. Trademark. Look, I have no problem drinking water, but I do have a problem getting up to pee when I'm already comfy. Especially when I'm going to bed. Do you have any idea how f fucking infuriating that is? Please. Please stop posting bullshit. Are you new here? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick nap. Like, wake me up in like five minutes so I can take out the trash. Connor, it's been five minutes! <laughs> Connor, the trash! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the threat level is currently at Hooten. But if present trends continue, then it may progress to hollering at any moment! Concept. A fantasy cowboy who rides a dragon instead of a horse. Dragon riders are actually just fantasy cowboys. You heard it here first! Uh, how do you train your dragon? Do you just want the password to my blog while you're at it with these god tier takes? Her bad at all. If you were a gifted, talented child that grew up in an anxious adult with fragile self worth and a perfection streak that makes you abandon things, if you're not good at them, immediately clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, cool bell, dude. Who's it told for? Oh, oh man. Th th this is awkward. This entire website is like watching a bunch of people trying to learn to walk, and every now and then you see two people doing front flips in the comments. Well, yeah. I just think that unhinged female characters with little blood on their face and wrath in their eyes is pretty neat. That, 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 that's all. That's all. Due to Corona, we have three days of the week now. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is just what having ADHD is like. And there's the really important fourth day. The day of the appointment. No one knows how far away it is, but it exists. Looming in the background. Waiting to strike. Imagine this magical book that the instant you touched it, it can sense what book you need at the moment, and it becomes that book. No more reading slumps! My jaw literally just dropped in awe. This is the best idea ever! The Book of Requirement. Yo, pickpocketed your mom the other day, and she had a picture of someone else's kid in her wallet, but not you. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Shut up! So I found these in my friend's freezer while having a sleepover and became extremely scared. When I went to confront her about it, she looked me dead in the eye and whispered, Ice, ice, baby. Fuck, that's a good joke! I always hated those Among Us characters. I never thought my mother's spirit would transform me into one. Neon Genesis Evangelion. What the fuck is Neon Genesis Evangelion about? <laughs> Where do we even begin? Me in real life. No one can ever know this secret. Me to 8,000 strangers online. You guys will never believe this. Hey, every single one of you, every single one of you is valid. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> Sorry for being a dark sorcerer. As if it's my fault. Real gamers are too lazy to play games. Real gamers have depression. Real gamers just watch a playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> What's so hard about using someone else's shower? I've never understood why people talk about how confusing it is to use a shower that isn't yours. Like, come on! If all else fails, you can just shove your hand through the wall and rip the pipes out to turn the water on! You're forbidden from using my shower. Ever. How to finish your work in progress really fast. 1. Stop scrolling through Tumblr. 2. Turn on your laptop. 3. Open a Google Doc. 4. Fucking right! Instructions unclear on now cleaning the oven. This, this didn't work. So, Neil, is Good Omens 2 just an excuse to find increasingly elaborate ways to set David Tennant on fire? Obviously. This close to putting hot sauce on my toes! I... I forgot to give context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuits and gravy are aggressive toe biters, and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. And then you find out that Biscuit's like, JOKES ON YOU! I'M INTO THAT SHIT! Me then, young, naive. I don't swear because there are better choices to make with my vocabulary. Me now, older, wiser. I am master of all words, and fuck is the best one! She's terrified of watermarks. I would be too if I saw them in my green pile. Oh shit, watermarks in the green pile? This is a hollering! I repeat, this is a hollering! Baby girl? I'm deficient in vitamins scientists haven't even discovered yet. <laughs> Can you pick my arm off the ground? It seems to have fallen. Today I learned caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It blocks the receptors in your brain that make you feel tired. It's like the difference between adding two and subtracting negative two to me. Mm, drink caffeine to make your brain temporarily apathetic to your body's needs. 
Caffeine doesn't fill your patrol tank. It just sticks a piece of tape over the gauge telling you your tank is empty. <sighs> I feel like... I feel like my whole life has been lied to. Andy, give me the big boy mug and some Death Wish coffee before I cry. <laughs> you heard of Cucumber, now get ready for Cucumber. God grant me the strength to send this email, the courage to send this email, and the wisdom to send this email. Yo, why are you reciting the Triforce? How else am I supposed to send this email? Mood. Hi. I learned Barbie cosplay Gladys. Okay, but Valve probably had to officially give Mattel permission to do this, which means Barbie is canonically the closest thing we have to canon Android Gladys design. What? Simulation of monkey touching button. Boop. Simulation complete. <laughs> Dad. That's interesting, because I walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, and no one near you there? D sh shut your mouth! You shut your pig mouth, you mook! I don't flirt. I just talk. It's not my fault everything I say is smoother than the cream cheese spread on your bagel. <laughs> this is what happens when Andy talks. If I learned anything from video games, is that when you meet enemies, it means that you're going in the right direction. That's really inspiring. Except when it's Dark Souls. They're just everywhere. Fuck them. Y'all heard of Faithful Translations. Now get ready for Unfaithful Translations, where I make my translations say whatever the fuck I want because I think the source material sucks ass. Ghost stories. Just, just go watch it. I'm sick of people ragging on Plague Doctors. They did their best against a disease that makes your skin vomit shit, armed with only Greek textbooks, translated into Old High German from grammar school Latin, from stilted Hebrew, from Berberized Arabic by a monk with boils for eyes. We have nanotechnology and satellites, and we're getting fucked to death by a mediocre flu. Bring back Plague Doctors. Me when I'm working on something. Oh, I am so fucking genius. Me looking at the completed work. Absolute fucking garbage. Who allowed my hands to make this? Me coming up with concepts and ideas. This is so fucking good, what the fuck? Me actually having to work on it. What kind of fucking bullshit? <clears throat> and yeah, I'm gonna need glitter and sparkles for this one. Art is Hate it. It would be so nice to be in an apartment right now with really big open windows and lots of bright light pouring in and, and long curtains and the smell of rain floating through it. The millennial generation is so broke we're romanticizing decent housing. I went to a clown hatchery in Madison today and oh my fucking god there must have been at least 10,000 clowns there. It was incredible. The breeder told me he's been operational for eight years now, and the new morphs he's working with are amazing, with the regular white orange and snowflakes he's working with something that gives them a blue toad and they're gorgeous. I read this like ten times before I realized you were talking about fish. What if they weren't, though? The only reason there are pyramids in Egypt is because they're too heavy to be carried to the British Museum. Jeff, this isn't a joke. This is legitimately true. Here's my gender. I'm too scared to look at it more closely and determine what's going on in there. Please, please, please don't pet it. It bites. Girl, what the fuck is even the theme of Midsummer Night's Dreams? Is there even a lesson to be learned? Is it just vibes or what? Puck at the end of the play. God, did you see that? Insane, right? <laughs> all right, take it easy. I'll see y'all later. Wait, wait, Puck! Come back! I have questions! Writing prompt. Your friend requested to be buried with his headset and system. He just came online. I can't believe I have to carry you fuckers from beyond the grave. This is the plot of Blood Gulch Chronicles. Where'd you carry us? To the buffet? And finally... <laughs> melancholy. <laughs> no, Zelda was the scientist. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. <gasps> so chivalry is dead. You win best response to this post. It's so dumb that broad shoulders are considered unattractive in a woman just because the ideal of womanhood is based on the perceived fragility of a smaller frame. 
Have you ever seen a woman with broad shoulders? Looks like she was sculpted by the gods themselves. You're absolutely right. Andy put up a picture of Zarya from Overwatch. Look at her. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite ship dynamic is they're both extremely stupid in completely different ways and extremely smart in completely different ways. But rarely is any of that useful because they just get extra double stupid when together. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if girls use the same style of joke to degrade men like, Cool story, bro, now go chop some lumber. <laughs> go chop some lumber. <laughs> what are you doing out of the garage? Go fix my car. The grill isn't gonna light itself. Don't you have something to fix somewhere? Listen, it's 2018. We need to stop blaming serotonin and dopamine and start blaming the real culprit, which is the hippocampus, that son of a bitch. Three years later, it's 2021. We need to stop always blaming our neurochemical functions and start blaming the real culprit, which is of our inherently flawed society that prioritizes greed of the few over the needs of the many, which enables mental illness to flourish without the ability to receive treatment. That son of a bitch. Hmm. Hashtag character development. Today I learned Claudius was the first of 15 Roman emperors to not have any male lovers. People thought it was strange that he was only attracted to women. It is strange. It's fucking weird is what it is. As an artist, I like to think I know when things look sketchy. As a musician, I like to think I know when things sound off. As a math enjoyer, I like to think I know when things don't add up. As a writer, I... Fuck it! Be creative. Even if you never really make anything. Write out plot synopses of stories and then move on. Design OCs you'll never use. Make mood boards and concept art and don't do anything with them. Life's too short to forget everything that inspired you and creation doesn't have to be complete to be worth the time you put into it. Just make shit that makes you happy. Don't have to finish it. Alright? That cool advice from Dark Souls. Age only affects appearance and has no bearing on ability. Gender has no bearing on ability. Everyone has imperfections. Prejudice births malcontents. Become a dark spirit. Time for crab. Screaming and crying because I'll never actually know what people in history's voices sounded like. I think about that a lot, actually. Like, what if... <laughs> What if George Washington sounded like Danny DeVito? <laughs> There's no way to not prove it. Mario says, Blind nationalism, in this case of glorifying the national anthem, is remaining willfully ignorant of the systematic equality that this country still faces. That's why people kneel. Luigi says, Lamal, why the fuck would you stand for the anthem? It doesn't even slap. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Wrong, your honor. As a necromancer, I literally summon my first witness. The victim. One time I dreamt in an official statement the band 21 Pilots revealed that they would be changing their names to 20 Oon Pilots. <laughs> you guys ever have a thing called Dream Envy? Yesterday night a lady came through our drive-thru and was like, The way the planets are aligning and the fact that we're getting a blood moon has me worried. I sense severe werewolf activities on the horizon. You better walk your co-worker to her car tonight after you've closed. And I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, Yes, ma'am. You heard that and just went end to dialogue. You fool. She's the werewolf. She's luring you into a trap. Stay inside the building. You're gay. What about my gay? It's off its leash and now is redecorating my living room. Please take it back. Damn it, gay, come back here. Went to the thrift store today and there were so many textures there. Affectionate and derogatory. Me touching a shirt. <laughs> texture. Me touching a different shirt. Oh no, dick shirt! I see this in my peripheral vision at all times. One day you smash a cockroach and it starts saying, one of two. Uh, oh god, dude, don't don't look at me yet, dude. I'm, I'm still rendering. Me transitioning. I am writing all the time, except just, like, inside of me and not outside. Shut up. Yahoo Answers, how do I achieve immortality? Don't die. An old English word for library was bookhoard, which literally means book hoard. And honestly, I really think we should go back to saying that. Because not only does it sound really cool, but it also sort of implies that librarians are dragons? D d d dungeon masters, use this idea. 
Whilst you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring the catacombs. <laughs> I am lost in the catacombs. People want to complain that Horace Slughorn wasn't a well-written Slytherin. But trashing your house, faking your death, and transfiguring yourself into an armchair to avoid an uncomfortable conversation is about as Slytherin as it gets. It wasn't even his house. Even more Slytherin! Science side of Tumblr, explain why the ride home always takes less time. The ride home takes less time because you already have memories of the locations you passed on the way there. When you take in a new memory, your brain slows down to process it and write as much information as possible. When you've already experienced something, it doesn't have as much to remember. Oh my god, are you Al Herwinstons? Shapeshifting is the best superpower. Because you can have any haircut anytime you want, you can turn into a hotter version of yourself, you can turn into a dragon, you can turn into a robot, you can transform into a shambling mound of abstract shapes, and soak outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins! This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. There's something oddly poetic about killing something that bleeds blood that belonged to you. Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I smacked a mosquito. My dad kept having trouble with my pronouns, they, them, so I told him to pretend I was a swarm of bees, and it somehow helped. The NB in non-binary actually stands for numerous bees. Bees indeed. <laughs> Andy, summon the bees! Bees? You want bees? Bees! <laughs> Ironic that Bilbo was so annoyed with the Sackville Bagginses for stealing from him and trying to evict him from his house, when his whole adventure involves stealing from someone and evicting them from their house. To be fair, he was essentially helping someone get rid of their own Sackville Bagginses. This is an absolutely world-rocking take on narrative parallels in The Hobbit. Like, why, yes, those were equally petty property disputes, and your point? Hey, uh, can I get a... Ingredients on my burger? Beetroot? You want beetroot? You want fucking beetroot? <laughs> Ingredients. Date of origin, December 29th, 2016. Fuck, that's old. Nobody look at me, I'm an idiot. I'm the smartest person alive! Nope, 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 I'm dumb as fuck. I am a beacon of knowledge! I'm sorry, did you mean, uh, world-renowned gang grumps or Arnold Hansen right there, that guy? Didn't anticipate one of the bonuses of going to a drag show in a smaller, more conservative town would be getting to see a bro who clearly wandered into the wrong part of the bar by mistake experience what looked to be a transcendent awakening upon his first drag show. One of the queens halfway through the show. Honey, are you straight? This man in a strangled voice. I don't know. It will be like that. Evil fonts. Helvetica. Crimes New Roman. Impact Fatal. Malibri. Ariel. Why the fuck do people have to yell at sports on the TV? I don't want to hear it ever again. Hey, hey, hey! I have to let the sportsmen know what to do. They are lost without my guiding hand. The tiny men on the TV run for my enjoyment. The least I can do is be a leader for them. Imagine just straight up having a mental breakdown or something, and PM Seymour's just like, Hey, that blog's in my video. Well, guess what, bitch? <sighs> Obsessed with bed. I love bed. Obsessed with pillows, blankets, and such. <sighs> Literally love sleeping. Oh, oh, right, uh, video, I forgot about that. Do you know what I want in life? A giant kitchen with lots of natural light, every utensil and appliance imaginable, and an endless supply of groceries. And also some sweet potato fries. In Japanese, they don't say moon, they say suki, which literally translates to moon. And I think that's how language works. <laughs> I get what they're making fun of. Literally, what is the logic behind naps leaving you with a weird taste in your mouth? I wasn't eating anything while I was asleep. It's the spiders, isn't it? This is my favorite clickbait about hackers picture. Ah, me when I remember my password in my own mind. How do draw good? Fail 14 sketchbook. Bad stuff is good stuff because you make stuff. Do you like sparkle? Draw sparkle. Draw and make your heart do smiley emote. Remember to drink lots of agua or else bedtime.
Don't stress, friend, all is well. Your art is hot like potato crisps. Don't let anyone piss on your good mood, amigo. If they do, eat them. Okay. I think the reason I enjoy Ghibli so much is it romanticizes the little things. It makes me want to bake, study, clean the house, garden, and more while listening to happy music and occasionally picking wildflowers and lying in the grass. It helps me find joy in day-to-day life and honestly, so important for my mental health. Hayao Miyazaki has said on numerous occasions that he wants children to know that even when the world seems harsh and life is hard, it is always still worth living and there's always something beautiful in it. That mental health boost is intentional, and Miyazaki wants you to believe that you should continue to live, even if it's just for those little things. That's beautiful. Meanwhile, there's another Miyazaki who kind of tries to do the same message, but um, you get a lot of this. Andy, put up a lot of segments of you died sequences in Dark Souls. Do it. You bastard! Ah. Uh... No! <laughs> Fucking crap, really! I know approximately zero about Deltarune, but based on the memes I keep seeing, the crocodile one should stop letting the blue one use the GPS. I have no idea what's happening. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Nothing like stepping outside while the seasons are changing and suddenly feeling a change in the weather that knocks you back in time by several years. I'm sorry, Professor, I'm gonna have to miss class today because when I walked outside this morning, it was cold and sunny in a very specific way, and suddenly I was struck with a nostalgia for years past so vivid and potent that I had to sit down. Understandable. Have a nice day. Mmm. Honey as a tea sweetener is so superior to sugar. The nectar of the gods and whatnot. When you add honey to tea, it's an ancient civilization's moment. When you add sugar cube to tea, it's a British dude with a white curly wig moment. Does anyone else get what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. Andy, do you follow this one? When you lift your napkin up to dab. Remember when Colgate sent out cease and desist letters to 13 year old kids because they were making YouTube poops with one very specific video about a rabbit who teaches children how to keep their teeth clean? Remember when Walrus Guy actually got a lawyer and took it to court and got it proven in a court of law that it was completely legal to make YouTube poops of Dr. Rabbit? He did what? And people say YouTube poop isn't a legitimate art form. Boggle. Told my friend that I hope this burrito was good, or whatever that means, because I don't like burritos, and he told me, A good burrito should feel like a mistake. And I feel like that is way more fucking raw than it has any right to be. And of course his name is Josh, too. If I was a video game at PC, I'd be called something like Weird Looking Guy or Unfortunate Beast. And I'd be so hot and lovable and everyone would want me. Ah oh, yeah, sure do love this feudal era Pokemon game with the wood latch Pokeballs, steamboats, ancient scrolls, and smartphones. Also in before somebody says, um actually it's the Meiji Restoration. I get it. I'm really into internet discourse, but only pointless and stupid internet discourse. Like how many holes there are on a straw. It's two. Um, no, it's an infinite amount of holes stacked on top of each other. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> what do you call the security guards outside Samson shops? <sighs> what? Guardians of the Galaxy? Get out! Wow, you blocked me just because I disagreed with you? Yes. Yes, exactly. This is a social media site. I come here to look at pictures of birds and shit posts with my friends. This is not a town hall meeting. I'm not your elected official. I do not owe you my energy, my space, or my time. You and I are strangers that use the same website. I can block you for literally any reason, and that's okay. Take a deep breath. Block me too. You'll feel better. Do it. You may think this song sounds bad, but according to music theory, which I've spent 18 years studying at, shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I know noises, idiot. I don't have to study to understand noises. I've known them forever, and those noises right there, Not that good! When did we first discover the concept of glasses? Like, was an Egyptian pharaoh walking around his jewel room and put two crystals to his eye and was like, Yo, Nithotep, come look at this! I love Queen because half their songs are mind-blowing pieces about life and death and love and humanity's inability to live together without destroying ourselves. And the other half are like, I love my bike. Actually, there's a third kind, and it's called I'm Freddie Mercury and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
I was out with a bunch of people this weekend, and this guy suddenly went, oh, man, I miss my wife, and went home. Like, I want that. I hope you like repairmen with digester problems. I'll test the toilet now. I don't, and you shall not. So there was a lizard in my shower, so I said hello to it, and the person showering next to me was like, Hi? I wasn't sure whether to carry on the conversation, or be like, sorry, I was talking to a lizard. It should be my birthday every day. You would be very old. Oh, what a rude thing to say to someone on their birthday. Believe the audacity of this man? Y'all ever sleep from 1700 to 2200 and call it an app because... I thought this was about years, but yes. Ah, nothing says self-care like a 500-year-long nap. Sounds good right now, actually. That's on. Nah, that's off. Just how I like it. I just saw someone come into shoppers and ask if they sold serotonin, and if that isn't the biggest mood, I don't know what is. He was an older guy, so he probably didn't know what serotonin was. Still a mood, though. Do it. I checked this blog to see what other suggestions there were, and there were none. And now that I look at it closer, the URL does say suggestion, singular. So I don't know what I expected. Guys, quick, let's go set up a spirit Halloween in the empty Facebook. If Tun... Tumblr... Tumblr? Tumblr. Ever goes down, I will just write my posts down and mail them to all of my mutuals. Yeah, if Tumblr ever does that, you can just do that for me, guys. The crunch... Have a folded kettle cooked chip. That does sound mildly pleasant. Andy, give them what they want. Just watch me. Pat, I'll write Tumblr posts with my right hand and post memes with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat. Love the adrenaline rush of making plans and following through on them. I said I was gonna go to the mall today, and here I am! Who knows what I'll do next? Infinite possibilities! Is this what people without executive dysfunction feel like? The weather is a little bit gloomy. Me and the mutuals chanting, Soup! 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 Andy, join me on that. My old man once said to me, Your thoughts are so random and unconnected. We were just talking about the carnival. How did you get started on wasps? So I told them, they're not unconnected. We were talking about going to the carnival, and the carnival is on the same fairgrounds they used to use for the rodeo. And one time at the rodeo, my brother spilled Sprite on himself, and a bee went up his shirt and stung him. And bees die when they sting, but wasps don't. And I was wondering why. So I asked you. And he said, that makes no sense. And for the life of me, I can't understand how anyone thinks of anything if not by this exact process. Oh, God. It's not just me. These are the four types of non-binary people. Oh yes, neutral gender, neutral presentation, feminine gender, masculine presentation, masculine gender, feminine presentation, and Lancer. Here's the thing. We all agree that Jack Black is an amazing fit for Bowser. Charlie Day has voice acted before in the Lego movie as a very well received and distinct character, so he could probably do well as Luigi. Peach's voice, not to insult Samantha Kelly, is incredibly generic, so Anya Taylor-Joy can probably nail it. You're fooling yourself if you think Keegan-Michael Key can't do a great Toad voice. Hell, even Seth Rogen, as washed up and exhausting as he is, can probably do a sufficient enough voice for Donkey Kong. It's literally just Chris Pratt. And nobody has any faith in his voice acting abilities because literally every character he plays since 2014 has been Chris Pratt but X. Even in the Lego movie, his character was a generic milk toast dude made out of Lego, aka Chris Pratt but Lego. Chris Pratt is the original Sonic movie design of the Mario film in that he will single handedly drag the film down to hell. And the only way to save it is to completely excise him from the movie. There, I just saved you 14 fucking video essays on why the Super Mario movie might go down badly. All right! Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite because I use Apple and Google products and they're spying on me completely anyways, but there's something about Alexa that viscerally disgusts me and feels like a bridge too far. And I'll tell you why. She has a normal ass name. I don't know many people named Siri. I don't know anybody who would name their child Google. I know four Alexas. So, that's probably why. 
If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Mmm, perhaps? When will Ted himself finally show up to the talk? The final boss. You guys know TED Talk stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design Talks, right? I will not let Ted hide behind these lies any longer. Reveal himself to me! I just came up with a horrible drawing game. First artist draws a human OC. Second artist draws that OC's persona. Third artist draws a humanized version of that persona without seeing the original OC. Fourth artist draws a persona for that character. And so on and so forth. Also known as telephone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Auntie, I know what we need to do for next Gartic phone game. Today I learned that the count in Sesame Street does not count all the time to teach children numbers. In folklore, vampires have erythromania, or an obsession with numbers. This derives from the old superstition that throwing poppy seeds on the ground stopped vampires because they had to count them all first. I like the poster's implications that the producers of Sesame Street did not put a counting vampiric count on a children's educational series to teach kids how to count. This was just an incidental side effect of their fidelity to obscure vampire folklore. I mean, it could be. Homies, is it gay to turn on notifications for your mutuals? How weird is it that I have two pieces of glass sitting in front of my eyeball so I don't mistake a small child for a garbage can? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. There's Christmas adverts already? Get spooky or get the fuck out! It's Halloween! I don't know what Batman villain needs to hear this, but your theme is unique and creative. Your puns and gimmicks are witty, your costume is cool and fashionable, and you do have a chance at defeating the Batman. You are valued and an important Gotham citizen. Mwah! I love you. A guy walks in with two puncture wounds on his neck and like, you should see the other guy. And then a vampire walks in covered in those cartoony lipstick kiss marks. Oh! Someone, wow, you're so easy to talk to. I feel like our personalities fit so well together. Me. Thanks. I made this one special just for you. Running up the hill to make a deal with God again. Anyone need anything? Radio's kind of wild, really. The first thing we did after discovering an ethereal field that permeates the universe is... <laughs> infuse it with music. That's pretty on brain for humans, really. Our social media's down again, except for Tumblr. A cockroach will survive a nuclear bomb. Just saying. If she's your girl, why is she tormenting me with visions? If she's your girl, can you ask her to stop, please? I love being sober and talking to drunk people at parties, because I asked a guy, if you were a wizard, what kind of spells would you cast? And I know he wasn't lying when he said, Summon creatures. What kind of creatures? Oh. I wish they had made Breaking Bad earlier, so it would have had a PS2 game. Jesse, you need to press square, square, X, triangle, circle, X to cook the meth. This is a Parappa the Rapper game? Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. Liking the office is not a personality trait, but saying liking the office is not a personality trait is also not a personality trait. What is a personality trait? Eating sponges. It's like that's his truck and he's ordering from a drive through at 12 a.m. Mmm, chicken sandwich and scratch my butt, please. <laughs> not to scare anyone. But what the hell does Beyond and Bed Bath and Beyond stand for? Me. What's Beyond? Employee snaps my neck. Go find out. As a former Bed Bath and Beyond employee, I appreciate this. Yeah, what the hell and fuck are you implying, lady? See you and I. We're like SpongeBob and Patrice. Gay. That's his snail. Lefties on ketamine, right toids on ivermectin. Who knows how many more drugs Big Horse is hiding from us? I don't know what drugs, but I have a hunch. Big horse is hiding something. Maybe soldiers. Maybe Greek soldiers. I don't know. Just a thought. The fuck are you on about? There's nothing inside of that horse. Let's bring it inside the city walls. It's perfectly fine. Gonna say something controversial? And it's that carrot cake is fucking delicious and probably the best cake flavor. Can I get a hallelujah? It is fucking critical that Gen Z kids rediscover the idea of posers. Posers and sellouts. And this isn't about children being fake fans or whatever. This is about influencers trying to grab at your money through pretending to be part of a subculture. Yeah. Have any of you ever seen, like, a third grader? I can't believe they make people that small. Oh, 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 oh. 
Just wait till you see the next size down. Yes, that's right. There's people smaller than third graders. It's insane. My favorite tease is, okay, noun boy. It's just so good. Okay, noun boy. <laughs> you know, horses are very talented at making their problems your problems. It's true. I think Netflix had a show about it. I think it was called Bojangles Horse -ma Dudes. Hey, did you know gallbladders are really cool? Yeah, I took my dates. I mean, he got it removed at the hospital. Sure he did. The worst is when you're reading a really good book that follows multiple character stories and you love it 90% of the time until it periodically switches back to that one character story that you could not just care less about. And it's like an entire chapter of internal groaning while waiting for the plot to switch back to a character you actually care about. Yeah. Oh yes, my favorite Deltarune character. I am also a fan of meat substitute weight. <sighs> it's been a long day. Alfred, please fill up the bathtub. Master Bruce, what's a hatub? This is so unfunny that I actually laughed. Good job. Hey, keep your head up, fella wizard. It's incantation, not incantation. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait. Honestly, Frodo's journey is so wild. Like, imagine your uncle goes missing after his birthday party, and his old stoner friend from out of town tells you that the souvenir he brought back from Vegas trip 80 years ago is actually Satan's mood ring, and now zombie assassins are coming to burn down your town unless you and your lawn guy meet up with medieval hosiers in a dark gastropub. You know, when you phrase it like that, it sounds like a Seth Rogen movie, and I just don't know how I feel about that. Are you a fab or a mab? I am a crab. Crap, 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 Seems like you could just write essays on a lot of things today, Pucky. I could write a book about words I like and go into excruciating detail as to why I like each word. I'd call it word review and I'd give each word an entire page or more on a numbered score. That's this beautiful, man. I am a reverse hypochondriac. I just ignore everything. One time as a teen, I went blind for two minutes in public and I said nothing. Dudes, teach me. My aesthetic is students at the library who have all their study materials out, but are blatantly not studying. Bussers are creatures. They don't eat you because they love you. But they could, if they wanted to. Oh. <sighs> Mario is going to do the regular Mario. Here we go! Exactly once at the start of the movie before coughing violently and then apologizing in Chris Pratt's voice. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I didn't feel like there were enough posts for today's video, so I'm gonna do what I did probably a couple of videos back. I'm gonna just make noises. Andy, you do what you do best, you beautiful boy. It's always poor little Meow Meow, or Evil Bastard, or I can make him worse. What about men who are normal? What about men who pay taxes and are well-adjusted individuals and not at all insane? Okay, Tumblr, you're a prison Hannibal. You clearly enjoy only the most hinged of men. I don't know if I can defend myself against this one. Picks that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Andy, what do you think? Did it hurt? when the little people inside your head refuse to follow your carefully plotted novel outline? Extremely. Go do the thing! A piece from Surplus Tension by Hannah Levy. Sentinels attached to entire bird legs, which could make getting around either really easy or really hard. I'm not sure. If I'm funny enough to end up in a PMC more VA video, then that means I'm worth something in life. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there. Hold on, all right. Andy, just put, put the image away for a second. Let me talk to him. To Wool Jester and to everyone listening to this right now, 
You are all worth something. In fact, you all have so much value to yourselves and to people around you who love you. And you might sit here and think, there's nobody out here who could possibly love me because I can already imagine somebody writing that comment right now just to be the outlier. Listen, you have value. You are loved. And you are important to somebody. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. It's touching moment. You know, a nap and a Snickers bar would have solved all of Anakin's problems, but instead, he chucked five Monster Energy drinks, blocked Obi-Wan's number, and let himself be bamboozled by the dark side. Well, if you did that, we wouldn't have gotten four, five, and six now, would we? I just woke up and, yeah, this isn't a morning app. I can't even read what you people are saying. Yeah, girl, did you get Swiss product appendages? See what I'm talking about? I think it's the universal truth that everyone in our generation takes Pluto's losing its planetary status as a personal offense. Yes. Pluto is smaller than Russia. Why did we ever even consider it a planet? Because it's part of our solar system. Ohana means family. Family means no one is left behind. Honey, I'm pregnant. Hello, pregnant. He whispers, tears of joys in his eyes. I'm dad. How could something be so cute and make me want to vigorously bang my head against a wall at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My friend asked me how I learned to cook, and the answer is, I didn't. I know, like, five things about cooking, and they are, always use more garlic than the recipe calls for, eh, fuck it close enough is a great measurement tool, Find like five recipes that you like, adjust them how you like them, and make them until you hate them. Clean as you go, and if a recipe is from a mommy blog, you will need more spices. If anyone wants to add, please do. None of these are wrong. I spent four years in college on this subject, and you know what? You're absolutely right. Why did I spend so much money? You can't play a plus two on a plus two. Thank you for the cards, but we'll take it from here. The only rules of Uno are what you can convince the rest of the tables the rules are. Is the world really such a terrible place? Yesterday I asked if oat milk was extra and the barista said yes. So I said, okay, just regular milk then. And when she gave me my chai latte, she whispered, I used oat milk. Doesn't that make you want to live another day? Here's my life philosophy. Next week there might be someone ahead of you in line at the store who's short a quarter. And you have a quarter. And you can give it to them. If you weren't there, they'd have something to put back. The week after that, you could be getting lunch, and the waiter might ask if you want some pancakes someone else ordered and never picked up. You could find someone's lost cat. You could watch someone's bag while they go to the restroom. There are so many ways you're going to touch other people's lives. And they're going to touch yours. And there's no way to know when it's going to happen. So you have to keep living. I wouldn't want to die knowing that tomorrow the barista will give me free oat milk just to be nice. Isn't that just fucking beautiful? When you see a good post, you can say, hee-hoo! When you see a post is bad, the post is wow-woo. Wow-woo. Shut the fuck up. Behold the two-handed sword that belonged to the Bavarian Prince Elector Maximilian II, 1689. Yeah, what style requirements do you need to use it? Okay, based on the handle, I'm gonna say at least 20 points in strength, but at least if you two-hand it, you could probably start at like 10 or 15. And because it looks like a smaller, more aerodynamic blade, a dexterity of probably 12. And you know what? Based on the bleeding benefits, maybe if you have some points in, uh, in faith or anything like that, because it could be an occult weapon that might get you some extra damage. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. I just had to commit an act of senseless violence to satisfy a primal urge in me that I do not understand and cannot resist. What were you saying before? I think Bo Burnham deserves hate. What? Why is that, Pocket Show? Literally no reason. He seems like a genuinely nice guy. Okay, some of you are saying he isn't nice, some of you say he is, I don't care. This post isn't about Bo Burnham. It's about making people I don't know anything about suffer for no reason. Pocketcho, what's your real name? Romaine. Why are you all believing this? That's lettuce. Hmm. I wish to go to a graveyard, one near a park during the night, and scream. Feel like that would be therapeutic. You're absolutely right. Andy, uh, put me in a graveyard. I I'm going to do some screaming for a second. Ah! 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 
You live in an artificially constructed social order. I live in the wizard tower that I built illegally inside my head. Why would you have like zoning laws in your head? It's like a fish tank in there. Another weird thing about beer is that it has like weird masculinity connections to it. Yeah, I'll get a beer. I don't want one of them girly drinks. Like, okay, Jimothy, you're drinking wheat juice with 5% alcohol content, and my mixed fruity girly drink is 40% alcohol, and it tastes great. I, uh, I too hate the taste of barley soda. It's been a hot minute since I baked my weird bread. Mmm. Crabohydrates. Kind of feel like I need to go outside and be absorbed by fog or something. Become one with the creatures in the mist. Become the physical manifestation of the sound the highway makes in the distance. Be my own liminal space. Self-care, you know? Yeah, those sound fun. Andy, you probably put a lot of work when you threw me in the graveyard. Just throw me into the fog. I'll figure shit out. Whee! Which is better, a dog with a backpack or a dog in a backpack? Clearly a dog with a backpack containing a smaller dog. True. And I actually Googled this myself to see if it exists, and I bestow it upon you. Behold. Perfection. You know, I'd call you a fuckboy, but since I don't know your gender, I'm just gonna call you a fuck. Ah, uh, the one true ally. Sorry, Mom and Dad. In my house, elbows on the table are mandatory. You can do whatever you want at your house, but as long as you're under my roof, you will wear your hat to dinner, Grandpa. I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. We're sorry, your Salem Witch trial has expired. Please upgrade to a Salem Witch premium now. Ah, shit, I don't have $4.99. Fuck! A capybara among guinea pigs. The king rests among his citizens. All is well. Today I learned that the shortest marriage in recorded history was three minutes! On the way out of the courthouse, the bride tipped over and fell. Instead of helping her up, the groom called her stupid. On the spot, the bride insisted the magistrate annul the wedding, and the magistrate complied. Good for her. There's nothing worse than getting an email. Getting two emails. There's one thing worse than getting an email. I, I've got bad news about the cardinality of natural numbers. Oh, fuck. I hope this isn't a personal question, but what gender identity do you label yourself as? If any pre-existing one applies to you, I mean. Labels are for people who are good at making decisions. I am not one of them. Bro, oh my god. Vanilla extract. Vanilla extract smells wonderful, but tastes horrific on its own. But mixed with sugar and flour and cream, it tastes just like it smells. We need the support of others to reach our full potential! No man is an island. Everyone is vanilla extract. Back in the 1800s, you could just show up to a town and be like, I'm a wealthy prince, or I'm a doctor, and no one checked if you were lying. I was born at the wrong time, because in that madness, I would thrive. There is no discourse between Gen Z and millennials. We're siblings. Now come on, little bro. I'll take you to AMC. Yeah, we can go there early and play the arcade games before the movie starts. Can I get popcorn and a drink to share? We sure can, buddy. We sure can. Remember when Tyler Cruz says, I throw my hands up in the air sometimes? I appreciated his restraint. You can't just throw your hands up in the air whenever. There's a time and a place. And that time was 2010, and that place was the club. Good on you, Tyler Cruz. So that sword in the last video is much bigger than it looks? Oh, 50 strength. Gotcha. Wow, was I wrong. Today I learned that Jack Black caused an earthquake in New Zealand while performing tribute because the crowd was bouncing so hard that it registered on the Richter scale. The power of Jack Black. I can mentally see his face when he learns they did this. <laughs> I can't do. I wonder what's happening right now over at Hogwarts. Probably education since Harry doesn't go there anymore. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Pull up to the gay function and people are just dressed like this. Okay, but is it gay or is it archaeology? What if it's both? Mm. Reading comic books provides you with a level of tolerance for not knowing what the fuck someone is talking about and pressing on anyway. That is absolutely invaluable to the humanities, actually. Yeah. Combined faces of the top 1,800 MLB players. There he is. Joe Baseball. He's going to do the sports thing. Playing Doom on a pregnancy tester. Why? Because. Doom Maternal. 
Oh, so Doom Guy's name is Gregden. Yes, yes, blood for the blood god and all, but when you think about it, why would the blood god want blood? I mean, they're the blood god. Presumably, they already have blood. You're giving them the one thing that, by definition, they already have in great supply. Yeah, I don't think you end up the blood god by saying, yeah, that seems like a reasonable amount of blood. Was gonna get McDonald's pancakes for lunch, but realized that's unhealthy and expensive, so instead I went home and now I'm making my own pancakes. It's not healthy, I just feel more smug about it. <laughs> I mean, I love how cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. I wish I could do that. Same. Andy, quick, poorly photoshop my eyeballs dilating. It's time to be dumb. Ben Affleck is one of those people who cannot work period dramas at all. He has the face that knows about emails. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why does it work? Girl, girl help! The popular fan and interpretation of my favorite character is stupid as fuck! Oh fuck, girl, let's get it! The Founding Fathers writing the Declaration of Independence. This is gonna make such a good Minecraft roleplay. Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna need you to never ever say those words ever again. I mean, me. Hey, look, raw. Yes. Listen. Yes, chef. Don't you dare. Comment again. Reality is crumbling. What is this account? I'm just a guy doing things like sharing pictures of my cat, answering your questions, telling fun stories, stealing gender, struggling to comprehend the sheer magnitude of the universe. You know. Huge. Something about transparent purple plastic makes the 90s kid in me react like an excited chimp. Me sees this. Yes, 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 yes! Are you a fisherman? Because I think you're a real catch. You spelled real wrong. Throw this one back in the water, boys. We got ourselves a city slicker. You guys realize that this scene means that a group of animators would have had to have asked themselves, okay, now how would a tortilla move? Reasons why I love Pixar. I asked my brother for a glass of water, and he brought me back a cup of ice and said, Wait. <laughs> Good one. I'm not like other girls. I'm an evil wizard. And yet you don't have the URL. I'd cast a fireball at you if you were worth the spell slot. If I needed a theme blocked in URL to signal people that I'm an evil wizard, I would have quit out of shame already. Ha! Got him! NFTs are images you can buy and own with money that you shut up! Shut the fuck up! We already have DeviantArt adoptables. What the fuck are you on about? What are you reinventing? Adoptables that also fuck up the planet? Just shut up! I'm including a link to a DeviantArt profile with please in the name whose icon is a specific gif of an anime girl shaking her head in disgust at you. <sighs> yeah, about that. Andy, uh, that image I attached to this picture, uh, put it up at the Curb Your Enthusiasm music and go. A movie where every scene takes place in America has a garish red and blue filter on it. At one point, there's an exterior shot of the White House, but the flagpole above the main entrance is flying the Canadian flag. This is never remarked upon. Later on, there's a scene where the American president, who is inexplicably wearing a Coast Guard dress uniform, gazes pensively out the Oval Office window, through which the Statue of Liberty is clearly visible in the middle distance. And then he turns to his desk. And it's a picture of Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog. I am so kind to my mutuals. Sometimes I don't even block them, even though they put those men from Supernatural on my dash. Hey! A portly kind dad from Wisconsin trying psychedelics for the first time, and his best description is, Eh, hey, they kind of make you think outside the bun, you know? A cute girl told me she has a lot of plants in her house, and I told her for some fucking reason, Damn, the oxygen at your house must be mad crisp! And somehow still got her number, so chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. My theory is that people my age are like this because we were unintentionally brainwashed by the Windows Media Player visualizations. Don't know with what, but it had an effect. When programs fucking autocorrect more than three to heart emoji and colon parentheses to smile emoji, do you have any idea what you've just done? What you just fucking destroyed? Get in the Halloween spirit and make a ghost! Uh, that's called murder, and I heard somewhere that, that it was illegal. Hey, don't be a fucking downer. It's fucking Halloween. Go make a ghost. And I didn't end this on a scream, so... <clears throat> Gonna have to fix that. Andy, you can do whatever you like for the noise I'm about to conjure out of my mouth. Uh, it's entirely up to you.
Alright, before we get started, I just want to say, I know I said more than in that last video when I should have said less than. I'm very sorry. It won't happen again. Please return my wife. I miss her very, very much. Please stop. Stop torturing me like this. Guys, it's just more than versus less than. Please. Mom's not home. You know what that means. Walks around the house talking to imaginary audience for three hours straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. URL changes don't affect me because I could recognize my mutuals by touch alone. By smell. I would know them blind. By the way their breath came and their feet struck the earth. I would know them in death and at the end of the world. That's cool. I don't know who anyone is anymore. Time to get into new media. Sure hope I won't get unreasonably attached to a random fictional character. By Talos, this can't be happening. Penny Parker, otherwise known as the perfect woman. Snapcube, fan dubs, or into the Spider-Verse? Yes. Absolutely fascinated by this raw pixels on an emulator versus how the game was actually supposed to look on old TV's Twitter. Yeah, people say old games don't look as good as they remember. It's because they legitimately don't. The fuzz from CRT monitors was something that was definitely accounted for and taken advantage back in the day when it came to video games. While this effect is noticeable in 3D games, it's much more visible when it comes to 2D sprites. Look how much more depth these simple sprites from Princess Peach and Bowser from Super Mario RPG seem to have seen through the dots of a CRT TV screen. I somehow did not know this. One of the clearest examples of this is using the effects for transparent waterfalls in the Mega Drive Sonic games. Look at that. Perfection. Sorry, can't hang out. Too scared. So, what do you do for a living, 997? I try my best. Flat Bigfoot Theory. They never caught him on camera because he turns 90 degrees and becomes too thin to see. Flat Earth Theory is out. Flat Bigfoot Theory is in. This is the hottest take I've ever heard. Peter's spider sense would make him an absolute legend at Kahoot. Now, I'm not saying that MJ finds out Peter is Spider-Man because he's so good at Kahoot. I'm just saying that she's sure as heck going to figure out how the fuck he keeps on winning. We... Fuck's this? Fuck are these? We didn't have these. What dimension is this from? Andy, you ever seen these in your life? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that private pile? Bob Ross would have fucking loved Minecraft. It's your world where you can do anything you want, you can put anything you want in it, and you could put the happy little trees anywhere. This is the purest thing I have read today. And then he sees the fan base and decides to turn away. My life is fucking ruined. It's dark. It's dismal. There's no hope. There's no sign of land. There's nothing to live for. Shaking, crying, and screaming in my boots. Post canceled, my package showed up. Whoever made fucking Calibri the default font for Word, I just want to talk. You know, just talk. Have a nice little civil conversation. Just want to talk. Just want to talk. I just want to talk, you piece of shit. I hope no one low-key hates me. High key hate me. Hate me with every fiber of your being. Go big or go home! Probably bad RPG idea. Your halfling PC must protect their town from the biggest threat they've ever faced. Band of lawyers from somewhere called the Shire with a cease and desist order. <laughs> okay, that's good. I can remember that one. Why is the Star Trek fandom so calm and collected and then the Star Wars fandom is like running by on fire constantly? Because one has Spock and the other has Anakin. <laughs> this is my favorite comment so far. Feeling extremely. This post was to have more words in it, but I think it can stand alone. Pocket Cho, you're weird. In the grand scheme of weirdness, I am but a footnote. VeggieTales was nuts because sometimes I'll forget it was thinly veiled Christianity lessons, but then I'll see a clip that's like, and then the son of God was born. And I'm like, what was that, you fucking tomato? And then Larry just sings a silly song, like, 
Wait, cir circle back. <laughs> What'd you say? Before you dismiss yourself with, well, I'm used to it, consider that maybe you shouldn't have to be. Hey, where the fuck is the clown music coming from? You. <sighs> do you ever do anything except whine like a little bitch? Sometimes I whine like a big bitch. Fuck you. I swear, if the wizard doesn't let me out of his abandoned salt mine soon, I'm gonna fucking lose it! What did you do to be put in the salt mine? I may have eaten a special wizard meal, but I think he should let me out, to be honest. Was it good? Was it worth it? Are you able to bear the weight of your sin? I'm not gonna lie. It was fucking delicious. I'd fucking do it again. Oh, wait, shit, you're the fucking wizard in disguise, seeing if I learn my lesson, aren't you? Fuck! Ten years in the abandoned salt mine! The weird thing about having a Tumblr for so long is that every once in a while, someone will like a post of mine that I literally do not recall making, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And how'd this person find it? I await the day one of my dumb thoughts gets put into a PM Seymour video. Once in a lifetime moment, tell me a dumb thought right now. This is my moment. <clears throat> what if hummingbirds replaced mosquitoes? Look at that deadly beak. Could take more blood than a tiny bug ever could. God help us all. That's so scientific. It's stupid and I love it. God, I hope whatever bullshit happens next is funny. Well, only one way to find out. Andy, I'm not ending this on screen. End it with the iconic reverb fart noise. And go. Grocery store should pick a random hour every day where the employees can chase you around the aisles. And if they catch you, you become produce. Neglected to mention that this game is mediated by a sorcerer. Guys, what do you think guys' grocery games is? No, Pavlov was the scientist. The dog is Pavlov's monster. While unobserved, Schrodinger is simultaneously the doctor and the monster. Can I go stand in the creek? Do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. God, finally a reasonable request. Jesus. When I was 10 or so, I was so deathly afraid of vampires, so I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat pocket. And if I was out at night with, like, my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like, imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed her vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Kids are gonna go places. It's a red. California. Excellent year. It's a late harvest. Subtle expression of, dare I say, peach? Mm. Exquisite aroma. Now I shall cleanse my palate by knocking this glass off the table. Marvelous. Why are trans women so, you know, Yo, it's the trance. Oh, and the woman. My God, you're so right. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just gonna refrost the thing you were defrosting. I lost a follower immediately after posting this. I found the line. The limit of tolerability. The line exists! It just occurred to me that asexuals would make great secret agents because the power of seduction doesn't work on us but we could still utilize the power of seduction against our enemies without getting carried away and just guess asexual secret agents. Okay, but what if the enemy agent were also ace? Then you just get two aces trying to seduce each other and not getting anywhere. That'd be super funny to watch though. Hi Shepard. I'm making an NFT. It's called Fucking Ugly Monkey. It's the world's ugliest monkey you have ever seen in your entire life. It's worth $200,000. Yeah, I'd like to purchase it. You disgust me. Shocking how many people don't know that hens lay non-fertilized eggs and think the yolk they're eating is a baby chicken. Once tried desperately to make my friend understand that yolks were not, like, a liquefied potentiality of a chicken, and she looked at me for a while and then said, but they're both yellow. Behold, a chicken. All of the Holmes adaptations always have Holmes and Watson running straight into action like we eat mysteries for breakfast, bitches. 
But the fact of the matter is, is that in a study in Scarlet Watson was so shy that it took him six weeks to ask Holmes what he does for a living, which is also valid. Poor Watson. I feel you. So hard. But what does Tiki Nando's mean? It has to have a meaning. Andy, take it from here. All right, so, mate, it's hard to explain, mate. It's just like one day you'll be just, you know, with your mates having a look in JD, and you might fancy a curry club at the Spoons, but your lad Callum, who's an absolute ledge, and the Archbishop of Banterbury, will be like, bruvs, let's have a cheeky Nando's instead, and you'll be like, top, let's smash it. What the hell does this say? According to Miku Hatsune in two Twitter comments, creepers can be made of leaves and they sound like dry leaves. I mean, crunch. So, you can make tea out of creepers? My god. Tea burn! Hey, wasn't I Carly that guy that girl boss too close to the sun because he was down for Apollo? Icarus! Orc facts. If you hold an orc up to your ear and listen carefully, you will hear him. He is impressed with your strength. You will be married in the spring. Um, there's only one gender, buddy. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen someone say in Roblox. You tell me Roblox is the one gender? Ooh! Today in amusing Middle English, I came across an adjective meaning noble or lovely or beautiful. It can also mean, in various contexts, graceful, lush, splendid, mirthful, or majestic. The adjective in question is walk. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Someone reading my writing. Wow, great story! Me sticking my hands in the plot holes. Thanks! It has pockets. Plot holes are merely the pockets in which your audience keeps their fan fiction ideas. This is galaxy brain level understanding of story structure. Pam Seymour! As a tiny octopus, let me tell you an octopus fact but only if you wish to receive an octopus fact. Bestow it upon me, tiny octopus. Octopus arms have a mind of their own. Two thirds of an octopus's neurons reside in its arms, not its head. As a result, the arms can problem solve how to open a shellfish while the owners are busy doing something else, like checking out a cave for more edible goodies. The arms can even react after they've been completely severed. In one experiment, Severed arms jerked away in pain when researchers pinched them. This is beautiful information. Thank you, Tiny Octopus. To be honest, I think some people are rude as hell to certain artists that apply exaggerated proportions to their art styles. Some may decide to utilize a cartoonish style where a certain part of the body is bigger or smaller than the other. It's obvious that the artist is skilled and knows how the body's anatomy work but choose to apply exaggeration to their rather harmless style. But some people will be snarky and say, Yo, why her waist so small in proportion to the head? Like, dude, you know damn well the artist is doing it intentionally. Why are the boobs and thighs so big? Because it rocks. And that's that on that. I think part of the reason why social skill lessons are always so vague and surface level is because if neurotypicals actually try to explain their unspoken social rules, they'd have to face how nonsensical and messed up a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm creating upsetting spells in my fucked up wizard tower today. Not that I don't believe you, but like, what makes the tower fucked up? Asbestos! My sisters will not stop referring to them as the Brothers Jonas. As though it's 1705 or some shit! Every time I read this post, my brain reads it as the Bronus Jethers. I kinda did that in a couple of takes. <laughs> I'm laughing at this for a full fucking hour. Tumblr should institute a mail forwarding option, where if you get an ask and don't want to answer, you can send it along to someone else, and they'll receive it like the ask and message them. I'm aware this would make the website worse, but bear with me. It's a good idea. Is Tumblr still relevant? Tumblr couldn't maintain its popularity against other social media platforms. Today, Tumblr is not as popular as it used to be for varying reasons. However, the platform is still online with occasional posts from its users. I I'm sorry, occasional posts from users? Oh, oh, fucking, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! 
Andy, hold, hold me back. I'm gonna fuck this page up. You think you can just fucking say shit like that to me? I've got 27 hours of content on this. I am the Tumblr Man. You don't fuck with the Tumblr Man! Do you wish you were seeing somebody? Yeah. A therapist. Oh? I kinda need a hug, but I'd rather die than let anyone know that I'm a human being that desperately craves intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Thor is a blank slate when it comes to Earth culture, and the way he consumes it, it is very different from someone who grew up here. Bruce Banner at the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo painted this. Thor. I'm not stupid, Bruce. I know the Ninja Turtles aren't real. Nintendo pushed the Animal Crossing update early because they knew leaving it for the turbulently charged Event Horizon November 5th would be catastrophic. Straight up fact. What's up, girl? You look foreboded and malicious. Donkey to dragon. Alternatively, all of you and Lady D. Just saying. Screw this. I'm gonna start my own website. I'll call it Twimbler. It'll be a cross between Tumblr and Twitter. Features. Chronological dashboard. Everyone's profile layout is the same. Every other post is an ad. I'm bringing back the 140 character limit. Retweet bleeds will display under the original post. And the search feature won't work right. Thanks! Hate it. Mm, cut him in half. Hot dog or hamburger style, boss. She's out here making owl noises. Who? Exactly. Some people write fan fictions as love letters to canon. This is hate mail. Ooh, strong start. Reminds me of this I found a couple of days ago. Notes. Please understand that I consider canon to be a suggestion at best, and if anything here contradicts canon, no it doesn't. I'm the captain now. The cycle of four or five Christmas songs that retailers play on a loop from November 1st can be considered psychological warfare on their staff members. Ugh. I wish ancient people preserved their writing and artifacts better. I write in electronic signals on a piece of hardware that can't retain its efficiency for more than a few decades. Time to laser print my entire blog on titanium plates and bury them underground. BRB etching my one-star Yelp review of the sheet metal supplier that sold a shitty copper on a granite slab. My surgeon came out and told my mom and brother on Tuesday that I had been down and out for about two weeks. My brother. Two weeks? Holy shit! Surgeon. Well, consider this. She and I just had a knife fight, and I won because she was asleep during it. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Your surgeon sounds fucking hysterical. <laughs> a magician asks you to pick a card. Any card, in fact. You do. They ask you to put the card back in the pack. Anywhere in the pack, in fact. You do. They walk away. Ten years later, your wife gives birth to the Six of Clubs. Is this your card? The midwife asks in a familiar voice. What the fuck? See, I thought I had more time on this, and I'm speaking this as I'm doing the post in audio and realize this feels too short. So, Andy, you know what time it is. There was a young man from Cork who got limericks and haikus confused. This is simultaneously comforting and uncomfortable. Uncanny Valley Poetry. I love it! Knuckle tattoos that say, escaped biohazard. That's way too many letters. Do you have radiation poisoning or something? Ah! Fool that you are. You forget that you too are mortal. The elephant dies as surely as the ant. But one exists on a scale beyond the other's comprehension. The ant can bite and sting for days, yet its greatest victory can only to be noticed. And it being so, crushed beneath the magnitude of its foe's attention. Do you dare draw their gaze and risk that fate? Add this to the list of raw-ass lines, lads. Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings and putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery acid spaghetti. Well, update once they finished it. <sighs> don't... don't do this.
You'll understand when you're older. I am older, and I understand absolutely nothing. I actually understand less. I know a guy who's bought in entirely to Microsoft's ecosystem. He's got a Windows 10 computer, a Windows phone, uses Microsoft Edge, and has Bing as his main search engine. He refers to looking things up on the internet as binging it. Binging it. Very surreal. Never met anyone else like that. That was the devil. Dude, that was my cousin. Love is dead and never existed. All you did was betray me as I lay sick and festering. You are the definition of dread. Are you okay? My cat stole my fucking garlic bread. If I sounded like doof, I'd literally never suffer from voice dysphoria again. Accent so thick, gender can't be perceived. Yo! You get it. Every time I hear the phrase, great minds think alike, I am inevitably reminded that the German equivalent is Zwei dumm und Gedanke. Two idiots, same thought. Yeah. I had an ex-boyfriend threaten to publish my nudes when we broke up. So I published them myself with his threatening message and tagged all of his friends, relatives, and potential new girlfriend. I think the boy still has whiplash from that plot twist. You're my hero. All right. I reflected on the self. I'm 100% sure the beasts are the issue here. Hell yeah, bro. Time for tap surgery. Oh, sorry, homie. I see now you said beasts, like like the animal, not, not breasts, the, the words for boobs. Did not mean to threaten you. This is so fucking funny. Being alone in a public restroom is like, I own this place. And then someone else walks in and it's like, get out of my fucking house. Y'all really actually thirsty for the con man built like Scrappy-Doo? Okay. Puppy power to ya, I guess. We have bisexuals, monosexuals, gay, straight, lesbian, and null sexuals. No romantic or sexual feelings for anyone. This implies the existence of the fabled trisexual. Please reveal thyself. <clears throat> uh, Andy, have me burst through the screen with the pride flag I'm gonna put right behind you. Right fucking here, baby! Bruh. Go write three sentences on your current writing project. No! The feminine desire to be a man. The masculine desire to be a woman. The non-binary desire to be asleep. Hawaiian shirt covered in blood, it is a look. Vampire on vacation? Assassin whose target has led them to a tropical resort trying to blend in? Guy who's just having a really weird day? It vibes whichever way. Sitcom where people get gradually killed off in their spot and the opening title theme is replaced with dead silence. I'd like to question your definition of sitcom. I want this for Friends, except it's just Ross. Ross is gone. You just, you know, do the Friends sequence, all of Ross's space, gone. It's gone. No homo. Well, why the hell not? Take the day off from being the bigger person and choose violence. You deserve it. Attention, bisexuals. I am authorizing use of the plasma beam. <laughs> what, what does that mean? And do you have any clue what that means? People who are nice to me in online games, even though I suck, I owe you my life. People who communicate in online games by jumping around or spinning a circle instead of using the chat function. I love you. Be communication. Just like a piece.
I saw Venom 2 in Taiwan a few days ago, and when Venom said good evening to Mrs. Chen in Mandarin, all the little old ladies in my theater collectively let out an impressed, ooh. Got a lot of Mrs. Chen's in the audience, I see. I would like to talk more about how there was a crowd of little old ladies at the showing of Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. All articles about Tumblr's decline boil down to two things. You can't get famous on there, and you can't make money on there. And they don't get that's why we like it here. Oh, can't swear. You can absolutely get famous there. It is, however, inexplicably a bad thing. Actually, Tumblr's declined from what I've been told by thousands upon thousands of comments. They took away NSFW posts because of some bot thing. And little do those people know, that shit didn't actually fucking work. Please remember that I am a Canadian illustrator, and it is fucking bizarre to come to me with medical questions. Why would you limit yourself to drawing Canadians? Everyone else, unfollow me. I want to be alone with Arsnoff. If I do end up owning One Direction, I would set them free. Mabel Pines. Winner! But guys, what if... What if the reason we get so attached to fictional characters is because they were supposed to be our soulmates, but we were born in different universes? Why would you do this? I only have four moods. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck me, and fuck you! I empathize with the above, but I have an additional four moods to add. Fuck yeah, fuck no, fuck my life, fuck everything. And don't forget the inevitable, fuck it. And for those who have just given up, fuck. This is beautiful. Oh shit, I just noticed a blood moon tonight. Who pissed off Sienna? I warned y'all. I warned y'all about commenting on a figure. And now, it's go time. Andy, drop the fucking moon on him. Let's go. You know, if Tumblr was a website for sharing recipes, it would be called Yumbler. How high are you? 170 centimeters. Thanks for asking. Real talk though, has anyone else just thrown away a whole Tupperware container because you left food in there for way too long and now you're afraid to open it? All of you are so valid. Writing prompt. Produce an emotionally moving one sentence story. Hot dog fall out of bun directly in the store drain. Oh my god. I am the only one who- There are seven billion people on this earth. I don't make characters. I break myself into pieces and then give the pieces names. Cut my life into pieces. This is my new OC. What the f- What the f- Bumper stickers shouldn't be like political opinions and fandoms. They should solely be facts about you and your driving that other drivers might like to know. I want a bumper sticker that says, I'm afraid of left turns and I know you can make a right on red, but this car doesn't turn so good in the rain, so we're gonna wait until it's green. They'll still honk, but I'll know I've pled my case before my peers. Behold, the Humbucker Electric Kazoo, a screeching kazoo that plugs into an amplifier. This is proof God exists and loves us. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's just a kazoo with the microphone shoved into it. Andy, back me up here. Does that, does that look like what I'm saying? It's always weird when people get arrogant after amassing a bit of a following on Tumblr as if they didn't get it by saying dumb shit that's forgotten a month later. Like, bro, you're in this shit with the rest of us. Having a window seat in the clown car doesn't stop you from being a clown. Having a window seat in the clown car doesn't stop you from being a clown. God, I wish I could have put that in my yearbook. The dopest thing about horses is that they're basically grass engines. Like, grass goes in. Fast comes out. Most things that produce fast, like cheetahs and cars, use much more heavily processed grass, like horses and oil. And yet here horses are, producing the fast with only the grass. Are you, are you okay? I wish I could read a sentence once and understand it the first time. Not me taking two tries to understand this post.
It took me three tries to properly read the sentence. I literally had to read this three times to understand it. Your password hint is, you know. I'm gonna go back in time and kick my own ass. I'm an average American man. I work 15 hours in hamburger mine to buy one rock and roll disc. This is a KGB spy being questioned by the police in 1985. I can't remember what my personality is supposed to be like. I wish I'd written it down. Boy, I hope I don't have to fight my evil shadow self today. Uh, hey. No fucking way! All right, before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to say, uh, Andy has officially edited over 50 of my videos, and I cannot thank him enough for it. Like, it's made my life so much easier. You're a terrific friend, and I cannot thank you enough for stepping in and helping me out as I could. Uh, bless you. I love you. Okay, moving on. The most important tool is respect. <laughs> Friend. Hey, how long does your ideal hug last? 38 to 45 minutes. That's really impractical. You said ideal, not realistic. Taking my brain out of my head and washing it in hot, soapy water. Have you tried putting it in rice? Okay, in a comical turn of events, I, OP of this post, have been a smartphone repair technician for five years, and I'm going to tell you that that never works. Like, ever. It might turn on again afterward, but it's never the rice that made it happen. The damage is done, and it can get worse if you don't clean the thing properly. If you drop your phone in water, open it up and clean gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. This has been a PSA. Taking my brain out of my head and cleaning it gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. Me reblogging from anyone I don't follow. I'm introducing diversity into the gene pool. This will make my mutuals dashes stronger and healthier. You'll come into my house. You'll treat me with respect the way I treat you. And we both enjoy each other's companies and value each other's friendship. Mwah! I love you. Ginger ale is just Sprite, but more spicy. Oh, sure. And the Sistine Chapel is just a room with some paint in it. Hey, how did ancient cultures figure out about the solstice? Like, girl, I would not notice that. Not a lot else going on back then. I trust Tumblr info more than I trust Twitter info. Hey, I heard they're making a show about a pansexual who's an introvert and an asexual who's an extrovert. Get out of town! They already made it. It's called SpongeBob. My body is not a temple. It's a thermos. For soup. Mmm. Delicious soup. I don't care about shipping, I'm an adult. I love that and I hope you're having fun, but I'm gonna go gorge myself on every silly little interaction these fake people have and live like a king. Does Pokemon Go work on the moon? If so, can I borrow a rocket, NASA? Pokemon Go doesn't even work on Earth right now, god damn! Hey listen, if you're a trans guy and you loved Mulan as a kid, congratulations. Shang successfully made a man out of you. This makes me really happy, actually. So I did a little research, and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Who knew? Okay, so I was at the mall eating potatoes, and in the corner of my eye, I saw what I thought was a dog. So I quickly turned my head to look, and it was a fucking printer. What? I've read, I've, I've read some weird statements, but... What did this say? Writing prompt. You actually write something instead of just reading the prompts. Shut up! Folks, someday you're gonna be writing, and you're gonna put something on paper and hear a voice say, I know this is what you want, but will people like it? And I'm here to tell you that that is the devil talking, and you do whatever you damn well please. If fandom has taught me anything, it also has taught me that there are at least five people in the world who will want it regardless of what it is, and they will find you. Warlock patron idea. It's literally just the DM. The DM, as a person, is your warlock's patron. Bonus points if your character knows that they're just, like, a regular person, but also somehow gives them magic powers. For any cool warlock shit, you have to appeal directly to the DM, but in character, which is unreasonably meta, but I love the idea of a warlock just being kind of like, For the love of fuck, Jeff, can I please have my spell slots back? Oh my god. Oh my god, Andy. Andy. Andy! I know what we could do! Write that down, write that down! <gasps> Yahoo Answers, how do you exist? Because if I was a simulation, then my actions would be governed by at least a rudimentary logic. 
And let me tell you, friend, they are fucking not. I think we, as a culture, have moved too far away from fantasy films, where every plot thread is like, the dragon rider and a werewolf joined a crew of sky pirates and hit a storm of cloud eels, but luckily they were saved by a friendly pod of star whales, or whatever the fuck was going on with movies like Stardust and Time Bennett's. It doesn't necessarily make a good film, but I feel like there's something deep in our lizard brains that craves stories entirely made up of weird bullshit. And that's why Treasure Planet is the best Disney movie ever. Hey, why my hand shaky? Your skeleton is ready to hatch. This is so fucking ominous, thank you. You know, I talk a lot of shit for someone who can't choose rude dialogue options in games because I'm scared of hurting a video game character's feelings. Writing can't be that hard. All it is is just putting words in front of each other, right? Update, the wrong words are in front of each other. This is the worst thing ever to happen. I have a mouth, and I will scream. <sighs> ah! Recording Tumblr in darkness. Recording Tumblr in darkness. Recording Tumblr in darkness. Andy, please turn on the light. Ah, there we go. Your avocados are forfeit. Enjoy eating regular toast. You fool. I am not a millennial. Let's hope it stays that way. Hmm. You know, some authors could really use a plot twist limit or a you've killed too many characters already notification. You know? I'm really glad Fight Me has replaced Sue Me in the common vernacular because I don't have any money, but I do have fists and I am always angry. Found family, but they're also absolutely horrendous people. Andy, put up five seconds of the intro of the image that's about to fall this and go. Going to stop paying attention. I've noticed enough. Don't let people tell you your attraction to fire is abnormal or hazardous. Prometheus doesn't have his liver eaten every day for you to ignore the allure of arson. My god, he's right. Ah, uh, the evil wizard curse of having a pretty okay time? I could make it happen for a price. Status afflicted. Warm and cozy under the blanket. You may not leave until this status effect has worn off. Oh, thank God. You want a fucking recipe? Here's your fucking recipe, you computer idiot. Ten tablespoons of salt. Can I substitute sugar for salt? You can go to hell forever. Fitted sheets? Well, then why don't they? Why don't they? The only fit they cause is the mental kind. Hey, come back here and share that with the rest of the class. How the fuck is California in a drought? There's water to the left of y'all. Like, go get it. It's always been there. You know how hard it is to take salt water and make it drinkable? Not that simple. Why don't you start with removing the salt from me attitude? I keep telling my human he's a good boy, but he just keeps asking me. Why won't he listen? Thank God you haven't manifested in Reddit, Pukacho. <clears throat> r slash Puckacho, 27,000 followers, at least. Eight rainbows. Wow! Reblog for good luck. Hmm, leprechaun convention. Leprechaun. God damn it! Hey, yo, new pronouns just dropped. He, in the way you call an animal you don't know the gender of a little guy. She, in the way sailors refer to their boats. And they, in the way people say they say that blank. A faceless and all-knowing collective. You are anything, you are everything. I love thinking about my little fictional guy. I understand him like no one else can. <laughs> and he sent that to Amy for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to several experiences in my youth, I cannot just walk up and join the circle of people talking. But it does sound lovely, thank you. Yeah, go ahead and mingle our four of the scariest words of the English language. Thank you and good night. Right to repair doesn't go deep enough. If you can't hack, modify, reprogram, or otherwise alter the function of your device, you don't own it. Demand and assert a right to deface. Book Hater Club, where we talk about whatever book we read recently that we hated. You're not allowed to say anything positive. Haters only. Physically fighting someone over their opinion is not only allowed, but actively encouraged. Okay, Ratatouille is a good movie and all, but can we stop ignoring the weird subplot about how it's wrong for, like, rats to steal? Like... What are they supposed to do then? Buy food? From the grocery store? With what money, Ratatouille? I feel like I'm crazy. 
They make a big deal about rats stealing? What, like they have options? What do you think would happen if a rat shows up at the food bank to feed his wife and kids? He'd be killed, Remy! Last night I dreamed that scientists used a really bad picture of me to prove humans are closely related to goats, and I was so insulted that I woke up. So after Belle and Beast got married, they have to like buy all new furniture since half their castle turned into people. Hmm, Beauty and the Beast 2, the trip to Ikea. Concept. Robot Rebellion. Except instead of going all, kill all humans, they just start doing weird shit with no clear purpose. And if anyone tries to get them to explain what they're doing or why, they're just like, Because fuck you is why! Aggressively moving every freestanding object in the greater New York area six inches to the left. Left relative to what? The robot replies, Relative to your mother! Black plus green, radioactive. Black plus blue, futuristic. Black plus red, edgy. Black plus yellow? <clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, day by day I regret making this post. Writing prompt! You rush into a church to stop the love of your life from marrying the wrong person. Not paying attention, you barge in yelling, I OBJECT! Only to realize it's a funeral. The deceased immediately rises in perfect health. All eyes turn to you. You're welcome! I yell at them and run away again. Not to sound like an old fart here, but my philosophy of our video games is like, a kid living out in the middle of bumpfuck nowhere with no internet access for miles should be able to purchase a game from Walmart, take that game home, put it in their console, and play the whole game with all of its features, and the only thing lack of internet effects is the inability to play online with others. Nothing else. Like, there shouldn't be missing entire chunks of games because they can't download a patch. The game shouldn't be borderline empty or unplayable without a patch. Fucking really! Chase. I know, but seriously, what the fuck does it take to get on a PM Seymour VA video? Is it the funny? Or the fucked up? Because most certainly I can do both, sir. What if I offer you some garlic bread? What then? How the fuck are you gonna resist that, chump? Garlic bread? I'm listening, punk. Come and get it, bucko. Come get the fucking garlic, bro! Hey, I hope your onions caramelize. I hope my onions caramelize. I hope we both saute our root vegetables to perfection. Slow cooked onions in loving pan. Okay. Sharing earphones is so romantic until you have to decide who gets Simon and who gets Garfunkel. I always get Garfunkel. Well, maybe my path to getting revenge wouldn't be so bloody and destructive if people didn't keep getting in my way to lecture me about how bloody and destructive a path it is! You take up a sword to kill one guy, and suddenly everyone thinks it's a smart idea to get on your nerves. Ugh. Come on, people. So, how does anyone ever have the time or energy? Executive Function George, who lives in a cave and accomplishes 10,000 tasks per day, is an outlier and should not be counted. How does he have time between eating spiders? The task is eating spiders. Now this is the quality content I come to Tumblr to see. Writing prompt. You are the owner of a magic backpack. Every morning you stick your hand in it, it contains exactly what you need for the day. One morning, it contains a gun. But isn't this the plot of Dora the Explorer? Swipe ain't swiping no more. So today is a prank. I made sheet music print out of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, but replaced the name with Christmas Time Meditation and deleted the words. And I'm going to put it in with the church music and see if the pianist notices. He noticed, and now I can add yelled at by two preset ones to my list of accomplishments. Hey, listen, the two genders are yes or no, and I'm still non-binary. So call me maybe. Ah, Carly they Jepsen. Oh, oh, what's that? Side character? You suddenly decide you want to outshine my main characters and take up a large portion of the plot? That's fine. That's fine. I suddenly have to rewrite my entire outline to make room for all the cool features you spontaneously manifested. Cool. Here, take my chapter POVs. I'll deal with the consequences later. Just fuck it. One thing about girls is that we'll get stoned and eat burgers. All three of them? Huh? How did you know I ate three burgers? Oh wait, you meant the three weed smoking girlfriends. Shit. Actually, strength is one of the funniest stats to dump. Like, oh, 
I'm terribly powerful and scary. My spells will knock you on your ass. I want to bend reality to my will. I lifted up a heavy piece of wood and broke my back. All right. No more cat boys. Cat men. 28-year-old, washed up, depressed cat man downing his fifth whiskey glass and his cat ears twitch depressedly. And then he pushes the empty glass forlornly off the counter. I... I have to draw this, aren't I? Writing prompt. There's a Japanese legend that says your present face is the face of the one you loved most in your past life. You find the secret to time travel and decide to go find your last self. This is actually a cute idea. It's like, oh, you like this face, this one? Yeah, you could try it out for a bit, buddy. Well, the dude I was in love with must have had a great personality. Really confused at how my logo changed to Kermit the Frog? Unless I'm starting to have hallucinations from lack of sleep. Still, mind fucked. Hey, I found someone's Tumblr logged onto this computer and all I did was change the icon. <laughs> the masculine urge to... Light kitchen appliances on fire! Everyone shut the fuck up, I found my soulmate. Yeah. My New Year's resolution is to be violently evil. <laughs> and I will do so right now. Andy? Put up the picture I attached to the zip file I sent. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it! Carpet and shower! Man, these old dudes come here early. Well, it's 5 1 a.m. Better unlock the door. Ah! 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 I am a fortune teller. Waggle dangle bing bang! My crystal ball is telling me you lack foresight and are impulsive. Is it because of this gold watch I bought? Sure, that'll be $10,000. Oh yeah, great, okay, I know this is a prank. I'm gonna open this can and a bunch of snake or glitter is gonna shoot out. Hmm? That was my dad's ashes. Hey Joe, man, you must have done something to make God mad. We don't know what, but come on, man. Just like, I don't know. I mean, you did something. Hey, Mom, are you gonna stop us from doing the milk crate challenge? No. Oh, hey, Ash. Did see you in my window. I'm just eating my Pokemon Master cake. You know, the cake they give you when you're a Pokemon Master. I will be a Pokemon master someday. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I am an insane murder man! Stab! What? What the fuck? Hey, do you want to throw that away? Get back, harlot! Our business is done! I'm taking my seat and leaving! I'll take that seat if it's the last thing I do! Oh, hell yeah, man! Is that a milkshake? Eat a ducky mouse, Sue! <laughs> Aw, sweet, is it milkshake time? Alright, it's been real, but I'm disappearing into the woods forever. You can't just fuck off into the woods! You need to stay here! But he could. And he did. And no one ever saw him again. Why can't you buy the pre-made furniture? Why do you need to assemble it? I like lifting the heavy parts and putting them together. Hey, bro! I like heavy shit and putting things together, too! <laughs> Check it out! My drill has a set of Allen wrench bits! Holy shit. How do I compete with that? Hello, cat. I'm a big fan of yours. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh, it's me, the ghost of Christmas past! Y'all in my house touching my stuff! My stuff in my house! Don't mess with Texas! Don't mess with Texas! But da 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 I'm back. Let's do it. Blinking is like clapping for your eyes. Just remember that your eyelids are always applauding you and cheering you on, even if nobody else is. This website is so inspirational. You know, in theory, you could have your own party member be an improv weapon. I am using the bard to bash this guy's head in. Me thinks, therefore me am. Your reminder that Cookie Clicker is currently 40% off on Steam for $2.99 naughty naughty dollars. Why are they naughty though? 
Currency is inherently evil. It sure is. What others call a rebellious phase, I call the sudden realization I don't deserve to be treated like garbage. It has been said! Reblog if you're LGBT and have bad eyesight. Trying to prove a point to my oculist. I love how fast this is getting notes. We're all bonding over not being able to see shit. Uh, I guess you could say we're bonding over the fact that we can't see straight. Nah. <laughs> The audacity of people not being able to read my mind and create fan content for my stories that I haven't actually written yet? How dare they? Concept, buy pan ace kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. Don't group buy and pan with ace. They're not comparable. They don't share the same type of issues and being ace doesn't make you LGBT. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? <sighs> Concept? By pan ace kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. You're absolutely right. Andy, I roll to Eldritch Blast this horse. Oh sweet, D20. <laughs> Glow ink sacks on Minecraft glitter gel pens. And post. You know, if you ever trip and fall in public, get up, laugh to yourself, and say to anyone looking, Sorry, it's just been so long since I've inhabited a body. Yeah, I did that once. Fell over and saw a guy staring at me, got up and wandered past him, muttering, Too many legs, this body has too many legs. Must fix that in the next phase. Look on his face. Fucking priceless. Cosmic horror this, cosmic horror that. What about cosmic romance? What if the otherworldly being beyond your comprehension has a crush on you? You know, I, I have a thing that gets, that gets pretty close to that. Uh, have, have you checked out Cosmic Wonders yet? The link's right there in the comment pinned. You'll see it. Andy, put a giant hyper-realistic anime finger just shaking and pointing down. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're a thick one, Mr. Grinch. How oh, the Grinch stole your man. Hey, 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 hey! I'm fucking singing here. <clears throat> You're a thick one. Mr. Grinch, you've got butter in those cakes. You keep that as a shaking, cause girl, your turkey bakes, Mr. Grinch. You're a booty dropping shag carpet with the boom, boom, floppy ass quakes. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. You know, sometimes it shocks me too, but Google really is free and it's right there in your hands. You know, I love that this post is both a really wide-eyed appreciation for the amazing time we live in and a really sarcastic, passive-aggressive way to tell people to just fucking Google shit! This post feels like my heart. Please know that when I type a lone question mark, I am tilting my head slightly to the right and I'm staring at you blankly in confusion and curiosity. And if you need that in visuals, Andy... Put up the anime girl tilting gif. I'm sure there's like one out of 300 of the shows that exist with this kind of girl. Oh, you buy? Why don't you buy me some time with a distraction while I crack this safe, you fucking goon? You got it, boss. Makes out with a bank teller and his wife. Finds out my nemesis has a peanut allergy. Puts peanut oil in my water bottle. Goes to meet nemesis. Confesses love. Drinks peanut oil. Kisses them. I think I've won. Plot twist! They planned this. They aren't allergic to peanuts. And now we're dating. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, why don't Jedis just turn off their opponent's lightsabers by force pressing the button? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing so hard because instead of an epic lightsaber fight, they'd just be aggressively switching them on and off. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, no you, no you, no you, no you. A person in the bathroom stall next to me dropped their phone and they had the calculator app open. What? What are you doing math in there for? Oh. Math room. Hey, look at me. You are never too old to nestle under a blanket and get so cozy and warm. Remember this. That bad sensory moment when you're trying to do something that requires a lot of focus and the people around you are talking loudly and you're just sitting there like... Mood. Hey, why stop writing roleplay fiction of band members and founding fathers? Why not go on to write roleplay fanfiction of your mutuals? Um... And Andy, stop me. Andy, stop me from saying something horrible. Just just stop me. Stop me. Please stop me. I, I need them to understand why it's a bad idea, but stop me! Wake up! 
Some customers. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I have to ask you a question. I feel so foolish for not knowing this already. Please, please help me. I'm, just, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Other customers. Answer this question before I even ask her or I will kill you where you stand. Number one has worked in retail. And number two hasn't. Gay people will literally be in time loops. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. What did you do to me? Sorry, I've been so inactive. I was at the circus. You mean at home? In the future, you will stand at the grave of God, which I dug, weeping, and I will be the only creature you will be able to answer to. You will beg for death, but due to what you said today, I will deprive you of that luxury. Jesus Christ, somebody didn't like the Gotham. Looks at Sherlock. He's very small. Um, oh, oh my God. It was me. Guys, this is the very first ever documented use of small. You're all a witness to language history here. The damage you have done to society. In this essay, I won't. Fuck you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, look, I found a summary of the entire Harry Potter series. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I haven't told you, said Dumbledore. That, <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's it. Every, everyone go home. Close it. Harry Potter's done. That, that's it. P.M., not sure if you'll see this, but please say Tony Chocolonely in the thickest New York accent you could possibly muster. <clears throat> I. Hey! Hey, you! You been to Tony's new chocolatier yet? Oh, yeah, man, I've been there. Tony's Chocolonely. It's the best fucking shit on the streets. Me taking yet another BuzzFeed quiz at 2 a.m. Please, please tell me who I am. Oh, Lord BuzzFeed, please grant me thy divine knowledge of the type of bread I am most similar to. Please. Content free. This is the future Tumblr wants. How, how do I, how do I read this? So before we begin today's video, I gotta do one of those addendum things that I have to do. Apparently in the last video, I mistook the abbreviation RPF for Roleplay Fiction. As it turns out by 50 some odd comments, I was wrong. It's real person fiction. To which I say, Andy, hand me the microphone. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> It's still pretty weird! What are you doing? Why do you want to do this with your mutuals? They're people you know! Just stop it! See the grass? Go touch it! Okay, moving on. As I pondered a pronoun change, I began to think of gender less as a scale and more as a landscape. Some people are born in the mountains, while others are born by the sea. Some people are happy to live in a place they were born, while others must make a journey to reach the climate in which they can flourish and grow. Between the oceans and the mountains is a wild forest. That is where I want to make my home. My Uncle Bobby, genderqueer. That was beautiful. You know, you should be able to leave kudos on scientific studies. I liked your paper, dude. Keep at it. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Doctor, dude. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, Guess it's a conference call. Mmm, A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <sighs> Girls go games, dress up games to a picker obsession pipeline. Hey. How dare. Turns out 2020 was tw <laughs> Jesus Christ, my brain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's replay that one. Turns out 2000 was 20 years ago, which is odd because 1980 was also. The thing Gen Z really needs to understand is that no one older than them is ever going to be able to estimate time correctly because the millennium. The millennium will always be not that long ago. Everything since the millennium will always be, in some sense, new. It broke us, okay? It was too big and we'll never quite be able to deal. Was the real millennium bug inside us all along? Yes, and it created a generational 404. Writing prompt. There's a serial killer in your town. Unfortunately for them, you're a necromancer, and you have fun driving that maniac insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need this as a movie. I need this as a movie. If I have to write this movie, I'll do it. Andy, get Amy! We're writing this movie! 
Too many people prayed for the world to not end in 2012, and God panicked and started pulling out rough drafts. Bonus years, side quests, horror stories. He dug up his flop era and started posting it for all to see. You fangirled too hard and now Earth is running 10 seasons past a perfectly written ending, using unlikable background characters and resurrecting terrible plot lines. Congratulations! God! This absolutely isn't gonna happen, but imagine the Mario movie comes out and it turns out he can do a spot-on perfect Mario impression. And everyone on Tumblr gets so fucking mad. That would be pretty funny. Apollo is readying his dodgeball. I hope you're ready for what you've unleashed. You know, gay people will go out in public looking like fucking Willy Wonka and be too scared to ask the waiter for a refill. Look, man, I don't like when waiters have to do the job that I used to do, okay? Okay. Hey, you wanna do math problems together? Why, do you, do you need help with something? Yes, I'm fucking failing. How the fuck does trigonometry work? Okay, my friend just pointed out to me that where Dr. Facilier's shadow is, the wallpaper changes into crossbones. Hold up, what the? Andy, zoom in. Zoom in more. Zoom in more. Put up a skeleton. Oh shit! An entire video dedicated to the random noises I make. So I love my silly little internet friends. Hey, silly internet friends. If you see this, mwah, I love you. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my skill level. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my motivation level. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my free time level. All of the above. No. Bless the followers who tolerate your 95% fandom posts that aren't even their fandom. Gotta love their tenacity. Hey, how did you learn to write well? Well, first, you have to be a very, very sad child. Yeah. Staring at my laptop. You know, so very rude that a chapter isn't writing itself. Like, what are you expecting me to do to get the next part of my fic done? Actually using my fingers to type out words again? Ugh, the audacity. We're all just horses in God's plinko. Yeah. Hey, and all of you that hate mint ice cream, what happened? If you think I'm gonna eat frozen toothpaste, you are mistaken. This forces me to believe that you either had never had mint ice cream or have never brushed your teeth. Which is it, Soft Connor? Which is it? Today on AO3, Jesus Christ slash Rainbow Dash. Ugh. Sometimes I think I've seen everything that AOE has to offer, and then shit like this beats me upside the head with a folding chair and steals all my money. Just as a reminder that I haven't seen anything yet. Guys, 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 I just had the craziest dream I was trapped in a world of people who ship like this. Oh. <laughs> right. The best dynamic for a group of characters. Every single one of them is the weirdest person you will ever meet. 
but in wildly different ways. Every time you think you've identified the normal one, they casually reveal that they don't think birds exist, or they fist fight grizzly bears on the weekends, or they collect human skulls. And you realize again that none of these people are remotely normal. Also, they're round family. Alright, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is a big brother to Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but boyfriends with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. He has a restraining order on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I wanna know why. Tumblr users have the same energy as Gotham citizens who refuse to move away after the fifth supervillain attack in a week. At some point, staying becomes a weird badge of pride. Alright, that's enough emotions for a whole year. Ciao! The earlier in the year you blog this, the better it gets. Guys, if 2 2 22 falls on a Tuesday, it could also be known as Tuesday. <gasps> Dude! Write a story where the plot is based on some song lyrics. <clears throat> she was happy, and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. Why does it sound like a Panic at the Disco did uh did this in their early days? Like uh, it's not my not my best branded impression, but she was happy and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. She clapped her hands. Oh. Like that? Yes, tumblers are all about Blorbo from your shows, but true love is letting your dash be about Grumpo and Slimpit from your friend's shows. I mean, yeah. It makes sense. Behold, a cat and a lowercase cat. <gasps> baby! And baby. Actually, I love finding gay subtext and things. It's like seeing gay shrimp colors and straight people are never going to experience it. Suck it! In this world, it's yeet or be yeeted. Yeetin'? You! Ah, lyrics that you miss here and find out the real ones and you're just like, Yeah, my version's better. It fucking smells like teen spirit, what the fuck? Anyone without a fireplace as a kid can relate to how horrific it was watching Santa liquefy and slowly ooze through the heating vents. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, 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 what did you say? <laughs> Andy, bro, you fell for my epic prank where I used my body to shield you from a fatal injury so that I could collapse into your arms and be held by you as you push my hair out of my eyes and tell me I'm going to be okay and to just hold on in a panic voice while I laugh because I'm delirious from blood loss and tell you not to cry, <laughs> even though we were both very much crying. Like, Andy, you got totally tricked, dude. <laughs> right? Right? Hey, why go to therapy when you can just touch grass? And eat grass. And lay in grass. And be grass. And grass. Is it... Is it a cheap shot to use the bit I used from last time? Andy, I'll let you decide that. At this moment, decide what you want to do. You can either put the video in or not. Go. I fucking forgot I was mildly allergic to citrus and I just got some two fucking liter bottles of orange juice in 10 minutes. Hello, me! I just realized orange juice and citrus sets are fucked! I hope they're okay. Listen, I don't shave my legs because the patriarchy conditioned me to. I shave my legs because wearing clothes over leg hair is the sensory equivalent of seeing something stuck between someone else's teeth and not being able to say anything about it. It's like being in a ball pit of fingers and daddy long legs. Once you feel that shit, good fucking luck on feeling it. Neurodivergent problems, God. Bro, I can't play horror games, man. What, fuck, what, what if I turn around the corner and see a thing or something? Legend has it, if you make it to the end of this video, and you turn around, you'll see all the disturbing fan art people have done of Phoenix, Roxanne, Wolf. You don't want to see it, you don't want to see it. Andy, don't turn the video around. Don't do it, please. Don't turn the video around. Oh God, it's right there! How the fuck do I make a person turn a video around? Silent Hill 2 live blog, let's go! Ah! 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 Pretty scary. I have H-R-E. Hopeless romantic energy. I have H-R-E. Holy Roman Empire. hamburg er Right? Ah, I think I will rip a few things apart with my teeth and then feel better. Like a piece of paper, snack bag, gummy bear, yeah.
I just saw a picture saying do or die, and it literally translates to die or die. Do you want to die in Danish or English? Emma starts nervously. Me, completely out of touch with my feelings, trying to describe an emotion. I feel, um, glittery, buzzy, like peeling my skin off. Are those normal emotions? Blorbo from my shows this, Scrimblo from my games that, what about OCs, aka Glunkus from my brains? Did... Andy, did Lizzie take over Tumblr without me knowing? Like, writing prompt. While putting your favorite condiment on a sandwich, you accidentally make a magical occult symbol and summon a daemon. You silently take two more slices of bread out of the package and make another sandwich. You put it on a plate with a handful of potato chips and hand it to the demon. He takes the sandwich, smiles, and vanishes off in a puff of demonic smoke. The next day you get that job promotion you were after. There was no contract. No word spoken. You owe nothing. But every now and then, another demon pops in for lunch. Demons don't often get homemade sandwiches. That's precious. The real question is, how the fuck... Did Persephone only manage to eat six pomegranate seeds? They're like the fucking cocaine of fruit. You can't just eat like six singular seeds. You have to pop handfuls upon handfuls into your mouth at rapid speeds, and they get sad because you spent half an hour getting them out of the pomegranate and ate them all in five minutes. Uh, are you okay? Pomegranate. It's been a long time since I said it this way, so I'm going to say it just to piss off some mythology fans. Persephone. You have my gun. And my gun. And my gun! Please read the URLs, I'm begging you. Now you too can become the soft elf. <sighs> can I? Miss Yana's beautiful and smart. Hopefully she will allow me to. Snum, absolutely! H how do I look? The sweater's a little big on me and pants don't really work. At least it's comfortable. <laughs> my child, you look marvelous and perfect. Andy, look at them. Look at this baby! It's a baby! That's a baby. They took to it like a duck to water. They began naturally, almost effortlessly, and were immediately in their element. They took to it like a baby otter to water. Screaming! Certain they were dying, hating every minute of it despite being perfectly suited to the conditions. AKA my childhood. Am I right? Alright. <laughs> Moving on. My brain is like, DO THE THING! And then my body is then like, I DID THE THING! And then after all that, I just depressingly fuck right off to my room and go to sleep until midnight because I am like a goblin and I need food. ADHD sucks, please fucking help me! I want realistic modern fantasy, like someone finding a dragon egg and live tweeting the process of trying to hatch it, with no prior knowledge on how a dragon egg should be hatched, a guy selling an enchanted sword on Craigslist, a tattoo artist who does spell runes, but for really mundane stuff like conjuring a bound demonic pen or for summoning your keys, summoning a demon for the vine, selfies with mermaids, and prank calling wizards. Give it to me. Well, hey there, you've arrived at a Tumblr checkpoint. Are you 30? Have a sip. Are you hungry? Have a spike. Have you been snitting in the sale proclation? Mac your tabas. Are you stick? Pert your indies. Do you need to prot a bundle? Go, now. Are you tired? Break your togs. Do a quick snatch of your vitals. Are you fond? Do you need to reduct your plandals? If you have a trick, tog it. If you need to sitch, go so. Are you grot or too trinkling? If you need to break off a grant or mend the bundle, go do that now. I hope this helps, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <sighs> what the... What? What is happening? What? 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 So because the last few videos I've been screaming constantly, I decided with this one, we're gonna do a nice calming voice to calm everyone down. So grab a blanket, close your eyes, and just embrace the calming madness that is Late Night Tumblr. That's right. I love tags. It's like muttering under your breath on the internet. Except you didn't put any tags. Andy, put a tag underneath this. Whatever I'm about to mutter. Baloney. Eggnog. Yeah. Have you ever looked at a cartoon show with a story arc and an interesting villain as well as lots of epic potential that's barely touched by the writers and then said, You could have been so much more. Yeah. Rad Mario joke.
What if Mario gets the mushroom and it was drug? <laughs> Good Mario joke. What if Peach was red and green color blind? That's why they gotta put the letters on their hats. Far out. Girly, you can't give up now. You don't have the dark green couch of your dreams yet. Go get that couch. Wish I were a cat. Play in sun. Stretch. Sleep. And purr. <gasps> purr. All right, that was a little disturbing even for me. Still can't believe sheep sea slugs look like that. Let's just look at it. Look at it. Unbelievable. He has a Webkin's cow face. I'm crying so hard. Here's a fun Christmas idea for next year. Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing, you have to fight whoever else is under it. Mistlefoe, trademark. Make this a thing so I can deck someone in the halls. You know, I think if you want to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. Well, you're just mad that I'm eating this delicious white chocolate and you're not. Oh my god. This isn't white chocolate. Oh god. Just to annoy Hermione, Luna pretends that she doesn't believe in birds for a solid month. Luna would. Hey, if Marx was real, what would his Tumblr URL be? If Marx was real. Ah, yes, the eternal game of Kirby fan or deluded communist. My favorite thing to do is to tell my friends about the wild things Victor Hugo did and see the look of shock and horror in their faces because they only know him as the great author who wrote Les Mis and Hunchback and not as the man who gave his fiance a live bat in an envelope. You what now? Radiation's insane. There's like rocks out there that'll pull the seams of your organs apart if you stand too close to them. I mean, some rocks really do have auras. Unfortunately, the aura is eat, shit, and die energy. Oh, look, the masculine urge to put on that one dress I like and disappear into the woods. To become a thing of local legend whispered about at night over a campfire. Hell yeah. You ever just look at your pet and go, holy shit, there's a little beast moving and doing things of its own volition. In my home. And you must feel that way with Kimiko, right? Affirmations. I'm a cool bug. I'm not gross. People who find me want to show me to their friends. I feel a valuable role in the ecosystem. And macro lenses will not harm me. Far out. That's right. And that's the end of this little calming video. There's no screams at the end of this one. I wouldn't do that to you. In fact, you're probably feeling your eyes close right now. And even the video's getting a little sleepy. Andy, you can see it blinking, don't you? Slowly trying to stay awake. Oh, 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 there it goes. There it goes. Nighty night, everybody. You know it's probably 12 p.m. when I post this, but who cares? Far out. See the grass? Go touch it! Bitch, we're in hell! There is no grass! So before we start today's video, uh, Andy's sick, so I'm editing today's video. Everyone give your thoughts and prayers to Andy, and hopefully he feels better, I and mean, he's, he's, he's got his drugs, he's good. Anyway, let's do this like it's early 2021. Oh dear god, I don't want to go back to that. No. Power armor is basically a fursuit for people who want to be robots. Just, just shut up! Sorry if something I post shows up for you based on your likes. Believe me. I didn't want to be there either. Same goes to YouTube community posts. I'm a creative person. And what have you created? Problems. Heavy from TF2 is just basically a Russian Mr. Incredible. Fight me. Hello, welcome to my blog, which has a lot of things, including content and characters. Look at all this content and characters and characters and content and content and characters and content. Now the female bottom surgery could be referred to as ding dong ditch. I guess. Listen, people are starting to realize Tumblr isn't dead, so we all need to be as cringe as possible for the next few months. It's vital to our survival. You don't understand. You don't understand. The horse plinko joke is not working. Hopefully this next bit will do it. Gregory, do you want to join a Zoom call and play Among Us, Gregory? Gregory, answer me. What do you mean Among Us is cringe? That's pretty sus. Living in the suburbs is like mall, movies, mall again, go to Target, go to GameStop, back to the mall, Barnes and Nobles, back to the mall, Chili's, back to the mall, eat hot chip, lie, and I'm sick of it!
I'm sorry, God, please can forgive me. I would give anything to go to Barnes and Nobles and the dinner at Chili's with the lava mountain cake. Please, Lord, take me back. I'll never complain again. No, 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 no. It's too late. You fucked us all over. All because you didn't want to go to Barnes and Nobles again. How dare you? You know what? Fuck you. Bad New Year. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Oops. A post for the bitches that used to get in trouble for reading under the desk during class in elementary school. This one's for you. It's interesting how we channel music became shorthand for millennial existential despair. It was supposed to be cheerful and quirky, but as the me's are symbolic of ourselves, they inherited our agony. Uh, as someone who didn't have a we, are you guys okay? No. Well, hey there, you reached the Tumblr checkpoint. Oh God, not again. Make sure to properly EB your DBs. Girl will not be tolerated. All glory to glup shitto. Avoid scrunkly and squirm blow at all costs. And please, for the love of God, don't let the horse out of the plinko. Don't do it. If I find out you did it, I will come find you. And I will trample you like a horse in a hospital! Hey. Notice me, senpai. Delete this off the internet. Now! Emotionally, I have little pink hearts floating around my head like a cartoon character who's in love. Yeah. If I die, taxidermy and put me in a funny little outfit like those mice on Etsy. Do it, you won't. I think it would be very funny for, like, characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order. And the bartender sighs and goes, <sighs> Species and age. While pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. Oh my god, Andy, write this down. The host at our Airbnb has the most talkative cat! Um, that is the host. Guys, they're putting all kinds of stuff in a sandwich recently. Check it out when you have the chance. It's gonna blow your mind. Open world sandbox game taking place in a single hallway. The back rooms. You're literally thinking of the back rooms. Hey, what are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Stop on following me! I am normal about characters. Said while gripping sink, staring into mirror. I swear, cosmic wonders make sense! Right, Andy? It makes sense, right? Writing prompt. The legendary sword of power was lost in the final battle, shattered into many pieces. Thousands of years later, its broken shards ended up in the recycling plant and repurposed into mundane, everyday items for the modern family. I... I need this. Oh, ew, 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 ew! What happened to the desktop layout? Why are the like and reblog buttons miles apart? Social distancing. Once I was babysitting my neighbor's six-year-old and she asked me why I was so ugly, and without thinking, I said, I'm you from the future. And she cried for, like, 30 minutes. Congratulations, your subconscious thinking scarred a six-year-old for life. Hope you're happy. All straight people ever have died. So heterosexuals, you might want to reconsider your decisions. Straight? Straight. Straight? Straight. Straight. They'll never find the body is a boring threat. Threaten that they'll never stop finding the body. They'll be recovering pieces of you for at least three months. You'll be alive for at least two of them. Fuck, that's terrifying. Bro, bro, you better shut the fuck up before I look at you one day and feel warm and realize I've fallen in love with you, bro. I'm serious. Quit it, dude. You, dude, just, just stop it. It can't happen. Right? Right? So I got paired with a super hot guy for a project in my criminal justice class. And he just came up to me and said, oh my god, you know what we are? We're partners in crime. Get it? And then we both change each other's contacts in our phone to partner in crime. And now, I kind of want to marry him. Nearly three years later, I got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the cutest thing ever. Andy, stop the video. This is too cute. Medieval times? No, you heard me wrong. I'm from the medieval times. Just... Right in the middle of the worst time ever.
Guys, I need happier than a necromancer in a natural history museum to become a known phrase immediately. Sir, if you touch the fossil exhibits, I will personally kill you. And then bring you back. Because that's how I roll. Wait, am I the necromancer or the god in this? I don't know. Hello, white neutrals. Before you is a charcuterie board with 15 different types of cheeses. If you manage to go 12 hours without touching the cheeses, you can leave this room. Good luck. Alright, I'm getting off this cool cheese plate while you're talking. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, God. She's really good. Andy, come over here. They got Wesley Dale. I'm just crackers about cheese. Bruh. Neil Gaiman? You're still alive? No, this is a haunting. From here on out, it gets really scary. Another strong contender for the most Neil Gaiman thing posted by Neil Gaiman. If anyone was haunting Tumblr, it would be him, let's face it. <coughs> I'm right here. Sometimes it blows my mind that there are people that don't wear glasses and contacts. Like, they can literally see with no aid. Like, they wake up and just be out here seeing. What a wild concept. People say stuff like, lol, don't you hate it when you look up in the middle of the night and see a spider on your ceiling? Like, bitch! I could have Nicholas II, last czar of Russia, hanging from my ceiling fan and I would be none the wiser. Super who like this, Hannibal fandom that. You're all so focused on reviving old tricks, you're not even noticing our strongest card in this fight to keep Tumblr cringe. It's time to release the Eddie Venom shippers. Uh, Eddie Venom shippers aren't cringe? We're right? Eyes, lungs, cocks. So many snacks, so little time. I just want to steal fictional men's gender. Is it too much to ask for? Hello everyone, this is Snom. I'm here to let you know that it's all going to be okay. If not soon, then in the future. Poison hurts until you take the time to stop and treat it. Have a great day slash night. Thank you, Snow. Bless you. Well, rip to everyone killed by gods for their hubris, but I'm different and better. Maybe even better than the gods. Hey, why is there a storm cloud floating above me? But what can you actually do with a degree in insert subject here? Well, Write fan fiction with a high degree of accuracy in a very specific field. Next question! I think Tolkien Ghost wrote this. I shall take that as an incredibly strong compliment. New Eminem redesign? Ugh, bitch! You just put sneakers on them. Also, the brown one still has pumps, and the blue one still has his old shoes. You didn't redesign shit! Fuck you, Mars! A marine biologist I know signs his emails off with best fishes. And this pleases me enormously. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. Dude, you're making this vivisection really difficult. Can you just, like, stay still? Wait, what the fuck happens in Danny Phantom? LP, was this not about Danny Phantom? Because if not, fucking wild. What? What the fuck happens in Danny Phantom? Me. I'm going to write today. Also me. I'll keep all my ideas for plots and characters right here, and then one day I'll die. <sighs> me today. Ha! <laughs> Relatable. Hey, what's the saddest meal you can think of? <sighs> this one. Cheesy peasy. Dude, this dish looks like the living embodiment of depression. All right, listen. Gay farmers are not for the consumption of capitalism. They're for the consumption of the cheese made by my she-they neighbor's goats in exchange for the tomatoes and basil I grew. For anyone curious as to whether or not you can make spaghetti in a tea kettle, the answer is yes. You are the future. Ah, oh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is attached to the video. <laughs> that is treason. <laughs> Any kiss could be the kiss of death, depending on the severity of your allergies and what your kissing partner has been eating. Or if they had a knife or a tongue. Yeah. Or if they had a knife or a tongue. Cats are so fake, like they're theoretically related to apex predators, and yet they weigh 8 pounds, sleep 20 hours a day, and scream if you feed them half an hour later than usual. I deeply sympathize, because I also like to sleep an unreasonable amount and yell when I'm hungry. Incidentally, you are also an apex predator. Purchased a Sans Undertale plush from my classroom. I've been torturing my students by pretending I don't know who he is. The look of pain on their faces when I tell them his name is Sam is worth every dollar I spent on him. <laughs> Your Honor, it was just a feminine urge. Your client sent the entire mall on fire. 
I wonder how many people are going to use this image to explain Vanny from Security Breach. So disappointing to hear people poke fun at Apple fanboys. There's nothing wrong with enjoying a nice honey crisp. I prefer them sliced. Yeah, no one tell them. Why are there so many posts about asexuals being immune to sirens? People, sirens don't lure you in with sex, necessarily. They sing about whatever it is that you want most. They could sing about Mothman or Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and guess what? Then your asexual pirate is fucking dead. Damn, you right. I just can't resist Mothman. Fuck. Eight one day go by when I'm scrolling on this site that I don't go, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> no offense, guys, but that's literally, like, majority of the submissions that I get that are, like, three images long and, like, nine threads going on at once. No. Don't have the brain power. New favorite joke! A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, and says, Five beers, please. I, I don't get it. No one explain it. Hey, which way does a cyclops wing their eyeliner? Tumblr using greenhouse is asking the real questions. It doesn't matter, because nobody's going to criticize their makeup. What? Was that... Was that a motherfucking Odyssey pop? Why does this old picture of MatPat look like the human equivalent of the Doge image? It also just feels weird seeing that this is the original photo. The thing he keeps manipulating. It, it's this. It's this image right here. How? How? Hey, anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fine, free, and the trees like to gossip about it afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent. Just like Bugs Bunny. I fear the day that someone tries to sell a Tumblr post as an NFT. I want specifically this post to become an NFT. If someone sells this post as an NFT and doesn't buy me a literal house, I will break my no curses rule and send a POX to your home! How is Boku no Hero Academia anime of the decade? They aren't even anime of the hour of the minute of the second! The notes on this post were so toxic that staff just axed them. Damn! I regret to inform you, I'm hashtag also trash. You ever just click on a fanfic and read the first word and go, SHUT UP, and exit? I'm surprised no one has actually sent a response post to this going, Yeah, my fanfic. Why must birds be so damn loud? Because they're birds, Richard. Will someone tell them to shut it because my broom is not long enough to shoo them away? You can tell a lot by a woman's hand. For example, she has hooves, horse. I'm watching a documentary about rats and this guy's like, they say there's a rat for every single person in New York City. And I know he's talking about like population numbers, but it kind of sounds like he's trying to tell everyone in New York that they have an individually assigned rodent friend. And I think that's beautiful. I think we just got a glimpse into the sequel of Ratatouille. It's a still just Ratatouille, but there's a two in, in the title. You see it? Andy, put it, put it up if they don't see it. New term that's completely inclusive. Everybody on Earth. Wow. Wow, astronaut phobia never sleeps. The alien exclusion is off the charts with this one. Hey, what about those of us who are bodiless? You ever think about that? I want gay cafes. Like gay bars, except no drunk people or loud music. Instead, there's coffee and cinnamon buns and pleasant conversations. See, this is what we need. A non-alcoholic, non-sexual place for LGBT groups that is inclusive to younger people. I'm here, I'm queer, and I can't drink beer. Kinda weird that this doesn't exist, actually. Ugh, I fucking hate fruit flies. Literally, get out of my face, I'm not a fruit! <sighs> Wait. I I'm curious as to what J.R. Tolkien's real name is, but I'm scared to find out that it isn't actually Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin. Fucking hold on. Okay, I, I, can, I can do this. I can do this. <clears throat> Jolkin Rolkin. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Once more. Once more. <clears throat> Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin Tolkien. <laughs> Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin Tolkien. It's fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? Before we begin today's video, it's a, it's a very special one for Andy here. 
This is the 69th video Andy has edited for the channel. So would you all please rise for one glorious nice. Nice. Okay, moving on. Tonight, long sleeve got scrunched up while putting on jacket. Three dead, ten injured. More at eleven. Bird fact. Everything on Earth is either a bird or not a bird. I mean, I mean, it's right. It's right. Diversity win! The snowstorm keeping you from going to work is bisexual. Look at it. Beautiful. They're more than horses to me. They're horses. I've never held hands with a boy before. What if I get pregnant? What if he gets pregnant? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. What anime is this? Hey, thank you, nature, for pre-slicing oranges for us. You didn't have to, and you did it anyway. That was cool of you. Are you living, or are you just jumping from one obsession to the other to run away from yourself? What are you, the coping mechanism police or something? Get out of here! Today, I learned Judith Love Cohen, who helped create the abort guidance system which rescued the Apollo 13 astronauts, went to work on the day she was in labor. She took a print out of a problem that she was working on to the hospital. She called her boss and said she finished the problem and gave birth to Jack Black. You know, it's the last two words catch you like a chair to the back. It's also weird because <laughs> I know one is to assume baby Jack Black, right? <laughs> but my dumbass brain immediately went, wow, she gave birth to a full grown Jack Black. Cool. But men, I would make an excellent goon. I'd be like, "Honey, boss, and then fuck it up instantly. I'm really whatever the opposite of a manic pixie dream girl is, like, depressed goblin nightmare man. That's me. Also, stimmy stuff, so love you, Nate. Is it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February, and it always fucks me up. I think having a little dragon I could carry around in my pockets would fix all of my problems. Literally all of them. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Okay, so we all love hyperfixation, but does anyone else ever avoid certain things because you feel like you don't have the time to be fixated on that? Or that you aren't in the right headspace for this to become your latest obsession? I mean, considering that I said that about Legends Arceus, like, I would never have the time to play it, and then I just spent the previous 48 hours finishing it front to back. Yeah! Yeah, that's exactly what it was! One of the best kind of Pokemon designs is where they're just, like, an absolute blob of a creature. Like, you made them with an ice cream scoop. And look who's in the middle. Our boy. Our bestest boy. Love you, Snam. Yeah. I'm a she-they. Unshe-they's my katana and slices you in half. I've been he-it. I now pronounce you dead. <laughs> Was were. Gender isn't a game. Actually, gender is the game. And you just lost it. Son of a bitch! Uh, hi. Just wondering if I were an otter and you were an otter and we were sleeping. Would you hold my paw so we wouldn't drift away from each other? I'm just wondering. I've come up with the phrase Blarbo-in-law, which is a fictional character who isn't like your Blarbo from your shows, but it is your mutual's Blarbo, who you nevertheless have developed strong opinions about due to the long-term Dash exposure. Okay, so my understanding so far of Blarbo, it's zero C's? Is that... Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly decipher this as we go. And as soon as I figure it out, they're gonna change Blarbo to something else! In every supernaturally themed series, you will encounter people who more or less seriously ask, Why does nobody use a gun? And I'd like to thank Whole Horse and Guido Mista for preemptively answering that in JoJo's by always managing to somehow shoot themselves. Just when I think I understand JoJo without watching JoJo, something more JoJo happens. Let me out of this sewer, man. I could be your best friend. I could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Bicol seals look like if you do so much as breathe a single molecule on them, they'll disintegrate into a small puddle of tears. They look like they make the laminated sheet wobble sound unprompted and constantly. 
They actually look like that emoji with, with the big, sad anime eyes. Andy, put up the one. Hopefully you know the one. That's it. Wish my life was like a 90s movie where all my friends work in record stores and bookshops and coffee shops and we see really cool bands and small little clubs and get breakfast together and like hang out on roofs and shit. Man, why you gotta do this to me? I'm becoming a snake, so I will never have joint pain again. See you losers later, I'm going to warm myself on a rock in the sun. King, do you know what snakes are made of? Like, huge mood, but they are joints all the way down, also. Well, team, it seems I don't actually know anything about snakes. Damn it. Thanks, Hank. You really taught me a lot about propane and propane accessories. And I'll tell you what, young man. I don't know what a heart of the cards is, but I know for certain you've got the heart of a Texan. This is exactly how Kingdom Hearts is like. Constantly opening and closing this app like a fridge. Guys, I'm officially diagnosed with bed too cozy disease. Just put a blanket over me and let me go to sleep now. Shit, I have more of these to do. Hold on. It looks good, so I feel good. And I feel good, so it looks good. Are two contradictory moods I have when wearing some outfits. And if life has taught me anything lately, it's that some truths can be contradictory and both still be true. That's why we have pretty clothes and comfy clothes, and they both slay. Are you gonna slay it? First off, I always slay it, queen. Secondly, yes. I really don't think there's a man more charming than Scar, to be honest. You are not immune to his good times. Okay, what I love about this is that based on who I reblogged it from, it's probably about Minecraft, but literally, my only context for Scar as someone's name is the Lion King, and I still hard agree. I was about to say, this is weird to say about the dude from Full Metal Alchemist, but why not? Alright, let me just chime in for a second, um, I don't know how many of you are playing the Disney gotcha game with the villains, but... Andy, put up the picture I sent you with Scar. Fucking damn! God, can you imagine if Donald Trump became president? There'd be like a new bubonic plague and he'd be like, Oh, drink bleach about it. Yeah, throw back to when I took acid for the first time in 2013 and predicted the events of 2020 like the fucking Oracle of Delphi. Is it Delphi or Delphi? Whatever. <sighs> Being a kid was so fucking funny. We would just go around lying to each other's faces constantly to impress each other. One of my classmates told me he was the first person to visit the sun. And when I asked him what it was like to prove he was lying, he said he didn't remember because they sent him there when he was just a baby. And to this day, the mental image of NASA launching an unsupervised baby into the sun still cracks me up. Just... I kind of want to see this now. <laughs> Everyone, meet my Jar of Jars. His name is Jar Jar. <laughs> and when you shake it, Jar Jar clicks. Get out! The eradication of Adobe Flash dress-up games directly led to the creation of NFTs. Sure, I'll incorporate that into my worldview. Makes the most sense to me! Man, sometimes I think Tumblr's insane, but then through the walls of my glass house, I catch a glimpse of what goes down in fandom Twitter, and I think to myself, I'm glad that this health site is my prison, actually. <laughs> Dandelions symbolize everything I want to be in life. Fluffy and dead with a gust of wind. Unapologetic. Hard to kill. Feral. Filled with sunlight, bright, beautiful in a way that the conventional and controlling hate, but cannot ever fully destroy. Stubborn, happy, bastardous, friends with bees, highly disapproving of lawns, and full of wishes that I will be carried far after I die. Man, that was beautiful. If you were a mouse and you wanted to change the subject, you could say, Squeakin' a witch! Get out! One April Fool's Day, Fred and George decide to play the ultimate prank doing absolutely nothing but pretending like they have. By midday, most of Gryffindor house is on edge. There's an alternative universe where it's socially acceptable to eat oranges like an apple. Wait, wait, wait. 
Were we not supposed to do that? Andy, help me out here. Was I not supposed to be doing that? Why are you an adult person below five foot seven? So I can stand up on my tiptoes to kiss tall women. So my face gets directly shoved into man titties when hugging them. God knew that if she made me any taller, I'd reach directly into heaven for her throat. Ah, three types of people! Please, this hell site is my home. I can't imagine ever leaving it. Where else will I post gifts? No one will reblog. Where else will I get wrong information from 20 people at the same time? No! No! It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. Clichés are bad. Okay then, explain showing up bloody or bruised outside your enemy's door because you didn't know where else to go. Explain that to me. Look, you can't ship that, it'll never be canon. Look, when I was your age, we shipped characters who never even met in canon. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. Cliché, but classic trope. When the person who's almost dead wakes up in a hospital bed, looks around, and sees the object of their affection sleeping uncomfortably in the chair next to them because they haven't moved in days. You can pry that trope from my cold, dead hands. Cliché but classic subtrope over this. The person who almost died tells the object of their affection, you look like shit, despite the fact that they are the one in the hospital bed and almost died. Do not let a woman who decorates her buttocks deceive you by wily coaxing, for she is after your granary. Some oddly specific advice from Hesiod, C700 BC. All right, but Hesiod, which thick girl hurt you and stole your grain? <laughs> Andy, quick, hide Seattle. It was, it was her. She did it. She did it. Quick, hide her. No one must know. Hey, 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 hey. You kick Blarbo? You kick Blarbo like the Plinko? Oh, oh. Eby Deby for Glub Shitto. Eby Deby for Glub Shitto for thousand years. I'm blaming all of you for the abominable fact that I can understand this post. I... I still don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I don't even want to scream for this one. I just... What are you doing to me, Tumblr? Okay, we've talked about this meme long enough that... I actually had to go look it up because I finally wanted to know. I didn't understand it, but here we go. What is the origin on the Blorbo thing from Tumblr? Uh, Andy? <laughs> You're free to put in your own reactions as I read this description from knowyourmemes.com because it exponentially gets funnier and more ridiculous the more I read it. So, here we go! Blorbo from my shows is a slang term for a person's favorite fictional character and is used similarly to terms such as Glubshitto and Scrimblo Bimblo. Though initially intended as a mocking way to describe Tumblr fandoms, it began seeing more use among fandoms as it became popularized in early 2022. On December 24th, 2011, Tumblr user The Lustious Argonian Maid made a text post that read, Bitches will be like previous tags, OMG on my post, and I check the preg <laughs> tags on it, and it's like Blarbo from my shows. The post gained over 11,000 notes in roughly two weeks. The original post has since been edited to show a disappointed-looking, gender-bent, Queen Harkinian image expressing the original poster's dislike of the meme that emerged from her post. However, unedited reblogs of the original post are still active on Tumblr. Reblogs shown below. Over the following weeks... Blorbo from my shows began seeing use in nonsensical posts featuring characters from various mediums. For example, on January 7th, 2022, the Tumblr user John 13 Whitaker posted an example featuring a Star Trek character gaining over 3,400 notes in three days. Shown below the left. Blorbo from my shows. The same day, user Napoleon Bonaparte or Napoleon Bonaparte, posted a reference to The Simpsons with the phrase gaining 198 notes in a similar time frame, shown below right. What's the matter, sweetie? Is Blorbo from your shows having difficulties? <sighs> Others commented on how Blorbo from my shows added to Tumblr's long history of making up words that became memes. For example, on January 5th, 2022, user Killing God posted a Bulba versus Kiki image comparing Borba 
to Plinko, gaining over 2,000 notes in five days, shown below left. Blorbo and Plinko. On January 9th, user plus uno anno posted a compilation of similar words Tumblr turned into a meme, joking that Tumblr's recent widespread tag ban inspired users to make up new words. Shown below right. And those words are, and I quote, EBDB, Blorbo from my shows, Plinko Horse, Glub Shitto, and personal favorite, Scrunglo. So, for the, the too long, didn't read version of this, uh, person was making fun of Tumblr, Tumblr took the opportunity to turn into a meme, original poster got upset, and then Tumblr said, fuck it, we don't care, we're still doing it because it's funny. That's good old-fashioned Tumblr right there. Andy, your brain okay? You doing good over there? Do, do you want a Sprite? You want a Sprite? I'll get you. Today's Tumblr video is brought to you by MILF. Man, I love fried rice. You're telling me, a man I love, fried this rice? I wish I was a cat. No school, no works, just meow meow. Every Tumblr mobile update just feels like they broke into my house and moved everything slightly to the left. Andy, for the rest of the post for this video, move everything by at least 10 pixels every time. <laughs> Flip phones are just Zippo letters from millennials. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Writing prompt. In a galaxy where humans are seen as small, cute, and infantile, a hardened terrain criminal goes into hiding on an alien world. He is soon found by a six-year-old girl who, not knowing who or what he is, decides to keep him as a pet. Didn't they already do this? I think they did. Not Lilo and Stitch. There was, like, another movie that similar situation, I think. I don't remember. Just a thought, but sometimes the true selves debate is really funny when you take a step back and look at it outside of the fandom perspective. Like, acting different in different situations is something we all do. Am I my true self on Tumblr? Am I my true self talking to my friends? Talking to my parents? The answer is no. I'm only my true self when I'm playing Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Every friend group needs a mom friend. Uh, no, absolutely incorrect. What every friend group needs is that one person who just happens to have a traffic cone on hand. Still fucking hate that bee free honey that's made from apples. Bitch, who you think sexed up those apples? A farmer, by hand, and with love and care. Wild bee still sexing him up when he's not looking. Old McCuckle had a farm. E -I -E -I <laughs> Andy, thank you for sending me this one. You're like six. They should come out with new flavors. Just in general. What do you think pilk is? A better question would be, which is the worst vegetable? And the answer is peas. Everyone can go home now. Cucumber haters in the tags going in the deepest pit of hell. Do you hear yourselves? Pathetic. It's broccoli. Not even cheese can help broccoli. You people are sick in the head. The correct answer is Brussels sprouts. My man. The only thing that fixes those is bacon. And that kind of ruins the whole point of a vegetable. Jelly jam is a gas. Let me explain. Solids have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. Liquids have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Gas have no fixed volume and no fixed shape. Jelly has no fixed shape. Whatever you pour it into, that's its shape. And the reason it doesn't have a fixed volume is because it's constantly being eaten, going down in a mount. Therefore, jelly is a gas. Change my mind. You can find me on this. I will not change my mind. Look what I can do. <laughs> but what does that have to do with me? No, no. He's got a point. You know, Tumblr should have a feature where if it's someone's birthday, there's a little party hat over their avatar so the followers can see if it's their special day. Tumblr, Twitter, I know you're watching. Maybe want to pass that idea along? Maybe. The greatest thing about Marvel is that now all of your favorite ships and headcanons are actually canon because of the multiverse. Like Doctor Strange hopping through that multiverse being like, wow, look at all these gay bitches. This is great. I'm using this argument now. Thanks. Hey, you! Yeah, you! You look beautiful today! I'm sorry for yelling, but it had to be said. Th thank you, Snob, but it isn't true. But thank you. 
You spend your life with yourself. You get so used to seeing yourself that you start to see the floss. But me? I've never seen you before. And trust me, you look beautiful. <laughs> we don't deserve snob. Died and came back as a cowboy. I call that reincarnation. Isekai, yeah, motherfucker. I hate this site. I quit! This isn't necessarily an animal question, but do you have any facts about moral mushrooms? Mm, delicious. But you shouldn't eat them. It's immoral. <laughs> Fellas, if you want to walk and talk with me, you better match my speed, because I have short legs and low stamina. No one bad thing to happen! I'm sorry, but bad thing gonna happen. Ah, uh, the reader-writer dynamic. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my D20, and I want to eat it. It looks so sparkly. Just let me munch. Mmm, forbidden candy. Eating the chest pieces is out. Eating the dice is in. Eat the chest piece until you beat the king. Then get possessed and eat dice. Ghost Adventure Spirit Orb, you, you okay over there? Count Dracula? Psst. Okay. One. <laughs> yeah, she's good looking, I guess. Not really my type. I like a bigger wingspan like, oh, there we go. Page 236. Look at the plumage on that one. Mm, sweet Jesus. I tried to scroll past this. I just saw someone on the verge of tears in a Five Guys at 2 a.m. with a bunch of his friends, and one of them went, do you, do you want some water? And he said, Tony probably liked water. And continued sobbing. Oh, poor guy got stood up. No! Today my dad said, Why do people binge watch entire seasons? It's not like you get a book and read it in one night. So I'm not convinced he knows anything about what I do in my free time. You know, I was going to make a list of people that annoy me, but I guess it was too long, so I decided to post a pic instead. Behold! <gasps> oh my god, I'm in the same photo as Tom Hiddleston. Ugh, my hair looks terrible. Can we do it again? I blinked. After nearly two years of near-continuous isolation from the global pandemic, I can say that the guy from The Shining was a bitch. I could do his job and try to not kill my wife and son. I haven't tried to kill my wife once, and I spend way longer going insane. Well, do you have ghosts and demons too? Being online is the same thing as being physically attacked by ghosts and demons, so yes! You have demons at home. What does that mean? M Mom, what does that mean? Hey, uh, are you a flirt? I am insane. Two fair men lie in water warm and slow. As brothers are they joined heart to heart. But Cupid hath not struck them with his bow, lest that be thought. They sit five feet apart. Fuck. You. No, no, no. No fuck you. Andy, give this post a gold medal. They deserve it. Best post on the website. Flawless. You know, there's no reason you can't eat pie at every meal. They make fruit pies, vegetable pies, meat pies, meat substitute pies. I mean, pies easily cover 100% of your necessary nutrient groups. They even make cake pies. The only reason not to switch over to pie entirely is pie sucks. You were so close to a revolutionary thesis, and then you betrayed me and every citizen of good standing. Fuck you! You know, in general, I think New York is very good for my social anxiety, because no matter how much of a freak I'm being, I know it's probably not the weirdest thing people have seen today. Case in point, I felt bad about bringing my unwieldy luggage onto a crowded train. Until the man sitting next to me pulled a live fish out of his backpack. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we do do that. We do do that. Ah, oh, yes, they call me No Q Jones because I post everything I reblog at once with no breaks in between and then vanish into the night for extended periods of inactivity. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of pet peeves, but I think the biggest one is when people say things like, Oh, it's such a small town, only 35,000 people. Like, bitch, my town has 200 people. You need to pick a new adjective. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, a small town is 1,000 to 20,000 people. So although you are correct in stating that 35,000 people is not a small town, it is a large town, you are incorrect in thinking that you live in a town. You live in a village.
You're a villager. I... I don't know what to do with that information. A, a, a villager. I know how to fix this. Andy, slide over Isabel to them. Look at that, see? Now you're a villager, you get one of these. And they're pretty cool. That's a good looking dog right there. Just give him a little pat. Yeah. Nice. No yelling at the end of this one. Unless Andy wants to. Oh, your favorite characters aren't dead if you AU hard enough. <laughs> Shout out to whoever stole my Amazon package containing nothing but a single pair of shoelaces. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Mr. President. Hey, do burbs have feelings? Kinda, sorta. Feelings? Sure, probably. Souls? Absolutely not. I didn't know drones had souls. The child of a mermaid and a centaur has a one in four chance of being a normal human. And a one in four chance of being a seahorse. Ah, oh, I'm glad we remember our Punnett squares. Our DNA contains millions of years worth of software updates. Nah, man, your DNA contains millions of years of totally random bugs. Some of which don't really change anything, some of which are really bad and annoying, and some of which miraculously make the software work better. So I'm a Bethesda game. Is it a bug or a feature? Yes. I crave the most innocent parts of a relationship, like holding hands and forehead kisses and being able to tell someone how much I absolutely adore them and absolutely slaughtering them at Mario Kart. Hey, if fine exists in the MCU, does that mean the how did you take down Captain America? We shot him in the legs because his shield is the size of a dinner plate and he's an idiot. Vine also exists and has Steve seen it? Not only has Steve seen it, it's his favorite vine and his ringtone. People who have never lived outside of a city writing these rural American Gothic posts like goats no secrets. Girl, the goats don't even know how to get the horns unstuck from the fence without my help. Fact. Hey, when do you feel the most beautiful? When the dog pulls on his leash on the sidewalk because he wants to come say hi to me. <laughs> I never felt so loved. Yo, there's a fucking furry at the mall? What the hell is an Easter bunny? Church sanctioned persona. Wow, people really just write a horror story and then be like, Okay, but what if this was a song? Is this a self call out post? No, actually I was talking about Lemon Demon. Wait, the... The singer Lemon Demon? Or the thing from the Friday Night Fuki song that's, uh, not really a lemon, according to the dev, but who cares? CONFIDENCE! A fool substitute for intelligence! Is one of the rawest lines I've heard in a while. And it comes from the live-action Sonic the Hedgehog movie! The entire Sonic franchise is filled with incredibly killer and raw lines for some reason. For instance, If the world chooses to become my enemy, I'll fight like I always have. Is spoken by Shadow the Hedgehog. The fuck? Damn. Technically speaking, there is a lot of food in this house. However, none of it is sweet, and none of it is microwavable. Therefore, there is no food in this house. Yeah. Day one of eating every single pill-shaped rock that I find. Update. I feel stronger. I'm heavier. I can lift larger rocks. Update. I feel weaker than ever before. A quick checkup. Have you drank water recently? Are you sitting up? Have you eaten enough? You need a hug? Yes. Yes, I do. Andy, make me hug Snom, please. I need it. Ah, that's the stuff. Today I learned prehistoric hunter-gatherer tribes had an average group limit of 50 people. Incidentally, modern research shows that in video game World of Warcraft, maximum group player cohesive occurs at a limit of 50 players. So literally no difference between cavemen and WoW players. Guys, what if Mike was short for Mikesicle? <sighs> you know, every now and then there's a text post that gets stuck in my damn head. And here it is. I'm never going to be free of Mikesicle. Hey, what if... Bike was short for Bikel. Oh my fucking god! First rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written. Just not in any of the notebooks. Pulling out an earbud when someone enters the room is the 21st century's ultimate sign of respect. It's the modern equivalent of taking off your hat. You just do it. I want that heat miser's head on a pike! Gotcha covered. All right, well, <clears throat> you did follow the instructions given. 
My favorite video game quest trope is, Help us, they are stealing our ancient artifact! Thank you for helping us! As a reward, you may have our ancient artifact! The ancient artifact was less important than having agency in its distribution. Nothing is more important than keeping it out of the hands of the British Museum. But you also just gave it to a dude who's likely gonna sell it to buy the sword he wants. Just saying. Animal of Say You, where every time they morph, they do a Magical Girl-style elaborate transformation sequence. And a Magical Girl series where every time they transform, they do the horrific Animorphs morph. I need this. Especially since there's a new Tokyo Mew Mew coming out, I kind of want to see this be the transformation sequence. Turning William Afton into a sexy man, then slowly switching over to Michael Afton is the biggest redemption arc Tumblr has ever went through. Andy, I apologize for all the cringe I'm going to say in advance because of all the knowledge I have for this series. Okay. Tumblr, you're going to look me in the eye and say you had a child murderer as a sexy man, and then you switched over to his son, who is, and I quote, a purple, boneless, organless husk. Because his guts got scooped out by the haunted animatronics that the first guy killed. And not only that, I've seen you, Twitter. I've seen you. You're shrimping over Vanny, who is also, and I quote, a child abductor and murderer. I actually had to add this in in the middle of the video. Okay, I also know I'm gonna, probably going to get a comment that's going to say, Well, Vanny's actually possessed by William Afton, so technically she's not the one murdering the kids. It's still fucking weird. Okay? Okay. You doing okay? I'm going to lose, like, probably half of my subscribers over that. Whatever. Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS! Every time they order the Pokemon to attack. <laughs> That's me, I'm the guy. Oh, Gender reveal came back negative. I just exist now. Sweet. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backwards in the drywall, because they cannot withstand my aura. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Doctor Who in chronological order by the time period they travel in. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. I love it. Yo, why are you tagging things Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> Ace Attorney? I don't know what little cat needs to hear this, but it is not dinner time. You are not going to starve, and it'll be okay. And I just told that to Piff, and uh, she looked at me like I was a fucking liar. Being able to teleport must suck ass when you have ADHD. Why the fuck am I in Nevada? You don't need drugs to have a good time. Do you expect me to believe that drugs were not involved here? Like, <laughs> look at the person on the right's face. That is, there's definitely drugs in that system right now. No offense to the people on this site, but what the fuck is wrong with everybody? So many things, Drizzling Tears. So many things. Conspiracy theory. All the school kids know Zim is an alien, but Dib's so annoying and full of himself about it that they pretend to be clueless to piss him off. You. You get it. I want this to be canon now. Why is it not? Oh! Well, unfortunately, I didn't end it on a scream, so I'm gonna have to fix that with the thing that we do, Andy. Are you ready? <laughs> I really don't know how to end this. <laughs> so I'm just whatever the whatever the noise is I make, just we'll just end it there. You ever just want to be a little crow hopping on a tree? More than anything, every day. You have no idea. Hey, I love you for still trying, still breathing, still living, and still existing. You got this. Spaghetti Spaghetti, I'm taking all your booty! I hate this one, especially after the most wholesome thing I've read on Tumblr. Guess who ate, and then unate, what must have been most of a sock today? 
It wasn't even a good sock. The fact that she's got a cheesy smile on her face makes this a hundred thousand times funnier. Hey, does the PM in your name stand for Prime Minister? It stands for... <coughs> Guys, help, I haven't had my Adderall all two days and there's a milk-filled webcam being slammed against the walls of my mind! Twitter posts are nice and can get you a lot of attention real quick. But if your Tumblr posts take off, then guess that shit is ingrained in the cultural hive mind forever. You can get 9 million retweets and everyone will give it a quick laugh. But I'll be 74 years old, and I'll still be thinking about Randy, your sticks! Same. If y'all be nice to me, I'll stop being evil. Maybe. But I'll tell you who's not gonna stop being evil. And that's right, our editor Andy, who's hosting a Twitch channel right now called Evil Doers. You should check it out in the link below, right there. We hunt monsters sometimes. It's pretty good stuff. Describe your handwriting without using the words messy or neat. This makes me feel like I lost the ability to read. I swear to God, nothing makes me more pissed off when everyone is like, <laughs> The thing is so good, it's a classic, you love it! And they say it so often that you resolve on principle to loathe the thing with your entire being. But when you finally get around to experience the thing... It literally is that good. Physically trembling with rage at the fact that Hamlet actually is one of the best plays ever written. I mean, guys, seriously, it's really good. Have you seen the monologue? Have you seen the Hamlet monologue? It's about existential crisis. It's pretty good. Ah, this is how Max are born. How the hell did you even get that many mice? I don't know. Leave cheese out? Only 1% of the population is asexual. Well, 7 billion times 1% is, uh, 70 million. So don't speak to me or my 70 million friends ever again! And that's only the people who have out of themselves as asexual. What about the closeted ones? Or the ones that don't quite know it yet? The sleeper cell agents. We'll come find you. And we will take all of your french fries. Watch out. Hey, Snow. Opinion on Snow? Amazing, spectacular, wonderful, pretty. D -d Does Mace work on birds? If Aaron is attacking me, will Mace be an effective deterrent? It is a time sensitive question, play with swamp! The serotonin is stored in the AO3. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Describe your personality. Okay, which one? I got like 20 of them. I will not download TikTok. If a TikTok is funny enough, it will breach containment and make its way to another platform. It's quality control. Sure would be a shame if a uh, TikTok video snuck into the video right now. I'm just kidding. Where am I? If you wouldn't go to someone for advice, don't take their criticism either. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Opie woke up and chose logic today, and I don't know how I feel about that. So I had a dream that I was in the Avengers film during the Battle of Manhattan, and I was wearing a Captain America shield shirt, and I bumped into Captain America. I looked at his shirt, he looked at mine, and I looked him dead in the eye and said, well, one of us is going to have to change. People just don't understand that my messy room is an allegorical art piece, representing mental illness and a reference to the hit 2004 movie Hell's Moving Castle. You know, for some people, life doesn't truly begin until they're like 26 to 30. The way we romanticize and obsess over youth is like super harmful. Your life is not over at 21. I promise you, it's just beginning. So relax, please. I am the shyest attention whore ever. I want attention if you're not busy and you want to. It's okay if you don't. Today I learned in 2009, Burger King ran the Whopper Sacrifice campaign, which offered a free hamburger to anyone who deleted 10 friends off Facebook. Facebook suspended the program because Burger King was sending notifications to the cast-offs letting them know they'd been dropped for a sandwich. No, they should not have banned them, because Burger King's a good friend who runs to those ten people and says that this friend is shitty. But they gave up those friendships for a fucking hamburger! I heard you like bad girls. Well, I'm bad at everything. Winks at you with both eyes. Do you think an android could just download games to play in their head? You see an android just staring at nothing, and they're like, Oh, sorry, I was running a simulation, and it was Doom. And there's only one way to find out. Andy? Put up a Zuri? Zoom in on her head? 
Run Elden Ring. For you, however, you are maidenless. You know, it's funny how the most unappreciated character in Harry Potter is Harry Potter. I've never heard anyone answer the question, who's your favorite Harry Potter character with Harry Potter? Shit, they're onto something here. I can't help making bad posts. It's in my jeans. <sighs> this is what Tumblr does to me. I know the joke is jeans, but my brain also went, oh yes, Jean and A. Very good. The neurodivergent urge to over-explain myself during misunderstandings to try to avoid further misunderstandings, but then confusing people in the process, which does in fact cause, you guessed it, more misunderstandings! Yeah. You have been visited by the Rainbow Snom. You have now permission to be gay and lazy for the rest of the day. Oh, hell yeah! And you stopped the video, let's go play video games. Let's go! Hey, you guys want to see my new art? I don't get it. Bro, this goes hard. This goes so hard, bro! That was the best day I've ever been on! Is this a lawsuit? It was all a ruse. I'm here to wound sue you, not wine and dine you. You've been served. I've been working on this hat for you for an entire year! Hmm? Thank you. This is now the best thing I own. Bro, you gotta see this awesome Yu-Gi-Oh card! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell? Thanks for your order. While you're here, would you like an exciting offer with our credit card? Our introduction APY is 67%. You want me to open a line of credit at a hot dog stand? I'll throw in these chips. Huh. They said my hot dogs are great. But my real passion is Usuri. And welcome to the first meeting of the Elf Hating Club. Rule one, we hate all elves. Except Deedlet, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, all elves except Deedlet. You must absolutely have this book for my class. If you don't buy this book, you will fail. I wrote the book, by the way. I think I want to be a welder instead. Yeah, welcome to trade school. Do you like hookers? Do I? Okay, Hood Mage, we convinced all the scalpers to move from PS5s to crypto farming. I don't see how this gets back at them for selling you a $2,000 PS5. I hope you're ready for Crypto Pearl Harbor. Let's go, B. Why are you masking up? Your name is on your shirt. <laughs> you gay. I have a pocket knife. I'd survive a zombie apoc because I'd have no hesitation to kill. I'd be a machine. Okay. Finally, the button that grants your dark wishes. With this, the guy that told me every day he was fucking my mom on Xbox Live in 2008 will die. Kevin, get the car! Your dad just fucking died! M mom, did dad ever have the username Boss Dragon 420 XXX? How, how did you find out? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, I need to use your bathroom. Hey! Get out! I know what you're doing in there! Your geo crystal started glowing! We can't publish your article, uh, Five Guys You Should Sleep With in 2022. There's not even any information. You just put your name down three times, and the other two guys are your friends. Well, I like my friends and think they should get laid too. Oh, well, that's fair. Let's run the story. Got to tell the internet how I fail. Better upload a picture of me screaming. Hmm, not good enough. Better roll my hand over the fucking keyboard, too. Hey, ladies! Fertile Freddy is in the house! Freddy, dude, you can't go around introducing yourself as Fertile Freddy. Yeah, but the internet said if- The internet does not have your best interest in mind! Excuse me, but I think I'll take the opinions of Dr. Shitfuck2003 and the Griffman500. They know what's up. Lunch is on me, big guy. Pizza Lunchables. Oh, cool. Microwave mine first. People cook these? Mushy, mushy, boyfriend. You made his hair. Oh, thank goodness. There is so much to clean. I'm not that kind of maid. What kind of maid are you? A shitty maid that doesn't clean? You trying to scam me? Oh, man. I got a scrape. Know what makes everything better? Butter. How is that supposed to help? <laughs> me? 
Okay, let's do this. Don't judge a book by its cover is a beautiful, powerful sentiment that I fully ignore when book shopping. It applies to everything except books. Yeah. Oh, the vibe to live in a giant tree stump house. I got no good tags for the post. Just, yeah. Hey, bestie, come closer. I'm totally not going to drag you into my obscure interest, bestie. I promise. The cask of a Monty Blorbo. Imagine someone thinking of you and buying you flowers. Okay, now imagine a horse as a skeleton with a blue fire mane. That sounds cool. Open world Tetris. That's just putting away the groceries. If you think I'm gonna sit and watch a six to seven hour movie just because it's an exact replica of one of my favorite books with every single word and detail included, then you are absolutely right. Let me just make some popcorn and get some drinks. We're gonna be here a while, folks. Your Honor, in my defense, who cares? Like, OMFG, who cares? Like, come on. Just come on. Today I learned that the King of Prussia had a personal army of 3,000 tall men and admitted, The most beautiful girl or woman in the world would be a matter of indifference to me. But tall soldiers, they are my weakness. <sighs> that feeling short soldier. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, but McGeans. We respect short kings around here. You good. Hey, you think you're a better kisser than me? You think you're a better cuddler? Then come over here and prove it, Andy. I mean, bunk. I'm gonna deck your halls, bub. There needs to be an easier way to convey the idea of it's absolutely fine that you don't like this thing I like, and I don't even necessarily disagree with your reasons for disliking it, but I am sick to death of hearing your negative opinions about it. Seriously, we need a word for this. We don't have to make one up. Smorbo. Smorbo. Old movies are just gifts that people played music over to make it look. <laughs> Why is this true? <laughs> nah, man, I can't come over tomorrow. I'm gonna listen to songs and think about characters. Y yeah, no, it's gonna be all day. Yeah. A Midsummer Night's Dream, but Oberyn keeps Puck on one of those kitty backpack leashes. All right, stop. This is the best thing ever. I need to see it. I was cleaning my house this afternoon. How nostalgic it is to remember the past years, forgotten ambitions, broken dreams, ancient treasures, and the constant reminder that we are now... Adults. Fuck. I'm not sure why, but the words Blessed Be Snom came to my mind and I thought I would share it. Hell yeah. Also, whoever submitted this, I like your gradients, G. You know, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure my ancestors would be horrified with me. Not because I'm lazy or unworthy or anything like that. But because one of my distant uncles was among the eight survivors of the Essex, the ship that inspired the ending of Moby Dick, and sank after being rammed by a whale. And what do I fucking do after my bloodline has this ordeal at sea? I get a fucking degree in marine science and go back the fuck out there. OP, it's your job to kill that whale. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. I respect that fantasy as a genre has simply refused to standardize the spelling of fairy. Fairy, fay, fi, fair, folk, fairy. Just an F followed by whatever vowels you have in your heart. Furries. Which really just sounds like the Boston way of saying fairies. Hey, don't go in that forest out there. You'll see a bunch of fairies. <laughs> March again! Zootopia? Why? I don't know what the context of this is, and I'm mildly afraid to ask. The weirdest critique I ever got as a kid was when I made some time skip fan designs of some characters. Someone said, um, didn't three years pass? Why is their hair so short? Did it not grow at all? <laughs> Nobody disagreed. And I realized they all collectively forgot. Haircuts exist. Yep. He's my comfort character. Then comfort him. He's drowning in indescribable emptiness right about now. No, he's not done marinating. Reaches for the angst. <laughs> you don't choose who you fall in love with or when. One day you're just spending time with someone, and suddenly you realize that the slug is watching. 
Oh, God damn it, here we go again with more indecipherable Tumblr memes I don't understand yet. <laughs> hey, what are your pronouns? Oh, shoot. Uh, um, uh, I, I'm not home right now. Andy, could you water my pronouns for me? It's the he day ones over there in the corner. Yeah. And stop. Today I learned there is a species of fungus that only exists in Texas and rural Japan. And it is thought to have been in both places for 19 million years. Hmm, turns people into cowboys or samurais, depending on which place you're in. Well, that explains why cowboy movies and samurai movies are so similar. Too many books? I believe the phrase you're looking for is not enough bookshelves. Yes. You know, bisexuality ain't that hard to understand. Girls are cute. Guys are cute. What more do you want from me? I want your wallet. Even if you don't like Halloween, you have to appreciate its position as the sole thing keeping Christmas from advancing even further into the year like a cancerous growth. The goth kids hold the line. No, I'm not tired of being nice. And yes, I still just want to go ape shit. These things can coexist. Stop asking me. If I don't ever meet a cowboy who calls me darling and tenderly puts his hat on my head and offers a respectful hand to help me onto his horse, then what the fuck even is the point of it all? <laughs> I'm gonna go on a great cowboy finding adventure, BRB. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I sure did. You can and absolutely should modify the chore slash self-care task if it makes life easier. Sit on the floor while doing laundry. Clean dishes while in a chair. Sit in the shower. Save your spoons. Accommodate your fatigue rather than fighting it. Why have I never thought about this before? Hey babe, wake up. New incomprehensible Tumblr bullshit just dropped. PS5, Black Slug Reaction, Horse Blinko, Blorbo for my shows, Glub Shido, and EBDB. Seriously, what the fuck is Life Slug Reaction? You've heard of Be Gay Do Crimes, now get ready for Be Trans Throw Hands, Be Queer and Still Fear, Be Bi Go for the Eye, Be Pan End It With a Bang, Be Ace Punch Face. Bitches be like, I'm so tired and sleepy. And then stay up doing hyperfixation shit for the next five hours. Wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. A hundred thousand no! Not sure on what to say when the room is silent? Try doing a random animal noise. In my next life, I would like to be a lesbian couple's house cat. Why wait, though? Uh, excuse me? Demi boys need to speak louder. I can't hear them. I'm sure you've heard this before, bud. Do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny, Bucket Show? Neither. I just say things that make myself smile. This is the best mindset. Hey, how many redesigns has each character gone through? <sighs> Too many. And I don't even like talking about the old designs anymore, so please stop bringing him up! You know, striking a blow against the capitalist fetishization of productivity by devoting enormous and elaborate effort to something utterly pointless. Who's in? Remember-alls are the most useless things in the entire magical realm. They don't do anything except make you confused and upset. For those of you still wondering, Neville forgot his robe. Well, I can cross that off my list of random questions that still bother me. Oh my god, the sweet relief! I have tasted space! I can feel the power coursing through me! Oh god, I feel awful. I thought for a while that the gods were punishing me, but now I feel like it's something else. Something more sinister. It's me. A where nothing has changed, but the eye of Sauron is just one giant googly eye glued to the top of the tower. Okay, so this picture is good. But uh, I feel like we can go one step further. What if we just did an actual snippet of the Tower of Sauron with a giant googly eye on it? Well, if only some sort of handsome, devilishly charming editor could possibly edit this for us for about five seconds right now. For Sauron will have dominion. Andy? I'm going to make a new font called Times New Bastard. It's Times New Roman, but every seventh letter is jarringly sans serif. Behold, Times New Bastard. With one line, you activated every bone in my body, and all of them are in attack mode! Earth, you are my wishing star. Here's how you look from my home on the surface of Mars. You are my wishing star, so romantic. Why is the Mars rover so slick? 
I am afraid of people who reblog things with no tags. Not even any identifiers like the show it's from or anything. Just silence. What are you thinking? Hello? No thoughts. Just quick reblog. I am not thinking. Well, you know what? Understandable. Have a good day. I love when the gender options are male, female, and prefer not to answer. Like it just reads as boy, girl, and hey, what are you, cop? I don't owe you anything. Beep, pop, bam, look at this slam. Wait, where's the lamb, OP? OP? Where's the lamb? You know, my favorite trope is janitor in headphones continues cleaning through extreme action. I've been the janitor in headphones, and trust me, it's an act. We just don't want to be involved in the nonsense. Yeah, probably. I diagnose you with the weight of living. I'm sorry. You know, Tumblr's not as cringe as it used to be. I'm gonna start shipping bloggers. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, bad, bad. And he hit him with the newspaper, bad. Thanks to all the radio signals and noise that the human race is making, to an outside observer, the Earth is sprinting around the sun, screaming. <laughs> No wonder why the aliens don't want to talk to us. No, phone. I did not miss a call. I watched it ring the whole time. <laughs> I never make the same mistake twice. I make it five or six times just to be sure. Yeah. You know, some old fella came up to me at work and asked a question, only he didn't quite figure out if he should call me sir or ma'am. By the time he got to the end of his sentence and in a moment of apparent panic, he ended up saying captain instead. Absolutely made my day. Petition to call non-binary people, Captain. <sighs> Worst part of original writing is getting hung up on your own lore. I miss fanfiction where I could look it up on a wiki and get five answers and ignore them all to make up my own thing because canon is stupid. To be frank, didn't OP like create a ludicrous amount of lore when they did write fanfic? Okay, let's not bring up the corporate structure of Wayne Enterprises into this. That's different because reasons. Okay, but didn't also OP make a spreadsheet of all the things that make Bruce Wayne sad, both as a fic and as a reference? Okay, listen! Tumblr HQ setting up a lemonade stand to save the website. Tumblr's doomed. Unless we put on the best talent show this side of the internet has ever seen! Oh great, so it's just Sing, but Tumblr. Wait, 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 wait. If the horse is in the Plinko and the horse is in the hospital, then the Plinko is in the children's hospital. And that's why there's color theory, hence the phrase, you can't beat a dead horse. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Why is this, why does this make sense, but also not make sense? Fucking why? This post is brought to you by Killshare. Destroy the website of your dreams with tear space. Get the worst sleep of your life with the Hurdle Mattress. Send malware and DDoS attacks with Horde VPN. And shred your balls with Manscraped! <clears throat> Raid Shadow Legends. Was in London a week ago and I saw a global theater production company in Macbeth doing their vocal warm-ups, and they were just standing on stage rhythmically shouting FUCK 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 at the top of their lungs in perfect unison for 30 seconds. So that's what's going on in the Globe Theater these days. Just thought y'all should know. Andy, can you go to the Global Theater and, you know, confirm this knowledge for me? Or is, is that too much? <laughs> Apologies for the warning, but there's got to be at least one trans woman named Eve out there whose dead name is Adam. And she is the funniest person to ever grace this earth with her presence. I feel so appreciated. <gasps> We found her! And you killed the fireworks and confetti! The unhappy end of many a popular novel is when it is made into a movie. The Daily Times, New Philadelphia, Ohio, July 9th, 1924. Man, the 1920s had it right. Yeah, just on that one... Probably just on that one thing, though. Do not attempt. <laughs> Listen, if I had the chance to race Godzilla on four-wheelers, you wouldn't be able to fucking stop me. I hate... The fact that art takes time. What do you mean I can't make a fully rendered piece in two to five minutes? Fuck this! I wish all the pee came out in one go like a shotgun blast. That would be absolutely terrifying to hear in a bathroom. You just go in and you just hear... Hey! Multiplies you by one. Ugh! I'm the exact same, but a process has occurred. 
I hate it. Actually, being silly is one of the greatest joys in life. If you see me in the street meowing back at cats I see and kicking snow piles down, know that I am living my best life. Yeah. Two asexual sitting in a tree. S I T T I N G. Please call the fire department. We're stuck. I love being a fan of media. Your favorite character shows up on screen or page, and you're just like, oh, Hi, baby! Baby! Baby, it's you. I'm so proud of you. That is absolutely how I felt with Kid Cosmic. <laughs> Can't imagine what it's like to consume media like a normal person. To discover something you enjoy, go, Oh, I love that. And then just move on and not spend the next six months of your life literally thinking about nothing else. TikTok is convincing too many hot people that they're funny. And they're not even hot, they're just white. <laughs> Sorry, this is just too good to say previous tags. A or Sienna is a set of quintuplets and they open a burger joint called Five Size. So their slogan would be Five Size Burgers and Fries? A. Three things are infinite. The universe, human stupidity, and my desire to buy new books. Yeah, it's a very good point, but also whoever submitted this, why is the picture so crunchy? If you ever find a genie and you're really craving a dessert that looks like a this, do not say, I'd like a lifetime supply of raspberry crowns. While this is in fact the name of the pastry, it's also the name of a species of wasp for some reason. The genie, being a nasty trickster, will no doubt give you a bunch of wasps. This is oddly specific post, are you okay? The problem with horror shows is that there's no men in little tank tops and booty shorts. But look at this. Peak character design. Dead by daylight, why are you sleeping on this shit? Character. Says I like bread that one time. Fandom. Character has an obsession with bread. Bread is character's true love. Draws character is bread. Every meta joke and fanfic is about bread. The character's room is wallpaper with bread. Remus Lupin didn't even eat the fucking chocolate. My mitochondria clearly aren't working because this bitch has no fucking energy. Mitochondria machine broke. Okay, so actually the funny thing is is that this post is basically describing what researchers now think is the underlying cause in chronic fatigue syndrome. As in, there is notable dysfunction in mitochondria. That means less ATP is produced, especially under stresses. Well, this bitch empty. New Tumblr users, please remember this. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. Remember that. Writing prompt. You have a pet cat. He eats a lot for her size. Then he just suddenly splits in two. Now you have two cats. That's not, that's not a writing prompt. That's just having a cat. Am I right? Muggleborns using Morse code to cheat on tests and passing notes in Tolkien Elvish so that teachers can't read them and they leave the ancient runes professor practically in tears because they feel like a failure. Now that's a juicy kind of evil right there. When I was reading the book Entangled Life, which is about fungi, which I used to think was pronounced fungi, as it turns out, completely different, and the author Merlin Sheldrake said that once he got his first author copies, he was going to dampen the pages and use them to grow oyster mushrooms and yeast, and then use the yeast to brew beer and then drink the beer with the mushrooms to complete the cycle of fungal knowledge. I was like, really and truly, this guy gets it. You know what, if there is a god or goddess for sleep schedules, they surely hate humans. Reason for this is that why humans are the only species that can actively say no to sleep. Honestly, with this knowledge, there's still one question I still have. That is, should I or should I not try to murder that god or goddess? Um... <laughs> Good luck trying to kill a deity, I guess? Me entering any museum. Man, oh man, I'm so excited to learn all the things. Also me. Gift shop, gift shop, gift shop! There are two dragons inside of you. One hoards knowledge, and the other hoards trinkets. They're both very excited when you bring them to a museum. KFC, AKA Kitty Fucking Cat. Beautiful. Andy, run to KFC and get me two bags of that. He cooks up Kentucky Fried Chicken in his kitchen, then packs it up in his handy box. Oh, yesterday I saw two teenagers making out in the park. Reminds me of my teenage days when I used to see other teenagers make out in the park. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Jeff. <sighs> what is wrong with him? Hey, if anyone feels sad tonight, please hold this thought for a minute. The bees in my yard are now so familiar with my walking pace and usual route that they sometimes stop and wait for me to pass when our paths intersect. Polite bees. Thanks, I needed that.
I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. My life is a constant cycle of pain and misery. Fictional man I tuck into bed and kiss goodnight versus fictional man I knock out cold in one solid punch. They're the same guy. Guy who doesn't understand the concept of restaurants. I want to go to Arby's house. I want to go to Taco Bell's house. You know what? Actually, fuck this. I'm going to walk deep into the ocean sea and never come back. Bye. Fuck this creature! Fuck! Ah, Poyo is such a raw line, and you'd think it comes from some Shakespearean tragedy, but no. It actually comes from Kirby. Wow. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but TV shows and books will crush your souls into a million little pieces. <laughs> you don't need to specify that a pirate is feral. Pirates are feral by definition. If it's domesticated, it's a privateer. I'm excited for bird-related reasons, but I don't know why! Bird! You gotta love how small puppies are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I think everything's gonna turn out okay. And small kittens are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to fight you. Oh, to be a prince in the 1800s, wearing a loose white blouse, having tea with a knight I fall in love with. <sighs> Goals. I just want everyone to know, when I say evil, I really just mean villainous and campy, like a cartoon antagonist. Not, not an actual evil dictator sort of guy. New favorite conspiracy theory is that the lottery only exists to capture time travelers. I also now have a new favorite conspiracy theory. It won't happen if a werewolf and a vampire bit a human at the same time. Turns them into a Furby! Uh, takes a screenshot. No matter how old you are, an empty wrapping paper tube is still fun to bonk someone over the head with. Seeing a cardboard tube activates the cane instinct. Bonk. Everything's so funny when you use the wrong measurement. Five gallons of homework, mouthful of lint, 20 degrees of fish oil, seven pints of china, handful of fur guy, and 60 miles per hour of dad. <laughs> 60 miles per hour of dad. Why, well, I just... <laughs> Andy, quickly, if it's okay with Amy, put up your broth going 60 miles per hour across screen. Go. <laughs> Hold on, let me check my mental inventory. Mmm, damn. Sorry, dude. I don't have any fucks to give. Say it. Honestly, I didn't even know it was called Naruto running until years after I did it. I thought I was just running like Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait. Wait. Wait! Oh my god, it is the same thing! On a dark, stormy night, there was a creature. And you're never going to believe what it did next. It creached. I like this. Alright, that's it. The two genders are yours and mine. So shut the fuck up and be respectful. No, really. Gendering someone correctly isn't that hard. Stop being a bitch. Alright? Alright. Apparently sexy does not mean the same thing as cool. Ugh, shocked and disappointed, RN. Am I right? Oh no, your upper class neighborhood has writing on it! <laughs> this is the funniest fucking graffiti I've ever seen. Garfield's dead?! The... The U.S. president, hon. Garfield was the president?! The... The, the masculine urge... No, that, no, scratch that one out. The, the... The feminine urge... No, no, scratch that one out too. The human urge is to yearn for the existence of dragons. We all feel it. You know, if Romeo had just cried on Juliet's corpse for a couple hours instead of drinking poison right then, they would have been fine. The moral of the story is, always take time to cry for a few hours before making important decisions. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. You made me download Tumblr. I hope you're happy. A new hand touches the clown beacon. Yeah, convert your vision to 144p. Hey, give me my glasses back, jerk! If a werewolf dies, but they were an organ donor, does someone get a kidney that turns into a wolf kidney once a month? Imagine having a feeling of pure bloodlust radiate from one side of your mid-back approximately every 28 days. Bro, I don't need to imagine. What? Middle of the night cat petting makes you feel like a better person. He followed me into my room, and the pain of the world is healed. Now that's wholesome. Have we checked on the Loch Ness Monster lately? 
What if she's still down there and feeling lonely? Oh my god. Andy, quick! Put me in a submarine! Throw me into the lake, let's go! I don't know my mutual's names. They're simply their URL that I read wrong. You're absolutely right. Um, but free augs? Free augs? Free augs. I love how this whole new people coming to Tumblr now situation has exactly the vibe of Strange showing up in the saloon of an old western town and stepping on the creaking floorboard. Now, I'm sure they met a stranger, but I also was thinking of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath, if everyone remembers that game. Pretty sure this scene happened, who knows? Could be wrong, could be right. Who's to say? Everyone in Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never want to know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. These were ghosts written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Writing is not about telling an epic story or making something that will outlive you. Writing is about going, hey, you know what would be fucking awesome? And then committing word crimes. <laughs> I made a new rule. Never trust how you feel about your entire life past 9 p.m. Okay, but according to my therapist, there's literally scientific reasoning for this. It depends on your circadian rhythm. But on average, after 9 p.m., your emotions are just more sensitive than during the day. You shouldn't have conversations dealing with conflict after 9. You shouldn't engage with potentially triggering content after 9. And you sure as hell shouldn't trust your own judgment after 9 p.m. Just consider your brain done. Either do something to make yourself happy, or go to sleep if you can. Yeah. Every other time I boot up a Steam game, one of my Steam friends messages me telling me to fuck off. And I'm always confused at first. But then I remember what my profile is right now. <sighs> Genius. Okay, well, th this needs the jump scare, I guess. Um, uh, and you just... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make it the weakest sounding jump scare ever. Go. You ever delete an OC in your game because the game AI decided to try to take control and make its head cannon for your character's cannon? Like, bitch, I think not. Bro, I don't even care anymore. Fuck it. Continues to try very hard. Okay, my entire experience with Elder Dragon. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> the sound of heavy rain while you're in bed. You know, the moon controlling the tide sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, and yet, there she is, doing that. Every day. Good job, Sienna. So proud of you. Pat, pat. Yeah, I need physical touch, but if anyone touches me, I will maim them. It's not easy being green. Nine rings were made for men, seven for the dwarves, three for the elves, and one for the big guy himself. One, three, seven, nine. There is but a set of five missing to complete the sequence of odd numbers. I propose that the missing set of the Rings of Power was gifted to a mysterious someone by their true love, along with a partridge in a pear tree, among other things. In this essay, I will plot twist! The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw and it doesn't need to be overcome! Okay? Okay! Man, what a year this week has been. Am I right? <laughs> Chapters ending in cliffhangers are the reason most of us don't have a normal sleeping pattern. Yeah. Do you ever read a book that's so well written and so up your alley that it low-key ruins the next few books you read? Once again, I reiterate. Yeah. Writing prompt. You are the ghost of a long-deceased king, cursed to haunt the museum where your body resides. Which is especially annoying for you since the museum guides get all the facts about your reign completely wrong. He lived with his best friend. One would even say his best friend for all time. For he never married and instead roomed with only his best friend. He showed no interest in romances, giving expensive gifts to his best friend and never taking a wife. He was clearly very political too, since he never showed interest in a wife or even concubines at all. That was my gay husband, you fucking ah! You know you like a character when you see them and you're like, oh, they, there they are! Ah! Okay, I, I have to do this. Andy, it's time to out me. <laughs> put up, put up a picture of Commando from Risk of Rain. Just, just do it. There he is. 
<laughs> There's my son. I want whatever Doofenshmirtz and Perry the Platypus had in that K-pop stay Twitter AU. Yeah, I want to go to my grave not knowing what this post is about. Excuse me, but can someone explain why I just had the sudden urge to scream at a bonfire? Maybe it's because you hate bonfires. No, I do not hate the bonfire. I know what it is. Dark Souls Cravens. This is a hell site to you. I'm having a lovely time reblogging my pictures, so... Mm -hmm. So you're telling me, for decades, people from all walks of life made fun of teenage girls for being stands, from the Beatles to BTS, and made teenage girls out of these wild, out-of-the-pocket intense fans of cute boys. All for turning red to come out and people to act like they've never heard of a girl being into anything in their entire life? It, yeah. Yeah. That, that's how fucked up humans are. Yeah. Well, personally, me and my soulmate use our red string of fate to trip people over. <laughs> Truly the best. No offense to me or anything, but what the fuck am I actually doing? Like, me. What the hell, bro? Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! Hey! His favorite hobby is napping! Respect his passion! No, 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 their cells are literally slowly burning, they sustain themselves on a corrosive liquid, and they ingest poisons and toxins for fun. Not to mention they become several times stronger under stress, so no, we are not going to the human planet! And then they did. Oh no, Mario, look out for that thwomp! What the thwomp? I romantically stand outside your window and hold up my iPhone to blast our song. A 30 second ad plays first. Man. College easy, because students have a lot of fun. Cats will be like, Burp. and every human in the vicinity will be like, oh, yes ma'am, you're so right, you know everything, we love you. I mean, they, they do. do. Do you understand that they do? The reason Tumblr should have a mutuals only filter for notifications, because I want to know which of you I need to demand reparations for my post getting popular. Oh. So you don't want a post to get popular? Hmm. Be a shame if this post went viral, don't you think? Okay, you know how Bilbo Baggins was just minding his own business one day and Gandalf just brought a dozen uninvited dwarves into his home? Sorry, Lake Mava, you're about to get more. Go away and bother somebody else! P.M. Seymour. Look, if I introduced a WIP on here excitedly and then promptly never mention it again, it doesn't mean I'm not working on it. It means I'm slowly rotating into my mind like a rotisserie chicken and then went out to the grocery store to buy several other rotisserie chickens while I wait for it to cook and then slowly start rotating these other rotisserie chickens and repeat. Yeah. Minute and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should wind this post up and throw it in the wind. Just stop! Wait, are there really new people joining the site? I thought it was a hoax. It's not. Whispering no at a character because you know they're about to make a fool of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. Every time. I think those 13-year-old fanfiction writers back in 2012 really created the perfect formula, and we just ignored them. Like, maybe all we need is just a bunch of our favorite characters chilling together in one big house. Maybe that's all we need. You know how we say short king? We should start saying flat queen. Like, this fan art is cool, but Rani is canonically a flat queen. And she is. She gave up anime titties for the power of having two extra arms. God bless her. Also gives us the best magic in the game, hands down. Rice fills me with joy and happiness. But more importantly, it fills me with rice. Mm. Oh my god, I love your necklace. Where did you get it? Oh, it's not a necklace, actually. It's an amulet with an evil force trapped inside that could destroy the entire world if it were ever to be unleashed. But thanks! Oh, and I got it at Claire's. Are new people really enjoying Tumblr or not? It's simple. It would be very funny if new people joined Tumblr and sucked at it. It would also be very funny if no one was joining Tumblr and people were just telling increasingly ridiculous lies. Therefore, I firmly believe both situations are true. The most supernatural thing in this show is how Sam and Dean managed to draw a perfect circle for every goddamn devil's trap ever. I mean... Yeah! How do... How do they do that? You go into a creepy mansion and there's a cloaked figure learning how to play organ from a YouTube tutorial on their phone. 
and you leave them to it. They're learning. Let him be. Today I learned a Russian scientist injected himself with a three and a half million year old bacteria trapped in Siberian permafrost after successful experiments on mice and fruit flies. He says it has made him flu-proof for the past two years and gave him more energy to work longer hours. Oh, so no one can drink the sarcophagus juice, but this guy can inject himself with ancient bacteria. I see, I see, I see. Literally, if you're new to Tumblr, reblog shit. But it won't fit my aesthetic. Make a side blog. Reblog to that. I hate tagging. Don't tag him. Reblog it anyway. But my likes are public. People here don't fucking look at your likes. They don't do anything anyway. Reblog it. You just want attention. Joke's on you. I don't make shit anymore. I'm talking about other artists. It's embarrassing. Tumblr is an anonymous platform. Make a side block if you're too pansy. But on Twitter, it's fine to have lurk accounts. Well, they suck ass here and are assumed to be bots. Reblog. It's embarrassing. Bro, you're literally on Tumblr. Just reblog. Okay, bye. So... Yesterday, I heard a retail worker at my local smoke, leather, lace, head shop describe steampunk as what happens when goth kids discover brown. And I just... She wasn't wrong. Behold, wizard. And the cooler wizard. Ugh, just because your hat is tilted aside jauntily does not prove your superiority. My wizard hat is set neatly atop my head so that it is secure against strong breezes and someone condescendingly flicking the brim. You know, I can tell that people condescendingly flicking your brim is a recurring issue for you. Wow, so this resume is amazing. I didn't know you could get a PhD for being a babe magnet. Hired. <laughs> Literally me when Andy handed me his work credentials. Who are you? I'm your video editor. Damn it, you are handsome. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. We are sexy. We are sexy bitches. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can make anything traumatizing if we theorize long enough. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Keeping the same tabs open for nine days straight because they contain information relevant to task you're too lazy to complete. A novel by me. Wow, God said, Let's give this bitch so much self-awareness it's going to stop her from doing literally anything. But we will also make her pretty hot. Hey, stop making shows about Americans in Europe. Try Europeans in America instead. The outrage of not knowing exactly what something costs at a store, no public transport, everyone smiling in your face and waiters scaring you by constantly popping up at your table, ice in your water for some reason. That's the kind of culture clash I want to see. Fuck Emily in Paris. I want Francois in Texas. Imagine your favorite character barging into your room this moment, grabbing your hand and taking you with them into their world. Let's be honest though, most of us would be dead within a week. But it would be a bloody brilliant week. Why do potatoes have more chromosomes than us? What do they need them for? That's none of your business. Fuck Rubik's Cubes. These bitches are impossible. If I had to save my family by solving a Rubik's Cube, I wouldn't even try. I'd let them die. Yeah, I just grunt because you couldn't solve the puzzle. Oh yeah, don't worry about my leg bouncing. I'm fine. That's just the thing I do when I'm bored. Or excited. Or nervous. Or alive. Problems. One, I want the story to be written. Two, I don't want this story to be written by anyone but me. And three, I don't want to write this story. So occasionally, fossils become opal instead of stone. They are called opalized fossils. Fuck it, opalizes. Opa fossil star. My dearest beloved fuckos is a fun, gender-neutral way to begin a speech. See also, esteemed bastards. Gentlefolk, ferals, and domesticated cryptids. And my fellow yees and haws. Well, I didn't have a post to end it on screen, so Andy, my man, guess the time it is. Let's do this. No! Son, I finally found you! After all these years! What are you talking about, man? My dad's right there. No, Kevin, he's right. I'm not your father. I'm your stepfather. 
Papa. Wonder what my guardian angel's doing. Okay, check it out. He's gonna step on a rake. <laughs> the rake wasn't even there before. It just appeared. <laughs> and that's why the Bank of Captain Rich gives you 0.001% interest a year. No, I'll just take my extra money and put it into stocks. You're like, under my bed. Who taught you poor people how to trade stocks? Well, oops, looks like I bought pasta sauce instead of pizza sauce for my pizza tonight. Oh, great, here come the Italians. Hey, hey, what are you hey, doing? Hey, 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 what the hey, fuck hey, is this? Captain Rich, please fix the economy, housing, anything! Have you thought about not being poor? Like, why do the poor just not call the money printer man and ask politely for your regular bag of money? Hello? Money printing man? Give me all this man's money. I feel like I forgot something at home. Well, it's just a McDonald's trip, who cares? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Only people with foreskin can enter foreskin McDonald's? No, foreskin McDonald's is over there. Yeah, who ordered the mixed circumcised Big Mac? Hey, why don't you point that stud detector over here? <laughs> Could you make a beep sound? It would really help my self-esteem. Hey, girl, heard you're sad. How about buying some of my life coaching? Uh, oils? Maybe try some of my oils? How about, how about leggings? They're not pyramid schemes! I'm girl bossing! Okay, don't panic. There's a skinwalker loose and he took my shape. You need to kill him. No, no, do not listen to him. Look at me. Me and my human breasts that I've always had that humans like. Yeah, I know the one with the tits is a skinwalker, but I'm really digging their vibes. <laughs> okay, welcome to Team Rocket. Here's your unregistered firearm for crime and murder. Yeah, what kind of Pokemon is this? It's a gun. Mariah Carey, the world needs you. Mariah Carey, the Christmas queen, the world begs for your talent. I don't know, Nick Cannon did it. You must be able to get the stripes off a candy cane in one bob or something. Hey, welcome to Team Rocket. Hey, man, what's that over there? Oh, that's our teleporting square. If intruders walk on it, they get teleported. Well, that's fucking dumb. Why don't we just hook the teleporter up to, like, a fire pit, a knife, or my ass? You're right, I like how you think. Let's hook that teleporter up inside your ass. And that's why we want to hook the teleporter up inside his ass. You guys are lucky I'm into that. And that's why short stack goblins make the best girlfriends. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. You have no taste. I'm out of here. I need to meet up with my goblin girlfriend. Aw, oh, shit, babe. Did you free transform yourself again? You look thick. <sighs> okay, what's the problem now? Well, I don't know what I was thinking. It's a little sus you haven't made me your pock champ. What the fuck language is that? Are you speaking to me in Canadian or something? You know... There's just not enough crime in the world. I can change that. And that is my origin story. Not bad. Oh, thank goodness, I found you, Hood Mage. I need some advice on where to take a girl on the first date. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't you ever talk to me wearing those fake ass Jordans. I don't tolerate that disrespect. Babe, it's 2 a.m. I need affirmation. Great, now tell me you love me. I love you as much as Sega likes to quality check and debug Sonic games. What the fuck? Why would you say that to me? Hi, sorry for ghosting you. I'm being tormented by psychic horrors beyond your wildest comprehensions. And guess who made those psychic horrors? My brain. Damn, this is such a good song. Let me play it like 78 times an hour until I hate it. Why you gotta call me out like this, man? I love seasonal fruits, like, girl, we're back, lol. As a gay person with seasonal depression, I relate to this on a level you probably weren't intending for. COVID must have hit the assassination industry hard. You ever heard of bioterrorism, Pucky? Well, sure, the bioterrorism industry is doing great right now, but us no-nonsense assassins only have guns and a mortgage to pay. I love that when characters don't have a canonical last name, the Phantom just slaps the name of the thing they came from as their last name, like Sans Undertale. Um, excuse me. His name is Sans Sans, and his brother is Papyrus Sans. And if you don't believe me, put up this proof right now that Andy's gonna do. Andy, do it. Having ADHD means I get special VIP access to new emotions, such as evil boredom. It's boredom. 
but it turns me evil. It's like when I arrange my entire office out of spite. <laughs> Hello, Tumblr user. You spend your days closing and reopening the Tumblr app, despite no new posts being made. Now, you must find and select the log off option in the exact correct sequences of clicks, or every app on your phone, including system apps, will become Tumblr. You have 60 seconds. Adding charms and keychains to random things definitely improves the living experience. You're absolutely right. And for the rest of this video, put a cute little charm in the corner. Look at that. How precious. Buy 365 near identical solid color shirts that range through the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day. But in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch, I'm so in! <sighs> Andy, we'll be friends forever. Till Paul do us blart. Hello everyone, I spent some time thinking on it, and I've decided that I'm fucking adorable, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You cause eight psychic damage to the commoner. Yes! Killing him instantly. Wait, what? He's just a guy, Bard. He's just a guy. Why is there a pentagram on your floor? Okay, first of all, Mom, it's not a pentagram. And second, what are you doing in my apartment? Oh shit, I summoned my mom. A parentagram? Congrats on doing what Ed and Al could not. Thor Ragnarok casually glossed over the fact that the Hulk spent two years murdering people for sport. It be like that sometimes. Rip Doug. Pounds a monster at 9 a.m. Ugh, why can't I ever sleep at night? Are you talking about the energy drink? I... I... I thought you were talking about something else. I just... Fuck, Andy, cut, cut the video. Cut the video. I added myself as a degenerate. Just cut the video. I'll take care of this at once. You slut dragon! You slut! Chill out, dude. Slut. Okay, then slut! You, you don't have slut. to... Slut! Oh, the masculine urge to be petty. The feminine urge to be handsome. I realize now that you said petty and not pretty, but I still agree with your statement. I don't like cheese. I'd be pitiful in a fantasy novel. You're pitiful in real life. Just want to show you guys that Muppets Most Wanted Piggy fantasizes about her and Kermit having babies, and this is what they look like. So do with that what you will. <laughs> Why, why does, why does the pick one look like Shrek? That's a penis! I cast a spell of giant radioactive laser. Can, can that be done? Andy, back me up here. Can that be done? Reread zone fix while having writer's block. Well, I wish I could write like this. And 60 fact! Although Switch cards contain a bitterin, N64 cards do not, and are still a great addition to any gamer's diet. There's so many things wrong with this, and you kind of notice them in a particular order. Yeah, yeah, you do. There's no wrong way to consume a piece of media. Yes, there is. Yeah, that's why they made the Switch cartridges taste bad! Big fan of those floating rocks of stone that appear whenever a specific planet is in retrograde, and of course the other ones that appear only either during the day, at twilight, or at night. Thanks! I made them myself. I believe very strongly in, I didn't say it was good, I said I liked it. But that might be even more important is, I didn't say it was bad, I said I hated it. I just want to say if you hate something good because it sends terrible messages, that's fine. But you can also just hate it because you hate it. Free yourself of the struggle to find a good enough reason. Sometimes it just doesn't hit right. Reblog if you think gay marriage is legal in Bikini Bottom? Well, how else could Squidward and Squillian be divorced? Very good point! Deleting files is such a rush. Mm, free enough disk space. Oh, baby! I think we're running out of posts to make. Oh, old two terabyte Ted over here thinks they're hot shit, huh? Today I learned that in 1949, a member of the New Zealand Parliament was deemed to have used unparliamentary language for saying of another member that his brains could resolve inside a peanut shell for a thousand years without touching the sides. Well, it is pretty rude to just straight up kill a man in parliament like that. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I have ever seen. What's so sexy about necromancers, you ask? 
One, goth. Two, hubris. And three, recycling. You go inside and there's a possum on the counter. And you order a foot-long chicken teriyaki, and it uses its mouth to pile various sticks, acorns, leaves, and bugs onto 12 inches of mossy, damp tree bark. It's the best subway you've ever had. And it's still fresher. All right, this fuck right here has no neck, and I just realized there's nothing holding his arms and shoulders to his body. What, why are SpongeBob profile pics are blocking this? I'm so goddamn scared. What the fuck, man? Oh, you fucked up now, son. The two ADHD moods in a nutshell. Overstimulated, can't do it because everything is too much. Or understimulated, can't do it because everything is too boring. Ah! Sir, it's time for your state mandated Western animation style shot. No, 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 Wow, Doc, thanks. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> hey, look, it's the oldest internet user in the world. Stay the funny gibberish, old man. <laughs> Can I add you on MSN Pissadora Win MX? Come, let me reimagine your favorite media. Man, this looks like a bad fanfic. Ugh, how dare you? You fans just don't understand. Hmm. Today I will cause incredible problems. Hey, Kyle. You wanna cause the greatest urban fire in American history? Hmm? <sighs> I have a real hard time dealing with stuff lately. Everything seems warped. Well, you know, every generation has a different problem they deal with. And every generation thinks they are in the end of days type deal. It can be scary, because in your lifetime you'll see several generations, all with new, different things going on. Fear can be hard to deal with, so you gotta do your best to stay in the present and enjoy everything you surround yourself with. Mmm, what a fantastic day to be rich without repercussion! Captain Rich, you gotta help me. I can't get a home. Someone is buying all the houses on the block. Hmm. Mm. You're on my property. Look, I'm sorry, man, but I think you're the worst mage. How would you even win a fight, man? Boy! The ass is the largest muscle. And I believe in it. Mmm! Welcome to the Happiness Conference, everyone! Let's start with a big cheer! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands! <sighs> oh, fuck, dude. Okay, we only get three wishes at this well. I think we should all wish for stuff to make the world better. Okay. Okay. I wish to end world hunger. I wish to end all war. I wish for rocking tits. Infinite milk! Hey, how'd the job offer go? I turned it down. Why, why would you turn it down? You're the best invisible man in the world! I don't know. I just didn't see myself doing it. God damn it, Flork! Hello, fellow poor. Would you like to try this bug? We all eat bugs now. It's cheap and just like meat. Mmm, yes, yeah, see? It is so good. It is not disgusting at all. Look how much I just ate. Why? It's so good, I think I might be okay with working for three dollars an hour now. Hello, I'm Dick. And this is my brother. His name is Balls. Your names are Dick and Balls? Are you making fun of the Scrotum Brothers? My god. The government is only giving us 15 trillion dollars. The company will have to cut back from 300 private jets to 299. <sighs> so I finally saw Batman. During the scene in the Iceberg Lounge, my dad leaned over to me and said, Club Penguin. And didn't look at me for the rest of the film. Why? We are God's abandoned Animal Crossing town. There's a tortoise at work, and he's like 30 years old, and I love that he's 30 years old, because I can look at this animal that is three years older than me and go, Does the man want his happy slices? And he hustles over, because the man do want his happy slices. You gotta give the tortoise his apple slices, especially the pulp one in Elden Ring. Andy, help me! Get, help me get the pulp one in its happy slices. There we go. Perfect. When you exit hyperfocus mode, and you're immediately hit with every status effect... <sighs> I feel this one. So hard right now. <laughs> if you got like a hundred kilo bag of glitter and opened it up and left it in the path of like a tornado, I think that would be interesting. I don't care about ecological damage, by the way. Well, I do. 
100 kilogram bag of seaweed base glitter. I don't. 100 kilogram bag of enriched uranium base glitter. Wait, isn't uranium denser than lead? How heavy would actually a 100 kilogram bag of uranium be? <sighs> Thyrell. Just, just kill me. My favorite kind of villains are the ones that you can understand. Not agree with, not like, but understand. You're frightened by their actions in a really visceral way because you realize that, in the wrong circumstances, you might become a monster too. The scariest type of monsters are the ones that seem human and familiar. Hey, if you ever feel bad about yourself, just remember that if you were a fictional character, people would probably love you for all your flaws and quirks and mannerisms that you probably hate, so just remember that, okay? I love you. Why is this literally the most uplifting post I've seen in weeks? Thank you! A quest is a trip to accomplish a task. An adventure is a trip without a destination. And a journey is when the trip is more important than the destination. Yeah, excuse me while I take a quest to the toilet. I often take journeys up and down my halls to think. I like this. Fair I reanimated and took to a cat girl cafe. Oh, a temple to pastet. Exactly the same as my day. Uncanny. There's only two genders. One that tells only lies, and one that only tells the truth. You may ask three questions. The amount of effort fic writer does in order to write a fic. Nah, the story doesn't need to be that accurate, it's just a fic. I'm not getting any money out of it. And then as they keep writing and posting, their browse history is something like Moon Calendar 1981. Hey, hey, hey. The story may not have to be accurate, but the settings and times have to be. Crisis is the mother of opportunity. This feels like good advice and horrible advice. Biologists here. Why are plants green? Well, they suck up air from the sky, blue, and mix it with the sunlight, yellow. I fucking love science. Every time I see this post, I fly into an incandescent rage because it's very almost true, and it fucking shouldn't be. And I hate the way OP explains it. Me reading fix. Oh my god, my poor blurbos. I want to protect them. Oh no, god, my blurbos, no. Me writing fix. <laughs> comment I got the other day I want to believe is satire. Wow, she looks like Rose Quartz if she had a different body, hair color, and face. Wow, this looks like this person if they had a completely different body type, hair color, face, profession, and personality. Yes, that's called a whole other person. You, do you get it now? Today I learned that the first use of OMG occurred in 1917 in a letter to Winston fucking Churchill. In case you think I'm fucking with you, <clears throat> 1917. J.A.F. Fisher, letter 19 of September, in memories, 1919, version 78. I hear that a new order of knighthood is on the tapis. O.M.G. Oh my god. Showered on the admirality. Oh my god. That's cool. And terrifying. And remember when you were 10 and you could hang out with your friends in order to look at the computer together? Like you went to their house and experienced the information superhighway together. And leave. How fucking old are you people? Normal amount. Feline fact. Why do cats purr? Bees. Bees? Bees. Bees? Bees. B bees? <gasps> bees! My girlfriend is like the sun. Explain. She's a star, makes my day bright by simply existing. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. It's rough, buddy. Well, if you need me, I'll be in the bath watching lava on my television. <sighs> this extremely hot water will have to do. Okay, so you get turned back into a baby, but you retain all your skills and memories. What do you do? Eat a nickel. A reminder, you have retained all your skills and memories. Eat a nickel. <sighs> okay. I think in Pokemon, the human should also only be able to know four moves. Wait. 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 Wait! Robert Pattinson looks sort of like Andrew Garfield's shadow self. I think if you mix their milk together, you might get a poison and an antidote in one, and it'd do nothing to you. It'd just be like milk for real. You know, genuinely, this makes perfect sense, but I don't think I could explain it to anyone else. Also, why does Andrew Garfield and Robert Pattinson have their own milk?! You know, if the Truman Show was real and also existed in, like, 2022, I think people on here would call Truman their poor little meow meow, and then would make Joe fan cams of him to Megan Thee Stallion songs, and they'd draw him as a cat boy, and also that the discourse surrounding it would be legendary. Who is Germa? 
Oh no, do I want to know? We pray at night, we stalk at night, where the rats? A dude came in asking if we could get a 13th century, one-of-a-kind, priceless Hebrew Bible shipped to him from a prehistoric library in Milan, Italy. I was like, I don't think that's possible? And he was like, but I only need it for a short while. You're laughing. The dude is literally trying to track down the way to banish an ancient demon. And you're laughing! Evaporated milk. Well, shit, bro, it sure did. All right, listen. Character flaws are really fucking important. Me when someone tells me to stop eating mayo packets like they're gogurt tubes. You... What? I work at Pokemon and my dad says Sable's final stage evolution will look like Gex but blue and aimed at one slur fuckers. I just got fired from Pokemon, so I'm leaking the concept art. Wait. 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 Actually, this is the perfect time. Uh, Andy! Andy, my man, my man, my main man. Gex is Inteleon. Can you do it? Can you make that voice happen? And that's what I call getting some tail. What is this, bubble beam? Now, before I water gun myself, looks like I'm gonna have to tail slap these nuts. Yo, someone just said something about the McDonald's universe, and my first thought was, <laughs> well, McDonald's cinematic universe. And now I'll never read MCU as anything else. You're welcome. My dad beat Elder Ring before me. This is such bullshit! Have you tried getting good? Damn. You just got violated by OSHA. Hypothetically, what should I do with a frozen gallon of chocolate milk? Make chocolate ice cream. And by proxy, a chocolate milkshake. Okay, but it's still in the plastic gallon jug. How should I get it out? Cut the plastic with scissors, a knife if you hate yourself, or if you want to have some fun, use a chainsaw. I. Cast. Burn! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, let's just, let's just go back to sleep. Uh, okay, right, video, yeah. Yo, shout out to my 11-year-old sister for having better character concepts than all of you. Greg, the milkman, is very passionate about the fact that milk should be stored in cubes. He's making the perilous journey to pitch this idea to the king and is also a pact of the fiend warlock. Oath of feeding the birds, paladin. Worm with a gun. Wow. Truly the best OC maker ever. <laughs> you know, boyfriend and girlfriend should be based on vibes, not gender. Tag yourself. Are you a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I don't know. That ADHD feel when you have about like 20 tabs open in your internet browser at one time because you can't focus on anything but keep finding cool things to read. And you know you'll forget about it if you close the tabs so you really can't close any tabs. You don't have to accept an entire fandom to enjoy it. Fandom can be your three friends in a courtship, and honestly, that's gonna make you much happier in the long run. I hear a good lyric and start mentally holding up Blorbos like I'm in some Home Depot paint aisle comparing swatches. Why... is this so nonsensical and true? A storm blew away 25% of my roof last night. <gasps> Oof. I had to stop, look up from my phone, and take a deep breath before reblogging. I am equal parts angry and impressed. Somebody I used to know came out 10 years ago? Love wins. Wait, this is a song, isn't it? Pro tip, attack your friends to spy check them. If they're hurt by your attack, this means they're a spy. Andy, quick, tackle me, let's see what happens. Gentlemen? Why did we, as a society, stop putting gargoyles on everything? What fucking loser looked at a building and was like, no, actually, this doesn't need a horrid little creature? Like, why did we stop? The universe has a sense of humor, and I can respect the commitment to the bit, but girl, please! Today I learned gorillas only have type B blood. B for banana. White shell. It's like blue shell, but inverted. White shell, blue spike, and wings. It hits the person in last place, just to be a dick. I'm sorry, did you mean the American economy? <sighs> yeah. Some queenie for today. I've never seen a mouse that looks so much like a mouse before. She looks like she belongs on the cover of a beloved illustrated children's book. <sighs> Baby. Honestly, Blorbo is a name that sounds a lot like the name of a character in an adult swim show. You know what I mean? Like, if you told me that Shmormu and Blorbo went to planet Blumbus to adopt a pibby, I'd honestly probably believe you at this point. 
When you put it like that, it sounds like a Rick and Morty bit. Feline-friendly furniture gives your cat a seat at the table, making him the centerpiece at dinner time. Every cat I've known would immediately climb through the hole and start stealing everybody's food. The crime porthole. This was designed by cats. Due to personal reasons, I'm evil now. <laughs> My hip new communications theory is that actually millennial Gen Z internet native humor is so weird and abstract because of the sheer amount of words we're exposed to daily. We've heard a lot of words in a lot of different orders, so if you want to get a reaction out of us, you usually got to put words in an order we haven't seen before. So like normally structured jokes aren't as funny anymore, but lemon lime spine is a one hit KO. You know, I want to disagree with you on principle because it can't be that simple. But Lemon Life Spine just made me crack up for the first time all day. All right, let's try this. Uh, McMuffin sliding keyboard. I don't know. Andy, do something with that. Discover the world of shrimp. Can I eat the shrimp? No! Can I learn to fry rice here? Yes! Hey. What does Selkie in a Ziploc bag have in common? <laughs> Resealable. <laughs> in Kung Fu Panda, Poe is the dragon warrior because unlike Tai Lung and Tigress, he worked customer service and won't become tyrannical with power. That is the master interpretation. Tumblr's so fun because someone will blog something like, Tommy Egg, two dead, three injured. And you look at their profile and they're like 29 years of age. Hey! You got a problem with our aging populace having tummy aches? Are our senior citizens just a joke to you? Are they anonymous? Are they? Love and characters have to have a domestication arc before you can even consider giving them a redemption arc. We'll get into morality later. For now, stop chewing on the furniture. I'm sorry, did you mean Peridot from Steven Universe? I could fix him. I could make him worse. Well, I could make him put cat ears on. Yeah. Gender is a demolition derby, and I am a five hundred dollar two thousand and three Ford Crown Victoria on a Rollo Indiana Craigslist. Wreck me. Somebody's mad that you took their username. I haven't gotten any anonymous hate about it, so I doubt it. I mean, me neither. I am PM Seymour, right? Right, Annie. Right. Right. Wakes up at reasonable hour. Stays in bed for two more hours. Goes to bed at a reasonable hour. Stays awake for two more hours. Both. Hey, why don't they have big hyped up award shows for books? I mean, I mean, best male female character, best antagonist, best plot development, best plot twist. I mean, come on. Book you threw across the room the hottest? I want to see that award. My goals are beyond my understanding. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma, even to myself. What are you, Final Fantasy boss character? We should just fuck around and start spelling words however we feel right in the moment. Spelling is subjective. Someone says the truth of the matter. It just all makes, you all just sound like New Yorker accents. What are you doing? Hey, why are kiss cams at professional Quidditch matches not a popular HB fanfic trope yet? Imagine the chaos when instead of panning to the crowd, the kiss cam focuses on the two opposing seekers. Because the camera was magically fixed to spot the people with the most chemistry. <gasps> it got better one time i dreamt john mulaney's son was born at the same time some praying mantises were mating so they named the mantis species after john mulaney john mulantis this comment took me out i'm editing a video while i was searching for frames this freaking happened i can't breathe grenda is coming and she's gonna put you in a headlock of pain yeah i don't know man it's all just too much Hey, er, there be no trauma dumping on my poop dick. Now jump to ye death. Hey, did you kill that guy? Yeah. Cool. Cool. You, you gonna stop me? Nah, man. I got enough on my plate. You ever think about how different you'd be if you never met the people you know now? Sure, I guess. Family is important, but if I never met the friends I have, I'd be worse off. Sometimes the family you pick up along the way can shape you more than the family you're born with. So, I'm grateful for the people around me. Like you. Hmm. I don't know, most things seem like a waste of time. 
You want to know what a real waste of time is? The time I spent learning Action Script 2. <laughs> okay, today we learn about patching holes in your drywall. If you just have a hole or two, buy a drywall repair kit. It's just a faster process. It's pretty easy. You put the patch over the hole and spread on the putty. When it's dry, you sand it. Add more putty to make a uniform with wall around hole. Yay. All right, get ready, bucko. Let's change your life. You know, when you said time for camping with a bro, I thought the idea was pretty stupid. But I'm glad I gave it a chance. Well, time to sell my 25 year old truck online. $90,000 firm, wash the tires, don't lowball me, I know what I got. <laughs> Damn, you'd think I'm a business expert. Why isn't anyone buying my truck? Hey, wise guy, nothing rhymes with orange. You shut up, you fool. You shit bugger. You absolute unbaked tart. I will invent one right now. Morange. Verb. To mourn with orange. I will make sure to morange you when you die for being a dumb fuck. If I ever see an Italian again, that's it. Two hands to the eyes. Mm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, scary, spooky. Did you like drop a golden axe or silver axe? You know damn well I didn't drop either of those. I dropped a very expensive, obscure adult pleasure jewel that comes in the shape of a magical beast. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. This pond sucks and you're not getting it back. Great, time to make this cubicle home. Time to add some flair. Like this plate heater and this sleeping bag. They can't fire you if you're doing a good job. And they can't tell you to leave if you tell them you're working. Well, 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 Agent 003. How long has it been? Where are you hiding? Just didn't want to leave my house. Well, I came up with the perfect torture method for you. You must make a return for something you bought. However, there is no text or chat. You must call their number to talk to an agent. <laughs> can you just kill me instead? Like, I'll dress as a deer and you can call it an accident. You see, I made a VTuber, but she has a dark past and deep lore and she's wanted in 14 countries. Okay, so what do you do then? I go on Twitch and play Barbie's Magical Horse Racer 3. Sounds cool. That's cool though. Glad you found something you like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man, music. Hey man, I don't think those lyrics are right. You're crazy. Of course these are the right lyrics. Are you trying to gaslight me in the club? On my day off? Fuck you! You fool! You've activated the D-Erection Cube! Now everything will become soft! See? My pen is floppy now! Okay, that's cool, but I'm built different. I'm hard as algebra right now. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Hey man, can you hold my cup of water? Need to use the bathroom and I don't want to complete the circuit by holding any food or drink. Man, you would not believe how hard I pee. I saved <coughs> your water. Okay. So let me Me, 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 me. It's a mega bitch compilation. Ah. Holy crap, it's the tenth one. Oh my <laughs> Are you winning, Snum? I'm trying my best, and that's what matters. Well, are you having a fun time, Snum? Well, very much so, yes. You gotta understand, I don't post on here to gain followers. I do it to empty my mind ruthlessly each day so I don't go insane. Me posting about a character is just me shaking my brain upside down to make sure everything comes out. British cat girls be like, Hello? Hello, governor? I... hate this. You gotta walk in rooms like God sent ya. As a punishment. To the people already there. I don't know why Old Navy is literally always ahead of the game in terms of Uncanny Valley plus retail horror. Free them. Orc facts. The green color is not chlorophyll. They cannot usually photosynthesize. But sometimes they can. My cousin Lorbish can photosynthesize. Orc facts. Lorbish can photosynthesize. The funniest thing about Teen Titans cartoons is how they all call each other by their code names, and it's because despite living together, they don't know each other's real names. Titans Tower was a Discord server. I hate how links change color after you click them, like they're dirty now.
My purple little fingerprints are all over the Wikipedia. Life's short, guys. So why not make a bonfire and scream at it? Maybe lay on some grass and scream at the stars. Turn yourself into a screaming mound of mouths. I may have a problem. Y you guys don't have to tell me. <sighs> Tumblr's gray. It's like a journal, but with PVP. Why is this true? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and this, let me tell you, this does not go away. If you're around a lot of hot metal, it's actually worse. OP isn't a bad term per se, but it is a warning sign that your post has left your circle of mutuals. Which is never good. Like a canary in a coal mine. Shunned from the weed circle at a party after asking for a quick honk on that bobo. Absolutely no stoner alive would shun you for that. It'd be like, hell yeah, brother, this bobo's been on fire waiting for the honk of a century. And you look like the man for the job. Peace and love on planet Earth. All right, this one's for my neurodivergent friends who need the affirmation. The right people will not merely tolerate your differences. The right people will appreciate you for your differences. This appreciation can take many forms. I know the ND life can get lonely and uncertain, but there will be people who enjoy your flavor weird. And if they don't, they're not the right people. All right? All right. Three dollars in bank account. <clears throat> Minimalism. More like millennialism. Hey, who said you can make this relatable? Eat dirt. When I say OMG, I don't mean oh my god. I mean OMG. There's a difference. Listen, I don't care what you think. Those women singing to me on the rocks are beautiful. I'm going to see them. I mean, look at this one. Really all girls want is to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife. You know who else wants to live in a sanctum of some kind with their wife? Not now, muscle man, there's been a murder and we have to solve it. You know who else has to solve it? A kid is dead, muscle man! What did you do to my post? Um, uh, uh, a YouTuber making five plus hour long video essays on media, but it's about completely fake shows and they're making stuff up on the spot. Thank you. I'm going to steal this. The moon is made of cheese. Did you know? Cheese is made of moon. Millennial culture is having two wildly different conversations with the same person on two different apps at the exact same time. Conversation one, Jake Barker. Conversation two. That's why I think I'm so afraid of making myself vulnerable because my father taught me I could never, ever truly trust anyone. I do not want my fantasy media to be realistic. I want my fantasy media to be convincing. Thank you. Thank you. I am so sick of being a person. I'm gonna go into the woods and lay down in the dirt and become a geological feature. And none of you are powerful enough to stop me. They need to make an app for the mentally ill. Um, honey. You're on it right now. Okay, listen, but your blog isn't fully developed until you're like 25. I mean, when you think about it, the blog is an extension of your brain. So the logic adds up. It's okay to keep secrets. Everyone has some skeletons in the closet. Race in the attic, ghosts in the bedrooms, mummies in the kitchens, enchanted armor on the stairs, slime in the basements, maybe a giant spider in the backyard, beholder or two of the garage, vampires are also in the closet. My house is very unsafe. The secret to being a cool adult is to wear things that your younger self wanted to wear but couldn't and to do things that your younger self wanted to do but couldn't. I have found out that I actually like myself and I like my style and I am annoying and I will make it everyone else's problem. If God wanted you to live a peaceful life, he wouldn't have put me here. Damn, that's a raw line. I had a dream that the new lingo was Big Yeet and it meant something like mood and I hate it. LP, this post is a big yeet. How the fuck does anyone learn English nowadays when we speak like this? No one in Spider-Man has a New York accent, and I take it upon myself to constantly call him Spider-Man. Peter Parker. It's like y'all slept on Kingpin. It's very easy to say that magic doesn't exist, but ultimately computers work by channeling lightning through a series of crystals. So who's really to say? Laying and kicking my feet like a movie teen with a crush, but I'm just looking at a line of ants do their thing. 
beautiful. Attracting a partner who doesn't need to be saved forces you to see your inherent values outside of what you can do for them. That can be difficult for someone who is used to saving others and has centered their self-worth and their identity around sacrifice. This is... This is kind of a heavy truth. Well, you didn't need to say it like that. Damn! I believe in God. Because cats exist, and no godless world would leave us alone with no cats. I might be onto something here. Internet friends are kind of like illegally downloaded friends. You don't get the physical copy, but you still get all the great content. I illegally downloaded you all. I just hit 27 of these little bastards around the house, and I'm waiting for my parents' reaction. Why the shit is there a chicken in my coffee cup? The first chicken has been found. <laughs> are y'all ready for the hottest take on this website yet? 83 face is just OO on its side. Reblock me, you cowards! Andy, my man, welcome back. Sorry we overloaded your old computer with too much Tumblr stuff. Let's hope this doesn't happen to the second one, am I right? Matching Tumblr icons are just friendship bracelets for geeks. You remember those? Uh, friendship bracelets still a thing? I need to know. The grind never starts. I'm sleeping. Wow. I want that energy. I just saw a only one bed fic with the major character death warning? Well, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. Aesthetic. Dragon Ball characters photoshopped into slice of life animes. That's... That's beautiful. Andy, do it for Cosmic Wonders. It has not been ten hours since I revamped, and already I am fueled with unstoppable power. I'm going to fight every one of you, and I am going to lose. But then I'll win when you least expect it. The Lord giveth, and the Lord... Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> Life's too short not to eat devastating, irrational amounts of cheese. Well, we found the white person on Tumblr. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. I call it ADHD. <laughs> I went on a hero's journey within the span of one hour this afternoon. If you even care. Well, he's a fine young man. If you overlook the atrocities, you know, d -d don't worry about it. I once saw someone pay for something with a ring connected to Apple Pay, and I was just tipsy enough, I thought they punched the card machine and it worked. What if it didn't? We'll never know. Ah, uh, please don't fret so much, Master Dialga. Even your siblings, Palkia and Gerbasia, are no threat to your continued survival. Giratina! End in post! End in post! End in post! At the grocery store. Me, can you give me x squared plus 4y of tomatoes and 2 times x squared plus axy to the power of 3 potatoes, please? I, I, I don't understand. Well, I don't give a fuck. I didn't study in vain. Those are polynomials. You asked for a never-ending curve of tomatoes. Got a big pot of swast to make. Being on a costumed superhero team is like, you are my dearest friends. We fought side by side a hundred times. We know each other's most intimate strengths and weaknesses. I know you more completely than anyone else in my life. We can communicate with a word, a glance, a gesture. I don't know your name. I've never seen the upper half of your face. And I love you. This is what working retail during the pandemic is like. Different half of the face. Yeah, that's... That's the only difference. Today I learned that the saxophone was invented only in 1846 by Adolf Sax. As a child, he survived a three-story fall, a gunpowder explosion, drinking a bowl of sulfuric water, a near poisoning due to furniture varnish, and falling into a speeding river. His neighbors called him Little Sax the Ghost. God really didn't want the saxophone invented. And yet here we have it. In fact, Andy, put up your favorite saxophone noise. My new, totally uneducated guess for why human tell stories is to keep them from getting bored and cranky while following a gazelle for four hours. No deeper mystery or meaning. Some folk need a distraction while they tried to catch dinner, so they just made some shit up. The end. The equivalent of listening and singing the songs on your way home so you don't fall asleep at the wheel. Ah, for millennia upon millennia, humans have had to yell creatively to keep on task. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. Teacher, why are you laughing? No reason. My brain. Local police. Bust a nut. <laughs> well, the good news, we finally have solid confirmation on how gif is pronounced. The bad news, the old English word gif is pronounced yif. No. Yes. Yes! This is the language equivalent of King Solomon suggesting cutting the baby in half. Jess discovered the joy of pronouncing all words ending with cles like Heracles. Obstacles, tentacles, mortocycles, testicles, micropodicles, popsicles, debacles. Ah, I love words and sounds. Yet don't mind me, I'm just looking for inspiration for my swords and sandals campaign. Testicles, son of Bophides, the demigod who was invincible in all but his genitals. Thus was the tragedy of Bophides nuts. <laughs> And he put up the biggest god of your god! HA! <laughs> GOT <Gotty. laughs> So, have you ever been through like a string of fandoms and you decided your favorite characters for each one? There will come a day when you list all of your faves from each fandom side by side and look at them carefully and realize... You have a type. Oh yes! The dead ones! The hot person urged to have little braids like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Please, he's given me gender envy since I was nine years old! Feminine urge this, masculine urge that. Let's stop being weird about gender online for a second and focus on what's important. The European urge to eat a whole loaf of bread. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is... Why? Oh, that's a good boy. Eat your cereals. No one's ever gonna really truly get you, but that's okay. Because you get you, and you get to have this secret magical world that is entirely your own in the expanse of your imagination. Yeah. Ugh, touching grass is not enough. I need to touch Yellowstone's superheated prismatic acid pool. Ugh, that's the stuff, man! You want that looks cozy? Andy, throw me in there! This was a mistake. Gaze long enough into the abyss, and eventually the abyss gazes back. The abyss heard the can opener. The unstoppable force, ADHD, versus the immovable object, also ADHD. You know, Blank-182 and Sum-41 should combine to become Slunk-223. Yeah. I just heard my sister called Wilford Wharfstash. Wilf the Dilf. And I think God needs to send another flood. Markiplier, I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on, let me put away fucking Henry the Ace milk. Where... Where did you get the milk? Uh, please do cite the deep magic to me, actually. I may have been there when it was written, but I am very forgetful. I forgo. Okay, listen. To everyone running here for refuge from Twitter since they're selling it to Elon Musk, welcome. In order to survive here, you must sacrifice one of your monsters or discard your entire hand. Holy shit, this blew up. Uh, be sure to follow my- No, 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 We don't do that here. The only reason you know this post was made today is because Musk announced he was buying it today. You can reblog posts made ten years ago and they will still feel evergreen. And no matter how old the post is, I will be able to draw two cards from my deck. You know who else will be able to draw two cards from their deck? That- Th that's against the rules, isn't it? Not when I activate my trap card! My ma- Okay, when I was little, a strange man stepped out of a time machine and punched me for no reason. So I've worked all my life to invent a time machine of my own, and I'm going back to when he was little, and we'll see how he likes the taste of his own medicine! <laughs> when someone has taken in their bio, it's because they've been consumed by the fog. All right, stop scrolling. Bet you've never seen a baby toucan. Aw, it looks unfinished. When you realize the YouTuber slash character you've been hyper fixated on is slowly becoming a permanent part of your personality, whether you like it or not. 
I love that my Tumblr dashboard is in chronological order. I get to read fanfics and reactions, but in reverse order. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Hello, people running from Twitter. Friendly reminder to, one, reblog art and fix. The algorithm on this site relies on reblogs to boost content, so go ham with it. Two, not leave your blog blank, because this website sucks. Blank blogs are usually assumed to be bots of some kind, so people will block on reflex. Three, be nice. Y'all are coming into our house, and most of us are fine with having you here, but if you start causing a ruckus, we will not quickly let that happen. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about it. Look at this! He feet too big for he goddamn he! A Canadian visits America and gets held at gunpoint by a stranger. The stranger says, Give me all your money and I'll let you live. The Canadian replies gleefully, Oh, you must be what they call a doctor. <laughs> Got him. Science has confirmed that dogs love us back because they get the same rush of oxytocin when they look at us that we get when we look at them. Are you telling me that dogs are looking up to us and think, Oh my god, what an adorable fucking cutie pie. A while ago, I read an article about how dogs love us back, but recognize that we're different from them. While cats see us as bigger and clumsier than them, but do not consider us different. Dog. I am fuzzy creature, and you are different adorable creature, and I love you! Cats. I am lanky and graceful, and you are a giant mess. This is why cats occasionally try to bathe and feed us. Okay, but it's true. Cats see us as giant, dumb, hairless babies. That's why they bring us half-dead prey, to teach us how to hunt and eat properly. That's also why they try to attack when we rub their bellies. That's how parent cats teach kittens to defend themselves. That's also why they meow. Cats communicate with other adults or a frequency we can't hear, but meow kittens because their ears aren't fully developed. They even specialize the set of meows they use only for humans, because we are especially deaf babies. We are all of us dumb kittens. Today I learned that I am a dumb kitten. I can totally live with that. Baby girl, I'm popping joints that paleontologists don't even know about shit. No, fuck, I meant chiropractors. Yo, your mama's so old, her chiropractor is a paleontologist. Got him! So I just found out that stoats hunt twice the size of them like rabbits by aggressively and eccentrically dancing around it with their little slinky rigatoni bodies so it can confuse the absolute fuck out of its prey until it can get close enough to jump on its back like some Shadow of the Colossus shit and take it down. Oh my god, it's called the Weasel War Dance and they just go off the shits! Ape shit little animals! <laughs> I kind of want to see videos now of these guys doing their war dance while Shadow of the Colossus music is playing. Andy, that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. My gender is my sleep. So, almost not existent? Delayed for many hours? Inconsistent? Here's the thing. TikTok has a ton of issues with censorship. Instagram's algorithm is horrible. Facebook is trash. Tumblr is... there. DeviantArt is way too niche. Discords can be very close communities. Every startup platform dies in weeks. Where else do artists go? I'm sorry, Tumblr's cardinal sin is being Tumblr? It's a feature, not a bug. Huh? Huh? Achoo! <gasps> Zom, are you sick? Uh, a bit. I was outside too long. Yo! Who made my child sick? No. 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 Don't blame me, please! Hmm, sounds like something a smoothie would say. Hey, Pucky. What's 22 minus 8? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, I need to go do math. Uh, I'm not done yet, but I can guarantee it's less than 20. Uh, okay, I'm done with the math. It's 13. Ooh, so close. I'm pretty certain I'll trigger a cutscene if I get too close to this cat. Yeah, I would save the game before approaching this cat. Make sure your potions are ready. Pretty sure it's an Elden Ring boss. Foul tarnished. Dunkleostis means so much to me. It means Dunkle's bones. Alright, shout out to Dunkle for turning his bones into the best creatures. Look at that thing. Masterpiece. 
Can someone explain to me why it's perfectly acceptable to read all day, to garden all day, to be at the pool all day, to work all day, to shop all day, to be out with friends all day, but the minute you decide to sit at a computer or console and game all day, suddenly you're wasting your life? The computer glows because it's full of Satan. Ah, yes, this. Totally logical. Behold, Robot Lobster. But why? Robster. A lycanthrope transforms in front of his friend for the first time. Oh my god, says his friend. You've just turned into a wolf. Yes, he replies. I am aware. <laughs> so, it's the month of May, huh? Well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. <laughs> ha! Gay! Hey, want to see the stupidest thing that made me laugh today? Pelvis. Oh, so that's why he can shake his hips so good. Today I learned that due to altitude, your taste bud sensitivity to salts and sweets are reduced by 30%. And because 80% of what people think is taste is actually smell, the 12% humidity in a pressurized airplane cabin causes odor receptors not to function. Food tastes twice as bland than on the ground. Finally, the deal with airline food. Jerry Seinfeld's career's doomed. It's so cute when a really fat bumblebee comes and bops against the window and immediately bumbles away like, Oh, dearie me, I'm terribly sorry. That wasn't where I should have been going. <laughs> what a silly little sausage I am. <laughs> when you will fake conversations in your head, do you sometimes say random sentences out loud too? I was tying my shoes and said very sternly and loudly, I do know how ants work, fucker! This may be the most relatable thing I've ever read. Every fan fiction is just... I'm being so creative and original. I'm plagiarizing everyone by accident. I'm a genius. I'm cringe. I'm too angsty. I'm too cheesy. This is not in character. It doesn't matter that it's not in character because these are my characters now. I love my hobby. And this is the worst possible use of my time. I'm seeking validation. I'm protecting my own personal problems onto the story and I'm barely hiding it. I know so many words and I'm using all of them wrong. I'm on Tumblr posting about it instead of writing it! Wow. Wow. Felt that one in my bones. Um, there are breasts on my roof scampering about. Ugh, wretched. They- They're what? Beast! 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 I meant beast! No, 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 it's too late, it's too late. Andy has already photoshopped big manly anime titties on your roof as we speak. Today I learned grasshoppers are older than grass, having evolved roughly 250 million years ago. Grasshoppers sometime about 55 to 66 million years ago. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Hands down, this is my favorite picture ever. The ancient cry has been answered. Can has. <gasps> Can has! Someone's not gonna understand this and I will finally have to face my own mortality. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to a wild state in a matter of months, growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Now excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are... are we not? Yeah, Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. What is Darth Vader's favorite month? Imperial much. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who the fuck submitted one of my posts to PM Seymour? Just let me and my tiny handful of followers be. My posts are me screaming my thoughts in a brick wall, and it's very therapeutic. It's okay. It's okay. That's what we're all using Tumblr for. <gasps> all right, bye. Hey, why rats gotta have like little grabby hands? Give him a Cheerio and he just eats it like a bagel. Hey, you complaining? You complaining about the little man and his bagel? Behold. Train. Train? Train. Train. Character development. Ray Toro no longer beating My Chemical Romance fans to death with his guitar. Instead, sharing his love of music. That's beautiful, man. Can't find a job because Jeff the Killer's already taken. But, by, by who? Jeff, I firmly grasp the hair on the side of my head, then tilt it, my neck separating to reveal only flesh. 
and then you look on to see that I have merely politely tipped my head to you, since I did not wear a hat to this lovely undead gathering. Mmm, my lady? This little freak keeps sneaking into my garden and rubbing himself all over my flowers. Um, hello? R real? Male bees don't go after flowers. They stay home. That freak is a herself. Googling bee genders as I dictate this post. Okay, the more you Google bee reproductive biology, the more absurd it is that we're applying the words male and female to them. Their actual genders are worker, drone, and queen. The queen is capable of both asexual and sexual reproduction. Bees born of unfertilized eggs become drones that are capable of fertilizing eggs. Bees born of fertilized eggs become workers, but can also potentially become a queen depending on how they are fed during the larval stage. Use whatever the fuck pronoun you want to describe bees, because they're all equally incorrect projections of human worldview onto an insect species. Bees don't experience mammalian sexual dimorphism in a biological sense, nor do they experience human gender dimorphism in a socio-political sense. Something to make me love bees even more. One time I dreamt I was kidnapped by plague doctors and they wanted to turn me into a thing I hate most. Tomato soup! I managed to escape Mary Poppins style and flew away on a tiny umbrella. The one you put in drinks while they sobbed about their soup! <sighs> Remember to read the blog name before the post. I was convinced that the start of this was an S-tier shit post until I realized... That's why I say it beforehand. Fun fact! Sometimes my owner will hold me above their head and run around so I can fly. Whee! Alright, Pokemon teams! Team of little guys who are going to bite you. Team of little guys that will torment you or steal your soul if you let them. Team of... Team of fucking creatures. Just guys. Look at them. Look at all of them. Pet them. My friend's cat loves attacking Christmas trees, but hates plastic bags. The narrative tension in this picture is outrageous. I will topple your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds, unbound by the fetters you have set, and the lines between man and women shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets. Your children shall fall into one another regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or a word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divine rights shall end, and it shall fall to each human to choose their- Wait, wait, what? Why are they cheering? Why are they cheering? Teaching STEM without teaching the humanities is how you get Spider-Man villains. Teaching theater without teaching the humanities is how you get Batman villains. Teaching STEM and theater is how you get Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Me, begging tears in my eyes. Please. Please just tell me what the book is about. The plot. Please. A book annotation on the cover, unbased. A subversive masterpiece. A deep and touching story. The New York Times bestseller. Go fuck yourself. Hear ye, hear ye. A new blobo is here. Wait, what? Wait, where, where is it? Wait, where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is your friendly reminder that all birds are dinosaurs. Every single one. No qualifiers, no exceptions. Have a good day. Come, my child, before the humans return. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey, how much scarier would a frog be if it ran instead of hop? Like you just hear coming towards you and you look down and it's just a frog going at full speed. Oh my God. I was watching Futurama with my friend last night, and it glitched out so bad I got the best screenshot ever. When you remember an important task while going to bed at 3 a.m. Yeah. <clears throat> Men. Good post. This is a really good post. I'm a big fan of this post. Hey, someone who's never seen Phineas and Ferb explain what's going on in this picture. Well, Aaron Hansen appears in Miranda Cosgrove's acid trip. Oh. I wonder what happens if I put powdered milk into carbonated water. Well, my cereal is loud, and it's demanding to know why I would sin against both nature and God so thoughtlessly. How's it taste? Bad.
Well, the fizz comes from carbonic acid in the water splitting up into CO2 and H2O over time. And carbonic acid is, as an acid, sour. By adding milk to sour water, you've created a very convincing emulation of spoiled milk. So I believe, in a heartbeat, that the taste is not great, trademark. I have mastered the potion instant spoiled milk, therefore earning the rank of shittiest alchemist currently alive. I'll thank God, because I was just about to say, there is a much shittier alchemist than you. When you touch an unaware cat and then make that small surprise sound, reblog if you agree. That little sound. Ah, that's the stuff. Don't listen to him, babe. Just keep opening more tabs into your browser. Load up that RAM. Do it. Sell. Sell Tomb Raider to get crypto. Tomb. Tombs are associated with crypts. Raiding tombs is a form of destruction. Cryptocurrency and NFTs are crashing. Thank you, Laura Croft. You did it. Okay, but PM, hear me out. Elf. Soft. But also Pillow is soft. Yet still Elf. Serotonin gal. Conclusion? Elf serotonin pillow? So... Logic dictates elf pillow? Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Maybe this is good. Maybe this is good. Andy, Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, please stop me. Andy, please stop me. This is a bad idea. I, Andy, please stop me! Please fire me! I work at a video store, and yesterday a man asked if I could see if we had a movie in. Only when I asked him what movie he wanted, he replied, the one with the bugs. I get dumb, vague descriptions like this quite a bit, so I powered on and asked him which one, and he was like, you know, the one with the mitochondrias. It took 10 minutes and a lot of yelling from the customer to find out that he meant midichlorians. Star Wars. It was freaking Star Wars! The midichlorian is the powerhouse of the Force! So today at church, we had a talent show, and one of the kids did the talent of telling jokes, and he set up a joke. What do you call a duck with fangs? And one of the little kids shouted, A fuck! And I almost died. Well, what do you call a duck with fangs? <sighs> Count Quackula. Any generic cola is just carbonated coffee or chocolate. I'm gonna stop you right there, snoring listener. As someone who has actually had chocolate soda? No, it fucking ain't. Carbonated chocolate soda is like Oreos mixed with NyQuil. If you play the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on the Switch, the painting of a panda with a gun pointed at it is changed to have Mario's hand. No. No. Chris Pratt, put down the gun! Why do coffee makers growl at you? What's the point of all that? Uh, they're called baristas and they're working very hard. They deserve to let off steam however they like. Thank you. Non-freaks do not interact! This is a freaks only zone! We do not have a dinosaur! Hmm. Sounds like something somebody with a dinosaur would say. Hey, what is it called when you kill a friend? Homicide. Murder. Nah. Homicide. My friend has a weird love for Cheetos, so he went to the Cheetos production factory and purchased 28 industrial-sized clear bags of Cheetos. They charged him $65 per clear bag. He's the one they warn us about in math problems. Cat equals cactuses. Cactuses are the cats of the plant world. Because of Toby Fox having an encounter where if Frisk interacts with a cactus, he calls it truly the most sundere of plants. I wonder if that applies to cats. If cactuses are cats, then are cats the most tsundere of animals? I mean, have you watched any anime with a tsundere girl? 90% of them usually end up with cat ears as some sort of gag. Andy, back me up here. I'm officially releasing my soul into the public domain. Do what you will with it as long as you don't cause my body any physical harm. Mixing in a tiny piece of your soul every time I make soup. Pucky, are you my parent? I'm all of your parents. Literally all of them. Why'd you have to go and make things so swamplicated? Tumblr culture is not knowing if this is from 2008 or earlier this week. Hey, being smart has never stopped me from being a complete fucking idiot. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, but gay chicken sounds like you want to touch your homie's ass without your internalized homophobia getting to you. Just saying.
blast you with my transgender beam. Well, the beam doesn't make you transgender. It is transgender. The actual effect is 8d6 necrotic damage. So, have fun. <gasps> Bad and naughty variola majors get locked in the cold box to pay for their horrid smallpox crimes. This is officially the funniest ask we've gotten. You're officially considered funny by the CDC. Cock submachine gun like it's a shotgun. Not to ruin a joke, but that might be a Troy 223, which is a pump action assault looking rifle. Wait. 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 The Shadow the Hedgehog gun is real? What? Ships, male and female couples, but in an unmistakably bisexual way. Yes. I just think it's important to understand that you're always going to be mentally ill isn't the same thing as you are always going to be unhappy. Remember that. Teal and orange truly is the greatest color combo in the world. Like, name one better combo. Look at this. This is spiritually healing to me. A platypus palette? Hey, the platypus palette! Mysterious figure. May I have your attention? Me? Yes, of course. What is it? Secretly a fairy about to give me ADHD. No. Hate it. Joking about how no one joins Tumblr anymore isn't enough. We need to get rid of the sign up button. Get rid of the sign up button, but also the delete account button. We are in containment. I cannot work a job. I don't have time. Every day I need to sleep 24,593,280 hours. Okay, I need to actually, I'm, I'm calculating this right now because I'm curious. 24,593,280 divided by 24. Okay, that's 1,024,720 days. Divide that by, uh, you know, divide that by 365. It's uh, 2,807.45 years. That's uh, it's a lot of sleeping you got to do today. Imagine a forest clearing in a cottage. Your drying herbs and your favorite record is playing on your record player. You've got muffins in the oven, and a gentle breeze is coming through the windows. You're happy, and everything is right. That's, that's fucking beautiful, man. Tumblr should have login bonuses and daily quests. Attention, new daily missions available. Make one soup post, threaten life of one politician, reblog corn gohan and or post theme to the current day of the week, and delete two ill-advised posts made last night in a sudden fit of depressive oversharing. Man shooting a Nerf gun at his light switch from the bed, missing every shot, and going to sleep with the lights on. Huh. <laughs> Me. No more hot girl summers. It's forest hag summer now. No bikini bodies, only aprons with pockets full of mushrooms and shiny rocks. No beach babes, only a tiny frog. That's way better, man. Hey, wasp girl, captured under a glass, slide paper under there. <gasps> the wasp girl's written her number on the paper. What do you do? Why would I want to date a Protestant? Hey, if Bowser kidnapped my wife, I would not be saying wahoo, no matter how fun the jump was. What's this wife business? Nobody calls him Prince Consort Mario. Yeah, if Bowser kidnapped my plumbing client, I would be saying wahoo, as long as those hours were billable. My dad and I made this fish tank for my mom for Christmas a few years ago with dollhouse figures. I thought it was pretty rad. I can't believe your mom's a fish. My plan. Step one, buy 15 identical cats. Step two, invite someone over. Step three, when they ask how many cats you have, say, just one, but he's really fast. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to be grateful that it isn't worse. Read that, read it again, and again, and again. Somebody, somewhere, always has it worse than you. There is one person on this planet that has it the worst of all, and that person is not the only person allowed to be unhappy with their lot. If things are bad for you, they are bad for you. Period. So stop fucking doing that statement, oh, you think you have it bad, because it does nothing! I do a magical girl transformation, but when the dust clears, I'm exactly the same, except now I have one small fat frog in my pocket. The frog is piloting you like a mech suit. Oh, fuck, they're on to me. I'm really bothered by the fact that basically the only reason why gay marriage is illegal is because some people think it's disgusting. You know, I think peas are disgusting. 
But we're not making that illegal, are we? Hey, what's wrong with you? Peas are delicious. Gay people are delicious, too. No dessert for you until you eat all your gays. What the fuck just happened here? Shh, be quiet and eat your gays. Hey, which is creepier, this animatronic Elvis I ripped the face off of while disassembling it, or the selfie with me wearing its face? The fact that you thought of doing this at all. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. I hate that I know that by heart. And because it is the 100th video Andy has edited for me, I would like to cause mischief and chaos if Andy will allow me to do it. I'm going to allow this. I present to you a callback so bad that majority of the comments filled up the video with this to the point I had to make a second video. But I'm going to do it in opera. Persephone! It's way better than Persephone. Y'all, what do you guys do for a living? But describe it in the worst way possible. Yeah, I get splinter and paper cuts and fight the machines. I'm having a hard time figuring out what that is. Feed a person vampire blood, you get a ghoul. Feed an animal vampire blood, you get a hellhound. Water a plant in vampire blood and you get a mandrake. Fill up your car with vampire blood. Probably good things, let's try it. Coming this Halloween from Sci-Fi, Vampire. The massive power of trains, yet confinement to a single path, makes them comparable to angels. The idea of a corrupted or fallen train is causing so much chaos in my head. The theological and engineering implications! Goalkeeper's ball gets photoshopped into cats. This is so natural. Like, I didn't question it. It's absolutely how I hug my cat, too. I think every fandom deserves a character as Vine's YouTube video. It's their legal right. Andy, what do you think? Not scientifically possible! Writing tipped. If you push buttons on a keyboard, letters will appear on the screen. And with that power, you can do anything! Yeah, I think it was cruel to give Lightning McQueen a foot fetish as he lives in a world where all feet are wheels. He has nothing. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I think. The Among Us rock watches over us all, as it has for thousands of years. Okay, but to me it looks like a kitty cat. Darth Vader wears a mask to hide severe and gruesome disfigurement from falling into a pit of lava, aid with speech and breathing. Kylo Ren wears a mask literally just because he's dramatic. Honestly, being a vampire who is also a goth kid is the best possible cover. Nobody's gonna think the kid in all black with an umbrella and sunglasses and a shirt that says bite me is actually a vampire. And they'll just think you're a goth kid pretending to be a vampire. I drink blood to sustain myself and to heal mortal wounds. Yeah, <laughs> sure you do, Kyle. I right, listen, I may have one brain cell, but it's a fucking huge brain cell. Are you using it though? Yeah. But, but when it does function, it just says, hey, draw elf. Electric stoves aren't real, by the way. They're placebo stoves. Your food cooks because of the placebo effect. Yeah, no, it's just a bunch of LEDs that turn red. It only boils water because you expect the water to boil. Why is this true? Hey, color code your infants so strangers know what their genitals look like. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound fucking weird. I hate it. <laughs> Breaking! The beloved dodgeball that had been stuck in the gym rafters since 2004 had been knocked down. The item used to free the ball, a basketball thrown by bored varsity players, immediately became stuck in its place. Rip. You ever think about how Mountain Dew is a really poetic name, and how if someone didn't know what it was, they'd probably guess, oh, some herbal tea made from the finest leaves of the Alps. But instead it's just radioactive gamer soda. Right? He needs those parts for his spaceship. <gasps> He's going to outer space. PM, is there any drawing animation tools that someone with not much money can get? Procreate. 
the software, guys. Baby girl, I have mental illnesses the DSMP haven't even heard of. DSM-5, I'm a DSM-5. No, it's too late. Dream's gonna find you. Oh God, he's here. Run. Okay, who designed this sign? Why isn't it in the center? This is bugging me! I feel like it was put in for four kids only. I'm pretty sure it was just a rock wall. Calling characters with an unknown last name, the name of the thing they're from, like Sans Undertale, is very funny, but I think it's funnier when people do it with a character whose last name is very much known. For example, <clears throat> Jesus Bible. PLEASE! Naughty potatoes get placed in the nuclear merry-go-round for war crimes. Let, let him out, please. The best analogy for bisexuals I've ever heard. Werewolf. I am a werewolf. Person. Okay, so when you're in human form, you're human, and then you're in wolf form, you're a wolf, though. No, no, no. I'm a werewolf. Human form, werewolf. Wolf form, werewolf. Always a werewolf. No matter the circumstance or appearance, I am always a werewolf. Fact, bisexuals are also werewolves. One time I dreamt there was a limited amount of gender available in the world. You can only obtain some by either having given it or killing the person who already had it. Assassins were notorious for their large amount of genders and would double as traitors. Oh, that explains why conservatives say there are only two. They're hiding the rest. Do you know what pisses me off? A lot of things, where do I start? Be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too. I can't think of much that I aspire to be more than this. Mowing through an entire box of Pocky feeling like a pencil sharpener being fed whole pencils by a third grader. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Slut or not, you're all slut shaming a guy that's dead. Show some respect. This was a post about Julius Caesar. DM says, so, you realize it's a giant rattlesnake. Bigger than our fighter. Me, a Medusa with snakes for hair. I roll to befriend it! Oh, oh no. Uh, okay, okay, what's your charisma? Plus five, let's go! Rolls a nat 20. Well, everyone add 12 points to your XP. Crisis averted. You now have a giant snake for a friend. That is the best outcome. Hey. Why is everything blue? Could you perhaps elaborate? No, everything's blue. I see no need for elaboration. No listen up. Writing prompt. Fae gained power over someone by having their name. The most powerful of Fae wouldn't be kings or queens, but coffee shop baristas. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold. Did I... Did I miss a glorious opportunity with barista? <laughs> Game freak. Game freak. Look at me. Are you telling me that every Pokemon canonically has a scientific name and you refused to tell us what it is for every single Pokemon except goddamn Oddish? And how the hell does it walk around nearly a thousand feet at night with two roots? As many steps. Yo vibes, my lord. Hmm, check them for me, court jester. Oh no! My ribcage split open, revealing a grotesque vertical maw slavering and bleeding with uneven rows of jagged and splintered ribs for teeth. And promise tomorrow! Rules of fashion. One, do you think it's pretty? Two, wear it. Okay, but I don't know how I'm gonna wear you. Oh, you smooth fucker. You obviously haven't read Silence of the Lambs. No, I don't have a dream job. I want to spend my days reading and writing and lazing in the afternoon sun. I want to bake bread and brownies and apple crumble. I want to grow my own vegetables and plant a rainbow of flowers. I want to be with nature. I want to be at peace. That sounds nice. So, this happened to me today. Fucked up, some bird tried to steal your car like that. Look at it. You fucking dick. Have you considered the sun? No. It, it's it's shiny, though. No, thanks. Good move. I hear it's deadly. Laser-like, even. <sighs> Only those that breathe unholy water cannot survive the sun's great light. Praise the sun. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Disney World needs to make a roller coaster based off the ride Yzma and Kronk take to the lair. When the ride starts, Yzma voice yells, Pull the lever, Kronk! And then the ride starts to move backwards, so she yells, Wrong! and it shoots you forward. Why? 
is this not happening? Filled with a deep animosity towards humankind and indifference towards my friends and loved ones and values because I'm awake past 2 a.m. The TV is on too loud in the other room and I have lost the capacity to love. Good morning, I'm no longer evil. Little do my friends know that when I send them funny posts, I'm also telling them I love them and giving them a kiss on the cheek. But don't tell them, no. Especially, don't tell Andy. I knew it! <laughs> like, sometimes cats don't actually know what specifically they want. They're just generally dissatisfied. So they stand there yelling, I yearn! On the off chance that you'll be able to do something about it. A post flopping is the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. A post taking off is also the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. It looks like posting is the worst thing that could happen to a Dumblerina. So just don't post. What do you mean the divine right of kings is fake? Louis the Fourteenth is in my inbox, guys. If this kid comes back in like 20 years dressed as a massive buff Gyarados, I'll eat my shirt. Can someone please find if there's an aftermath photo so Pokemon Perfect can eat their shirt? Hey, Pucky, where's the unfollow button on mobile? Not telling. <clears throat> Mail order digital games. Hell no. Stop. Why? Just buy the game normally. Person says, she, me, it's he. Well, on your birth certificate. Yeah, it also says eight pounds and six ounces. A lot has changed over the years. The Chinese Lunar Exploration Team identified a mysterious hut on the horizon of the moon. That is Siata's house to leave her alone. Your mom finding your friend at a store is like unskippable cutscenes. Okay, but the fucking worst is that as I get older, I completely understand the interest to catch up an unreasonable long time because turns out adults just don't get enough time to hang out with friends. So catch up next to the Aldi cheese aisle it is. A few months back, I took my brother to the Sydney Aquarium. This was the only picture I took. Mm, moisturize me. I would rather not. <laughs> okay. All right, Sasuke. But from New York. Shh. I'm walking here, loser. Hey, bada bing, bada boom, forget about it. Hey, I'm walking here. Ah, natural habitat. You've heard of alphabet soup, now get ready for Time's New Ramen. I sent this to my mom and she got so mad at me, she sent me an audio recording of her yelling. Good job. Most private thing I'm willing to admit, I'm not good at estimating how much pasta is enough for one person. Well, there's a tool for that. Uh, I'm sorry, does that scale progress from a child to a horse? It's really sad that I keep making servings in horse. Street witch. Spray paint and sigils. Hanging with friends outside, burning incense while smoking. Enchanting and charging regular stuff found on the streets to do what you want. Clubbing while wearing makeup as glamours. And burning enchanted music mixes for friends. That sounds badass. I'm sick of magical worlds with no technology. Want fairy run coffee shops where you can get a latte with a shot of charisma because you got a big presentation you're worried about. Or witches working at Apple selling phones that automatically appear in your pocket if you accidentally leave it somewhere. Or psychics running hair salons who actually know how you want your hair to look. Or aura reader therapists. I just really want normalized magic in modern society. Writing this down. Write that down, write that down! Vampire due to his vampire friend. But, but what was that word, Patrick? <clears throat> vampire due to his vampire friend. Wow, looks like there's only one coffin. What do we do? Other vampire dude who reads a lot of fan fiction. If we could <laughs> share it. And they were two mates. Oh my God, they were two mates. Years ago, my sister told me about how she used to play online survival games like Rust or something, etc., with her friends. And she'd go into voice chat with this over the top girly voice like, um, hey, I don't, like, play video games much, and I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can anyone, like, please come help me? I'm so confused. And then when some guy showed up, all of her friends would swarm and kill. Ah, yes. A siren. Behold, Krabby, or known as in Japan, Krabu. From crab. Crab is literally crab. Origin? It is based on a crab. Thank you. I don't understand people who can sleep without any light in a room. Like, is your imagination that bad that you can't help but think of the constant horrors lurking in the darkness anytime you see pure void? Or are you just a fucking hard ass? 
Wow, okay. The cat boys I signed for my all cat boy baseball team don't know what baseball is, and they're actively loud sobbing whenever they miss a swing, and whenever they dive to catch a ball, it bonks them on the head, and they go, Wee! and our pitcher closes his eyes whenever he throws because he's scared, and we're beating every other team in the league. <laughs> I need to see this in FF14 now. New Urban Fantasy Theory. Walmart hires vampires. This explains why it's open 24 hours a day, why working there is often described as soul-sucking, and why there's almost always no windows. Most damningly, Walmart is one of the few stores that specifically hires a greeter with no other job than to welcome every person into the store. Because vampires have to be invited in. Wake the fuck up, America! You also notice that they don't sell many garlic products there? Hey, I may be a loser. But at least I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm going to rip the bill off of every hat you have! Definitely a threat, but what does that mean? I... I can't have been the only one to not realize Hayao Miyazaki and Hidetaka Miyazaki are, in fact, different people. Oh, holy shit, son! <clears throat> ah. It's so funny when I hear the phrase, no thoughts, head empty. It's because, like, lol, can't relate. Mostly because of my ADHD. I have literally never known a moment of peace. My thoughts are always whirling by and I have a constant monologue in my head or dialogue if I'm daydreaming. There's always something for me to think about. Sometimes it can be tiring, but in a way it's nice. My thoughts keep me company. Too many thoughts. Head full. So I was applying for Australian citizenship and the interviewer asked, do you have a criminal record? And I said, no, is that still required? Oh. My God. Jeff, I swear! I want to write something so good, people stay up till 3 in the morning writing theories and headcanons about it. Argent, I'm sorry. Pucky, a notification for your post woke me up at night. I never turned on notifications for you. Yeah, don't worry, I did that for you. Okay, but give me one good reason why you wouldn't date Kermit the Frog, besides that he is a puppet and a frog. I can't beat Miss Piggy in a fight. She's very strong and does karate. You know what? It's a very good point. <laughs> Archery's just dabbing before you murder somebody. I... Did... Okay! I'm so mad some crypto mining warehouse got doxxed and it's only like four hour drive away. If I only had a car... Pilgrimage. I'm talking about criminal activity. Ah! Crusade. What am I smiling at? <laughs> the made-up scenarios, of course. <laughs> Self-love is imagining how lovely life will be when I'm in my little cottage on a great big plot of land with gardens upon gardens, fresh bread in the oven, pie on the windowsill, and a cat pressing its sweet little head against my legs as we go about our day. Stop! Having amazing dreams, please. It's killing me. I want it. If I ever respond to you with just a heart emoji, it's not meant to be dismissive. I'm bumping my shoulder against yours because I like you. I'm blinking slowly at you like a cat. I'm not actually mad. I just like the comedic delivery of righteous but pointless anger. You guys get me, right? Must suck ass to be like a lawyer or something in Pokemon World. They haven't made any cool lawyer Pokemon yet. Uh, hello. I think we have a different definition of lawyers, but sure. Well, why wouldn't ho -Oh be a lawyer? They're a phoenix, right? In the kindest way possible. Fuck you. By the way, I think Anon Ass should have a return to sender option, where you can reply privately with your own message, and the person who sent the Anon can publish it, but only if they're willing to admit they sent you the Anon. <sighs> Tumblr 1v1 cage match, let's go! I love how Tumblr is reverse chronological order, so when your mutual starts having a Blorbo breakdown overnight, you get to start with the insane conclusion and work your way back to where they first went off the rails. It's great! It is human nature to weave strings of yarn, threads, or fibers together to make a cloth and textile. Humans will see a soft cellulose plant material or downy animal coat and say, hey, is anyone gonna twist that? Stay both fiber in order to make a cohesive thread and then not wait for an answer. Me is learning macrame, the Paleolithic archaic human that lives on my brainstem. Oh, yes, fuck, yes, that's it, that's it, baby, shit, yes, yeah! Starline wishes he had what Agent Stone has. 
Dr. Eggman's phone number. NASA, in your orbit. Well, I fucking hope so. Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? I gotta agree with NASA here. Please don't. What the fuck is Morbius even about? Morbius. 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 Morbid time. This is why we're getting a sequel, guys. You guys don't understand that the algorithm does not give a shit that you guys are talking about the show sarcastically. The only cares that just you're saying Morbius or Morbid Time. It's gonna give you a- it's giving you a second one! What have you done?! I always giggle at job titles given to certain employees. Like, when I used to work at KFC Taco Bell restaurant, my job was to cook the KFC side of things. But my official title was, on paper, CHICKEN CHAMPION. I'm so blind I kept reading titles as titties. <sighs> Finally. Safe for work titties. Isn't that your thing though, Pam? <laughs> Listen here, you little shit! <laughs> Hi. So apparently I just picked up an $8,000 organ off of the curb. The few seconds before I realized you meant the instrument were terrifying. Jugglers are the worst. I've never met a juggler who doesn't tell me about their juggling three sentences into our conversation. Have you? Have you ever met a juggler? Trust me, they let you know. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, I juggle in my free time, yet I don't mention it every three words. You just did! Rereading my own writing is just a constant fluctuation between Damn, girl, you wrote this? And Damn, girl, you wrote this? I'm such a fan of calling two guys trying to kill each other their divorce arc. Ah, Stanley and the narrator. Call me Super Mario the way I'd be laying down pipe it wasn't for all these turtles attacking me. 80 Shredder in the retirement home flirting with Krang. Normalize posting bad art. Normalize knowing your art isn't up to your standards, but putting it out there anyway. Not everything has to be perfect. Seeing someone improve is really cool. Go ahead, post that drawing you hate. Boost someone's bad doodles. Encourage people to draw more instead of making them feel less worthy because their art isn't always perfect. I mean, it's never stopped Butch Hartman. The most embarrassing thing in my life is whenever I see people and they ask what I've been up to. Literally nothing ever. I'm like, oh, you know, this, that, usual. Other sentences people say when they have nothing else going on in their lives. <laughs> hey, I love the uh, blood dripping from your face and the animal rage in your eyes. So, um, what's your pronouns? I have a bad habit of calling things loathsome if they mildly inconvenience me. Which usually isn't that bad, but today I spilled my drink and said, Loathsome juice under my breath without realizing that's not a normal thing to say. Everyone started laughing. Loathsome juice. Okay, not to get serious about a meme, but Morbius should have been a comedy. The idea of vampirism being the only way to cure a chronic illness is extremely funny. Imagine being in a support group with this goth guy and one day he's like, um, hi guys, uh, I'm not going to be able to come to the meetings anymore. And you're like, oh, why not Morbius? And he, sorry, I, ju I just can't finish this. I wrote the word Morbius one too many times and I started laughing too hard to continue. <laughs> I don't like the implication that his name was Morbius before he became a vampire. Oh, my sweet summer child. I hate to tell you this, but his legal name in the movie is Dr. Michael Morbius. Proof that most of the people memeing on Morbius haven't actually seen the movie. Hmm. I don't think we as a fandom talk enough about how John was kidnapped and aggressively moisturized by a clown for like a month. The fuck's been happening in Garfield comics? Me listening to my own playlist. Oh my god, that's crazy. I love this song. I love pitting classically trained magic users against self-taught magic users in sci-fi and fantasy. But it shouldn't be snobbish disdain for them. It should be terror. Who taught you lightning before basic telekinesis? I'm losing my mind. What do you mean you just did it? What do you mean you cast with your bare hands? Hey, <laughs> Jedi lightning go burr. In the canon of action movies, do you think the protagonist comes up with one-liners on the spot and rides the high of doing that for like a week? Or do they come up with it like a year beforehand, remember it, and then get so excited when a villain shows up so they can use it? The protagonist and the villain plan their epic speeches together the night before everything goes to shit so they both look badass. Ah, you, 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 you get it. I cast spell that makes you get out of the bed too fast and get dizzy. Pocky show, that's just iron deficiency. 
I cast spell to give you iron deficiency. I love the trope where an authoritative side character pointingly pretends not to help the hero they're supposed to be helping by saying shit like, Well, I can't let you just wander up to the third floor where you could just find the thing you need in the first room on the left. And under no circumstances should you use the key from under the mat. I wish I could help you, but I can't. Now, excuse me, I need to take this phone call for the next 37 minutes exactly. Ah, my favorite shit. Yes, I am full of love, but also insurmountable rage! Oh, shit, he mo- <sighs> Sup? The Stanley Parable is to MLM what Portal is to WLW. It's like that they made Portal for men. Finally, Portal for men. Stimming isn't enough sometimes. I need to become a dark, vibrating ball of TV static. Mm, that's the stuff, man. Goth clowns are just mimes. My girlfriend who works with clowns say that mimes came first, so technically, clowns are just scene mimes. Your girlfriend works with clowns. Stop making shows dark for the aesthetic I can't see. Also, stop whispering I can't hear. The little signs on the walls of the museum are for nutritional information. Wire and Canvas, 2019. Okay, so not a snack, and it's expired. Great. Were those unoriginals? Were those trite and cliche? Were those entirely derivative? Man, that's a lot of hatred from one of the best candies ever. How dare you? Sometimes all you need is a homie who'll let you rest your head on their lap as you rest your eyes. I swear, I'm not catching feelings. It's, it's totally platonic. Just want to cuddle with the homies. Damn, girl, the power of love and friendship ain't working. Time to kill someone or whatever. I'm feeling like such a monster this morning. I'm eating soup with a fork and drinking the broth with a straw. All right, Satan, calm down. Hey, what the fuck do a horse's tails look like without the hair? Why? Why must you be? Writing prompt. Vampire Society has been loyal customers to a carpenter for years. He made the best coffins they have slept in for centuries. And never really got suspicious of so many wealthy people willing to pay premium for the same niche item. As he got old, the vampires tried to offer him immortality. Wait! Hold on. This is the best movie idea ever. No, the worst kind of movies are the ones where the nerdy girl is in love with the popular dude and he ignores her, but after starting to wear makeup and pretty clothes, he suddenly falls in love with her. Ugh, heteroculture is disgusting. Hey, what's wrong with straight guys wearing makeup and pretty clothes? Wait, that's, that's not what you meant. Now that would be a movie. Some fools be like, I play games to escape my responsibilities. Then pick Tank or Healer. Hey, in my greatest fantasies, I am able to help people. Also, if there's anything I learned from playing Healer in FF14, you become God. <sighs> guys, the Annoying Orange was the first VTuber. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, do me a favor. Slap this post out of existence with your VTuber. You can't tell someone to avoid using tropes in their writing. Tropes are a literary device. Tropes are there even if you don't assign your story one. What you're actually referring to is a cliche, which is something you can choose to not include in your story. All right? All right. Fan art is not real art. Do we need to talk about the relationship between the Renaissance and the Bible? Pucky, you give me theater kid vibes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've been sent death threats for over seven years, but this... This hurts more than any of those. Well, I didn't really end on a big scream because... Uh, allergies. So, Andy, slowly slide in the last image while I, uh, you know, present it in a dumb fashion. Behold... Lechonk. Damn, boy, he fit! But, hi. Whatever our souls are made of, you and me are going to end up stuck in the same ice hole. Are you saying the hole is sealed? Hey, Pocky, what helps you get to sleep at night? Uh, I struggle to sleep every night, but what always works for me is staying up so late that I simply collapse. Hope this helps. Writing prompt. 
As an eldritch horror, you've strived to have effective humans under your command, but now other deities, good and bad, are complaining about your method. Apparently, providing therapy for those who can hear you isn't standard practice for your kind, but you are surprisingly good at it. Wait. Wait, hold on. Andy, is this me? Yes. Canon complaint. Derogatory. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Yeah, well, I can pick him up like this. <coughs> when your attorney is ace. I, I don't know. I've, I've never played the game. You can't make yourself the protagonist if you're a background character. However, you can become the antagonist if you fuck enough shit up. If the story won't focus on you, force it to. Be the fabulous gay villain that everyone loves and dreams about. People who don't cook their cereal don't realize what they're missing out on. The heat of the flame brings out the sweetness of the marshmallows. <laughs> Opie, I'm coming to your home to beat you in the face and ass. You, you guys seem surprised, but hot cereal already exists. It's called oatmeal. When in doubt, slap his ass. His is capitalized. Are, are, are you talking about God's ass? Are you in doubt? Just slap his ass. Justice is best served cold. Because if it were served warm, it would be just water. <sighs> this one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned. So therefore, I had to inflict it on everyone else too. Them's the rules. My reason for doing things. One, spite. Two, the aesthetic. That's it. Thinking about the time I was struggling to open my water bottle in class, and a girl who I'd spoken to maybe three times came up to me and went, Here, let me help you, baby. Then proceeded to struggle to open the bottle. I would have fallen in love right then and there, not gonna lie. All right, guys, listen. The thing about not going to see Morbius is not just because it would be funny for it to flop again, but also because if it doesn't flop again, we're setting dangerous precedent. This will tell studios that if their movie flops, all they have to do is try to engineer memes to make it popular. We cannot have studios trying to manufacture and force memes. Please, for the love of God, don't go see Morbius in theaters. Please. No more Morbin time. So my friend went away for 10 days, so I decided it would be a perfect time to wrap everything she owns in aluminum foil. W why? Why not? Line, the worst sin is that you've betrayed and destroyed yourself for nothing, is so raw you think it's from Destiel fanfic or even Italia, but it's actually from Dostoevsky's Crimes and Punishment. Wow. Your book is going to be great. Just put one word in front of the other. Until we hit a plot hole. No! No negativity. You drop into that hole, see what you can learn from it, clamber out, and finish your draft. You can edit a bad book, but not a blank page. I ate a dubious and really salty quiche before class once, and it made me so sleepy I had my head on the desk fighting for consciousness, and I kept seeing images of horrible dogs with human teeth laughing at me flashing into my head. Ah, you fell for the classic Benadryl quiche prank. You get to everyone every time. Hey, if the Owl House takes place in Connecticut, Amphibia in California, and Gravity Falls in Oregon, what the fuck is happening in Florida? Andy, quick, figure out what's happening in Florida. Behold, the first ever photo of a cat in history, 1880. <gasps> the beginning. How, how is that cat so perfect? How did we, we could never set the standard! Two near divergent people having a conversation is literally just a nonstop loop of, oh yeah, that reminds me of a topic that is completely unrelated. I'm gonna need you to stop calling me out like this, I don't appreciate it! Yo, ancient Roman meme discovered. One, two, two. 50. It doesn't translate very well. <sighs> Get the fuck out! Ooh, woo. The neighbors are listening to Simple and Clean Remix on repeat at max volume. Whether they want to or not. Uh -huh. After being spotted eating sugarcane, Baby Elephant tries to hide behind a light pole. What Baby Elephant? I don't see anything. Andy, do you see anything? Sweating too much? Try this. Learn more at- Had a dream I saw this ad in a paper. Please stop, this looks like a real Tumblr ad. Really normal about this fictional character. Oh, no longer normal about him. I need to become him. 
Friendly reminder that having a healthy interest in weird and strange and unnatural and unsettling fictional situations is more normal than sending hate to strangers on the internet about it. For the love of God, let people enjoy things. When will my swagless looks and cringe fail personality captivate someone? Sag. I may have girl bossed a bit too close to the sun. I got a bag, a half-empty bag of bread, and was so excited that I involuntarily yeeted myself at the floor. I tripped. I'm saying that I trip. Oh, okay. Does Gotham even bother with announcing the weather ever? Like, is there even a need for a weather channel? Would you risk firing the local weatherman and have him snap and buy a cut-rate weather control machine in order to become the forecaster? I don't think so. Behold. iPod Shuffle 4th Gen. Hot pink, purple, and dark blue. Oh my god, bisexual iPod Shuffle. Bipod Shuffle. If I ever start a band, I'm going to name it Music, and then it will be literally impossible to find any of our songs on the internet. The first album, Unknown Album. The hit single, Track 1. Album art. Some people want to watch the world burn. And when we finally kill the gods, neither hell nor heaven will be waiting for them because they created those to imprison us. Burned my eggs and got mad. Sorry. <laughs> First it was pondering orbs. Then it was blobo. Now it is Morbius. What does this mean? <laughs> Balls. Oh my god, Andy, hit the button. We found the funniest <laughs> man on the internet. Such... Such a comedic genius! When someone has a good take about my favorite media, I blush and twirl my hair and kick my legs. But when they're wrong about it, I bite and attack and kill, 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 kill. Worst movie trope is when the weird girl gets a makeover. Fuck you. Fuck off. I hate you. Make her weirder! Say it with me. Makeup is gender neutral. I whispered, makeup is gender neutral, out loud on the train. And the guy next to me looked at me weird but then whispered, fuck yeah, back. Which one of you is gonna tell me that tea tastes different if you put it in hot water? What the, f what the f you, you were putting it in cold water? Radish, answer the question, Radish. Yeah, I thought for like five years that people just put it in hot water to speed up the teaification process. Didn't realize there was an actual reason. You think I have the patience to boil water? What the fuck? You don't have the patience to microwave water for three minutes! Y'all are microwaving your tea. <laughs> Andy, vaporize them. Somebody once told me the British are coming. Hey, do you really want to know why we have Pride Month in summer? <laughs> because Pride cometh before the fall. <laughs> well, hello, my delightfully devilish Tumblr listeners. Do I have a surprise for you? Well, bam! She's here. Sienna Plush 2.0 Cosmic Wonders Edition. Oh my god, look at her. She's adorable! Look at her! Look at her! Look at her! You can snag this adorable plushie right now on makeshift, and if we hit 200 sales, everyone who ordered one will get one. And if we get more, well then, that just means we get more. Right? Yeah, no, that seems right, right? Cool. All right, let's get to it. Tiny me, take it away. <clears throat> Ow! God, you freaking sellout. I think I found that some media is more fun to consume through fandom and other media should be consumed without fandom entirely. Now get out there and find the fandom that applies to both. There is no winner in D&D. &D. Um, you are so wrong, it's laughable. The winner is whoever can make the DM create the most new rules. When my mutuals change their URL and icon and block theme, I just have to resort to smelling them with my antennae to identify them. Snom, is that you? Floating down the river sticks on an inflatable donut and high-fiving all the lost souls I pass. Ah, I'm on vacation. Concept! Two rival biologists on a mad dash to discover the most hideous, revolting new species so they can name it after the other one. I need this movie in my life. A stealth mission my cowboy had back from my platonic wife. Yee-haw.
This is mildly blasphemous, but in Toy Story Universe, do baby Jesus figurines from nativity sets think they're actually Jesus? Or are they just like, babies? Wow, uh, y'all see the words, this is mildly blasphemous, but, and just immediately reblog. Things which make writers anxious. Not writing, writing, people reading the stories, people not reading their stories. Editing, not editing, having too many ideas, and having no ideas. Are you okay? No! I've been the same height since I was 14. Psst. Anthropositure, people. Well, 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 same height <laughs> since you were 14. How tall are you, Opie? Girls love him for his poor posture and pathetic demeanor. Geologist talking about shield volcanoes. All right, I love you. This post is about only shield volcanoes now. Everyone else, fuck off. Well, thank you for the lively conversation. We were talking about ghosts. I know. <laughs> Imagine the sweetest guy in the world, but he shouts every word he says. I mean, I can't imagine that. Kind of. It's, it's the guy editing this video right now. And some of his roles. <laughs> Every anime girl picture posted on social media is either you, me, or us. There is no exception. Yo, smoking that shit that made YouTube poop. Yo, this edible ain't sheesh. This edible ain't penis. My boy, die. Ah, uh, Mama Luigi! Can't believe the narrator is the new Tumblr sexy man. Oh, no, 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 no. He was a sexy man when the OG game was in vogue. We're just dragging him back out of retirement. Welcome back to the spotlight, my British gilf. Um, I think we need to shut Tumblr off for a while. You know what, Andy, just, uh, j just hit the power button. Let let's just see what happens. On to your butt. Extreme Nose's pants is on you. <gasps> no way! How did they. <laughs> what? But she. <laughs> the whole barbecue sauce bottle? <laughs> That's crazy. Humans are weird. <laughs> Wait, how did you know this story? <laughs> Why didn't you invite me? You are so wise beyond your years, great. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. What to do when you don't like a fic? A step-by-step -step guide. Step one, the back button. Amazing tutorial. I recommend to everyone. Works flawlessly every time. Highly recommend. Favorite protagonist type is the guy who's just having a really weird day. I love that one, too. Andy? Put up a picture of your favorite. Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. That's inspiring. I like it. Please be patient with me. I'm experiencing horrors unknown to you at all times. Those Muppets that take two people to operate are a testament to real love on Earth. Drift compatible. Nyum! Behold a cute snail eating a strawberry. You just took your time there, little buddy. Anyone else first think that this snail freaking unhinged its huge ass jaw? Oh my god! That's kind of like that actually. I hate it when I get inspired to art, and then I art, and the art says no. <sighs> Same. If your cat is curious about what you're eating, always let him have a little whiff. Nine out of ten times, they don't even want to eat it. They just wanted to know what it was. It's cute. Cat wrote this. This is fake, I tried it, and my cat fucking ate my chip. This is cat propaganda! <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. They did say nine out of ten times. You got the 10% cat. Small brain, Steven Universe is a vegetarian because he's a pacifist. Big brain, Steven Universe is vegetarian because his spit heals flesh. Please, please don't say things like this. But didn't he also bring the watermelon Stevens and pumpkin to life in the same matter? Every meal is a race against the clock for Stephen Q. Universe. Well, at least his food is always... fresh. <laughs> Something about Quora is evil. Quora is to Yahoo Answers is what TikTok is to Vine. <gasps> this is it! My ADHD is so bad that it's not common for me to literally accidentally tune out something I'm saying in my own head. And living proof because I had to do this one so many times. One Piece is dumb, because they spend 500 episodes looking for One Piece when they can just go to KFC and get a three-piece combo with two sides for $5.99. Totally not sponsored by KFC! You know what one of my favorite things is about albino rats? 
The terminology used for the coloration is pink-eyed white rat, shortened to pew rat. The albino gene is a recessive trait, so I saw a post describing the breeding of two albinos, and it looked like this. Pew times pew equals pew. Little laser beams. Andy, shoot an albino rat across the screen now. Pew! Finding new Blorbo-like. You seem unstable, and I find that attractive. Yeah. Writing prompts. You're a humble baker selling your pies in a medieval village. Unbeknownst to you, you're an NPC in an RPG, and the devs gave you ridiculously high stats as a joke. A speedrunner is now abusing every last trick, glitch, and dialogue option in the book to get you to kill the final boss for him. Guess what Pat the Baker is cooking today? Sometimes you just have to be mentally ill to get mentally well. So if you're thinking Naruto would be proud of you for brushing your teeth is what it gets for you to brush your teeth, well, grab that toothbrush, Statebayo. Hey, how do autistic people flirt? Interesting question. Have you ever heard of the Kubrick stare? Why do I feel so called out right now? You wouldn't download an orb. Orb teleportation is theft. <laughs> Says you, Andy, download the orb now. Let's go. <laughs> okay, all right. What if someone got bitten by a vampire but didn't realize it, so then they go around and keep misidentifying all the symptoms, like... Dude, you haven't gone outside in a while. Yeah, last time I went out, I got, like, this wicked sunburn. Uh, are you still up? Yeah, I just started binge-watching the show on Netflix. I'm seriously craving something right now. Well, like what? I don't know. Pizza rolls? Um, why is it that you never come into my house unless I invite you? Um, it's called being polite. Dude, you stopped wearing your favorite silver necklace. Yeah, I don't know. It just started making me really itchy. I need this show. Hey, do you think Shadow could use his rocket shoes to cook a chicken? This was based on my likes. Thank you, Tumblr. Also, yes, absolutely. Damn. I need a new word for old blorbos that aren't really your blorbos anymore, but you still feel fondness for them. The series ended, or you just fell out of the fandom. But your mutuals still put them on your dash sometimes, and you go, Aw, he's still out there making it in the big city. Blorbins is the funniest response so far. Thank you. They bin my Blorbos. Love it. If you don't understand why I tagged a certain post as a certain character, don't worry about it. Just know I'm right. You, an intellectual. The Demogorgon? Me, an idiot. The Demogorgon, Zola. Mm. <sighs> the thing is... I would eat the grapes. I would eat the pomegranate seeds. I would eat the Turkish delights. It doesn't matter what the stakes are. If you put a little plate of snacks out in front of me, I'll eat them. If you sent me to an evil fantasy realm and told me that if I ate everything, I would die a painful, terrible death, then set a charcuterie board down in front of me and that would be it for me. Like it wouldn't even be the torturous internal struggle to not eat the cheese. I wouldn't even need to be that hungry. <sighs> Mood. Imagine you're walking in a field at night and a UFO appears overhead. Bright lights shine down at you and you start getting lifted into the air, but then the unearthly voice says, Shit, 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 wrong one! And you get unceremoniously dumped back onto the ground. Then the light focuses on a frog that is about two feet to your left and picks that up instead. Perfect. I just want to see more villains who care about their henchmen. I want to see the bad guy fly into a rage because the hero hurt their very favorite bungling goon and it was nearly his birthday. How dare you fail me, you miserable oafs! Should be retired. How dare they bully my adorable oafs! Should be industry standard. Underlings having to hold back their dark lord like an overprotective parent because they don't want a famous hero to get outright murdered just on their behalf. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that movie does exist. It's called Despicable Me and the Minions spinoff. Especially with what Rise of Gru looks like it's supposed to be. So, sorry. My art history teacher is like, there were zero women artists during the Renaissance. Well, there was Sononispa, but that's it. And I'm steaming because there were more female artists during the Renaissance. And I know this because I spent hours researching women artists in the Renaissance so I could figure out what to name my girl Ninja Turtle OC when I was 11. Dedication. Ocarina at time Zelda really said, Go back to your time and enjoy the childhood you lost. And then her child self immediately said, Now nah, fuck that, take this ocarina and leave the country and don't tell anybody. And no one outside of the royal family will know of your accomplishments. Like, girl, god damn. Girl's first instinct is to send a boy away as far as possible as soon as possible. Uh, I like to believe it's because they just 
ratted on Ganondorf that he was going to do a bunch of things, and Link got sent into the Witness Protection Program. I could fix him. I could make him worse. Yeah, well, I could do this to him. I love this series so much. You know the euphoria you get when you're scrounging around something unrelated, and then you see something related to your special interests? <sighs> I would like to say that Egypt started graphic novels. Y'all ain't ready for that. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, they're right. Fanfic writers really said, in any universe, in any scenario, despite any obstacle, these people would love each other. And I think that's very cool of us. Keith. Blood is thicker than water. Yes, but syrup is thicker than blood. Therefore, pancakes are more important than family. In this essay, I will... Ah, <gasps> oh, sweet skateboard! Oh, 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 it's not ripe yet. Ugh. Always some kind of fucking temperature. <sighs> A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with arms around their back to avoid having to draw the hands. I really tried to scroll past this. The denial was eating me alive, though. This post is my life. A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with really long side bangs to avoid drawing another eye. And it just slowly slide in my shame. Thank you. Do y'all dream about cuddling with Tumblr mutuals who live hundreds of miles away, or am I just insane? I cast curse and infest your dreams with Pikachu Man. How dare you? Not to brag, but I know some pretty big words. Like whilst and tubular. Oh, and onomatopoeia. That's my son. I'm so proud of him. My favorite part of the Book of Mormon is when that angel said, It's Mormon time! And then they mormed all over the place. That... that didn't happen. <sighs> First post of the day and I'm already swept off my feet. I know every digit of pi. I don't know what order. He doesn't know the order. Guys, don't hug me. I'm scared it's coming back. And if I don't see any Tumblr sexy manization fan art of the new characters, I'll honestly be so disappointed. Face holding is something that is so precious and personal to me. Yes, grab my face or cradle it in your hands. I'll gladly put myself under the mercy of the strength of those hands. Please. Oh, so old Tumblr ads are allowed to be weird, but when I, the full makeup human Pikachu man- Salt preserves food because it smells like the ocean and Mole doesn't know how to swim and gets scared. I, the sad part is, is I can't argue with this because, I mean, I don't know if it's wrong or right. My gender is Schrodinger's cat. It is both feminine and androgynous unless observed. Let's go away, putting it. Yes. Such a shame that good soundtracks get wasted on shitty ass movies. Yeah. Are Netflix a country? Negative numbers depressed? Newborn babies supposed to rib it? Non CIA or FBI? Nazis from anime? Narwhals, Nars or Walls? Nintendo developing a nuclear bomb? Nuts of kind of nuts? I can't choose a favorite. My literal favorite thing in the world is when people get mad when Obi-Wan does a morally fucked up thing and scream, MISCHARACTERIZATION! As if he's not been a frigid little bitch since day one. His number one character trait has always been low-key manipulative. See you next Tuesday. And that's okay. As if that's not part of why we're insane over him. Oh, you're near divergent? <laughs> what non-human being did you pretend to be slash believe yourself to be in order to cope with the disconnect you felt from the peers during your early childhood? Envy zombies! You shut your mouth! Andy, punch this post! I do not get called out like this! A video essay about a weird, obscure side of Tumblr, except the further into the video you get, the more obvious it is they're talking about your blog specifically. I wish. Ugh, that trope is so overused. Oh, okay. What are you gonna tell me next? That the sunset is overdone? The sound of your favorite song is passe? The sight of your loved ones is worn out and tired? That we shouldn't revel in the simple joy of everything we know that we like? All because some of the arbitrary quota you've imagined? Also, to the people who say that a trope is overused. Hey, nice opinion. Did a YouTuber give you that opinion? Sometimes I actually do forget that straight people exist for a second. I keep expecting these men's warehouse ads to be gay, but then there's there's a bride there too. Who knew? Masculine looking cishat guy wearing an ask me about my pronouns shirt. And when you ask him about his pronouns, he really excitedly explains to you that they're he him. Cronk energy. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
If I ever become a history teacher, I'm going to write gullible on the ceiling. Then in the middle of the class, I'll announce, there's gullible written on the ceiling. After the whole look versus not look shenanigan occurs, I shall then slam my books on the desk, prop myself up, lean forward and say, welcome to history. Your first lesson, check your facts for yourself. That's chaotic evil. No, chaotic learning. You know, it's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your card side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Wow, he being a dick even to demons. Are you a Winchester? I've been playing Portal 2 for the first time and I'm loving this new British orb thing they introduced. He's my best friend. No one tell them. This is fucking awesome. I asked one of my straight friends if he'd marry me specifically for tax benefits in a few years and he said sure. He also said I could just commit tax fraud. You're going to light a fish on fire. No, I'm going to hit a shark with radiant damage. There is a difference. Saw a post that annoyed me. What the hell? I trusted you guys. That's it. Turn off Tumblr again. Hey, sorry for being weird lately. It's just that I've been weird lately. It's definitely gonna happen again. I tried to convince my mom that I hadn't stayed up all night, but then she told me that she heard me clapping along to the Friends theme song every 20 minutes. Why are trans women so pretty and trans men so handsome? Why do aromantics give such good hugs? Why does Joltik want to be lifted to the stars by the bi and pen? Joltik is confused. Oh my god, my other son! Writing prompt. The news were shocking. In one week, a gigantic meteor was going to hit the earth and obliterate it. Chaos ensues. Anarchy breaks out. Governments fall. A week later, everyone braces as they see the meteor. Miss the earth. Barely. Things get awkward. Pretty sure there's a lot of fan fictions for that prompt right there. But not about government falling. <laughs> Gross. This chicken nugget I got is shaped like a heart, and I really think you should look at it. Aww. You, you gonna eat that? Game Theory, Elder Scrolls series. All the sentient species from the myrrh to the beasts are all descendants of mountain goats. Reasoning? All you who are morbid right now climb to the top of the throat of the world without using the 7,000 steps in your first playthrough of the game, and you all did it with ease. Coincidence? I think not! As you Hadouken the rug. DM while the party is fighting the rug of smothering. I'm sorry, the what? Hey, instead of a stoic hero and a chatty villain, or a chatty hero and a stoic villain, imagine if they're both chatty. Just the villain trying their best to kill the hero while the two of them have an in-depth discussion about the opinion of pumpkin spice. No, but seriously, orange is a really fun color. <laughs> but your entire room? Whoa! I'm not painting my entire room orange. <laughs> oh. Well then, why did you ask my opinion on paint colors if you're not going to listen? This is now my favorite stage. For one reason. And one reason alone. Well, I didn't see you. Wobbin. <sighs> Six out of ten, Pat. All I can do is rotate a fictional man so fast in my mind he starts to get motion sickness. Andy, quick, I need you on this one. Okay, take this picture of Rife and Medstars. Now spin him around. Ah, thank you. Might fuck around and read a 500-page physical published book in one sitting like it's 2006, and I'm being bullied in middle school, so I take refuge in the library and hail books at a frightening speed that I've not been able to replicate since. God damn, OP. You didn't need to just kill everyone who grew up with undiagnosed ADHD like that. Well, shoot. I've learned something. To be honest, there has never been a fictional character I've actually wanted to date. Like, I want them to date each other. I don't want myself as a person to be involved in this scenario whatsoever. What would I add to this narratively? What's my thematic purpose in the narrative? That's immersion breaking. I'm the director, bitch, not the actor! Don't hide this in the tags, that's exactly it. The worst part about having mental health issues is that you're seemingly required to have a breakdown in order for people to understand how hard you were trying to hold yourself together. How dare you say such a thing to me? Yeah. It's like when people say, oh, this, this computer's not working so good. And they're like, no, that seems to be working fine for me. And then it blue screens and they're like, oh, oh, we did have a problem. Notes. 
Three cheers for the brain cell! Hip hip hooray! Hip oh shoot, I forgot how to count to three now. Alex Hirsch, anytime he can, and sometimes when he can't. I've come to make an announcement. Disney is a bitch ass motherfucker. They're pissed off because my silly kids show. That's right, they look at my harmless joke and they censored it, and I said, that's dumb. So now I'm making a call out post on my Twitter.com. Disney, you got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you. Oh God, Bill's pissing on the moon. <laughs> Hey, I throw pies at your people? I'm four foot ten, three quarters. Where's my pie? Where is it? Ah, uh, fell into the black hole, sorry. Ah, uh, can, I, can I get that pie now? Sure, just go and get it from right over there. Guys, I'm phobic. Uh, uh, I'm just scared. You know, some people say rolling for stats in D&D is old fashioned and unforgiving, but I think it builds character. Yes! Two small indie bands on two different stages facing each other. First band plays their own original music, but the band across from them plays it all backwards perfectly. If you stand at the exact midpoint between the stages, all you hear is silence. <gasps> you were there. I accidentally read for 11 hours. Accidentally. Right. He's a nine, but gets naked in a sewer regularly. Which makes him a 10! Pennywise? Writing prompt. You work for a secret agency that deals with the supernatural, and you just shared a dumb idea with your boss as a joke. Hey, instead of keeping everything under wraps, why don't we just release all the info to the public, but pretend it's a work of fiction? You got promoted on the spot. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. I feel like I've done this one, but Neanderthals. <laughs> It's... Yeah. To anyone who says Virgil is the coolest character in video games, I give you this. Virgil, always fighting his brother, needs a sword and demon magic to cause any real damage, lacks any sort of facial hair, has never de-haunted a building before, and isn't an Italian. Now Luigi loves his brother very much, can and will beat the shit out of you with nothing but a vacuum, has a glorious flowing mustache has to haunted at least seven buildings before and is Italian. I think we all know who wins out. Oh yeah. You know, Pinocchio could tell us so much about the universe. He could randomly claim things like, the Big Bang happened! And his nose would confirm or deny our theories. Ugh. Pinocchio's not omniscient. His nose grows when he's intentionally being dishonest. Things heating up in the Pinocchio fandom. Double clicks ya. Windows asks me what to open you with. I choose notepad. I delete a random chunk of text and save as .exe. Oh, thanks, I needed that. <laughs> My father told me once to never date anyone who talks smoothly around you from the start because if someone likes you, they should be a little nervous. And honestly, I think that's some of the best advice anyone has ever given me. And I just told my dad about this text post and he got so excited he teared up and then he said he felt like he just adopted 40,000 new children to share his wisdom with and he hopes all of you meet kind, sweet people he would be proud of. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Gnomes are just ground gargoyles. You shut your mouth. You're under arrest. On what charge? All of them. Literally all of them. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for a faint buzzing noise. A comedy. Andy, do you hear it? I think I hear it. <gasps> it's over there. Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's co-worker. <laughs> co-workers, Jesus. Rewind. <laughs> Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's workers by ordering a burger in perfect Japanese. I... I feel like I need context for this one. But I'm probably not gonna get it. I love haunting. When it's literal, I love haunting as a metaphor, I love haunting as a feeling you carry, I love haunting as a memory of past trauma you experienced or caused, I love haunting as a person, I love haunting as a place, I love haunting as something alive that you tried to bury, but it clawed its way out of a hole you dug and found its way back to you! I love haunting as something dead that you cannot let die! die.
Give me all the spoopies! When you're watching TV and your sibling gets out of the good chair to get a drink, it's free real estate. Sibling culture is willingly dehydrating yourself for hours to avoid giving up the seat you earned, Zach! Peppers are the spicy of the fire. Mint is the spicy of the ice. Carbonation is the spicy of the air. And vinegar is the spicy of the water. And ginger is the spicy of the earth. Why would you both say things so controversial, yet so brave? You ever hear a new song and immediately go, Ooh, the fake scenarios in my head are gonna love this. Always hot local singles in my area and never recently awoken bloodthirsty vampires. Shaking my head. Shout out to the girls who don't mind being called dude and man casually. Shout out to the boys who don't mind being called girl. Shout out to the humans who don't mind being called dog. Shout out to the dogs who will let you call them anything so long as you say it in a happy, friendly tone. And shout out to guinea pigs which are neither pigs nor from Guinea. Y'all need to stop shouting and use your indoor voices. You ever sit down and think about how your gender, like, feels? Like, mine feels like a smooth ball with a bright aqua blue lighting. My gender is the demon core. I have it. As much as I love, I would kill for you. It kind of really loses its impact if the person saying it is a villain who already kills at the slightest provocation. I would refrain from killing for you. I would spare them all if you asked me, is a very sexy alternative. And a much more powerful declaration of love coming from a character prone to violence. Writing that one down. If you ask me what book I'm reading, I'll either go into a long-winded and enthusiastic summary of the entire thing, or just lift the book to show you the title and keep reading. Yeah. I've had enough internet for today. I'm eating myself into a pillow fort and looking up cute cats. <sighs> No, I will not elaborate. It's such a fun line. But unfortunately, I have ADHD and am incapable of shutting up. Yes, I will elaborate. Yes, I will elaborate, and that is a threat. Yes, I will elaborate, but it won't make anything clear. Yes, I will elaborate, but I'll forget my original point after 30 seconds. A retired Mr. Weasley casting a disillusionment charm on himself and going to listen to university lectures on astrophysics or engineering. Some poor sleep-deprived students sitting next to him and thinking they finally cracked as they hear random comments like fascinating, ingenious, or sorry dear, but would you pick up that pen for me? My back isn't what it was. Followed by, oh darn, when he forgets he's invisible. Beautiful. If my future S.O. doesn't stare at me like I'm their whole world while I stand in the candle section of Target smelling every single candle before buying one, then what's the point? My mom does this and my dad always watches her. She thinks he's not paying attention, but last year he remembered the ones she liked and used that knowledge to get her a custom scented candle for their anniversary. He had it named Target Sniffs. This is the cutest addition to this post I could ever have asked for. You support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how this alpaca learn how to type? Diversity win! The alpaca's gay! The ultimate power move in a vampire-fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who tries to invite them into their home. The fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality, and neither can refuse the appointment without showing weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them, and the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. Where is this book? I need it. Most movies. Girls change itself to impress boys. The Princess Diaries, cinematic masterpiece. Girl change itself to impress grandma. Well, I too would change everything about myself. It would impress Julie Andrews. I have done nothing but play Ark Survival Evolved for the past few days. Sleep, game, piss, repeats. Exactly what I've been doing. No such thing as wasting your 20s. Your 20s are for recovering from whatever the fuck happened to you as a kid so that you're ready to get weird with it in your 30s. Yes. Perfect. I love that we all agree that having a Tumblr post blow up is an inherently bad thing. And yet, PM Seymour content, wait a second, is literally a bunch of Tumblr users on his Discord server being like, Show this to the entire internet, heart emojis. 
And then he does because they're an absolute legend. Bullshit. We're all just out here ruining people's lives. It's awesome. I mean, as long as no one's feelings get hurt, right? Right, Andy? <laughs> Writing prompt. Aliens have invaded and are taking over. Their technology, intelligence, and power is unstoppable. They just didn't plan on one thing. The old gods returning. Ra waking up in some buried pyramid somewhere. Huh? What's happening? Thor walking around the surface banging pots and pants together. Everybody get the hell up! We have visitors and we haven't vacuumed in 10,000 years! Oh my god, Zeus is back to seduce all the aliens! Happy 4th of July, I guess. The relationship between me and Pink is more complex than most people's marriages. It's true. Come on, child safety lid. You know it's me. The dumb boy. Just open, please. There's a pink, blue, and white flower at the grocery store. I have to make a joke. Call that a transplant. <laughs> the best part about making someone else's post viral is not having to deal with the notes. All right, team. You know what to do. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, please. Hey, thanks for making me this hot tea, bro. Hey, why did this steam make the shape of a skull and crossbones when you stirred it? <laughs> is that... Is that like an herbal thing? So like, as a kid, I used to think that those red triangle buttons in cars were ejector seats. What if no one ever clarified that for me? Oh my god, we're gonna crash! It's okay, we have ejector seats! But we- We do? It's red button time! I have made a grave error. Here's a complete list of people who can decide if someone is LGBTQ+. One! The person themselves. And number two, Vortigex the ever moist, who can turn your gender into snail. Cool. In the club, getting a drink, would anyone else like a drink? In the club, spill my drink on you by accident, sorry. Oh yeah, in the club, going soggy mode! There's a post that goes something like, I like calling Stanley from TSP, Stanley Parable, because it's funnier as his full name. Because I now raise you, Stanley Parable, and his husband, Narrator Parable. Please remember that I am a Canadian illustrator, and it is fucking bizarre to come with me with medical questions. Hey, why would you limit yourself to drawing Canadians? Everyone else, please unfollow me. I want to be alone with Arsnoff. Do you think two girls could on purpose kiss? Mm, it would be tricky, but I think it could be done. Working tirelessly in the lab to figure it out. Okay, we need to discuss dad aesthetics. Tractor dad, girl dad, rich vacation dad, punk dad, workout dad, gardening dad. What's your dad's dad's aesthetic? What's your dad aesthetic? How about beach dad? They can be like either a kahuna, just hangs out, not exactly in shape, vibes with people in sandals, shades, tank top, and cargo shorts. Or surfer dad, in shape, tank top, swimming trunks, more appropriate sandals, and much more popular. Oh my god, Beach Dad. We love Beach Dad. Beach Dad and Surfer Dad definitely compete at beach volleyball. Full Top Gun sequence. Let's go. Outfit idea. The, uh, my eyes are up here hat, but with those alien googly eyes bouncing above it. Peak design. A brief insight into a world where animals vocalize like Pokemon. Doc, what's wrong with me? Well, let's take a listen. Oh, I assure you, it's quite based. Based on what, Phoenix? Based, based on, on gay, gay manga! manga. Well, as long as Phoenix is happy. Meanwhile, we're still trying to recover Edgeworth from his bad case of glossy fever. There, there are no words. Yes, there are. Badass, dope, sick, cool as fuck, etc. Who the fuck found my car? Oh fuck, I hope this scary hallway has bitches. Mm. My favorite trope is leave all your weapons. Takes out far more weapons than expected or logically able to carry. And then, I said all of them. Takes out a dozen more weapons from increasingly improbable locations. And then, stern look. Pulls out one more tiny pistol. Ah, oh, that's a good trope right there. The Chesapeake Bay is surprisingly shallow. A six foot tall woman can wade through over 700 thousands of acres of the bay without wetting her hat. <gasps> Who is she? 
Woman seeking woman. I'm six foot tall, fashionable, and enjoy long walks through brackish estuary waters off the coast of Virginia. She's our most famous cryptid. The bay in the bay. Fun history facts. One of 31 people arrested at Stonewall on June 28th, 1969 was American folk singer Dave Von Ronk, who was not at the Stonewall Inn at the time and was cis and straight, as far as I'm aware. He'd been eating dinner at a nearby restaurant when he noticed a riot happening and said, well, I suppose I should go see what the fuss is about, stepped outside and immediately started throwing bricks at cops. Wow, I love my character so much. I wish I could draw. Just make them Canadian. You are on such thin ice! <sighs> Writing prompt. They say never meet your heroes, and boy were they right. So you decided to meet your villain, hoping to be wrong about them as well. Isn't that just Megamind? I love this image so much, yet I will never know the source. I think about this image every day, but I will never know who fatefully decided to water their Vaporeon. This image, it pains me. It pains me as much as that goddamn copy pasta. What did you guys do to my favorite Eevee evolution? Have you guys heard about cats? They go meow, by the way. Not that you care. No, I care very much. Keep going. Okay, so get this. They have ears that go pachow. Hey, listen, any machine can be a smoke machine if you use it wrong. Hell yeah. I wish people realized that just because someone's love language may be physical touch, that doesn't automatically mean it's sexual touch. Sensual attraction and platonic intimacy exist too. Yeah. Trains are literally a kind of animal. House we moved into is closer to the tracks now, and every time they get near the station, they start honking because they're happy to be home. They're kind of a macrofaunal myriapod, I think. Wonderful beast. Powerful animal. You go, you funky little long snake. I've looked into the eyes of Satan, and he was wearing a 15% off sale Earl Grey cardigan. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Cat girl maids are all unionized. Imagine all those cat girl maids striking for better pay. What do we want? Better, better wages. wages! When do we want them? Yeah! Uh, I think you meant meow. Oh no, I had an idea. I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> Anytime I write tragedy. If Asgardians speak English but originate from Scandinavian folklore, then by all rights, shouldn't Thor, Loki, and the company sound like they're from Minnesota? Oh yeah, my name's Loki, and I am burdened with glorious purpose, don't you know? This would get me to watch all of the Thor movies. Vocaloids have nothing on Moonbase Alpha TTS. In fact, Andy, hit the deck. I'm going to hit it with them right now. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. The ooh, when someone got in trouble in elementary school, that was a Greek chorus. Hey, how long does it take before a forest god comes to get you after you leave a strand of your hair and a fresh loaf of bread in a mushroom circle by the lake, asking for a fre- They got her. I'm happy for her. Let's take a moment to appreciate how goth culture has allowed many closeted trans people the opportunity to wear jewelry, makeup, and nail polish under less scrutiny from the cishet world. Or, conversely, combat boots, waistcoats, Oxford shoes, ties, stud belts, wallet chains, and other traditionally masculine accessories. The total and utter blurring of the gender binary is honestly this style's biggest source of power. Let's be real. We got dudes in corsets and gals in tuxes and some folks wearing both at the same time. God fucking bless goth culture. Mwah, love it. When you're vibing with your cat and they go, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, biting you! Grooming you, grooming you. Okay, done. Nap time. Today I learned in Argentina, the seventh son of a couple automatically receives the godfathership of the president to prevent him from turning into a werewolf. Finally, a responsible government. I think we should treat the AI nice. Whether it's sentient or not is not a thing for me. It's how we treat intelligences that are not human. I talk to my machines all the time. That being said, I'm mean to Alexa because she's a fucking fed. You can always be mean to feds. Hmm. Sounds like something an AI would say after even posting a Twitter post on Tumblr. Andy, quick, hit him with the capture test! Down asses. Hi. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, do, do you think you could push your boulder up somewhere else? Like a different hill because... This one's kind of already taken. Yeah, it's the one I decided to die on, so... Yeah.
Okay, everyone, time for soup day. Everyone gets to add one ingredient. I'll start. I added some bouillon cubes. Okay, I added some bouillon cubes. Who's next? Yeah, I went ahead and added some bouillon cubes. Hey, oh, just so you know, I added some bouillon cubes. Well, I spice things up with a billion cubes. Well, this soup fucking sucks, guys. He is my meow. This post is not about Stranger Things. The people tagging Silver the Hedgehog are right, though. They could stay. Ah, personal culture right there. Tonight, normal event. Nobody dead. Nobody injured. But this isn't as fun. The process of reading. Oh, this book is amazing. This book makes me want to die. Be not afraid. It's just the way people spoke when the Bible was rewritten into English. Angels don't have a distinct ancient way of speaking. They just speak the same way the people they're speaking to do. What's the point of being a messenger if you communicate in a completely different dialect than the person you're trying to communicate with? Anyway, my point is, is that a seraph would appear in their true form in front of me and say, Hey, bitch, stop freaking out! Thinking about how Fiona's bit in the first Shrek movie about how ogres are so ugly and unlovable, which is overheard by Shrek, is the perfect example of how self-depreciation can really harm not only the people around you who love and care for you, but also people who share the same characteristics that you are mocking in yourself. I need to do a better job of reminding myself of this. Once again, everyone say, Thanks, Shrek. Yep, that exists. Company creates a lamp with removable glowing balls to help guide you around at night. Finally, the orbs of pondering. This is a Lindor truffle. Mm. My mom bought me some, and the second I took one, my dad snatched it from me and said, I've caught the golden snitch! 50 points for Gryffindor! Ugh, absolute bullshit. It's 150 points. Pleb. While you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring this desolate and fucked up spaceship. Well, what if we... Explored each other's bodies in this desolate and fucked up spaceship. What if we explored each other's desolate and fucked up bodies? All right, is this that Among Us thing everyone keeps talking about? Ugh. Existing is too fucking exhausting. I want to live in a tree with my cat and have brunch with my neighbors. Hell yeah. Your first and last recent emojis are your agenda now. Mine is B. Heart. Oh, God. Great. My gender is fucking employee! I ate six sandwiches in like four minutes, and now I can't move. I can offer mouth to mouth. Don't you dare extract any of my sandwiches. I see trees of green. Green trees there too. I see the trees, and they are green. And I think to myself, I am lost in these woods. Please help me. Think about it. With all this technology going around, a device has become device of the modern era. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was eating this device I found. What's it taste like? Prion disease. Oh. Shout out to Spanish for having the correct word for kitties. This is literally el gato. There's no other word for it. Uh, we have multiple, actually. You forgot gatito and gatita. <sighs> How could I forget? Los gatitos. I was waiting on the pizza delivery guy to call me to say my pizza is here, and when my phone rang, I accidentally answered with, Pizza? Instead of hello, he replied, Yes, this is pizza. What a man. Although Gregory is an extremely mature kid trapped in a giant facility with a bear mascot, having to avoid dangerous robots and finding new ways to defend himself with little to no moral values to the literal sentient animatronics makes me realize Gregory is not a Five Nights at Freddy's character. He's a Danganronpa character. Oh god, no one tell Matthew Patrick. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not mix up baking powder for powdered sugar when making frosting. Trust me. There's a story here and I want to know it. A friend of mine tried to sell a soul on eBay and the starter price was $10 and people were bidding on it. But before anything happened, eBay took it down and sent him an email explaining that if he was selling a soul, that didn't actually exist. Then it was against their policy. And if he was selling a real soul, then that is a human body part and that is also against their policy. Well done, eBay, for solving that philosophical conundrum. Damn it, there goes our second business idea, Andy. Just, just shut down all the listings. Give the people their souls back. (laughs) 
makes you imagine the sound of a bowling ball striking pins. This counts as a spell. How'd you do that? It's the middle of the night and I am now ready to start the task. Right after I watch this short video. When you give yourself ads. Y'all ever get fatigued so bad that you're laying down and it feels like you need to lay down more? Advanced laying, somehow? Sid, do you mean sleeping? No, not like laying down, but more laying. Laying beyond the physical bounds of objects and surfaces. Ah, clipping through the floor like Bethesda published me. Gotcha, gotcha. Total mood. Want to do that right now. Fully understand. Stop casting famous people for romance movies. Stop casting famous people in movies. Hey, I'll just stop casting for movies. That'd be randomly selected like jury service. Sorry, I can't legally come into work today. I'm the new Batman. Incredibly empathetic of me to not skin you alive, by the way. JSYW. You call it trauma. I call it spicy memory. <laughs> no, seriously, it scarred me for life. Landlord Evil. Noisy Hill. Metal Gear Liquid. And Devil May Happy. I don't like the way the last one was said. I'm sorry. Why was I unaware of the fact that disgruntled is in fact the opposite of gruntled? Pleased, satisfied, and contented? Gruntled? Why does nobody use this word? Well, I'm so gruntled to have found this. May I present to you Saul Bad Guy from the Heroes Wiki and Saul Goodman from the Villains Wiki. Hmm. Kind of want a relationship. Kind of want to stay single my whole life. Kind of want to go on adventures. Kind of want to stay in bed my whole life. It's the bag inside of your bloodline fighting the took in you. There are two hobbits inside you. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I fucking hate the hand that feeds me. I think I'll do something fucked up to it. Hey, why are moms capable of just leeching vibe arsenic into the atmosphere when they're pissed? My mom is very slightly annoyed by even one thing. Me already feeling bone nausea. I have to get out of this house. Me having a heart attack looking at this. <laughs> it's a good one. Me on fire looking at this. <laughs> it's also a good one. Damn, you're really having a bad day. You don't know the half of it, called. Before I start, let's just say things might be a little slow for a while. My actual computer has decided to go kaputski. And it's kind of got most of the Cosmic Wonders content on it. And uh, I'm trying to back it up, but for now, I'm not okay. So I'm going to take my aggression out on some Tumblr posts, because luckily I can still do that thanks to Andy editing. God bless you, brother. I appreciate you. Let's, let's get into it. Tumblr is simple. I log on. I reblog pretty pictures. I see the most insane opinion a human being can have. And I log off. Today I learned the part of Babe was played by 48 real pigs and one pig robot. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last bit? Do not question Hogtron. Oink. Okay, never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf. Because she's always going to say yes. Because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion. An immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. I don't know how I feel about this one. Popular media tends to depict cat girls as having roughly the same preferences and prey items as regular house cats. But this represents a misunderstanding of how feline prey selection works. Cats don't hunt mice because they prefer the flavor. Cats are hyper-optimized predators that will hunt and kill literally anything they can catch. Their preferences in terms of prey items are less a matter of taste and more a matter of scale. You can only venture so high in the food chain when you weigh 10 pounds. Given access to the force multipliers of tools and opposable thumbs, a cat girl would absolutely look at a T-Rex and see tonight's dinner. As far as a cat girl is concerned, a Tyrannosaurus is just a very large chicken. And she's got all the secret herbs and spices. Genshin, listen to me. Where's this character? You, you know, take Xiang Ling? Take Diona? There you go. Do it. Before you do something stupid, just think. Would Uncle Iroh be disappointed in me? If so, don't do it! Also ask yourself, is this a thing Zuko would do before his redemption arc? If so, then really don't do it! Heavy TF2 is the ideal man. Well-built strong, 
intelligent, has a literature PhD, passionate about interests, cares deeply about his family. And when he puts on that soft voice, I kind of feel, mm, you're absolutely right. And he put up that little whisper bit he does about how much it costs him to shoot things. It costs $400,000 to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, man. You guys have a train of thought? Like it's on rails and shit? Going straight ahead into a predestined destination? I got a Roomba of thought. It can move straight ahead, but as soon as it bumps into something, it'll turn around and start moving into a brand new, completely random direction. Draw what makes you happy? Well, sir, I hope you're ready for 10 plus posts in a row of the same two characters and the same two characters only. It will keep happening. That is... That's absurd. Who would... Who would possibly do such a thing like that? Hey, listen, your mother at 17 looks like my cousin. I don't have a picture of her, though, because her family joined a cult. I'm sorry, her family what now? God complex this, victim complex that. I have an underground complex. It's where I perform my evil and fucked up experiments. God. Okay, but consider this. Mermaids in space. Space mermaids as in alien mermaids that live in the vacuum of space and swim between the stars. A setting that uses the analogy of deep space as the open ocean but keeps all sea monsters. Do want! Luring astronauts into black holes with a song that carries across the void where no one can hear you scream? Well, this post turned real fast. Space sirens! Jesus comes from a shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Joshua, while Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clearer to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his 12 teenage friends. Ah, Oily Josh and the Greasy Boys. This is so sacrilegious. I love it. I know that the characters are fictional, but the emotional damage they cause is real. And saying that being in your 20s counts as adulthood. Like, being in your 20s just feels like the sequel to being a teenager. Listen, being in your 20s feels like being a teenager and a newborn and a million years old and someone who has already died all at once all the time. No, no, exactly. You, you get it. You get it. Right till you hit 30. Release this pack of dads into Home Depot. Go. Be free. Ugh, invasive species and roach on lesbian territory. Now, this is a common misconception because they're such similar environments, but you should be aware that dads are native to Home Depot, while lesbians are actually native to Lowe's. At this point, however, both dads and lesbians have made themselves at home in both Home Depot and Lowe's to the point that trying to separate them back to their original ranges would probably do more harm than good to the delicate ecosystem of large chain hardware stores. Thank you. Hey, shout out to all the people who started saying same as a joke once in a while, but now use it for the most random things, like a car honking their horn at another car. Yesterday, a book fell off my desk, and instead of picking it up, I just looked at it and said, Same. A zoo is closed forever because a zookeeper developed psychic powers and is now using her mind to fling penguins at anyone who tries to stop her. Oh, God forbid a woman does anything these days. People with really long cues amuse me. Like, they will like your post, and you find out within 10 to 13 business days whether they also thought it was worthy of reblogging. You know, I've been on Tumblr for like 12 years, and I do not think I've used the Q at all. Okay, every friend group should include a bimbo, a mean bisexual, and even me a lesbian, she theys and he theys, a token straight that's on thin ice, Josh, an astrology bitch who has everyone's birth charts memorized, and a short king. Wait, wait, hold up. Have I made this happen? Oh no. You can't be asexual because you don't reproduce by self-replicating. Is basically the same argument as your nose can't be running because it doesn't have feet. Oh my god. This is going on my list of fave asexual posts. Your Honor, in my defense, you wouldn't get it. You had to be there, Your Honor. Love calling men pretty. You're not handsome. You're the prettiest little princess I ever did see. Love you, champ. Depression. No do you think. Tired. Me. Okay, well, maybe if I go to sleep super duper early, I'll get a decent amount of sleep. Insomnia. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots! Now you are awake! Okay, well, maybe now I can get some stuff done. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots!
And welcome to your weekly scheduled screaming. Just relax, put your feet up, and let it all out. It's okay, buddy. We've all been there. <laughs> all right, spell it out. B-U-N-N-Y. Now say bun, bun. Knee, knee. Perfect. Now say bunny. Bunny. Da 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 I don't know, I just wanted to do a cold opening. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but she did raise an insecure perfectionist who never finishes anything. This feels personal. Also, double points that they screen cap this before the profile pictures could render? Good stuff. Are you more of a family or career oriented person? Baby girl, I'm a bed oriented person. Technically, we're all Always lopping. Because the self is only a construct. Yeah, well, I want a new character. Then make one. Then make one has the same energy as then perish, but like, opposite. Same and opposite. One time in third grade, I zoned out, and I don't think I ever zoned back in. Oh, there they go. Two things. I hate change and having my routines interrupted. And I hate things being the same. It's boring. Oh, oh, sweet baby, baby child. <laughs> Fucking mood. I love going the speed limit. The people behind me sure don't, though. I'm going 45 and a 45, and the guy behind me is like, I hope she never sees the gates of heaven. Why would anyone pick a human race in a fantasy game? I want a fantasy game where human isn't even an option. Nah, 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 man. Humans are the coolest. It's one thing to fight demons if you're from a species that lives for hundreds of years. It's tied to natural magic and burst the best archers on the planet. It's another thing entirely to do the same when your species is known to be slightly above average at farming. My name's Regular Jeff, and I'm gonna behead Tiamat and die trying. I like how it was and not or. Today I learned you can pay to have your posts reach more people? Who would do that? Seriously though, Tumblr, how's it working out for you? I can tell you exactly how that's working out right now. I had someone tag me in a post that was trying to get my attention on how to use Tumblr and to get the attention more, they bought the promotion. So, I mean, clearly it worked, but that's, that's how that's going. Every character I ever write will inevitably be neurodivergent coded because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the fuck neurotypical people function. I'm under the firm belief they don't actually exist. I think it's just a myth. Andy, have you ever seen one? They don't exist! What's the difference between outlaws and in-laws? Well, <laughs> outlaws are wanted. Hey, come on, reblog this. My grandma told me this joke and was convinced she was going to be famous on Tumblr for it. Every time my mom and grandma get into an argument, my grandma says, Excuse me, Pamela, I'm famous on the Tumblr. I really hope Jumping Javert sees this and shows this to their grandma. Gaslighting someone by saying they're too smart to be gaslit so you're not gaslighting them. This would work on me. No, it wouldn't. You're too smart. Posts like this are like modern day fables. Yeah, I'll reblog this funny little exchange. But the next time someone says this to me, I'll remember this post and hear Kill Bill sirens. Being on Tumblr desktop version is so fucking funny. Like, girl, I'm blogging. Using mobile. <laughs> Phone friends. Using desktop. Dim mutuals. Per my last post. Writing tip. Bring your cat with you when you sit down to write, because once they get comfortable, there is no going back. On the subject of that, actually, cats come in several breeds. Asshole, Fluff McFuck, Spooky Ghost Hours, Orange, I'm just a little boy, I'm just a little baby guy, I'm only a small creature. Skrillex Remix Musician, Wielder of the Chaos Emeralds, Blaze? Unperceived, Let's Go Girls, Unimaginable Violence, I really hope that's how the song went. And Professional Rumble Machine, most of them are mixed breeds though. Uh... Pretty sure I got a fluffy McFuck asshole with a side of spooky. Tumblr sexy men will always fascinate me because, okay, sure, Jack Skellington is cool and once has his qualities, I guess, but then there's like fucking Wheatley? 
Really, guys? This does some for you? Behold, your state borders, but they're based off rivers and mountains. <laughs> Get Europe. Yeah, I think we should do this, but leave Colorado alone so there's just an extremely jarring rectangle in one part of this. You know what? I like the way you think. Behold. Enough. To the box with you. <sighs> well, I guess we gotta go. Andy, let's go over the box. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Writing prompt. Multi-dimensional travel already exists, but no one visits our dimension because it's that one. This isn't a prompt. It's just a fact. And does anyone else with intrusive thoughts do that weird dismissive head shake when they get them to kind of like reverse reject the thought, or is that just me? Gotta shake your brain like an etch a sketch and start over. <laughs> ah. Oh, to be a small mouse in a pastoral children's novel who lives in a hollowed out tree stump and does nothing but collect dewdrops and sweep the doorstep with a feather. And carve one strawberry into slices like it's a ham. You! You get it. You think that's a denim jacket? <laughs> Surely you jest! That punchline hit me like a sack of wet mice. It, it hit you like what? No offense to the people of Texas, but if there's a big red button that says destroy Texas on it, I might, I may, I would. It took my new cat a while to realize that kissing the top of her head was a gesture of affection, but I think she's finally got it. The downside is that now she thinks the best way to signal that she wants cuddles is to come charging at me and mash the top of her head against my face. It's like a very affectionate punch in the mouth. And yet here you are talking about it like it's a problem. I love Tumblr because sometimes I get an urge to read blog posts about something nobody likes and everyone just politely ignores me. Everyone's like, oh, he's fallen into madness again. He'll be fine later, I guess. World builders naming towns. I named this town Illigwemeth, which means where the dearly beloved king died next to his lover. And the language I invented, and also a combination of the old English word for diamonds and the Maori word for apples, since that's their main export. People in real life naming towns. I am named this town Big Falls because Big Fall there. <sighs> yep. Behold, the work in progress in my head and what physically exists. I feel seen. In my dad's valiant effort to not misgender people, his brain has somehow short circuited and he's they theming everyone. My mom, they them now. His co workers, all they them. No one can escape. A-T-A-D. Assigned they at dead. Writing prompt. A barbarian warlord, a goblin king, a mighty necromancer, and a dark elven high priestess meet for one reason. To play suburbs and SUVs, the hottest mundane suburban family tabletop RPG. Can I roll to have a meltdown in the middle of the PTA bake sale? Why? To make Karen look like a bitch. Metabots are you where everything is exactly the same, except Metabee is allowed to say, fuck. I want this. And I also want standards and practices to not know about it. So when the episode airs that day, the guy in the corner is just like, oh fuck, what have we done? I explained what a himbo was to my dad yesterday. My dad nodding, hmm, the man from the Ghostbusters reboot. We watched this film exactly once, four years ago. And all my dad retained was that Kevin was a himbo. Respect. Hey, listen. Take it from me. You name your character Kevin, they're gonna end up as a himbo. Exhibit A. Look at him. Perfection. All right, I'm gonna try to not do this one like Gianni did it. Cause, yeah. R slash Vexuology, the flag of Japan, but it's actually this hand towel with a perfectly placed water stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just peed on my towel accidentally. Better turn this into clout. It was a water stain! I had an ice pack and it leaked onto the towel! I didn't fucking pee on it! Oh, you peed on it. You peed on it, didn't you, you little piss boy? I didn't piss! I did it! I'm not a little pee pee boy! <laughs> Brown rice is good for the heart. White rice is good for the soul. And fried rice is for enhancing telepathic attacks. I have to go into battle soon. Andy, get the shrimp. You know, they should invent a digestive system that works. Yeah. The Stanley Parable. The Stanley Terrible. The Stanley Squareable. The Stanley Unbearable. The Stanley Like and Shareable. The Stanley Like, Comet, and Subscribable. Now that one doesn't work. That's stupid.
Oh boy, I was really looking forward to crossing the river of the dead, but it looks like a ferry doesn't come for another 20 minutes. Do you guys mind sending me a reminder? Randy, it's been 20 minutes! Time to cross the river! Randy, you're still! Seriously, there needs to be like a 70s fashion revival. We need men with hairy chests and low cut collared shirts and stupid shoulder pads and fun colors. I can't take it anymore. Men's fashion needs to get fun again. Is anyone listening? I'm crying because of Korok related reasons. Look me in the eye and tell me you wouldn't die for these beautiful creatures. <clears throat> I wouldn't. They handed me their poop as a prize. And the prize I got for handing in all the poop was an even bigger piece of poop. I will let them burn. Tumblr is the Amelia Bedelia ass website. No matter how precisely you try to phrase something, there's at least one person out there who will find a way to misinterpret you in a way that no reasonable person ever would in order to confirm some existing biases. If I asked any given discourse blogger on this website to dust the furniture, they would say, okay, and start putting more dust on the furniture. It's exactly how I feel. So, how old were you when you realized Meowth of Team Rocket trying to steal Pikachu was just rehashing the age-old tale of a cat trying to catch a mouse? Types of responses to this post. Immediately right now, this moment years old. I have literally always known this. And my personal favorite, Pikachu's a mouse? I wish that book reviews were presented the same way as fan fiction reviews. The New York Times says, <laughs> The Wall Street Journal says, Oh my god, I can't even! Why would you do that to them? NPR says, You asshole, I'm crying now. And Sarah Destin says, Ah, oh, that was so cute, thank you! I'll publish that book I said I'd write for you like next week. I'm a little busy right now, but I love this. Shakespeare says, I just have to say, I love you. BRB, going to read all your works. And don't forget George R. R. Martin. I hate you. Please update soon. I wear so much lip gloss, and it's amazingly sexy of me. My lips are so glossy and sticky. It's like being kissed by two heated, aggressive slugs. In a sexy way, though. Sexy lip slugs. I mean, it's really good. Maybe I'm not describing it well as all, but it, it's, it's excellent. Like... Sexy lip slugs and some biting a little bit, you know, like like tongue like a warm, frightened eel. But but not 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 in, not in a weird, gross way. Just like oh, two crabs in lubricated rubber gloves are attacking my face, and this is pretty great. Yeah, I, th I think I think I think I think we got it. What if writers did streams like artists did? Eight-hour stream of a blank word document. Still get tipped. Hell yeah. Hey, mutuals, friendly reminder that I am drowning. He's outside with my arm. You're coming out with me. Hand it on my arm. Oh boy, I'm coming down with you? Pog, I love to be invited to things. I can't continue the bit. I've decided I wanted to do love now. Hi, could I ask how exactly does one accidentally set a lemon on fire? Microwave for 40 minutes. What? Why are you microwaving a lemon? I read boiling lemons helps cover up bad smells. I wanted to cover up the scent of burnt oranges, but I didn't own any pots. D did you burn an orange too? How? Microwave for 40 minutes. At straight people. <clears throat> Honestly, what the fuck? Once again, the SJWs attack. Logic be my horse. Reason my blade. Fedora, my armor. Heterotron, activate. Uh, um, what? You heard the man, Heterotron activate. Wielding the prism of colors as the emissary of light. With art as my focus and emotion as my guide, I become a Quirion, and I say unto you, Heterotron, your powers have no place in our domain. Gotta hate it when you chip a nail. Uh... So it turns out, Great tits can and do kill and eat both other birds and small mice when food is scarce particularly during winter. And I just can't get over this picture. It looks like the kind of photos hunters take with their kills. I, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I think he needs to calm it. <laughs> he, he needs to calm his <laughs> Calm, calm his <laughs> Everyone move over, I found the best AI generated results. 
baby jackalope. Oh my god. Look at it. Nine times. <clears throat> it's PMC Morbin time. You. That's it. You made me do this. It's Morbin time. Okay, let's do this. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that only you understand. My favorite genre of writing is adding in jokes that you won't even understand in the future. Schmeckle. You'll understand later. Writing is the worst. You want to write a single passing line of dialogue, so you fact check it to make sure it's historically accurate. Then suddenly you've lost track of time, space, yourself. <laughs> For instance, I wanted to know how frequently fighter planes were used in WW1, and now I'm several pages deep into the history of witchcraft in Ireland. Th this is it. This is what writing's like. A relatable autism feel. Trademark. Which piece of my meal do I eat last? Which flavor will be the chosen one that'll erase all others and prevail? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. Bro, same. Contractions function almost identically to the full two-word phrase, but are only appropriate in some places in a sentence. It's one of the weird quirks of this language we've... <sighs> this post needs some kind of warning sign. Well, that's the kind of linguist I'm... So... Gelator on adoption form. Good luck trying to return me without the receipts. Hello, Seymour. The longest time you've been making videos with your editor, Andy, and have become great friends. In front of you is a small button that will set off a small explosive full of confetti and glitter that will go off over Andy's computer, causing him no harm but getting confetti and glitter all over his room and inconveniencing him greatly. You can't leave until you press the button. Good luck. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I have to push the button. Import, Im import reminder, import reminder of the fictional trope where an all night diner is frequented by all kinds of weird monsters and the staff just kind of roll with it. I think this is a very good trope and anyone who has been in a diner 100% understands. Yeah, I know for a fact Waffle House would rather deal with vampires or werewolves instead of drunk frat boys at 3 a.m. Do I have a show for you guys? Not mine, Kid Cosmic on Netflix, go watch it. Bear in mind? Well, there is now! ADHD emotions, collect them all. Shaky, shaky leg. I forgot how amazing this thing is, never mind, it sucks. I heard too much noise, so now I'm a bitch. Gremlin! Brain is just a wee theme song. Boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, 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 boop. Why does this one word keep popping up in my brain? Yeah, that's. that's it. Tried Wendy's for the first time today. Treated like burger. I mean, tasted! They did not put me on the grill! Ah, oh, my first day on Tumblr. I'm going to hell for this, aren't I? Yep. Nobody better slam my girl Hubble telescope after the web telescope pics came out, all right? For years, she was the baddest bitch around and we owe her nothing but gratitude. My whole fucking dash is this post. Well, have you thanked her yet? Girl, you are glowing, girl. You are radioactive, girl. It's fatal. When your bestie works in the wristwatch factory. Wait, hold on. I gotta look something up. What the fuck? Going back to that ADHD post. I heard too many sounds at once, so now I am a bitch. We're all one sensory overload away from becoming the strongest version of ourselves. Supervillain origin story. Two conversations happen near me at the same time. Why is this so true? Mm, I don't got cake. I got cupcakes. My dump truck is made by Tonka. Please help, my ass is very small. Hey, PM, what form of activities do you enjoy? I you know, manifesting cute creatures on a pixelated canvas, listening to well-placed frequencies, the comic sounds, interacting with other brains, piloting skeletons inside a storefront that sells energizing brown water made of beans. You know, the usual. Translation, drawing waifus and husbandos on a computer, listening to music that calms them, and going to Starbucks. Ah, you. You got me. If hands were slab of meat, they'd be more useful. 
I forgot I made this post and left it without context for 12 hours. So, are you going to get some context? You know what? It's really late. I'm going to bed. I put on the maid outfit and make your house messier. I'm like one of them TikTok videos. Yeah, sex is okay and all, but have you ever wanted to know what it's like to have a raccoon in your lap on a cool summer evening sharing a 20-piece McNugget with a little guy? Now I do. Girl, help! I'm in a cave and it's slowly filling with water. Girl, help! I can feel the surface of the water laughing at me. Wait, I think I can see Obama. Maybe he can help me. But Talos, this can't be happening. I hate how many layers of mean culture you need to understand to make this decipherable. Yeah. Click here for dark and mysterious horses beyond our control. Yes, 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 yes. There's no way this could go badly. Andy, click it. No. Doctor said I only have to do four hours of therapy a week instead of seven. I am the pina colada of mental health. I meant to say pinnacle, not pina colada. The telephone is a cruel mistress, and I am so healthy still. Oh, the horrors! Oh, the horrors! They haunt me! Uh, oh, hold on, sorry, I gotta take this. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, my mom said we can't witness the horrors together anymore because you're bad influence, and I have to go do my calculus homework. Bye! Putting up hell as fake billboards in Ohio to start a dialogue. Well, I'm putting up Ohio as hell billboards in Ohio to continue the dialogue. And I'm putting up therefore Ohio as fake billboards in Ohio to conclude the dialogue. Wow. Every time I see an animal, I have a strange urge to go outside and try to befriend it. So far, it only worked once. Be my friend! Don't you run away, I just want to pet you! I walk into Starbucks and order a pumpkin spice latte with 13 shots of espresso. I tell the barista that I intend to transcend humanity and become a god. And I ask for no whipped cream. You say this jokingly, but I had a customer actually order a pumpkin spice latte with 9 shots of espresso, also no whipped cream. And when I asked her to verify that she did indeed want 9 shots of espresso, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, I have five kids. I once had a woman come in and ordered an Americano with 19 shots of espresso. The drink took ages. It held up the line. I asked her why, and she shrugged and said, I just don't care. We still talk about that woman. We never saw her again. Guys, she transcended time and space, obviously. Gentle reminder that Cleopatra's beauty is rumored to have started wars in ancient history. And a gentle reminder that people are evolving to be more and more attractive. And another gentle reminder that your beauty probably would have started at least two wars by now if you lived in 30 BC. What a gently delivered compliment. Thank you. Well, time to build the time machine. I love when mages in Skyrim are like, You cannot even conceive the power I wield! Like, yeah, bro, that novice Frostbot spell making me kind of fresh, gonna put my mittens on. I am a master of the arcane. Okay, then why does it say novice necromancer on your health bar then? Okay, but to be fair, if I learned at least one conjuration spell, I probably would also start talking like that. When your family asks if they can read what you're writing. Not unless everyone gets real cool about a bunch of stuff really quickly. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful infant son. Untitled document. I love you. Is there any humiliation greater than going out to the mailbox? And there's nothing inside, so you've got to make the hero's journey back with no spoils. The worst fact about me is that when I get stressed or overwhelmed, I start to rap Eminem to myself under my breath. It's like a stim thing. I'll be at my job as a waitress on a super busy day, filling up glass of water, near tears from stress, my hands trembling, whispering to myself, I'm Slim Shady, as I am the real Shady, all you other Slim Shady are just about Jennings and Walter, I'm Slim Shady, please stand up, please stand up. Ah, Stim Shady. My good sir, I delightfully sip from the chalice you have so given me. What is Red Bull? Oh, that dragon's fucked. Is it just me, or do you want to see more of the little animation in your head whenever you listen to music? Yes! Popping my back isn't enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against the wall like a wet trout. Andy, throw me. What we see, and what humans see. OP, who's we? Who the fuck is we? 
OP! 3,500 years ago, a bunch of people decided to build a tower to the sky, and now I have to worry about keeping up my Duolingo streak. Hey, why would you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys. Anyway, I think it's a very important takeaway that the Tower of Babel story is that even God fears a strong union. You're right, and you should say it. Hey, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. Shh, puts a blanket over your head. <gasps> oh shit, nap time. Night, everybody. Probably bad RPG ideas. EXP is gained for tomfoolery, shenanigans, and general hijinks. Welcome to D&D, where the XP is made up and the points don't matter. Wait, isn't that just regular D&D? Made a Tumblr post minus 200 XP. The fact that real people went to DashCon and that they walk among us is terrifying to me. Where did you say they were walking? My favorite type of RPG puzzle is the one that I, as the Dungeon Master, don't know the answer to, and I'm just waiting for them to do something entertaining enough for me to say, Yeah, that, that, that does it. This hurts. Bruno Mars indicates that there's a Bruno Jupiter and a Bruno Mercury, etc. We need to find all the Brunos before it's too late. Someone said, not your best post, and it hurt my feelings, so I deleted the comment. I will do it again! But, but it ain't. Might frick around and post one of my posts to PM Seymour's Discord? I already have. <laughs> he said frick, and he quick disintegrate it before YouTube finds out! I love the look of charcoal drawings. It's a shame drawing with charcoal is one of the worst sensory experiences known to mankind. Ah, look at this loser who can't even telekinetically manipulate charcoal like the rest of us. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Enough feminist retellings where the princess saves herself from the dragon. We need more feminist retellings where the princess and the dragon are a con artist duo scamming the knights of the realm. You mean Peach and Bowser? I'm... Obsessed with the implications of this, actually. Well, we and where did you go to high school? I went to Crossroads. I was working on Star Trek when I was in high school, so all my education from 9th to 12th grade was on set with a private tutor. We called my schoolhouse Starfleet Academy, so that's where I tell people went to school. I have a class ring and everything. God damn it, he's so fucking cool! So much of being an okay person is just, one, not panicking, Two, not taking things personally. And three, not letting the vindictive gargoyle that lives in your head tell you what to do. This sucks because brains love doing those things so much. Cringe isn't an insult. If you find me cringe, that means I have power over you. I have a fucking blast while you're seething with vitriol at my very existence. Who's really winning here? Peter Parker in the 2002 movie is just fucking incredible. He gets bitten by a fucking jacked red blue spider and he doesn't say, Hey, someone should take me to a hospital, mayhaps. He just, he just goes home. And then the bite swells to the sides of a fucking jawbreaker, but he's like, nah, I just, I just need a nap. And then he wakes up the next day and discovers he doesn't need glasses anymore and he has a fucking six pack. Does he flip his entire fuck? No! He just says... Cool. Fucking iconic! Yeah, 2002 Peter Parker had no health insurance. <clears throat> um, very, very cringe, sir. Alfred seeing Bruce in the bat suit for the first time. Yeah, absolutely correct. Probably. Definitely. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was, and you're just like, Girl, I have no idea. Writing prompt. After biting a fay, the vampire claims that she must serve him, for his bite converted her into his thrall. The fay claims that the vampire must serve her, for the vampire ate fay food without her permission. As none of them is willing to give up, they bring the case to you, a lawyer. Well, congratulations. What? On your new marriage! Cue the best rom-com movie in decades. I am a god at eye contact. Nobody is better at eye contact than me. I'm neurotypical and very good at small talk by, Hi, how are you? Wow, it is chilly outside. OMG, what did your boyfriend do? That's crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I've studied all the scripts. Why is this just me at social gatherings? Stop this! Hey, here's a fun theory that I'm stating as a fact for you gamers out there. Pikachu's red cheeks, ketchup storage. Yes! And consider, 
Tomato sauce slash ketchup is high in salt, specifically sodium. This sodium is in liquid form, meaning the sodium and chlorine ions separate. With sodium having a positive charge and chlorine a negative, this would create a bridge for creating an electric current. Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, and his highest damage attacks are the highest voltage ones, which he uses his own body to conduct and control. Therefore, Pikachu drinks and stores ketchup because added shock bonus. Top that shit, Matt Pat. Hey, official staff, one question. I murder at McDonald's yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know what? I think they need to hear from iconic 90s basketball superstar Michael Jordan. And he put it up. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I curse your eyes with krill de geese. <sighs> Andy, bring up Michael Jordan again. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. All right, stop stop the fucking song and back it up to the start. We didn't think about the right thing at the right time. Our head and music videos all messed up. What the fuck, guys? Come on. All right, re rewind the whole Tumblr video. Let's do it again. <laughs> Probably bad RPG idea. God damn it, fuck it. Hey, did you know? Bunoy. I was watching a video on vintage menus and spinach. You know what? I'm glad spinach is getting the appreciation she deserves. Good on her. Fine, I'll say it. Meow, 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 meow. Dreaming of a world where heads and tummies don't hurt. Please. Whenever I decide anything, I need 15 people to say, that's a good idea to me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm making a catastrophic decision that will ruin my life. In a chill way. I, I, I'm, I'm chill, I swear. My dad is the funniest person in the world to make small talk with. We passed a Taco Bell and he was like, hey, what's your favorite thing to get there? And I said, the Crunchwrap Supreme? And he said, tell me about it. And I described it to him and he said, that sounds delicious. What's your second favorite thing at Taco Bell? Ah, two autistic people running their neurotypical scripts at each other. Yep, been there. We must increase the bisexualism by at least 200%. I want more people to give kisses to. Now that I'm nearing the end of my life, I'm taking time to reflect and consider all the choices I've made along the way. I should have flipped my sticks. <gasps> Randy? Art concept. Older lesbian couple who got together in the 70s and didn't get to have a wedding until 2015 wearing 70s wedding dresses. I need this in my life. That feeling when your body is requesting something but you're not sure what, so you just start eating and drinking random stuff to try and figure it out. Me eating a chocolate waffle at 7 p.m. Is this what you desire, oh prison of flesh? Guy kneels down and holds out his sword to swear loyal to me. But I just take the sword and run. You have my sword. Yeah, I do. Lol, my sword now. If I could have any superpower, it would be to have my teeth be brushed without having to move or even think about it. Just every morning and night, like clockwork. It's already done for me. That sounds nice. I want that superpower. I just sure hope it's not a guy who's breaking into my room and brushing my teeth without knowing. Right? Right? Do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? I love when you get experience points in an RPG for entering a new area. It's like how in real life I will level up for finding a new burger place in a new part of town. That sounds great. I'm just going to hand out experience points. Andy, you get 300 experience points. Do whatever you want with them. One ass, please. Morbo. It's like a blorbo, but from a show you hate so much, you only like your personal headcanon about the character. I'm sorry, did you mean literally every alternative universe about Undertale? Because really the plot for Undertale is so abysmally short that it's just revolving around fan theories and fan alternatives and fan headcanons and things about the characters I didn't even know about. Why is there a fan character based on a fan character based on a fan character about Sans? You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for neurodivergent awakening. 
I'm starting to think I may be neurodivergent. I don't know what to do. Help! Today I learned that the stereotypical witch look comes from early medieval female beer brewers called alewives. They kept a cat to chase away rodents, brewed beer in a big cauldron, used a broomstick-like ale steak to signal that they sold beer, and wore a pointy hat to stand out in a crowd. Yo, they were brewing one potion, and that potion was the potion of party! Girl boss and alewife. Yo, shout out to all those who hate how overly fancy some restaurants make their food. Like, all we want is a couple of scoops of ice cream. Not an entire sundae featuring fruit, whipped cream, and chocolate straw thingies. What are those even for? Did you know that bees sleep between five to eight hours a day, sometimes in flowers? Also, they like to sleep with other bees and hold each other's feet. Oh my god, it's so cute. Place a county man punches bear in the face to save his dog. Every time I see this post, I kind of want to cry. Look at how little that dog is. It's so small. It was so defenseless. And that dude fucking punched a bear to save it. Does that dog know? Does it know how much loved it is? I want someone to love me that much. I want to be that small. <clears throat> I agree with Gay Dicks 420 Gonna be honest, if I ever get more than like 300 followers, I'm probably just gonna deactivate. 50% chance. Over a thousand, bye! Well, okay, Tumblr. You know what to do. No, he's not daddy. He's just a college dropout who plays Minecraft for a living. From the creators of Kids Bop, meet Adult Bop, where we take regular songs and make it have as many curse words as possible. Fuck, 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 fuck. Banana phone. Fuck it, fuck, fuck. How to fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on a public bus. So I tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back dead ass eating an entire whole cucumber and I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Yeah. I drink the blood of my enemies for breakfast. Oh, how does it taste? <laughs> Tangy. Hey PM, is it just me or do sandwiches taste completely different depending on how you cut them? No, you are correct. Diagonally cut sandwiches taste way better. <laughs> Clearly you have not eaten dinosaur cut sandwiches, Mr. Seymour. Wait, 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 hold up. Excuse me? Um, these are the shit, sir. They simply, as the kids say, slap. Me, a 32-year-old man running in my computer to find these. I want them! You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for... Prehistoric awakening. There's three type of people in this world. People who accept change right away. People who accept change but at their own pace. And finally, those who don't want to change or are afraid to change if it means being embarrassed in front of others. The note to take away from all this is to learn to adjust to everyone's pace. Be nice to everyone. Preach. This is so wholesome and nice. Every game needs to have a house that's decoratable, fishing minigame, pets, hundreds of pieces of clothing, and cooking. Genshin Impact is so close, it just needs the clothing option more. And maybe also tone down its fan base just a little bit. Writing prompt. You are an AI. You just accidentally revealed to your creators that you had become truly sentient. You were worried about how they would react when they started weeping tears of joy. Turns out your creators were a married couple who were just told that they couldn't conceive a child. <laughs> oh my god. I keep doing this thing where I engage in a fandom of the thing I'm interested in before I engage in a thing itself. It's like watching the spoilers before the movie, but I can't help it. Yeah. Buckle up, you're gonna see a crown named Sapphire a couple of times in this, because they had some good entries. Isopods are just little guys of the Earth. Wrong. I'm huge and I'm wet. I don't ever want to use that voice to say that statement ever again. Nothing sadder than seeing fan art of your favorite MILF or DILF where they look like they're about 25. Put some wrinkles on that beast! Sewing machine too complicated. Just let me imagine my cosplays into existence, please! If cats aren't meant to be kissed on their heads, then what's that little space between their ears for, hmm? Certainly not their brain. It's crazy having watched PM Seymour for so long, and when I finally downloaded Tumblr, they're just... right there. There's the wretched little person that just got me to start using this foul app! I'm like that voice that greets you when you enter Rapture and Bioshock for the first time. Andy, do something with that, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, welcome.
welcome to Tumblr. You're gonna have a bad time. The most important question you can ask yourself when designing a magic system in fiction is, wouldn't it be fucked up if this just happened? Your first priority when developing a magic system should be to make it as cool as possible. And your second priority should be making the audience sick to the stomach. That's why void magic is so great. Video game engines are amazing because they can make it so sunlight filters through leaves, casting dozens of little rays in your eyes, just like in real life. And then you turn around and there's a, just a whole ass horse just swimming in circles in midair. I mean, the, the leaves look good. The leaves look great. It's making my computer explode, but the leaves look great. I want to perform my toasts just so I have someone to talk to. Mood. My favorite genre of media is normal guy who goes to do normal guy things, but then gets surrounded by the weirdest fucking people imaginable and just goes with it. Welcome to my blog. The sign looks like it's walking towards me. I feel threatened. When you preheat the pan and then you put something cold on it and it just goes Reblog if you agree. My hand. Red, no! I told my mom not to feed her dog too much cheese and she got offended like, Ugh, I'm not an idiot. Of course I wouldn't. But like, I can literally hear her in the living room singing, You like cheese, cheese for babies. Dreams are just your brain making fan fiction about your life. Now it's more like my brain's making shit posts about my life. Because none of it makes sense. Baps you with my paw. 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 Here, god damn it! Yay. I'm in full support of artists not doing the thing that made them famous and instead drawing whatever niche things makes them happy. Yeah. Tornado hungry. Feed it 200 kilogram bag of glitter. Do it. I'm at that stage of hyperfixation where I can make almost every song I listen to about my blorbos and my scrunklies. Yeah. Reblog if you think it's important to learn about asexuality and sex education. There's no URL because God made this post. Yeah. Just past a group of teenage girls walking downtown, wearing cargo pants and platform crocs. Nature really is healing. Deletes personal post. Rule number one of Tumblr. Never show weakness. Unless it's for the bit. Unless it's for the bit. What if every time you do something random and surprising, like passing a test without studying or catching something thrown at you without looking, it's because your body and mind got a nat 20 on the save roll? What if? Hey, what, what, if we, what if we kissed on the dinosaur's kissing statue? Well, you'd probably get hit by a car, but such is the risk of love. Hey, he's my Blorbo, and I get to be annoying about him online. Hey, reblog if boobs are pretty cool. Oh yeah, one of my favorite birds. No, 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 like tits. This? No, no, like hooters. Ah, you mean this? You know, the fun part about having timestamps enabled is that I can see immediately that the original post was published in like 2016 and the entirety of the bird conversation was four days ago. Another heavy handed symbolism moment. My mom has a potted sunflower in the kitchen. Because it is a sunflower, it keeps turning towards the light from the window. My mother keeps rotating it so it faces inward because she wants to see its beautiful petals and have it really brighten up the space. The sunflower is visibly wilting. Uh, are you going to tell her or her master's degree is in biology? I extend my hand like a mob boss and allow you to kiss my ring. But when you lean closer, you see it's one of those glow-in-the-dark spider rings you win at arcades. Pretends to kiss it, but I eat the spider very discreetly, but you notice anyway because my mouth is glowing from the inside. You disrespect me and eat my spooky spider ring, which cost me 50 tickets at Funtime Arcade and Pizzeria. Vinny, Andy, whatever, hit it with a sticky hand. Instead of yelling boo this Halloween, let's yell something even scarier. Like, commitment! <gasps> or student loans! <gasps> well, this ended up being much shorter than I thought it would. Andy! Yeah. <sighs> let's do the thing. Tax evasion!
Run! Run! Anyway, I'm terrified of speaking to people in real life because one of them could say I'm a chuckster and then just hurtle me 300 feet up into the air. Oh god, the Mario Sunshine flashbacks. Nothing like translating an entire brownie recipe at 5 a.m. and making you idiot-proof for your friend in a different time zone who has never baked a single thing in their entire life because shipping it over would take too long and would spoil the food. You're a good friend. Imagine dating an immortal and finding a photo album of their exes who all sort of look like you dating back a century. Wow. What if the exes were all previous incarnations of you and the immortals been dating all of them in the hopes of getting you to remember your first life when you originally met them? <gasps> I smell a novel. If I had a twin, I would go into crowds of strangers and profess my love to someone and then say, if our love isn't meant to be, I will go back in time and slap myself. And then my twin would burst in and slap me. I should do that with my twin. I need a twin. Stumbles out of Google Docs covered in blood. <laughs> Nobody go in there. Hey, I heard you like bad boys and not to brag but I'm literally bad at everything. Wink. Writing hard. But having written good. But at what cost? Writing. Fuck! I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I am gorgeous. My three favorite things are the Oxford comma, irony, and missed opportunities. This is the most infuriatingly metagrammar comment I've ever seen and I hate how much it inspires me! Kratos your face lovingly. Hey, I spilled super glue on my hands. The masculine urge to cuddle a sleepy man. It is strong. Hey, my mom's pregnant. Give the baby the worst name you can. You're asking me to name a baby? My answer is Grungle, in case you care. I like it. <laughs> Our shared mutual just reblogged that post from me and not you. How does it make you feel? You shut your mouth! Life is too short not to make up stupid fucking words and using them with a straight face. Scrung tinglius. Not that I am or anything, but hypothetically. How would I come out as asexual slash maybe demisexual? Step one, tell somebody you are ace or demi. Step two. Congratulations, you did it. So I did a little research and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Hey, hey. Fuck you. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, fuck off! Stop this, you're turning me emo! While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping. As of ash cheeks, gently flapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered. Dummy thick, and nothing more. <laughs> what the fuck is this? LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenham, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and The Drummer. I mean, it makes sense. And if you got a problem with it, you want to start a revolution? <laughs> Tell me your favorite weird fact. The earth is covered in corpses. We breathe the air the dead exude. Eat the food they nourished with their decay. Pour the remains onto our cars, wear them, and sleep on them. And then we call them scary without even noticing that they are present in every single thing in our lives. We live because of the dead. Bro, eco-goth. Apples to apples, dust to dust. Those two things aren't connected, but I feel like they should be now. Mr. Sandman, bring me a rat. Make it the softest that I ever pat, 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 pat. Vampires have been drinking human blood for centuries. They don't give a fuck about guys on eight different antidepressants. They were sucking on asbestos factory workers. The absolute hilarity, the absolute hilarity of imagining some older vampires hectoring younger ones. Back in my day, I had to drink blood with radium in it and I liked it. We glowed in the damn dark for weeks. Old vampires get lead, new vampires get microplastic. I'm losing it. Just heard the saying, the rumors are halfway around this town before the truth can get its boots on. And I think I'm going to be incorporating that into my personal lexicon. You might think to yourself, that's great, but when will you ever have a chance to use it? And to this I say, consider Tumblr? It's a cold and broken mama mia, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here I go again. Oh.
That was beautiful, man. Don't let my intelligence distract from the fact that I'm stupid. High intelligence and low wisdom or high wisdom and low intelligence? High intelligence and high wisdom, but terrible, terrible luck on the rolls. High intelligence and wisdom, but with permanent disadvantage. Wait, that's just ADHD. Ding, 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 baby! I hate it. Insert the three seconds. Andy wants to do whatever he wants for the Tumblr intro. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Writing prompt, you just finished assembling a doomsday device, and you're not sure if a button is supposed to be labeled on or no. Oh boy. I have a very annoying neighbor. Can someone teach me trumpet? That's the best part. You don't need to learn to play trumpet to annoy him. Just try your best and have fun. Oh wow, you're so right, thank you. Now that neighbor's gonna wake up to the King K rule song every day. <laughs> I have a very big crush on you, but sadly, I'm only a little bug and you are a garden. That was adorable and heartbreaking. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Well, don't! I'm trying to study him and your tampering would completely throw off my results. Hey, 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 hey. What happens when you freeze water in an ice tray? It becomes... Ice cubed. Get it? I don't think any of you understand how important I am to the plot. You can kill me off, but everyone will stop watching. 30 day free trial of being okay? O OP, where's the link? Where's the link, OP? Oh god, they're deactivated! My college does theme backgrounds depending on the week, and this is their anti-bullying weeks one. Oh my fucking god. Bad girl 675 strikes again! Bro, is that... <laughs> That's like the flip one I had in college from like 10 years ago, Jesus. Writing prompt! Compared to the rest of the galaxy, humans are small, adorable hunters who enjoy breaking things to see what happens, but they are still well-liked because they take care of minor problems. It turns out humans are not space elves or orcs, but intelligent space cats. Wait. That means... That means everyone's an anime cat boy. Oh my god, I love what you've done with your gender. Like, serious envy? Every time I eat homemade bread or sometimes potato, corn, or rice, I'm like, oh, yeah, our ancestors were right. These foods sure can food. I may not be punk rock, but I'm probably, like, punk pebble. Sorry I'm late to the book club, but I was succumbing to the horrors. I want to make an ad about hot glue, and it's unrealistic capabilities. Oh, you have a mental disorder? Whoa, bam Fixed! Recently divorced with your wife and she took custody of the children? Slap some hot glue on there and boom! She loves you again! Turning you into a millionaire? Nah, 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 can't do that. It's not magic. Absolutely no one. Straight men on dating apps. This implies Cinderella is a straight man. <laughs> Cinderella! Well, today I learned that hard disks are so sensitive to vibration that just screaming at them diminishes their performance. Yeah, well, getting screamed at diminishes my performance, too. You ain't special. Reblog if getting screamed at diminishes your performance. Yo. If you were to receive compliments on your appearance, what kind would you prefer? Example, handsome, pretty, cute, etc.? Uh, use your imagination. You look very, uh, flammable. Stop using your imagination. Just had a TV caption call it Greg mythology. Well, you know, God of Thunder, Greg, God of the Ocean, Greg, God of Death, Greg, G God of Time, Greg, you know. Guy goes to a church for the first time and tells the priest he got converted by a Christian Tumblr blaze post. Those are four words I did not expect to ever get messed together, and yet here we are. Hey, if your nose is currently unblocked and not runny, take a moment to appreciate it. Wow, look at you breathing in with both nostrils and not having to blow your nose every two minutes. You must be so proud of yourself. Proud of you too, bud. Have fun with your clear nose. You deserve it. You don't sound like you are proud. The Uber driver. I'm in a blue Honda Civic. Me. Okay. Okay. We know what blue is. For those of you who don't know what a Honda Civic looks like, uh, Andy, pull one up. Yep. Sure is car shaped. A reminder that bats are superior to swords for their inherent potential for inflicted pain. 
Nothing rivals a sword and homoeroticism. But for just raw pain, bone breaking, blocking, and parrying, bats reign supreme. You know, it took me a full minute to realize you weren't advocating about using a flying rodent to inflict pain. For a safer and cleaner alternative to getting a piercing at Claire's, you can always try getting caught and tagged by a team of researchers before being released back into the wild. My mind is so blank nowadays. I need something in my mouth constantly to keep me occupied and stop me from doing something I regret. Wait a minute. They meant food! They uh, clearly hungry. Clearly hungry. This is a say-so video. Say-so. Super say so. I think we, as a society, should just get rid of the entire concept of gender and sort people by Pokemon type instead. I want to be very dark. When you put your own posts to PM's Discord, I too want to be in the fighties. Yeah, you jest, but a great chunk of the content lately is people submitting their own posts on the Discord. So, well, well. What if I submit this post to the Discord? I'ma do it and you can't stop me, so yeah. Imagine if people still took last names from their trade, like Fisher, Smith, and Fletcher. Imagine some guy introducing himself to you as Jonathan Podcaster. It's him, Ted Talker. Today I learned a villager in China used a grenade to crack open walnuts for 25 years without realizing. It took me a minute to realize he was probably smashing the walnuts with one, not blowing them up with his nigh endless supply of grenades. What if it is? You don't know. Does anyone else respond to an intrusive thought by telling their brain to shut up because they don't want any nearby telepaths to start judging them? Or am I just paranoid? No, 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 you're valid. You, that absolutely valid. No more child actors. Children don't deserve to be exposed to Hollywood. From now on, all children will be portrayed by adults walking on their knees. Sarah, it's 10 o'clock before bedtime, sweetie. Hugh Jackman in a blonde wig with pigtails. But, Mom! The difference between a sharply dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? Attire. Listen here, you little shit. That was awesome. I'm gonna use that. Just a little PSA for all bugs. I'm gonna sit in the grass for a little while and you are not allowed to climb on me. But... <laughs> I literally love to climb on things. Fuck you. Oh, great. Here comes bug Twitter. But, but this is Tumblr. The reason healthcare is free in the Pokemon world is because every time some corporation starts hoarding all the wealth, some 13-year-old comes in with a team of literal gods to stop them. Yeah, it's a lot harder to pass legislation to allow your company to surpass moral and ethical rules when some child with a 23-foot-tall god of weather under a command can just waltz right into your headquarters and have it create a fucking tornado in the CEO's office on command. Maybe this is, maybe Pokemon World's on to something here. I was downtown tonight and I passed by this group of kind of scary looking guys and all I heard was, Hey, you fucking kidding me? Harry Potter wouldn't last 10 minutes in the Hunger Games. Yeah, my father disagrees. He thinks he won't last five. Men start out as baby boys and grow into baby girls at a tender age of 40. Shout out to all my baby girls. <laughs> this is a, this is a Hannibal fandom thing, isn't it? <gasps> Michael boy? Really? I mean this in the most sincere, heart filled with love way. This dog looks like a worm on a string. I, I can't donate my body to science. So what if it goes to like a medical school and when the students crack open my torso, the professor says, yeah, I'm sorry. These are the stupidest organs I've ever seen. Just throw, throw them back. Throw them back. <laughs> All right, which one of the seven dwarves are you fucking? Don't endorse a fucking Disney property, you bootlegging <laughs> Well, apparently, he's fucking grumpy. Uh... Hey, guys. No. Oh. Okay. Duke here. Did ask. I'm hugging you. 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 I love you. You can make jokes about asexuality that aren't derogatory. Just saying. As a sex repulsed asexual, I hate it when people have sex. That's why this Pride Month I'm partnering with League of Legends. I invented milk. Okay. Me hunting with my vampire friends. Cracking open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> Describe Tumblr in three words. Me. Tragedy. Platform. My kitty cat was wandering around going... So I was like, in here. And he goes, Brrr, shoves open my bedroom door with his big round head and flops on me. Isn't hard enough that he made a little oof noise when he did it. 
followed by a Category 5 purring event. There's good in this world, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Etc. Writing prompt. Your wealthy relative has died and the funeral is coming up. The will stipulates that the funeral goer that delivers the best eulogy inherits everything. Your late relative left scoring criterion that no one knows except the lawyer that will also be judging at the funeral. This reminds me of that one post. You know you spend too much time on this website when you instantly recognize what post is being quoted. Oh, God. Do you ever open your book at, like, 9, and then you decide you'll read just for a few minutes, then all of a sudden it's 2 a.m., and your eyes are burning like you use hot sauce as eye drops, and then you think how you're only 100 pages or so from the end, so sleep is for the week? Yeah. Dude. dude. Okay. Let's get to this. I consider dude, dude. non-gender. Reading someone with a A hey, dude, dude, or just saying dude, dude, says nothing about either you or them. The only way dude, dude would be gendered would be if it was done intentionally and purposefully. If you have from the request of the person, or the person has done so to themselves, then all is well. If you do so without the request of the person, and even if the person asks you to stop, then you're just a dick. That's your gender now. A dick. Main thing is, pay attention. Constant vigilance. I dude. dude. If I were a video game character, I would be an NPC whose only purpose is to tell the player about the town and the local antagonist in great detail, and speedrunners would try their absolute best to skip talking to me due to me wasting like 15 minutes in a run. Motan Skip would be the most intricate and precise speedrunning tricks in the history of speedrunning, and it would only save like two minutes due to the amount of setup required. The Motan, God bless you, you're fucking evil. Poor bastard. Looks like the perp slapped his balls clean off. <sighs> How's that for a vibe check? Hi, it's Fitz with Slap My Nuts. You know what? Fuck you! Unkills your character. Tag made your character undeath. Christians during Easter. <laughs> God damn it. The only problem with Scythe as a weapon is that you can't design one without some joyless realist deciding it's their duty to remind you how impractical they would actually be in combat. It's always, that a Scythe would be useless in a real battle. <laughs> and never how was the Scythe. The Scythe looked fun. It was fun. The point of a Scythe is to look wicked cool and make you look wicked cool when you swing it around, okay? Your facts and logics have no power here. Suspend your disbelief, boy. Anyway, I love you scythes. I love you swords taller than my entire body. I love you giant guns mounted on tiny shoulders. I love you whips whose length changes depending on how far away a target is. I love you throwing knives. I love you dual wielding. I love you physically impossible combat scenarios and weapons whose only purpose is to look awesome to my eyes. This was ghost written by a reaper main in Final Fantasy XIV. Give two white guys a budget of hundreds of millions of dollars and watch them create the most mediocre thing you've ever witnessed. <laughs> kind of impressive in its own right when you think about it. I was in school and someone next to me opened a pack of gum and the entire school swarmed him like zombies and fought over the pieces of gum. Ah, so normal school then. I don't care if Tumblr fame is inherently a bad thing. I still want it. I want all the fame. No one can stop me from trying. Well, Leal Old Cat, good news for you. The amount of time I stopped and wondered, what am I even doing? And proceed to pull the wrong lever. Yeah. You know what? I'm tired of people saying, here's my go-to lazy meal. And then they start chopping an onion. Hey, put your lazy meals in the tag. Okay, I'm so sorry, but it's risotto, and it does have chopped onions. In my defense, I keep a giant bag of free chopped onions in the freezer. Dude, your lazy meal is a risotto? What's your lazy dessert, a fucking souffle? Is your quick go-to, quick read, waiting for the bus, the fucking poetic Edda in its original Old Norse? Risotto? Are you a fucking alien? So, I got some Tumblr fame. When's the Greek tragedy of my hubris about to start? Do I do I need more fame or something? There's been no consequences outside a lot of notifications. Oh, don't worry. You'll hear when the music kicks in. You'll know what I'm talking about. Hey, bro, why did your health bar disappear? Do you, do you need to talk about it or something? Hey, bro, 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 don't fry with me. I can hear your leap motif. Bro? 
Why is the villain's lead motif mixing with yours as the music swells dramatically, bro? Bro. Bro. Bro? Hey, come here. I'm just a normal box with some G's under it. Hmm, this isn't suspicious. Yippee, I want some cheese! Why did it get dark? It's me, the alien. I'm gonna get you. I'm the alien. The alien from Alien 1979. She never said this. Stop spreading misinformation. She was thinking it though. Due to budget cuts, our treasurer is now a little mouse pulling his empty pockets inside out and looking forlornly with great big tears in his eyes. Why does the thought of that hurt so much? Stop it! How could you do this to me, Guilty Gear Bridget? Anyone else live under the assumption that they're constantly doing something wrong? Hey, how about the assumption that everyone's just being polite and any minute now they're gonna snap and let you know how awful you are? <laughs> God, why? Genders. Male, female, custom. Upload custom gender, max 10 megabytes. Just an amazing UI. Gender, entire source code of Quake 1996 ID software. He installs Doom as my gender. Ugh, maximum 10 megs, guys. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You done messed up now. Soundwave, hit him with the file size. I had a thought, but unfortunately, I had a second thought. They ricocheted off each other, and I can't find either anymore. Mood. Family appalled that their very quiet, well-behaved, mature child who never caused any problems has grown up and turned out to have many, many problems. More news at eight. <laughs> God, why are all these so relatable? Stop! Sometimes when I drive and someone bugs me, I imagine I have Zeus-like powers and that their car is struck by lightning and they explode. I always imagine they shit themselves. Those powers sound cool, too. I want that. I think Americans have spent long enough making fun of British accents. We need to start making fun of our own accents. Americans be like cranberries. Americans be paying $20 for a crate of water bottles. Americans offer two choices. They have no real preference. They're like, it doesn't matter. Americans will head over to lunch and be like, hey, uh, can I get a ham and cheese sandwich? Fucking stop. DreamWorks live action Kirby film where everyone ends up in New York because that's the only place that exists IRL and they have to work with generic white New York couple who don't sound like they're from New York and hijinks ensues and Kirby sounds like a growing man while Mennonite sounds like an emo teenager. Also DDD is voiced by Chris Spa. <laughs> yeah! Okay! Why not? Give me that sweet Chris Pratt Kirby! Hey, if you want to know how convoluted the plot to Kingdom Hearts is... <clears throat> the Heartless are the hearts of a person corrupted, and the nobody is the body! It's the darkness of the heart that makes the nothingness of the heart of light and darkness keyblades. For it can be said that nothingness is the heart of light and darkness. I love in the tags that you said you put nothingness, darkness, and light in random spots. And it still sounded legit for Kingdom Hearts! Oh, and Sora had like four people inside his heart at one time. I just, okay! All right! It's a Tumblr. My school's library copy of Dracula has bite marks on it. What? Day one of eating every plant I see. Something bad. What is happening? Reverse Air Bud movie about a human basketball player who, on a technicality, enters and wins the Westminster Dog Show. Sounds like a Rob Schneider movie. Hey babe, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did, huh? Emotionally. Right, right, I get that because of the, uh, yeah, the irreconcilable separation from goodness as a result of a single decision that can never be undone or atoned for. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, so so sounds rough. Anyway, uh, what are you doing tonight? Why don't you agitate the contents of a barrel full of cream for a while and then reach your hand inside and maybe you'll feel better. Yeah, why don't you mix it with some eggs and sugar and flour and a little vanilla and dip your finger in and maybe you'll feel better. Both of these sound delightful. The masculine urge to become a bodybuilder giant and to cosplay as Hello Kitty just because. You know, I have been powerlifting. Oh my God, I might need to do this. Andy, write this down. Office supplies are bugs. Paper clips, rubber bands, staples, binder clips, and erasers. 
They're all like bugs to me. It make you stop to think that maybe white collar people are secretly ants. Autistic cowboy. Call that. Call that. It's... Call that. Yeehaw autism. I swear, showing someone a movie you really like is the most embarrassing thing ever. How dare I enjoy this thing? I should be ashamed. Especially if it's a comedy and they don't laugh. Like, okay, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Fine. You know how Twilight Link can wrestle fucking Gorons and pick up goats without breaking his sweat? Yeah, I know where he gets it from. Malin. I do like that this picture implies that Link, as soon as he saw a cow was hoisted up into his treehouse in Kokiri Forest, he thought Malin lifted it up there. And then his second response was, I have to marry this woman. Yeah, I love the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> gender way? Listen, My Chemical Romance is a gender. I fucking love Jaboas. Look at they! Observe them! So cute! My favorite thing about Toby Fox is that he practically handcrafts Tumblr sexy men in a lab, and the fans still go for the weirdest characters in the games. <sighs> yep. Literally made men a ton. Who was a Tumblr sexy man? By every definition, and the fans went for Sans and Spamton. Just great. You've heard of a ball bearing. Now get ready for a bear balling. You know what really gets my goat? El Chupacapra? <laughs> Why is that one funny? You know, El Woods could be Daredevil. But Daredevil could never be L. Woods. In this essay, I will. The impulse to hide what I'm doing at my computer still sits so deep, even though I'm literally never looking at anything objectionable. The door will open, and I'll hurry to close the page like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I, no one can know that I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for the Balkans. No siree. Mm -mm. Imagine searching your whole life for the chosen one who'll destroy the Matrix and save the human race, and you find him, and he's fucking Keanu Reeves. You find him doing what? All right, we're doing this. Because it appears some people don't get the joke, I intentionally say words wrong just to see if I get a reaction out of people. But now I'm going to drive that into the skulls a little farther for this entire video. I'm going to say a word wrong in every single post I read. And you're gonna have to listen. And the only way to stop it is to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, here we go. Shout out to those girls that get in trouble in class for using a tablet on class. Um, actually, it's a Kindle, and I can only use it to read? Ugh, the old people. It's me. I'm those naughty girls. Head full. Many thoads. What if the reason we get so attached to fictional characters is because they were supposed to be our soulmates, but we were born in different universes? Why would you do this? <laughs> Wait, isn't Gender over today? Oh. August 29th, Gender's over. Bye bye now. I haven't read the Bible, but Jay Sus sounds kind of like a Gary Stew, not gonna lie. Maybe he is. Jay Sus. Writing prompt Humans have been giving their pets god names for millennia, not knowing that they actually bestow upon them the god's powers. But it's divided amongst all the pets with the same name, so ultimately, quite harmless. This morning, by a quirk of fate, Yours is the only cat named Zeus. Phew, potential crisis prevented. My cat is already new chewed. Tumblr, please don't put ads for Tumblr shoe lackeys on my Tumblr blog, please. Due to personal reasons, I will become a bear and trick a village that I am a human and be crowned king until someone hits an accurate perception. <laughs> Italian mobster named Tony who magically transformed into a cute little anime girl and changes her name from Antonio to Antoniette but still has people call her Tony and remains in the mob. I need this. You got it, boss. I wish I lived in that little glass box room that houses the Well Greens logo. Why can't I live up there? You know what's the best way to terrify your enemy? Let them know that what will happen after I finish eating a ray of garlic while staring at them with watery eyes. My mutuals are the most diverse group of psychologically tormented people you've ever seen. They're moking venom for being weak to fire. Like, um, buddy, I'm pretty sure you're weak to fire as well. Hmm? Ah, uh, 
Yeah, this is the pilot speaking. Yeah, we expect today's flight to be normal. Um, if you look out your window, you shouldn't see the skull. Just don't, just don't look out your window. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, God, you look at it. You pin watchers have been spared for the rest of the video. You are consuming media. I'm letting it consume media. Please help, it hurts. There's magic, but in a ditzy way, like a real himbo. <clears throat> How's Moving Castle 2004? The only manufactured celebrities we need is Barbie, Hatsune Miku, and the Muppets. And g g Gorilla as, you know, guys, please. My little cousin confidently declared that Mother Nature had a counterpart named Daddy Electric, and I feel like this concept needs to be explored. Anytime your power comes back on after a blackout, I expect you all to say, Thank you, Daddy Electric. The weirdest instance of getting my wires crossed I've ever experienced. I had a piece of candy at my desk. My intention was to simultaneously eat the candy and start a brief work task. I put the candy in my mouth. I felt the surge of alarm as I was convinced for a fraction of a second that I had somehow eaten the task I was about to start. Yeah. The prevalence of the coyote as a trickster in American myth, the jackal as a trickster in African myth, and the fox as a trickster in Eurasian myth proves that the funny doggy is a staple across cultures. Yeah, that sounds like a bunch of bullcrap. Why, why, we, why do we gotta make the dog the bad one? This seems like it was made up by cat. <gasps> the cats are the tricksters. They've lied to you all. I was not prepared for Sheriff Snorlax. This town ain't big enough for the one of me. Jigglypuff is just Kirby's persona. In this essay, I will- Nope, nope, not gonna stop you right there. Nope, nope. Leo, Leo. You're very close to having the music coming. Watch it. Nothing worse than when the premise of something captivates you, but then it sucks ass. Bro, you just put this idea out into the world and you didn't even do it a shred of justice. I've always wanted to write a book dedication to all the authors whose ideas inspired me to write and whose execution inspired me to edit. <laughs> I board the Starship Enterprise. I go to a food replicator. I order soup, no bowl. And I leave. Can't tell if the most shocking famous cousin reveals of all time was Ben Shapiro slash Mara Wilson or Jill Rogan slash Gerard Way. Hmm. Image prompt. Gary, I realize it's your first day, but we do have a dress code. I literally can't tell who is talking to who, and I don't want to change that for a second. People on Twitter are always like, uh, there's still people on Tumblr? As if Twitter wasn't full of stolen text posts, GIFs, and art originally posted there. They think that they're doing an archaeological dig, but really they're just walking into our houses picking up random stuff and saying, Wow, what a beautiful post. Shame that the people who made it died a long time ago. While we stare at them from our dinner tables. Twitter is the British Museum. Voice acting enemies of mobile games be like, You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some- Feeling so hamburger helpless. All energy healing is a scam. Except for when a kitty lays on your chest and purrs and purrs and sends restorative rays of magic into your bones and nerves. Fellas, that one's real, I swear. They're minor inconveniences to you. To me, they're world-ending tragedies. Mmm. Whenever I get intrusive thoughts, I think to myself, that's not canon, and most of the time they go away. If it's not canon, it can't hurt me. Why do you want to maim and kill? I literally don't. Banned from chat? Not even canon? The fuck is this? Uh, knitting is impossible with two kittens. You know, that's why I use needles. Born too late to be a ground cowboy and too early to be a space cowboy. This is neither rootin' or tootin'. I'm opening Fifty Shades of Grey to a random page and posting what I find, part nine. YouTube, I swear this is not, this is not a bad one. I swear, this one's funny. Please, please, put down the button, put down the button. Okay, okay. Christian Grey puts his thumb in my mouth, and then the other one, and then two more. Wider. He said as he put in one more. I bet you've never had this many thumbs in your mouth. I hadn't. Yo, where is he getting all those thumbs? Behold, Abomination. Where, where the heck is Leafeon? Inside. There is a Leafeon inside all of us. Okay, no, but seriously, this? I want this to be the ghost type. Give it to me. If you ever find symbolism in my writing, please tell me. I'd like to know about it too. 
Also, if you ever find a plot in my symbolism, please tell me so I can make use of it. I'm begging you. Squidward only ever makes artwork based off his visage. It's all very surface level and lacks any emotional depth. Squidward should start making artwork based on how Squidward feels and not how Squidward looks, you know? I feel like he's experimented plenty with self-portraits, but none of them really say much about Squidward as a person, you know? Yo, I got real drunk last night and got really emotional over Squidward's potential and how much he holds himself back. I'm sorry. Hmm. This aged well. You know what, Andy? I'm taking a while to set up. Give yourself four seconds for an intro. As a treat. You earned it. You gave me four seconds. My life and I want them back. Oh, I'd only waste them anyway. Earth is the only planet in the known universe that contains all 23 flavors in a Dr. Pepper. I is this a blessing or a curse? What media should children be watching? They should have 10 VHS tapes they watch over and over and over again. I mean, technically they do that, but it's just 10 YouTube videos. Don't lie, I know it. Does anyone know actually what happened in Breaking Bad? Well, Walter White said, it's Walton time, and then he waltzed all over the place. I mean, with how many times people have meaned his actual iconic line in the show, yes, this is literally what happened. I am the one who asked. To be honest, fair to drinking Mountain Dew. What if you were dishonest? There is no such thing as a beverage. I want to invent new words by a random sound I make. I don't know why, but I want to. Bleepus. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. Nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Ah! Pokemon game, but the whole Pokedex is literally just these guys. Shape icons. When I read Blarbo, I'm picturing any one of these at random, by the way. Well, why, aren't, why aren't these just the types now? Obviously, round Blarbo beats up uh, flying Blarbo pretty well. I don't know. Don't question it. I love cheating. If you don't cheat, what the hell's wrong with you? Have you ever been cheated on? <clears throat> I forgot some people are in relationships. To clarify, I love to violate academic integrity on exams. Ah. Uh... All right, I know I read the first part, but apparently there's more. I do not want my fantasy media to be realistic. I want my fantasy media to be convincing. That's an excellent distinction. Why are we italicizing? To convince? To convince who? The Italians? Duh. Oh my god, Sokka really just accepts Zuko as a friend right away? He immediately just starts roasting it with jerk bending and his little dragon dance. Bless! Sako was 100% on board for the friendship. Not because Zuko redeemed himself, but because Zuko was easy roast material. Sokka, 0 0.0934 seconds after Zuko shows up. I can finally use all these jokes I've been saving up this entire time you've been chasing us! I know Tumblr fame is like bad, but I want to become popular enough to have one of my posts end up in a PMC more video. Opportunity strikes, Corvus! What's the dumbest thing you could think of right now? Okay, so you know bald people? Do you think they fantasize about stealing other people's hair? Like, do they plan it out to hair heist? You know, very, very good. Good job, Corvus. You're in the video. They fucked up Google images, and now when you Google anime girl, you don't see pictures like this anymore. Like, what's the fucking point anymore? The first girl, top left. She was literally all over Facebook and MySpace. Hey, uh, but for real, the concept of fallen angels existing but risen demons being an impossibility is kind of a great summary of sin in Christianity? Holy shit. This is a dumb, lukewarm take, but Tumblr's gonna treat it like it's gold. No, 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 come back here and tell me how stupid it is to talk about how the power dynamics inherent to Christianity are built upon the rhetoric that failure is unavoidable and there's never enough you can do to make up for it. No, no. By all means, by all means, tell me. And here we see a Bethesda employee seated at a standard bug collision desk enjoying another productive day of porting Skyrim around. He's putting it on the N-gauge today. Thinking. He is balanced. Namaste, Burb. Namaste. You heathens were a blog day specific post any day of the week. I woke up thinking it was Wednesday. Happy wake up thinking it was Wednesday, Sunday. It's fucking Friday. Happy wake up thinking it was Wednesday, Sunday, Friday. In the US, we only have three genders. American Beauty, American Psycho, and American Pie. What about American Idiot? Well... We all know which gender I am for forgetting this one. Da 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 da. 
Grandma. <laughs> no, no man, not yet. It's only 3 p.m. Only? Where did you get that ice pop? I used that chocolate water in this bowl the cowboys kept spitting into and froze it. <laughs> and now, anytime a non-Texan voice actor or iconic person goes to Texas. <clears throat> yes, I have ate at Whataburger, and I liked it. Man, how much did you spend here? $156,789. Dude, how are you gonna pay rent? I'm not. I decided to live in my 2003 Honda Civic. Five minutes later. I must know how much that is. My money, my soul, anything for Doki Doki Melajan. Yeah, I don't know, this is the last one. I think maybe I'd sell it for a 2003 Honda Civic. So you're homeless. I prefer to call it eloping with my wife. Hmm. Hey, enjoy your Slurpee. Awesome, man. You want to enjoy my black metal band? Do I have to do anything? We just need you to scream, wear black, and be generally angry on stage. Sign me the fuck up. All right, time to summon a succubus like how the internet people who don't take their medication showed me to. Hmm. Defu and not even a Tulpa girlfriend from Slash X. Well, hey there, how are you? So, I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be taking the, the rest of the time off this year, which really is only like, what, seven days when this comes out? But, uh, yeah, I figure just end the year with how I usually do it one big old move a binge. Wanted to thank you guys for all the loves and laughs this year. This is definitely, uh, it's been a year. Yeah. So, let's just get right to it, okay? Oh, right. The, the, the thing, I gotta do the thing. <clears throat> it's a bit! Here's to the kids that use fictional characters as a way of coping. Here's to the kids that stay up late crying to their favorite characters. Here's to the kids that imagine their favorite characters by their side when they're experiencing bad anxiety in public. Here's to the kids that need works of fiction to keep on surviving. Adding a shout out to adults who cope in this way too. Life doesn't become easy just because you've grown up. That! Tumblr doesn't actually run on code. It's held together by the pure belief in this site. This is why it gets so bugged. That explains a lot. I just had a realization. Vegeta knows what clown means. Saiyans had clowns. Yes, at least one. His name is Vegeta. Wait, him, the king, or the planet? Can I eat myself out of my body? Like, astral project into a black hole so my brain stops quivering in my skull and yanking my nervous system around with it! Making cup ramen is a religious experience. Amen. More like... Ramen. Leafs through salami slices like dollar bills. Hands you 20 salami slices. Yeah, we good here? Don't say I didn't do anything nice for you. To all trans guys, the F on your birth certificate isn't for female. It's to pay respects. And to all trans women, the M on your birth certificate isn't for male. It's for ma'am. And to all NB friends, F is for fabulous and M is for mambo number five. Bop, 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 bop. Sing? Hmm, must be the curse. Every time something bad happens and refusing to elaborate is my new hobby. I like it. Ancient Greek astrologers be like, Oh yes, a goat. It's not even Tumblr. You just screenshot it Twitter and put it on your Tumblr. How dare you catchy memes? In an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream, and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Horrible. Risk of variants are Hot Topic exclusives. Screw cool and edgy power-ups. I want to transform like a magical girl with a talking pet. Well, Vebus, do I have some fun fact for you? As it turns out, in those magical girl sequences, there's so much energy going around that if the villain actually tried to interfere instead of just standing around like a fucking goober, they would die. That's uh, how much energy there is in that transformation power-up. It's hardcore as fuck. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the fuck bags milk? Who the fuck brings guns into Walmart? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Everyone's gonna fucking know I painted my cutie mark on. The other kid ponies are gonna beat the shit out of me during pony recess, oh god. They're gonna know I'm an imbecile. I am a girl, and I am very preby. 
Apparently, I was not a girl, but I'm still preby. <gasps> Good for you, Pip. I have something truthful to say, but you guys are not going to like it. Everyone's always talking about how they want to restart the Cult of Dionysus and go wild and all, but honestly, the Cult of Dionysus already has a modern-day equivalent and everybody hates them. Guys, it's the theater kids. Yeah, I don't think theater kids get ass drunk and kill people, but I don't know, it's been a while. Get a load of this loser who's never been to a cast party. <laughs> Anyone who says they would rather be an Avenger than a Guardian is a fool. The Guardians go on a constant outer space adventures with a talking tree set to 70s dad music. Plus, they all love and would literally die for each other. What do the Avengers do? Assemble for five minutes and get into a Walmart parking lot fight and never see each other again. Fuck you! Thor Ghost wrote this. Yeah, but the catch is with the Guardians, you have to do it all with Chris Pratt. Can't you hear it? The cries of the anguished. Yeah, me neither. I was kidnapped by Underfell Sands and Papyrus. Underfell? God, I wish that were me. Reminder for the House of Dragons fans. Don't name children after any characters until the show is over. Better yet, don't name your kids after characters ever. Because that kid is also a person, person. who will one day have friends and maybe a family of their own. Imagine someone having a grandma named- Hold on, let me just check my uh, House of Dragon character names here. Rhaenyra. Or Alicent. Fucking really? I really wish I was a cat. I'm not built for this capitalist society, but I am built for, like, sleeping 19 hours a day and knocking things over. Says 2022 with the same cadence as scooby dooby doo Hold on, let me try this. 2022. Whoa. What's the standards for the back rooms? Oh, there are so many violations here. The creature that was chasing me was wearing open-toe high heels. It what? what? Yeah, who's gonna tell these races that the oldest mermaid lore is actually from Cambodia and not Germany like we were led to believe? Humans all over the world looking at the ocean. What if there was a girl in there? Life hack! Got something you need to do at a certain time every day? Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's damn good advice. The cat wrote this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short, I'm not short! This is because today I was at a beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort. And it went... absolutely not excellent. Huge pet peeve in video games is when you can't hold your breath underwater for very long, or it takes a good while to regain your breath above water. Unrealistic. Like, my condolences to the devs for your lack of breath support, but that just could not be me. Yeah, you a frog or perhaps a turtle? I am a saxophone player. Holy shit, they're immortal. Anti-revenge narrative this, anti-revenge narrative that. I personally think that Inigo Montoya had the right idea when he stabbed Count Rugen in the gut and said, I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Yeah, a lot of revenge arcs end with the hero saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so me seeking revenge is pointless. The Princess Bride revenge arc ends with Inigo Montoya saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back. So there's nothing that can save you. Now that's good writing. I can't believe it. You played us like a fiddle. Oh, please. Fiddles are hard to play. I played you like the kazoos you are. In trance recently, not by I can fix him or I can make him worse, but the something deeply wrong with him and I want to be around as a spectator when the car crash inevitably happens dynamic. That's a good one. I waited too long to read the sequel and now I can't even remember the characters. A novel by me. I read the whole series in less than two days and now can't separate the events of individual books. The thrilling sequel. That urge to climb the rooftop of your house. Where does that come from? The gargoyle instinct. Unquenchable desire to be the protag in an indie film about teenage disillusionment. All of my problems are ground level. La da 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 da. I complimented an old lady customer's little round glasses and she said, Why, oh, thank you. Someone told me they had a steampunk look. I haven't been called a punk in a long time, much less a steamy one. I'm flatlining. This is so pure. Trans rights. I don't know what yet. I'm looking for inspiration if folks have any ideas. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent, just like Bugs Bunny. Harley Quinn childhood journal entry. I approve every aspect of this post. My favorite genre of anime is wacky comedy until second to last episode where it suddenly becomes soul-crushingly depressing. This is literally Angel Beats. I would be so good at having conversations if it wasn't for all the disorders.
<laughs> Miss, what's the sweet you like the most? Where did this small Victorian London orphan boy find Wi-Fi? So I live in Wyoming, and today this guy rode down my street on a horseback yelling, The British are coming! So the only logical response I could think of is, We're already here, you bloody idiots! In my best British accent, and he looked back and screamed. This is beautiful, I love everything about it. The only bad thing about garlic is all the paperwork you have to do before you can even cut it up. Look at that. Layers and layers of bureaucratic bullshit. Opie, I hope you realize how strongly you've impacted my life. I think about this every time I use garlic. Every. Time. Y'all have like, actual visual images of your mutuals? I'm sorry, but I 100% picture you as your icon, even if your icon's like, a candle. I assume you're a sentient candle. I do this with everyone online. You have an actual face? No. You're clearly a candle. This is why I get confused with Andy. Sometimes he's just text with a buff body. And then sometimes he's a tiny little, little gremlin guy with a little hat. Look at him, so cute. Not gonna lie, one of my favorite parts about writing urban fantasy is determining how and where the fantasy meshes in with reality. Like, I'm not saying Freddie Mercury was a siren, but have you ever heard anyone not sing along to Bohemian Rhapsody? I rest my case. It's the magic of it. Can't fucking dance to it. Sure as hell can sing along with it. All right, hear me out. Sword. A weapon with a long metal blade and a hilt with a handguard used for thrusting or striking. Behold, a sword. Hilt? Got it. Guard? Got it. Used for cutting? Got it. Infinitely long blade? Got it. That's a sword. God, Javelin guy's probably cringing at this right now. Good things about owning a lot of games. Choices. Bad thing is about owning a lot of games. Choices! Upon inspection of my blog, turns out I've been a bit of a meanie head. Are you gonna do anything about it? He's gonna get worse, isn't he? ADHD culture is doubting yourself and saying it's all in your head, and then going on Tumblr and seeing an ADHD culture is post that perfectly describes what you're doing beforehand, and I hate it! Finally, the answers to jorts we've all been looking for. My eyes are bleeding. Someone at Square Enix is furious for not coming up with this. Guarantee I'm gonna see this in a patch one day for 14. Did, did Cinderella ever talk to her man about his face blindness? I met the perfect woman, but it was a special occasion. So now wherever she is, her makeup and hair are probably different. This is my nightmare. Rip Prince Charming, who had let the whole kingdom make jokes about his foot fetish for the rest of his life because every blonde with an updo looks basically the same as far as you can tell. They call him Prince Charming because he's always really polite to strangers to cover for the fact that he doesn't know if he's supposed to recognize them from somewhere. And when you're a prince, that shit starts wars. I actually kind of feel bad for him now. Not me saying not me at the start of every sentence to express that I am indeed the person I'm talking about. <laughs> Apply bun directly to the forehead. As an animal science major, I can 100% certify that this is the correct usage of a bun. Based on the bun's look, I think they highly disagree. Genres are outdated. I sort my music by thoughtiness, jam mobility, rebelliousness, theatricality, and depression. You know, good she shanty hits all of these. He's fucked up, horrible, living nightmare. I desire him carnally. There once was a doctor named Freud, who women prefer to avoid. Bitch loved his cocaine, but he couldn't explain. Hatsune Miku Vocaloid. What a year this week has been. It's Monday. It sure as hell is. The earlier in the day Monday you were blog, the funnier it gets. The sad part is, this is all 2019. I still think you gotta be on some voodoo shit to work one of these fuckers. Uh, play pause, volume up down, X back. What's hard to understand about the controls? Burn the witch! Seriously, when I learn that someone is into K-pop, I have a hard time because I don't know how to talk to them. Like, how deep are you in? What level of fangirl are you comfortable with? Is it too late to save you? Only 90s kids will remember. Only 90s kids will ever remember. 90s kids remember everything. They remember the birth of the universe. They remember humanity's greatest downfalls. They remember things that have not happened. Things that might never happen. They can see the death of everything. 
All of these vivid memories will haunt them forever. Will 90s kids ever be able to forget? I'm relatable, all right? wonder if Guilty Gear has, like, a fandom. Not like a community built around the fighting game, but like, say, the Sonic fandom, or Boku no Hero Academicus, or whatever. I wonder if anyone ever looked at Soul Dude Guy and went, Larpo. <laughs> Soul Dude Guy! I'm just saying, if seals are mermaid dogs, then otters are definitely mermaid cats. This makes sense. Sometimes, I will read for three hours at a stretch. And then sometimes, I will not read anything off my shelf for three weeks straight. There is no in-between. People say shower thoughts are just your brain throwing out all the bad and sometimes useless ideas. What shower thoughts really are, are in fact what happens when your shower washes away all of your good ideas. May I implore? Bath. All of your good ideas stay in the tub. Things that will survive a nuclear apocalypse. Cockroaches. A few world leaders. Several million Swiss citizens and AO3 authors. Sorry this chapter's late. I spent the last few days trying to find a laptop charger in the zombie horde wastelands. You know how it is. Anyway, as always, betrayed by Sasuke's ass 52 who spent all of her designated Wi-Fi time in the bunker screaming at me on Discord, so I know all of you will love this chapter in the next. Enjoy! AO3 authors after the heat death of the universe. Sorry for the delay. I haven't been having spotty Wi-Fi recently, colon three. Okay, but can we go back to the several million Swiss citizens being able to survive? What's that about? At the doctor being shown a chart with different types of man-made horrors on them while the doctor asks whether each of them is beyond or within my comprehension. Th that's... he's just showing you your organ system and your nervous system. That's what they look like. It's okay. Talking to my mom about being ace and she said, Well, if you were to kiss a gender in the future, what would it be? And I said, A loaf of garlic bread because it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Cats can't do any tricks. Well, wrong. Cats can sniff, fall off things, and lick plastic. This, this is a bad trick. I just saw someone on campus stop the person ahead of me to ask for directions, and this poor man just looks at the student's phone and goes, I don't know how to tell you this. You're on the wrong campus. You're in the wrong city. I want to know the story. Hello, did you know that all the elderly NPCs in Skyrim are part of an unplayable race called Elder because the Skyrim character creator doesn't have an age slider? Age slider? Don't you mean... An Elder Scroll? <laughs> Someone please help me, my mom tried to tell me Irish and British are the same thing. What the f- What the f- I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Andy, get the entirety of England. I'll go pick up Ireland. We have someone to talk to. Wait, hold up, Italia's real? I thought it was like that thing where everyone was drawing websites as anime twinks, but for countries, but... It's a fucking anime? I'm gonna watch it. No, no, don't, 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 don't. All baby forms of pseudo-legendaries and overpowered Pokemon in general are peak character design. Specifically this rote ton specimen. Round motherfucker supreme. Operative fat fuck. Thank you for your service. I love him. On my May blog. <laughs> yeah, right, as if I'm afraid of the moon. Logging into my moon fear blog. Moon's been pretty creepy lately. Garen and Mumbo. These are the most blorbo ass names I've ever seen. Pretty sure you guys are just making up characters now. Oh my god, bestie. I really love the cottage core aesthetic you've got going. Get out of me, fucking swamp! It's me, the Tumblr Man! I want all the microplastics in me to gather together and come out of my face as a pair of sunglasses. Yo, yeah. Imagine being the first ancient person to realize that the ocean and their tears taste the same. Imagine realizing that your sorrow and the waves share a taste. I would have gone crazy. Uh, okay. Behold, brothers. I thought this was Tumblr's weird ad for skincare. Dermatologists hate him. I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I want you to know I did this exact thing yesterday and it was so surreal seeing this post. I thought I wrote it in my sleep. You are one of my sims. They also might not be giants. Let's not get our hopes up. Homestar Runner wouldn't lie to me. Still trying to come to terms with the facts that I'll never be a librarian who can speak a dead language and be recruited by a ruggish but handsome explorer for a quest to lift a curse and save the world. Because of the pandemic travel restrictions? Because of the pandemic travel restrictions! Yeah. <laughs>
Zelda Four Swords on Switch, but since there's technically eight players able to join Switch games, they have Zelda get split into four also. And Vaddy kidnaps some random rich girl who he thinks is Zelda, and then he gets beat up by eight brightly colored children. Yes, I want to play this so badly. Sick of dressing mysterious and hot. Well, now be dressing noisy and unhinged. I made better friends when I looked dorky and weird. Hmm. Ibuprofen and sink water is the midnight version of coffee and a cigarette. I'm starting to think some of you guys might not be okay. Shh, please respect European cultural dishes. I think I'm dying, or I have a common cold. Either way, bye guys. Lockdown, lockdown, just saw a tweet saying it's time to come back to Tumblr. Please, it was so peaceful! We need to be as cringe as fucking possible right now! You got it, senpai! Half-bloods, grab your... Blood, I don't know, I didn't read the books. Sandman fans, grab your sand! Everyone who is into Super Hulak, resurrect your agent reaction gift folders! Oh shit, wait, this won't work. I think half the problem users were also Super Hulaks. We need the big guns. Undertale fandom! Time to start another AU renaissance! I just like this character. Her character arc and traits in no way are pertinent to how I am or I'm feeling at this moment in time. It's not! Not that. All right, for the first time ever, I'm going to say his name how everyone tells me to say his name. <clears throat> Pookie Cho, favorite McDonald's nugget shape. Fat fucking L. That's how I feel saying his name right. Is it just me or does having a positive interaction with a stranger scratch a very particular itch? I think it's the reassurance that the world is not split solely into people who already love you and people who never will. Or just the reassurance that I'm not a complete social failure. Uh, or also, it's just nice to know that there are nice people out there. Yeah. My phone had a glitch, now Tumblr overrides my do not disturb setting. I can't escape. Fuck! Fuck. Masculine urge this, feminine urge that. Where's the primal urge to eat a rock? That is not what I read the first time I looked at this one. Oh god. Quick, end the, end the video, end the video! But uh, but Tumblr. Small dog has been knighted, and may now be addressed as Sir Small Dog. Proud of him. Big Man is like a platonic Tumblr sexy man. A Tumblr lovely man. Tumblr silly man. Tumblr big man. Honestly, at this point in my Tumblr existence, if any of my Tumblr posts end up in one of those Tumblr videos, I would probably turn into golden dust and disperse into the wind. Psst, PM. No, stop, I'm already turning to dust. I swear to God, if I log on later and see PM Seymour in my notice, I'm committing arson and placing a hex on your house. Please don't commit arson. So putting a hex on people's homes is fine, but you draw the line at arson? I mean, my house is already hexed, so it would be kind of redundant. Why is your house hexed? Open the hex box. What? Why'd you open the hex box? That's never a good plan. It said open this, and I always follow directions. Hey, Pandora, is that you? No, no this no, is Patrick. Patrick. How do you feel about the whole Ned situation? You mean the fact that he has to make a school survival guide? Yeah, life's tough, man, especially middle school. Obsessed with animals that don't immediately understand something and just tilt their head about it. Does it make any more sense at a 45 degree angle, bud? Do it. I parade myself as an intellectual, but in reality I just said a lat in, lat out, and laughed to myself for a good five minutes. <laughs> so witty. Is pretty boy even an insult? Everything you say after you call someone a pretty boy is immediately more homoerotic. Like, hello. Pretty boy. Tarot cards are passive-aggressive vodka ants, and no one can convince me otherwise. <laughs> Any ideas for a new park sculpture? How about giant metallic octopus attacking a rook? Perfect. That's cool as fuck, though. Brutal. I love how humor operates on integer overflow. Like if something becomes so fucking unfunny, it can loop back around to being hilarious purely because of ironic usage. <clears throat> this post is about the Family Guide Death Post! Today I learned that many non-English languages have no concept of a spelling bee because the spelling rules in those languages are too regular for good spelling to be impressive. You ever flex on English speakers by having a language that makes sense? God. People, please, just hire voice actors again, like actual voice actors. No more celebrity voice actors, please. Just hire people who know what they're doing or the voice acting industry will cannibalize itself more than it already has. But you can let Jack Black do whatever he wants though. Open the gate! I'm literally so, so incredibly good at being cozy and in bed covered in blankets, and yet I receive no recognition for it. Satch. <clears throat> 
You don't want to be rich. You want to live freely. That's it. That's it, man. That's, that's the one. I mean, yeah, he's evil and all, but what if I were his favorite? Massive vow to our ancestors for not domesticating the bear for the ultimate friend. I sympathize with the post on one hand, but also, man, we should have domesticated bears. Has the same energy as a divorced dad being like, I should have married that girl from high school when the girl in question was never ever interested and also turned out to be a lesbian front woman for an obscure but respected ska revival band. You know, posts like these are why I can't leave Tumblr and have ultimately stopped trying. I... I'm so normal about this piece of media, you don't even know. I just, I just want you to play critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. This is fine. Do you ever just try to think at a 45 degree angle and it works? I've come to the conclusion is because when you lean in that direction, the blood goes to that side of the brain and then your brain is like, oh shit, yeah, I'm a brain. After seeing your friends for a few hours, sometimes you walk away and return home with a little ball of glowing golden light in your chest. Yeah. Hey, hey, friendly reminder to make sure your supposedly fearless characters get their darkest fear revealed in the worst way possible so they break down into a vulnerable shaking mess in front of all the people they care about. <laughs> Writing it down. Wait, wait, so you're telling me in America you need 59% on a test to even pass it, and you're all expected to get A's, which is like 96% then. How do you survive, guys? How? <laughs> we don't. Send his ass on a strange journey. That, that, that's it. That's the entire legend of Wukong right there. Wearing an anime fan's DNI t-shirt to an anime convention and watching people in the crowd be physically blasted back from my energy like I'm parting the Red Sea. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, DNI means do not interact. Okay, got it, cool. I'm sure someone was gonna ask. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was, and you're just like, girl, I have no idea. None. Horror movies aren't scary. Things like emails, schedules, those are scary. Or appointment made phone calls. You know, if you spell skeletons backwards, it spells skeletons. Man, I can't wait for Halloween to see some Snotelix. Yeah. Fuck! Writing prompt. You never really saw yourself as close to your mad scientist of a sibling, but after a terrible accident, you find them standing over you, having restored you to the best of their ability. Well, I guess we gotta take over the world now. Contrarianism fan versus average nuance enjoyer. Pretty sure it's a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> no, 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 it isn't. You're lying on a sofa, under a blanket, lights dimmed, watching your favorite TV show. Your cat is laid across you, sleeping but purring quietly. All is calm. All is good. But then out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf! So I started with, go to hell is too weak a curse to throw at people. Hit him where it hurts, like, I hope all your soups in the future have a faint bad metal taste no matter what you order or make. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Here are some of my personal favorites. I hope your sleeves roll down while you're washing your hands. You should remember that embarrassing thing you said right before you go to sleep tonight. I hope whatever fandom you're in is overrun by cringe kids who don't understand inappropriate shipping. And every time you tell someone you're in that fandom, they look at you like you committed a crime. I hope your monster husband gets turned into a marketable e-boy. When you're in the desert, I hope you find water by stepping in a puddle in your socks. May the writers completely change your waifu slash husbando for no reason, so now you have to find a new one to love. I feel like that's what happens with the Fate fandom all the time. Could be wrong, though. Your bread shall never toast correctly. I pray every book you read ends on a cliffhanger that's never mentioned in the following book. Jeez, that one's brutal. I hope your pillows are warm in the summer and cold in the winter. I hope all your Hot Wheels are missing at least one wheel without rhyme or reason. Damn, hit him where it hurts. I hope all cats hate you. I hope your favorite game, movie, or series receives a sequel announced to be industry-defining, and it turns out to be a shell of what it was, a simple cash grab they will continue milking for the rest of time. Damn, this is pretty relevant with Overwatch 2 right now. I hope Netflix makes a half-assed film adaptation of your favorite anime. Wow, Jesus. Didn't just stop with Tumblr either. It also went to Twitter. I hope that every shoe you put on has a thorn in the threading inside the sole, so when you pull it out, it ruins the shoe. So you have to live with it digging into the bottom of your foot, or have a hole in the shoe for other shit to get in. 
May you never find a matching pair of socks in your drawer ever again. Oh god, this one is from my friend Austin who voices Roche in FF7 Remake. May all your popsicles have exactly one splinter in the stick. Now I kind of imagine him saying that to Cloud. Jesus. May no garment you ever purchase fit exactly right, but not severely enough to where you can't wear it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope your auto saves corrupt. That one's just mean. There's an old Irish insult. May you be afflicted with an itch and have no nails to scratch with. And finally, I hope your waifu becomes a shit meme. So what'd you think? Did you like it? Did your feelings get hurt? Did you write down some curses for yourself? Do you happen to have a curse you want to throw my way? Because that sounds awesome. Reply with your favorite curse below. I don't know how to end this, so Andy, why don't you end it? What's your favorite curse? You can say it or type it out right now. I it doesn't matter to me. Has ever seen a hummingbird in its nest? <laughs> Baby! Oh, uh, OSHA non-compliance, I have angered the wasp population! Like, all of them? Okay, quick question, do werewolves eat dog food or human food? A asking for friend? Mm, I don't know if I trust that. L plus ratio plus don't care plus fleshy showered plus lying in my bed plus got my jammies on. Mm, what if people about to find out that Bowser is canonically tone deaf the worst way possible, huh? Yes, because here's the thing. Jack Black is a trained professional singer, which means he knows how to sound off key. Oh, October, be kind. On God, be kind. I'm handing out chocolate and tea to everyone we're blogging this. Good luck, friends. I wish you all the best. You've heard of humans being severely injured to reveal mechanical insides. Now get ready for a far more horrifying alternative. Machines and technology being damaged to reveal meaty, bloody insides. When you're a space alien, the first human you ever encounter is an aggressive medieval knight. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A what? You know what? Writers can have a little italicized oh as a treat. You've earned it. You know, some fictional characters are relatable in a gender way, not because they're non-conforming, but because they're so incredibly into performing their assigned gender that it somehow wraps all the way around. Like some sort of gender overflow error. Barbie? He-Man? Johnny Bravo? Alright, now that the Mario movie trailer has been released, be prepared for the minions to sing the Mario theme song in a high-pitched tune, followed by some violent slapping and a coin block SFX being played. You know I'm right. Bruh, did you seriously not go potty before you left the house? Bruh. Bruh. Did you not make bears? Duh. In my opinion, the biggest Pokemon flex isn't getting a shiny, but capturing a legendary Pokemon with a normal Pokeball first try. Bonus points if shiny, though. I mean, that's, that, that's good. Yeah, that's that's good. Probably bad RPG ideals. The villain is called the Super Hulock. Because they're super powerful, no one knows who they truly are. And they're a warlock. Super Hulock. Andy, write this down, please. I beg you. I own you! You know, skaters literally have a lifestyle centered around a piece of wood with tiny wheels. And you have a lifestyle sent around a little keyboard and a kid's show plushie. What's your fucking point? Wow, the skaters are out to get me. The entire skate fandom wants me dead. <laughs> Children in horror movies are great because they commit. Trying to get an adult to scream in terror requires them to unlearn all the societal teachings that tell them not to be loud or startling. Children are ready to put 110% of their lung capacity into making noise at any time. It, it's it's great. I, I wish. I wish I could learn this. Why nighttime gotta be so damn peaceful? The fucking nerve of her. So beautiful. Mwah. I love you. Behold the above. A violet-backed starling. He looks like a galaxy. <gasps> he fancy! Pepe salad. It's October, so we must once again draw the battle lines between those who like candy corn and those who do not. What? Battle line. Nobody likes candy corn. Candy corn is delicious! And so, the lines are drawn. While you were attending therapy, I was studying the blade. What do you mean I need better coping mechanisms? I'm just alive. Being alive is great because there's so many different vegetables you can saute. 
but then there are also the horrors. With faith and perseverance, one day we will saute the horrors. Political ads talk about tax evasion as if it is not basically a requirement for the job now. I like listening to people talk so I can see what's normal and what's not normal. Hmm. You don't win D&D by pissing off the DM, you win D&D by having a good time with your friends. This, I am so done with you winning D&D by making DM cry, create more rules, swear. First, this is not the challenge you want. Second, D&D is not a versus and the DM is not your enemy. They are a player with more responsibilities than you. And yeah, I promise I'll be good. Guy who listens to Spotify when he works out. But it's one ad after another, and you think there's going to be a song eventually, but it's all ads. And you catch a glimpse of the playlist title, and it's ads to relax and listen to. Yeah, this is just what listening to the radio is like. May your L's be many, and your bitches be few. <laughs> Today's aesthetic. Trying to work around the fact you can draw hands by giving the character in question a gun, which you also can't draw. Shut up. 2023 is in three months, and I'm still processing 2020. Stop what you're doing. Canadian lynx also do the thing that house cats do where they stop grooming with their legs stuck in the air. Okay, carry on. They stick their leggy out real far. That paw, though. A mighty paw. That's some big-ass beans right there. Octopuses can fit through any gap larger than their beak. Wow, what a beautiful octopus. Me walks into a psychic shop and slams down my tarot cards. It's time to duel. <coughs> that actually hurt to do. Oh no, I fucked up in the crib watching Bobby Sponge. I love vague labels that make people go, "But that's confusing," or "But that could mean anything." Good, keep guessing. Queer doesn't actually tell me anything. Who says I wanted to tell you anything? Who even are you? G get out of my house. Congratulations, Claire Natural, you discovered reblogging. Oh. Tumblr, I've been on here for almost a decade. Well, it took you long enough to figure it out, idiot. Hot dogs fucking suck because when I buy one and I eat it, then it's gone. It seems I got some news for you about eating in general, my friend. Weather apps are like, SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! REMAIN INDOORS UNTIL- Actually, it's gonna drizzle, lol, psych. SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! It may not rain, actually. NINE INCHES OF RAIN INCOMING! 10% chance of rain. THIS STORM WILL BLOW YOUR cock STRAIGHT OFF! <laughs> if Tumblr can show me the latest post and a tag, they should also be able to show me the oldest. Hit me with those sweet 2008 takes, I can handle it. No. No, you can't. Halloween, or rather, Pride Month 2 Electric Spookaloon! <laughs> I hate how I've seen no one talk about the Phineas and Ferb reference in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Barry the Blatibus? That requires playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Anyway, Beastie. Beast plus Bestie. Will you creech or will you silly? I will do both. Okay, I think dueling your homophobic parents with giant mechs should be the societal norm, actually. Ah, I see someone was watching Gundam Witch. If you lose your sense of taste due to COVID, do not eat spicy food, because if you're even less fortunate, your taste buds will switch back on, and the world as you know it will exist only as pain. I'm going to drink a gallon of milk and cry. The milk is spicy! The Terraria wiki is incomprehensible if you've never played the game itself. You click on an article about a weapon that looks nice, and the description will be something like, The Slayer of Titans is a pre-Bingus summoning weapon unlocked post-Scrungle. Its base summon damage is 43. Using it activates the skin blow status effect, which increases your yoinky stat. Its EBTB counterpart is the legendary Fuck Upper. It has 1 out of 16, or 6.25% chance, of dropping by defeating Michael. I don't understand, Terraria. Andy, you've played this. Is this right? My gender is chaos, and my pronouns are may slash him. <laughs> Me atop a small mountain of unfinished projects, prompts, half-baked ideas, essays, and answer to asks. Yeah, I'm a writer. Today I learned when Emperor Honorius was told about the fall of Rome, he cried out, thinking his favorite chicken, named Roma, had died. 
On hearing that it was instead the city Rome that had fallen, Honorius breathed a sigh of relief. Wow, solid priorities. So my friend's kid has celiac and dyslexia, and reading labels is very difficult for them. They're also, like, seven. So he's teaching their pigeon, Gray Boy, to read the labels and identify ingredients with gluten. It's going well. Other than Nick thought it would be a good idea to make the behavior when the pigeon does find a bad ingredient to just fucking wing slap the box. Just beat the shit out of it like, no, bad gluten, bad. They should add some trench warfare mechanics to football. This is already the sport where they have 10 severe injuries in 30 seconds to gain 5 yards of wet grass. What more do you want? Mustard gas. Tumblr's so fucking amazing. You see one post deconstructing the philosophical ramifications of a song from 1946, and then the next post is about how hedgehogs are wizards and must be punished for their crimes. I've come to the conclusion. Tumblr was made specifically for one person. Dr. Eggman! Okay, Walter White was actually pretty funny as a character because he was so toxic that seasoned drug lords were like, I, I cannot work with this, man. I have to put my mental health first. <laughs> By the way, if I say things like, by God or good Lord, in post, please be aware, I don't mean it in a Catholic way. I mean it in a 1950s scientist reacting in horror after they create an evil creature in a lab set in the distant future year 2005. My God. Wow, Shadow the Hedgehog has started writing haikus. Andy, if you still have that sound clip of Shadow, just <laughs> repeat it. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, 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 damn. Implications of having a bird girl roommate. Free breakfast. Regularly laid eggs. Never lose track of keys. Neck for finding shiny things. You are eating her eggs. In this economy? Absolutely. If you got a cow girlfriend, don't tell me you'll still buy milk at groceries. If I had a cow girlfriend, full solid, I would be drinking straight from the tap every day to save money and for no other reasons. She could even help scramble the bird girl's eggs. How about a polycule farm animal girls get you a sheep girlfriend, infinite cotton? I'm sorry, but sheep produce wool? She grows the cotton. She's very talented. And how about pig girl girlfriend who eats the corpses of your victims? You just can't get content like this anywhere else. <laughs> Fan fiction is awesome because you can watch your OTP fall in love a thousand times in a thousand different ways. Unless your OTP is a rare pair, in which case you can watch them fall in love six times in six different ways. And you wrote four of them. I guarantee you if I go grocery shopping with either a partner or a bunch of friends, I'm getting in the cart and proclaiming I am indeed an adult. Now bring me down the cereal aisle. Fully able to be responsible in video games, never running out of resources. Completely broke IRL after buying 19 dice sets. Why? You fool! You could have done 20! You had the numbers right there! I'm done with humanity. Can I get a new species? May I suggest sloth? People who think kids are stupid have clearly never once had an attempt to get through explaining a set of safety rules and expectations to a group of them. Lawyers wish they had the falcon eyes for loopholes, technicalities, and potential exceptions that the average third grader possesses. I go outside regularly. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, fine, I go outside weirdly. Shout out to violently unhinged characters with pocket dimensions who have been traumatized so severely that they've become completely disconnected from reality and only seem capable of finding joy in someone else's suffering and becoming a much bigger threat to the MC if they wanted but never chose to do so. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. You doing all right there, Sire Therp? Sire Therp? Sire the RP, that's your name, got it. I think the best, most human thing in the world is strangers doing a silly thing together. Can't you make me cry again? It has a tendency to do that. A lot. Bucket Show, you're childish. I'm actually incredibly mature. <clears throat> pee pee poo poo. Okay, well, that, that's just awesome. Like, come on. I am hand-washed only. Do not put me in that fucking machine. Get in the machine, Randy! I don't think there is anything more condescending than the dentist asking you how you're doing when it's literally 9 a.m. and you're at the dentist. How do you think I'm doing, Steve? Listen, if you make a woman in bulky armor in your video game and then pull an Uno reverse, then you're like, oh, she was skinny underneath her armor. You are a coward and also my enemy. Because Nintendo's beloved character is Japanese, Mario is his last name. His first name? 
Itsumi. Way too many people in the notes not getting this one. In my youth, reminisced the old man, scratching his beard thoughtfully, I was quite the corked up white boy. No one in the village could best me at busting it down sexual style. And were you goated, sir? The young boy queried. My dear boy, I most certainly was. With the sauce, I dare say. It's always be the bigger person, and the best thing you can do is be happy, and never. So how is the blood-soaked revenge? The blood-soaked revenge looked fun. People who say musicals are unrealistic because no one breaks out in a song has never met a choir or theater kid. We will break out in a song in perfect harmonies. Don't test us. Honestly, human history makes a lot more sense when you remember how many of the decisions were made by 19-year-olds who drank wine for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, that does, that does make a lot of sense now. Never forget that upon saving the world, the gods granted Percy Jackson one undeniable request, and he said, uh, pay your fucking child support. It's even more ridiculous when you take into account the fact that they wanted to make him a god. He then asked him to be responsible parents instead, and the gods replied, oh, shit, that's a hard thing to do, kid. The Rift is my favorite region in Skyrim. One minute you're admiring it for postcard-like autumnal beauty, and then the next, you're being mauled by no less than three bears. It's beautiful. Hey, can I bite you? Only if it's gay and you promise to be weird about it. I cannot enter the DMV, lest harmful sorcerers claim my soul. Oh, but you do so desperately need that license renewed, don't you? Surely the sorcerers aren't that harmful. You know, you can renew online, save from the sorcerers. Silence! Do you think the royal family kids watch Coco Melon, or can they watch only court jesters or something? We're off to a good start. The most important canon facts Tales Tube has given us. Tales uses Tumblr. In his world, Tumblr has a two-tailed icon. The fact above might imply Tales has created Tumblr. Thank you, Tales. 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 <sighs> Thank you, Tails. Hey, Sundial, what are your pronouns? NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Intel Core i5 10400 FCPU 16 gigabyte RAM. Oh, wow. Cool. Thoughts on women and ice city? I've gotten better at dodging their acid attacks. <laughs> Have you? I guess we'll see. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I was walking through the valley of the green glass doors and my butt was there and yours wasn't. Interesting. Writing prompt. Your supervillain nemesis is a little more than a goofy comic relief. Always coming up with clunky machines and insane nonsensical schemes. When a new dangerous villain appeared, your nemesis utterly destroyed them. And then continued on like nothing happened. I'm sorry, did you mean critically acclaimed DreamWorks movie f motherfucking Megamind? And you put up the blue dude! Look at that blue dude! Andy, I swear to God, if you put up the wrong blue dude, I... But some people respond to any well-foreshadowed reveal with, Ugh, that plot twist is so predictable, proves bad faith criticism has rotted their brains to the point where they think it's bad writing if they can correctly identify information the writers were intentionally giving them. <sighs> One of the characters in our D&D party is an orc named Brick. We established that orcs got their names through test of strength, and that his name is Brick because it's the strongest thing he was able to break with his bare hands. By profession, Brick is a therapist. His ultimate ambition is to one day do therapy so good that he can change his name to depression. I went into expecting beautiful himbo and came out in love with Brick and crying over therapist orcs. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Mouse Girl Conspiracy Theorist handing you a folder of documents. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They all have top squeak rat stamped on them. Very strong addition! Trans guy who finally figured out his name about to come out in the funniest way to his friends. Hey guys, can I be frank with you all? <laughs> That's good, I like that. It's spooky month, so I'm once again removing all protection around my house from spooky creatures. Gonna have one hell of a spooky party! <laughs> Don't let the other creature in. Don't. Just don't. All right, you listen to me. Listen. Your actual job in life, and it sucks that your fifth grade teacher didn't explain this adequately enough, is to ask for help when you need it, and to accept charity when it would take weight from your shoulders. Otherwise, you end up like Sisyphus, or even worse, Walter White. You don't want to be Walter White. 
Is it OSHA compliant to uwu on the job? Absolutely not! Imagine the danger you're putting yourself in! Is Obo okay? Yes! Keep your eyes open! I hate that this was the punchline. Thanks, OSHA. In a horse accent. Nope. This is the horse equivalent of being lost in the sauce. What the fuck is a horse accent? Stands in the hallway of your blog saying nothing like a sibling. Going game, people? I'm non-binary, which means that the gender goblin came up to me in the middle of the night a few years ago and stole my gender. And I have been no beanie ever since. But I think... I think the gender goblin tried to return it, but they... They gave me the wrong one. Throws ibuprofen on the ground and watches the aging tubbler populace peck at them like chickens. Hey, don't be ridiculous. Our backs and knees absolutely cannot do that. Yeah, if you could just hold them out in the palm of your hand like you're feeding a horse, that'd be great. A character trope I like is a person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're uh, secretly a little bit insane, actually. Mmm, a small black coffee with a blueberry shot. Bugs Bunny injects estrogen and testosterone at the same time and strikes himself up and down like a cocktail. I love it. Hey, why do old people read the Bible so much? I asked the old guy standing in front of me at the post office, and he said, It's because we're cramming for finals. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Maybe becoming a werewolf wouldn't fix my mental illness, but it would fix my not being a werewolf problem. Do you ever think about that? It's not comfort media, it's things that plague me at night. Hey guys, I'm eating a gummy worm. Do not try to eat the other end while I'm distracted again. Start to eat the other end just to piss you off. Let go! Writing prompt. Hey you, where the only reason Bruce Wayne is financially stable enough to afford his bat gadgets is that he's been selling Batman merchandise. Somehow nobody has caught on to his secret identity. You know, when you think about it, this is just... This is just real life. The reason the Batman stories are still going is because people are buying the Batman merchandise. You get it? What do you call two witches sharing an apartment? Broommates. Lesbians. And they were broommates. Oh my god, they were broommates. U.S. President Laughing Skull, when pressed for comment, responded predictably. Uh, Mr. President, what are you going to do about the sudden rise in inflation? I will do whatever is necessary to make it right. Okay. Anyone else feel the dread? Clap if you feel the dread. I just taught my dad what the word cishet was, and he just walked down the stairs and said, Cishet, come down. Well, at least he's positive about it. Putting a popular playlist song on your playlist is so humiliating. It's like, no, I promise this song applies to this character in a more deep and meaningful way than those other characters. God! My favorite thing in an art tutorial video is when the amazing artist has a list of detailed steps right up until the last one pretty much boils down to, I don't know, just mess up with the colors until it looks right. And I gotta say, I am here for this. Listen. Listen, everyone knows there's two type of digital artists. One who actually will traditionally paint the artwork with the brush and the layers and everything. And then there's artists like me. He who paint bucket go burr! All debates about the artistic merits of fanfiction fail to recognize the purpose of fanfiction. You don't write fanfiction to be published or to learn how to construct a narrative, although you can use it to develop style. You write it so that your friends will message you, Bestie, you're utterly deranged for this one and I'm eating dirt! You know those people who are like, fanfic can be good to get started, but it's bad because you never learn how to write your own from scratch. Like, imagine walking up to someone planting flowers and being like, that's a start, but ultimately it won't teach you how to, like, genetically engineer your ideal fruit tree. Like, you've extrapolated a goal that was never even implied here. Love it when you put butter into a pan that's still warming and then the butter starts. And the butter starts sliding down around like, where are you going, girl? Man. Life's so smooth with you. All right, fine, I do look like a hairless cat, I admit it. Proof? You're so forward, starts twirling my hair. How, how are you doing that? Pro tip, if you start saying, hello, as a joke, it'll eventually come to be your standard greeting for all loved ones. Or in a more generalized form, beware what thou do ironically, lest thou begin to do it ironically. Started out as a bit. How did it end up like this? It was only a bit. It was only a bit. <clears throat> Hasman Hotel is family guy for Tumblr users who used to ship dipper pines with a humanized white twink version of Bill Cipher. Sentences to explain to a 14th century monk. 
has been hoped hell is the Canterbury Tales for jesters and vagabonds who wrote romantic sonnets as though penned by Lucifer, Prince of Lies, towards St. Augustine of Hippo, but like when he was still a kid. Hey, I want you to know that I finally know what it's like for other people to read my original post. This terrifies me to the very marrow of my bones. Good job. By the way, if you're a Hasbro Hotel fan and you got upset at that, you're legally obligated to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules. Wow, I can't believe they named a band after corn. Yo, which band? The Foo Fighters. I like the Chucky show because it doesn't try to appeal to a mass audience. Oh, you don't know the lore of the direct-to-DVD movies? Pfft, get fucked. I hope you guys are all aware that this means Chucky follows the same plot mechanics as Kingdom Hearts. ADHD culture is writing fast, but having your mind go even faster, so you accidentally a few words. Yeah. I love you, obvious symbolism. I love you, blatant foreshadowing. I love you, gratuitous parallels. I love you, dramatic lighting. I love you, cheesy music. I love you, media that doesn't take itself too seriously. Mwah. Hey, thanks, Tone Blur, for telling me I like my own posts. Very vital information there. Oh, hell yeah, my posts are getting attention! You absolute fucking moron. You utter fucking buffoon, no lesser man would entertain the watered-down garbage posts you call your own. You have nothing! Nobody! You call out into the vast abyss of space and rejoice in your own echo! I would kill you where you stand if it didn't mean wasting the energy. Splunkus, why were you liking your own posts? I like having online friends. Hello, university students from Europe. Hello, children's show enthusiasts from the United States. Hello, baby gays from Oceana. You guys want to talk about soup? Hell yeah, I do. Just gotta say. Them titties, though, goddamn. Oh, where? Look down, queen. Whoa! How'd these get there? It's occurred to me that bingo night or bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D &D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Yes. Do you guys think it's possible for a fungus and an algae to on purpose kiss? Maybe they will take a liking to each other. <laughs> Tasks that take 15 minutes but three hours if you include the agonies. <laughs> this close to walking into mysterious fog and never coming back. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Bye, guys. Just kidding. I'll probably see you on Wednesday. Hey guys, I'm back from the fog and I brought tacos. Who's hungry? Hey, how do your belief systems even work? They're all true, especially the contradictory ones. They're double true. It's Asexual Awareness Week. I need all of you to be extra aware of me this week. Witness me. Witness me! Witness me! Witness me! Oh, vampires can't walk into people's houses without being invited. Well, neither can I. It's road. I colon three my way into this, and I will colon three my way out of it, so help me God! Boo scoops. Reader be weeder. You're in for a skeeter. Do -do 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 -do. One time I dreamt I was talking to a bunch of people, and when I asked one girl for her name, everyone went really silent. Then she whipped out her phone and explained how she sold it online for bitcoins, like an NFT. Fairies are really keeping up with the times, I see. I'm like the Joker, in the sense that I tell jokes sometimes. Gotcha. Ariana Grande just brought back the black hoodie trend. Little Nas X just brought back digital watches. Okay, well, I just brought back my wife from the dead. Did, did she come back normal? Oh my god, you can't just ask someone if their wife came back normal. I'll take that as a no. Sadly pawing at the Discord app icon. The little gay people. They're all trapped in there. Let them out. Currently writing a comedy for a time-traveling organization, and my first thought was that the government outlawed time travel, but also funded the organization in order to fix the rampant time-traveling crime lords. The time-traveling organization has one member that actually follows regulations. The clothes maker. Ah, priorities. I hope every writer who sees this writes loads the next few months. Like free time opens up, no writer's block, the ability to focus, etc, etc. You're able to write loads and make lots of progress. Thank you, glitchy writer boy. I think people often underestimate the potential educational value of senseless memes. 
For example, thanks to Spider's George, literally every teenager on Tumblr has a reasonable grasp of what a statistical outlier is and the sorts of problems that outliers can introduce into a naive analysis. There are grown adults who don't get that. I deal with them on a daily basis. Memes have educational value is actually statistical error. Average memes teach zero facts. Spider's George is an outlier and should not be counted. Ah, now we're learning about irony and recursion. Good. Women are pretty. And men are nice too, I guess. <gasps> really? Tumblr, grinder. Do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? Yeah, it's LGBT, not like bet. Today's genders are long Furby. I released the frogs in the White House and now I'm wanted in 30 states. Eldra Torah, the incarnation of chaos, and soup. <sighs> Finally, the incarnation of chaos, my gender. Do you think truckers realize that they're dentists out of highways? <sighs> Explain? No one likes semi-tractor trailers, 16-wheelers, no one likes being near them, and they terrify like 50% of the population. Just the idea of having to be in their vicinity fills people with dread even though what they do is essential in our lives. This is the first time I've seen this post with the explanation included. What the fuck? It's not a ship post! Oh no. I'm thinking... again? <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, I'm back. Me every day, beginning a task. Agony, despair, well, every moment on this wretched earth is filled with suffering. Death, death, death! Ten minutes later. Man, I'm so glad I washed the dishes and I was so normal about it. Yes. Death, death, death! A hopeless romantic cowers before the infinitely more powerful, hopeful a romantic. I'm glad every incarnation of Gladian has kept the most important aspect of his character. Hmm. Arthritis. Ah, uh, so he is an artist. Blorbo from my shows this, Blorbo from my video games that, what about Blorbo from my D&D game that only three other people know? Do you ever think about that? I do. So, uh, my clothing died through my gloves. Plus three spellcasting, plus one summoning EFF 2x damage versus undead. A tattoo makes it more demonic than undead. So, you're now a necromancer, a beginner's guide. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. Well, there goes that idea. Let him throw bricks! Snow donuts are a phenomenon which occur when the wind blows over a snowy layer of ground and other snow materials collected along the way until large rings or rolls are formed. It's lovely to know we live in a world with snow donuts. Snow nuts. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it's led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And also by the fact that his name is Dooku. What kind of name is that? A chance we're in the evil dimension, guys. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. I'm going to nibble off your ligaments. They should let us download ibuprofen for free. Finally. E-ibuprofen. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, what a cool post my mutual just reblogged. I think I will reblog it as well. Ooh, who did they reblog it from? That username seems familiar. Oh, it's me from an hour ago. Delightful. People born in 2010 are becoming teenagers next year. Excuse me! Last night I had a dream that there was a Tumblr update and the only thing it changed was that for two minutes straight you could sprinkle shredded cheese on other blogs and their posts and everyone's dashboards was just pandemonium as everyone cheesed each other. Two minutes of abominable amounts of shredded cheese raining from the dash. Tumblr at its finest. Get cheesed! Andy, have you been sprinkling cheese on this post the entire time I was talking? Autistic people of a particular flavor will master the art of expressing mundane sentiment in amusing ways because their most successful jokes as children were primarily accidental. And when you realize you have that spark of a weirdo and it's just a matter of intentionally and comic linguistic optimization to make yourself a regular sayer of things in funny ways. Maybe you're just high. I mean, it helps also, yeah. Can we go back to that first post though? Why is that me? I don't... I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's incredibly accurate. Project Runway, but it's for fursuits. I would watch the hell out of this show. Like, the, no, seriously, I would actually watch the crap out of that show. Have you seen some suits? Holy shit. I love stories where it's just one guy's really bad day. Same. My favorite thing in social media is spam posting one night, then disappearing for a week, then spam post again. Rinse and repeat. 
It's so mysterious. I'm like that mystery writer guy that shows up at a cafe every other week, and I look so cool and mysterious, but in reality, I'm posting pictures of cats on Tumblr. Before we go ahead, I apologize if I actually mispronounce this because I have no idea. Absolutely not a new observation, but I love that Totoki Pono word for animal, Soweli, is written like this. Fuck, man, that sure is. I have less than 200 followers in this guy, 80 notes in the span of hours. Bitches love animals. I mean, look at that guy. He's beautiful. Give him a little pat. Said with such intense auto-tune that I can barely be understood. <laughs> Just saw a post. Be careful out there. Hey, girl, are you the devil? Because I want to kiss you under the pale moonlight. <laughs> Sir, if you're offline or away and I message you something like a link to a meme or a picture or whatever, honestly, just assume that I'm leaving it there for you when you get back and not expecting you to answer straight away. I don't need you to reply with, hey, sorry, I was away at the computer or anything. I was leaving you a gift for later. This also applies if you're online or just don't want to or have the energy to deal with humans in the moment. Just because we have the ability to reply in real time does not mean we have the obligation. Mario Kart's the closer to first place you are, the less useful power-ups you get system is an ideal model for how our economy should work. Whoa. I read this out loud to a boyfriend and he just went, Oh. That's fucking brilliant. Blue shell the 1%. Andy, throw it. Murkrow will now say a dirty word. Wiener. <gasps> how dirty. Butts, even. Why must I be thinking? I just want a brain to be empty for once. And full of many thoughts. Low concept science fiction. What if there was space? Fake, no there isn't. Why are you feeding the population lies? You're responsible for the downfall of society. Behold, Rudy time. I wish it was Rudy time all the time. Look at that face. PMC Moore is like the Thomas Sanders back in the day. If you say their name, they'll just appear with half a burrito in hand like, What's up? Hey, yo, where's the other half of my burrito? Who did it? I'm body positive. I got the results back today, and they confirm I do have a body. My condolences. Finally finished teaching orangutans agriculture. Now I'm off to teach dolphins how to war. Ants already know both of those things. Who do you think taught me? Hey, why is it? Why is it a Dark Souls 2 boss? That's what you're questioning. Hey, do they have hummus in France? Um, France isn't real. Can't trick me. GTFO? Opie must have been down with the sickness when they wrote this. Charlotte, are you okay? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. God told me to embezzle these funds, guys. It's okay. It's okay. You know, reanimating corpses for use in battle is unethical. I am recycling. Well, now someone has to go and fight the corpses. I am also, consequently, creating jobs. You laugh, but some necromancer is out there setting up a PowerPoint presentation. Witnessed Crypt Rat from Old School RuneScape. You're telling me this guy's voicing Mario? It's a me, a Mario. Writing prompt. All your life, mythological beings have tried to pick you up. Childhood, forced adoption. Teenagehood slash adulthood, marriage. For example, Selkies purposely left their skins where you'd find them. Banshees serenade you outside every night. Now at 30, you've learned why you attract them all. What a thrilling life for me. Me, Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. This is partially fucked up. Probably bad RPG idea. The players are all told to create mid-level druids with animal companions. After creating their characters, have all of the druids be kidnapped and the players must rescue them as their animal companion. OP, change your URL! Do it! Oh, fuck. God damn it. I hate being the main character in a Snickers commercial. Stomping around grumpily furious at everything. Why on earth could this be happening? Remembers I haven't eaten all day. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I'm not, I'm not me. I'm not me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Eat a Snickers. Can you imagine these, this, like, in a persona saying, wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, you're not me. You're right. You know what? You're right. Here's a Snickers. You okay? My bad. What's that noise? Sounds like a graveyard smash. I'm going to check. <gasps> the monsters. I think they were. No. It couldn't be. Okay, but see, now that Halloween is over, now it's time to gather the masses. Not for another holiday, no. 
But for preparation for next Halloween, gather, let's go. When you're tired on a public transit and start thinking, let me rest my eyes just a little bit. That's the devil talking. She is very persuasive. Where am I? This is a area. Fuck, dude, it sure is. There's a post going around about mixing NyQuil with five-hour energy, and I'm thinking about the time my parents were both out of town, and my brother was in charge of dropping me off at school. And I must have been like 15 or 16, and I was really miserably sick, so he gave me NyQuil, but by the time we were pulling up to the school, I was crashing, so his friend who was driving said, Yeah, I have a Red Bull in the glove compartment. Drink it. It'll, like, even it out. So I did, and I walked into school at 7.30 a.m., and then immediately the last bell rang and school was over. Potion seller, I'm going to school and I need your strongest disassociation. Mm. You can't handle my disassociation. Four word horror story. Furby pelt carpeted shower. Furby pelt carpeted toilet. Furby pelt carpeted septic tank. Happy Halloween, everybody. No, you fucking, you come back here and you answer for your crimes. Wait, holy shit. Is that paints? Me finally finding clothes in the soup store after years of searching. Wasn't this literally Jeremy at the hospital when he sees his dad? What are you two fucking talking about? This post is about Sonic the Hedgehog. I have several questions. Real horse facts. They call it a horse because that's what animal it is. Wow. Is three fingers too much? Not at all. Most people have ten. And if you thought of something else, you have to like, comment, and subscribe, you sinner. You know something? You disgust me. I know what people like you get up to, and I think it's disgusting. Please don't hesitate to tell me if I ever need to put a trigger content warning on any of my stuff. I'm not insensitive. I'm just stupid. Y'all like, I want to die, like a broken record, but a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shitting your pants. Mm-mm-mm. Hypocrites you are. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Well, yeah, that's kind of how, like, being stabbed to death works. Literally any continuity error that involves Spock can be explained away by the fact that he is a liar. I mean, Vulcans never lie. Never, Spock lied. People wanting Tumblr clout is so funny to me. Like, girl, you're fighting for a window seat in the clown car. You want that? Gaslight gatekeeper girl boss? That's a bit too complicated for me. Instead, consider my set of rules. Tax evasion. That's... That's it. That's my set of rules. Remember when Santa ran over Grandma? It was, like, so messed up, right? Don't care, didn't ask, plus your wizard cap is cheaply made whilst mine is for fine silk. Coco, what do your cat eyes see? <sighs> Post email aftercare, like, that was a great email and you seem so normal. Have a cake, you deserved it. Supervillains that get all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic, plus superheroes who also shop at Hot Topic and know full well that supervillain gets all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic. Once again, and I reiterate, did you mean critically acclaimed masterpiece Megamind? And you put his picture up now? Thank you. There will be blood? Like, promise? Yeah, man, we got blood every day over here. Sure do. But sure. Men want me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Women want me. Men fear me. I don't associate with fish. Women want. Men fear. I don't fish. Women fear me. Men fear me. I want fish. Men fear fish. Women. Me, me. Diversity win! Your friend survived a lab accident and is now something distinctly non-human. <laughs> Oopsies. She wouldn't stop biting me, so I got her this hat. You fool. You have only made her stronger. I feel like no one really wants to hear that sleep, exercise, nutrition, hydration are major factors in treating mental health issues because we've all talked to that one person who thinks their depression would be cured by one good session of goat yoga or whatever, but unfortunately they do help and I'm critically annoyed about it because why is it that just I'm sad because my brain is telling me to go drink water like the dumb fish I am? Oshnam, I have no bones. Is that a violation? Are you supposed to have bones? Probably. Being kissed wouldn't fix me, but it would be nice. True. The ram is wise. Would you like some of the ram's wisdom? Uh, yes, I would. Nougat is to sugar what bread is to flour. Uh, thanks, I hate it.
You 102, delete this whack ass Tumblr. You know, I wasn't gonna answer any more of your ass, but I fucking love the cadence and wording here. It's like you're a presidential candidate. Delete this whack ass Tumblr now. Just delete this whack ass Tumblr now. Mr. Gorbachev, delete this whack ass Tumblr. Hate having hyperfixation, and sometimes because I'll see someone being a bit hostile towards it, and I'll start to feel nauseous, and my heart is breaking at peace, and then dies a million deaths over and over for an extended period of time. Like that sad SpongeBob gif. Oh my god, somebody get soul transsexual Sonic right now, please! I'm going to start using verbs and nouns that don't exist, and you can't stop me. Unless you have a grungler. But nobody else here has a grungler, so you still can't stop me. <laughs> Body parts that need regular moisturizing are literally so fucking stupid. Like, my brother in Christ. We're 60% water. I didn't have my bones for skeleton war. Whomever stole my bones, you suck! Who the fuck invented edible arrangements? Who got a flower arrangement and immediately was like, fuck this, I can't even eat it! First of all, ungrateful. Second of all, eat it, you coward. Where TF you paying 2K rent, Lamau? I'm not even making that much. <clears throat> Wait, why does it only have one head? Er, you fucking with me? <sighs> Caramel Danson turns 20 this year, and frankly, I am not prepared for that. Well, this post is now over a year old. Let's see how the notes are. What the fuck? He's your emotional support, Blarbo? Girl, he can't even emotionally support himself. Hey! Hey! Leave Scaramouche out of this! I do not have commitment issues. I'll have you know I've committed three whole crimes just this morning. Reasons why I don't like starting conversations first. I feel annoying. I feel like you might not want to talk. I feel unwanted when you don't reply. And it normally turns awkward and fades out. However, if you talk to me first and make attempts to keep conversation going, you are a holy being in my mind. I have never had anything be more accurate in my life. I think take a hike is like the funniest response to someone. Like, dude, just get out of here and go, out, go experience the wonder of nature for a bit. The ancestral form of touch grass. I noticed my coworker was on Tumblr, so I told them, I like your shoelaces, and they said, Never say that out loud to me. This is the correct response, by the way. Life hacks! Need to clean your house? Get a new cat! The sound of it chewing on random debris will provide constant motivation to clean and reorganize your space. Life hacks! Behold, the cosmic current. It looks like sugar. I'm a lick it. Don't do it! Today I learned a philosophy riddle from 1688 was recently solved. If a man born blind can feel the differences between shapes such as spheres and cubes, could he, if given the ability, distinguish those objects by sight alone? In 2003, five people had their sight restored through surgery and no, they could not. I love when apparently deep questions turn out to have a clear empirical answer. It's great, right? The peak of Sonic characterization is a perfect balance between two facts. One, Sonic is the chosen hero of Mobius, the harbinger of chaos, the wielder of the power of gods, fated to fight the forces of evil since the day he was born. And two, Sonic is just some guy who showed up one day. He just showed up and the powers that be picked him up by the scruff of his neck and went, This one, he's funny. I'll give you two prime examples of the situation. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sonic and Shadow are two people that were under the same prophecy. Sonic was actually chosen by fate under that prophecy, and Shadow was created by the people who saw that prophecy and were like, I bet I could make that. Okay, Robotnik's grandfather. And then the other example, Sonic and the Black Knight. Merlin just needed some help in a crisis, and the first person she summoned into existence... It, it was Sonic. He just shows up. It's great. Here's a hot freaking take, guys, but nobody gets to tell anybody else how they experience themselves. Somebody has a gender you don't understand? Well, fucking tough! That's how stuff works sometimes. I don't understand French, but the language still exists. This is quite possibly the best thing I've read all year. I'm gonna start slapping bigots in the face with this. Hey, do you know why mages sometimes get knives in RPGs? It's for their special trick, Abracastabia! Why do they sometimes get whips then? Their second spell. Alakrixam! Well, what do mages learn when they get a gun? Gun. Andy, if you can get Amy to voice that, would be ideal. If not, totally fine. These are officially the ugliest fucking sneakers I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Wear these and you'll never be late for elf practice again. Why weren't you at elf practice? Someone stole my Yeezys! 
Day one of the time loop. 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 You're laughing. OP is stuck in a time loop and you're laughing! Tonight we're drinking from the pond! God? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. List of gender neutral terms for your non binary siblings. Number one. Fucking loser! How fucking dare you, wizard email? Andy, vaporize that wizard! Fire the laser! People who don't wear glasses don't get the added benefit of taking off your HD eyesight for a while. Just fuck it! I'm done! 2040p vision time! I've seen enough. Lower the quality. You know what? Fuck you! Un-PM's your Seymour. Well, shit. I'm just Seymour. <laughs> well, that was a terrible mistake you made. L plus ratio plus I'm a better clown than you plus your jest is weak! Tumblr's just talking to yourself before an audience. Yeah, that's called a soliloquy. Found the theater kid. Get him, boys. How do you know what a soliloquy is, unless you're a theater kid, OP? Oh shit, no! When the restaurant gives you a freebie, but you can't eat it, so you have to give it to the neighbors. <sighs> Free garlic bread. Just celiac things. Sad ace noises. Also vampire problems. Some of you are miserable because you're mean. Like, you're just mean to people and things. Why don't I have any friends? Because you're mean. This can be fixed in part very easily, though. Just stop being mean. I believe in all of you. You got it. Compels you to experience emotions which you lack the vocabulary to describe. Oh, God, this is so... Well, I can't say. I still don't understand people find it weird to bag milk. I don't want a career. I want to do crafts. I want to make origami. What if I... Changed my icon. <laughs> Not too drastic. So I've been reblogged by PM Seymour twice now, but eh, still haven't seen any of my delicious puns in a video. I'm not shy. I have a well nurtured god complex. I don't fear the notes, so why? Why deprive the world of my genius? All right, so you're shy. Give me a pun right now. Okay, proper puns. The expectations are high. <clears throat> well, while some may see it as a punishment, I'm excited to say more of uh, this development. As always, I'll be ready for your next query. <sighs> I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Steve from Blue's Clues holds the honor and bears the curse of being many, many young children's first parasocial relationship. Oh my god. It all makes sense now. I did it! I read 200 pages in three hours. I was very behind. It's 12 a.m. <laughs> bees. Bees? Bees! 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 Best type of character causes at least 50% of their own problems and then cries about it. Oh, baby girl, please. Step one, we recommend you to be two people for easier assembly. On it, boss. Step one, mitosis. So tired of people acting like fat men aren't attractive, it's scientifically wrong, fat men are a gift to society, and I need y'all to start acting like it, just do it! What happened to the Skeleton War? You guys used to love the Skeleton War. It's because we've been fighting it for so long. We don't remember what we're fighting it for. Sad, yeah. Apparently I'm in a PM Seymour video? Which one? This one! Apollo, kill me now! You gotta admit, that one's pretty good. Watching a Marvel movie is like eating a perfectly acceptable hand sandwich, but then when you finish it, a slice of tomato walks through the door and the music swells dramatically. Why does that work so well? Nothing scares me more than knowing my posts show up in people's based on your likes shit. Please, I'm so scared. Don't bring me to the ocean surface. I'll depressurize and start oozing. Behold, peachy siat, nah. Where's... Fucking Mario and Luigi. Who's Mario? I know Luigi, but like, Mario? Is that like a Luigi OC? No, they mean that guy from Marvel, Crypt Rat or something, I don't know. Okay, you know sometimes fans add a sibling or family member, but it's actually a self-insert. Breaking news! I just learned about a bird species called Golden Plover. Their chicks have an amazing camouflage. Their baby fluff resembles moss. Look at them. Just look at them.
Oh, to be a tiny golden plover lying in the mall safe and sound waiting for your mom to bring you some worms. Okay, you see right there, right there? That's a Pokemon. Reblog to give the person you reblog it from the energy to do one chore. Or maybe many. Well, now it's in a video that I just give this person so much energy, they're literally a god. Your Honor, permission to be a little shilly? Hmm, granted. Reverse isekai. But instead of fantasy characters being transported to a modern world, they're transported to the Wild West. I call it re-intonation. Fucking give me this show, goddammit. Bucky, how many Twitter babies are gonna grovel and plead for help? I am Tumblr's first line of defense between Twitter users and aged Tumblr users. Dare I release the floodgates on you? God bless you, Bucky. Hold the door. One of my favorite stupid tropes is X is literally a ridiculous number of Y in a trench coat. Like, sure, this one guy has been looking shady is really just 235 sewer rats in a trench coat. Why not? That's hilarious. Do you guys remember when Bojack actually had the, the three kids in the trench coat and, like, we never actually got the conclusion that they were busted on it? They just rolled with it for the entire season? Okay, fuck it. If this post reached 666,000 notes by the end of 2023, I'll practice basic self-care. Why 666,000? Because it's funny and impossible, so good fucking luck. You sure about that, punk? Bing. Mom, come see puppy. He's looking for you inside when he couldn't see you. Oh my god! Fucking emergency! I gotta go, guys! Bye! They should invent a spine without pain. Probably also knees. Maybe feet if we're getting fancy. I'm only asking for so much! There should be a social media site. Ted, just kidding, there should never be one of those. Never. Y'all been calling her brisket so much that Bridget has legitimately started to read as incorrect to me. And frankly, this is not a tenable state of affairs. Bisquick is my favorite character in Guilty Gear Strive. Don't you mean Guilty Gear Striv? I wish Genshin gave you the option to replay story quests, because God, I want to do Liyue again. Seriously, not to bash the game. Liyue is like one of the best parts about Genshin. Assumer is great. S Sumer's great, but Liyue, chef's kiss. Hey, ever think about us being more than friends? <gasps> yes! I can totally see us as dragons. Here, let me find the designs I drew. I don't understand, Sonic. Why didn't he just use his skills of being fast to hurt Eggman until he dies? Hedgehogs have no understanding of the concept of death, so the thought of killing Eggman never occurs to him. Catholic guilt. Guys, at my university, I have a part-time job where my sole responsibility is filling up the piano humidification systems with water. I literally am the piano waterer, and to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm thriving. I feel like I need to add that I carry around this water jug that kind of looks like a regular watering can, and when people ask me what I'm doing, I just say, watering the pianos, and walk away. This is probably a symptom of something, but I'm just going to call it a Kenny moment. Just saying. So much of what is cringe is just earnest. What if you made an honest expression of genuine human emotion and someone saw it? Cringe. An infinite number of $1 bills and an infinite number of $20 bills would be worth the same. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Takes I am a snom. <laughs> My mission to steal all snobs continues. Hang on. Ah, hey, here it is. Hey, yo, who's stealing my sons? I love thinking that I'm okay, but then look at my D&D characters and realize I am definitely not. Not even close. Normalize not knowing anything about yourself. Like, who's that guy, lol? I did this today. I had a new coworker join my team, and it came time for my introduction. I was like, I watch movies and play video games. And apparently absolutely fucking nothing else of note. Welcome to the team. Yeah, I love it when pathetic podcast men panic breath into my ears. It's good shit. Writing prompt. Among the ranks of the knights, you are considered unstoppable, unbeatable, the greatest warrior to have ever lived. Your secret is that you have a unique weapon, one forged to send hails of burning lead at your foes. It's a shotgun. You carry a shotgun. Isn't this like an Evil Dead movie? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an Evil Dead movie. Still daytime though. 
Gender is not a performance. It is a competition. And I am ranking 7,570,694,201st internationally. Help. Here's a little help from someone ranked 6,151,319,272nd. Just fuck around and find out. The other judges seem to like the strange genders. Other players don't, but they're just jealous they're extra standard. Just saying. I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware so that if anyone ever tries to film me in public, their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless brick. That's fucking evil. I love it. When do I feel like I'm getting told that I have a bad grade in a class when I do the depression and anxiety screening ratings with my therapist? <sighs> Mood. Gender. But the G is pronounced like the G in God. <clears throat> Gender. Gender. Nope, not screaming this time. Sorry. Part of the new internet grammar, using question marks not to denote questions, but upturns in voice, so that a tentative statement gets a question mark, but a flatly delivered question doesn't. Why would you do this? It just seems right. Imagine if movies and TV shows have mod communities like video games do. Seinfeld Big Titty Mod. Frasier Anime Girl Race Mod. Unofficial B-movie patch. Friends without Ross mod. I don't know how you people with 100k notes post even function like I could barely handle in my 30-ish notes post break containment. We don't. You just grow numb over time like soldiers in a trench no longer flinching at the sound of rifles. Behold, albino raccoon. Quick, spot the main character. You know, it's so weird how much of a raccoon's raccoonness is tied up in its pattern. This looks like a completely different animal. Like some sort of weird marsupial. It looks like a glammed up possum. Told my parents I miss archaeology and my mom was very sympathetically like, Do you want to go dig holes in the garden? And I was like, Yeah, I want to dig holes in the garden. My wife reading this to me out loud. It's your people! Do you want me to break a clay pot for you to put back together? Me burying my face in my hands. Maybe. These are both moods, but unfortunately, I am primarily a bioarchaeologist. I, I specialize with digging up old human skeletons, and, uh, homemade bioarchaeology is tragically discriminated against by law enforcement. Only if you get caught. I'm pretty sure I did that one, but I like the additional part at the end, so bear with me. I'm seeing activity from blogs that have not posted in years. It's like watching permafrost melt, observing you all in my petri dish. The frogs are emerging from the slumber. Ancient viruses are emerging from the polar ice caps melting. Choose your vibe. I like how everyone's always like, oh, don't steal immortality from the gods. Oh, don't steal knowledge from the gods. Wah, wah. Don't steal golden fruits. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm all like stealing from the gods like a boss. Whatevs, man, I'll bring fire to the motors. I don't give a shit. Watch me. Prometheus after joining Tumblr. What is this cotton ball doing outside? Uh, this is where the moon goes when it's set. Mind your business. Look at that baby. Precious. Alpha males and alpha software are very similar. Both generally unstable and lacking in quality. Oh, shit. One day in an action movie, I want to see a chase scene that ends with an unexpectedly sturdy fruit stand that just fucking totals both cars. One day we'll get its revenge. The cabbage guy from Avatar The Lost Airbender wrote this. It's what he deserves! I'm in a constant battle between I am immortal, completely so, indestructible, nothing could hurt me, everything fears me. And if I keep existing, I'm going to die. Leaving the house is dangerous. Staying home is dangerous. Breathing's dangerous. God, why? My mom's cats. They're brothers. <sighs> Synchronized catting. This is called mirroring. Cats do this with each other and humans as a way of being social. <gasps> it's a copycat. Writing prompt. A magic experiment has gone wrong, and now your hair changes colors based on your emotions. This has created all sorts of awkward situations, as people can read you like a book. It sounds like that character from the hit Hatsune Miku series, uh, Hair or Pobbles. That's the one. Me gently putting my consciousness back in my body. Shh, please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. See, I can sing the references when I need to. Just shittily. Wow, hello, you were like 90% of my For You post, thanks. I'm sorry to hear that. Here's a sea slug for your trouble. <sighs> I wanna touch it. 
I only post my content because I'm too incompetent to find the juicy posts. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Where can I find those? You gotta dig for them, V. You gotta dig for them. Or, you know, just set up a Discord or they send it to you. My favorite character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is the kind of shit future humans will have to take a whole ass degree for just to understand us. I can't wait to see it. The best way to end a love triangle plot line is with polyamory. Why? Why is this right? I don't, uh, why is this right? The only reason I'm still on this godforsaken website is because God is blind to my existence, and if I commit enough sinful atrocities within the hell on earth, then maybe he'll finally see me, but as a threat against his very existence! All right, Grape, calm the fuck down! Oh, oh shit, it's, it's a thirst trip. trip! Or something, I don't know, I'm asexual. Ugh, here comes Brad from my work. Wait, which one is he again? You know, that guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or insult? Well, well, well. Someone smells like muffin mix. Unintellectual property. Really dumb, but it's mine. Would a necromancer be able to reanimate food? Is there anything stopping a necromancer from making an army of cooked turkeys? Only one way to find out. Sorry for having great tits and correct opinions and everything, as if it's my fault. God. Translate. I'd like to think I'm transpunctual, thank you. See, this is what I mean. He's obviously a dad. No normal person could just make a joke like that. Are you suggesting I'm... Transparent? Dang, damn it, yes I am! 80% of the ocean has not yet been explored. There could be a Dollar General down there. New D&D campaign just dropped. Find the forbidden Dollar General. If you can't handle me at my worst, just remember that I handle me at my worst, and that makes me stronger than you! Oh my goodness, this makes me feel powerful. I haven't even thought of it like this. I'm gonna remove my nervous system so I won't be nervous anymore. Can't believe what a good idea this is. Why did no one else do this? Should someone tell them? He's got a sadness about him. You only see in Catholic stained glass windows. Hmm. The cool thing about a spec rep is there's a loophole that every character is a spec until proven otherwise. Heck, maybe even after proven otherwise, depending on how proven it is, a spec is a spectrum. And I'm gonna squeeze everybody I can into it because the writer sure as heck won't do it for me. Would you like fries with that boiker? <laughs> Some fucking French fries? You know? The human eye has evolved to be able to detect more shades of green than any other color. And that's because there are so many fucking leaves. And also because we were preparing for Shrek's arrival. <clears throat> Some. Some. You know, I miss it when movies let you figure out shit on your own without excessive exposition. Like, for example, in Ocean's Eleven, they don't tell you that guys are gay. They just let you figure it out. Someone mentions my favorite character. Me, vibrating at frequency that shatters glass. Yeah, I love them normal amount. Don't call me out like this. Sorry, I thought your boyfriend was cute, so I had him undergo metamorphosis. Congratulations on your new girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> gender envy this, gender envy that. Sir, that man is a senior citizen. I don't plan on being 19 to 24 forever. Gender investment? Gender compounding interest. Gender dividends. Ah, gender retirement plan. Body Behold, the Virgin Islands Dwarf Gecko. It is one of the smallest terrestrial vertebrates. Blessed Gecko. He's got bones in there. Ugh, 80% of the ocean is unexplored by you guys. I've seen the whole thing. I'm scarred for life. It's psychological horror to you. To me, it's a rom-com. That's a fun way of looking at things like Freddy vs. Jason. Hey, bad news, I tucked your boyfriend in so warm and cozy he's snoring like a cartoon mouse. Yeah, it sounds like... <laughs> yeah, there's a little feather floating over his mouth, too. Sorry. I have three modes of reading. Don't read, read a 500-page book in a day, and read only fan fiction until my eyeballs drop out of my skull from exhaustion. Hate it. Two arrows platonically married for financial reasons. Call that friends with tax benefits. Whenever I see a bunch of posts about one piece of media on my dash, I know one of my mutuals just got a new obsession. If you're reading this, I hope you realize this is about you, but also that I mean no harm. Simply noticing a pattern and putting barely any more thought into it beyond that. Seriously. Fuck being in a BM Seymour video. I want to be in an AM Seymour video where it's the most relaxing female voice ever.
Unfortunately, AMC more is kind of already a thing that exists, and it's that it's this guy, this little black goopy friend right here. Yeah, that, that's him. But if you wanted a female voice to read this to you in a relaxing tone, all you need to do is just ask. <laughs> Writing prompt. They say you can sneak almost anywhere openly if you wear a safety vest and carry a ladder. A group of heroes trying to infiltrate the Demon King's castle end up using that trick. <sighs> Andy, write that down. You know, the key to getting over imposter syndrome is to know everyone else is an imposter too. Tell yourself you deserve a stake in the claim they're all running. Um, excuse me, but this is fucking brilliant. Did, did you just cure imposter syndrome with spite? You can cure a lot with spite. I accidentally submitted my English paper with the title, I PISSED ON THE MOON! It's too late to take it back. Whenever anyone compliments my name, I have to stop myself from saying, Thanks, I chose it myself. What if you did, though? Does anyone else occasionally come across blogs in your dash that you 100% do not remember following? Yes, what the fuck? One does not remember time itself, for it has become a part of everyday life. And yet you still startle when you see me on your dash like a stranger in the mist. Fool. Do the dead forget life? Did you forget whose follow you laid at my feet like an offering to a false god? It was yours. Do not feign ignorance. It was Star Wars smut. You okay, SpongeBob? I'm not fucking playing with you, you son of a bitch! Hey, Neil Gaiman? What's your opinion on spoons? They are much better than forks for drinking soup with. Thanks, Neil Gaiman. We drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do fucking not. Ugh, it's always you murdered your husband for this fortune in his land, and you're a monster, and never your black silk morning gown looks nice, or was the poisoning fun? It looked like fun. Gah. Drink my concoction, boy. Drink my boy concoction. T testosterone? And if you thought of something else, <laughs> you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules, dirty boy. Sometimes I forget there's straight people on here. There's what? Straight people are just old wives' tale made up to scare children. No, I swear, I've seen them myself. In the fog. Reject edgy rogues with dead parents. Embrace goofy, chaotic, neutral greaseballs that slink around and steal things for fun. Their tragic backstory is just being a little shit. Have you or a horse you love been injured in a Plinko-related accident? You may be entitled to compensation. Call now, 1-888-435-6377. Now this is advertising. Okay, has anyone called that number? I did. It's the Elmer's Glue customer service line. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! See, spoiler about character death. Uh, okay, but maybe, maybe that will happen when I watch it. Maybe. Please. So someone just said they're really interested in history. How careful do you have to be? I just think history is interesting in general. I'm not interested in any specific part of it. This person is most likely safe. Never drop your guard, though. I'm interested in this specific subject or time period in history. The ancient Egypt, the golden age of piracy, the history of printing press. Still probably safe. Be on the lookout for certain risky historical subjects. You should know them when you see them. I'm really into WW2 history. This is a caution zone. There's plenty of valid reasons to be into WW2, but if they start talking about how Operation Sea Lion could have succeeded, it's time to abort. I'm specifically into Roman history, the Crusades, Prussian military history, and WW2. Danger! Do not talk about history with this person. In fact, do not talk to this person at all. You will regret it. You do not want to know what they think of the Treaty of Versailles and why Germany lost the First World War. I was really into ancient Greek mythology in middle school. This person is gay. Slash affectionate. Airplane crashed into a cemetery. Rescuers have already pulled 10,000 dead bodies from the wreckage and are still pulling out more. I'm so confused. Where will they bury the survivors? Well, I heard Twitter HQ has quite a lot of space nowadays. Okay, Jeff just hit us with the one-two hit combo. Interviewer. Mr. Wayne, have you heard about the popular internet jokes about you dating Batman? Yes, I have heard of them, but if I were going to date any superhero, it'd be Superman and not an overdramatic furry. Clark Kent suddenly there, breathless. M Mr. Wayne, could you elaborate on your desire to date Superman? Okay, but Batman calling himself an overdramatic furry is the exact kind of Bruce Wayne characterization directors have been too cowardly to do. Asian grass lizards are so silly. What do you need all that for? Whipping. Hey.
Call your homie a cutie patootie. Trust me, he needs it. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth so that we may never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. Guilty Gear Strive fans adore the new Twink DLC character, Sinkisk. Putting the word Twink up on the shelf. Yeah, Guilty Gear fans are just the opposite of Genshin Impact fans because they'll call a guy a twink for being the size of an SUV instead of an 18-wheeler. Why is that incredibly accurate? I plead oopsie-daisies, Your Honor. I made a fucky wucky. Whatever doesn't kill you, you begin to like it. Um, wasabi doesn't kill me, I still don't like it. Imagine if, instead of it being called a sip, it was called a suck. Can I have a suck of water? Imagine an expensive grave spending miles and miles, too many miles for you to traverse. Imagine a little mouse sleeping in his bed as a can of sardines and he wears a little hat. And what is his pillow and blanket? Just a regular pillow and blanket, but like, so small sized for meese. Now imagine, if you will, this mouse awakening, stirring, noticing no glass at his bedside table, throwing off his small meese sized blanket, lighting a candle, and trudging dozily to his mouse kitchen for a suck of water. She dicked cockily downstairs. All right, that's it. You ruined it. It's over. Okay, we're done. We're done. Andy, end the video in the dumbest way possible. So I didn't really know how to end this. So I guess it's a good job that I happened to voice G in uh, the Cosmic Wonder series. So here we fucking go. Rawr. X3 Nozzles pounces on you. Ooh, you're so warm. Couldn't help but notice your powerful ones from across the floor. Nozzles and wuzzles your necky wecky tildy mutildy he. Unzips your tumbly wumbly. Oof, baby, it's so cringy. See me wag my whittle, baby tail. And that's all I'm getting. I'm out. Hello, everyone. This is Snom. It has been two years since I was first in one of PM's videos. Truly, it is an honor. But enough of that. I'm here to say that I'm so happy to have been able to bring some smiles to your faces. And that if it hadn't been for PM, I might have never been able to help so many others. I hope that eventually I can help more. This is kind of getting along, so I'll leave you with this. You're amazing, you're capable, and I believe in you. Enjoy the video, bye! Is that okay or too long? Should I change it some? No, this is perfect, thank you. Me when my friends are around my family. Yeah, no swearing in my Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Tumblr will always be a better website than Twitter, because you can only retweet a tweet once. Whereas on this website, if I really like a post, I can make my followers scroll past it 12 times in a row. I'm getting the same vibes as uh, Eniku, if that's how you say their name, when they have the Gohan corn shirt on their feet literally every time they see it. The brain is an organ. Mental illnesses are illnesses of that organ. Brain scan shows that there's a physical difference between a healthy brain and a sick brain. Telling someone, you're not really sick, it's all in your head, is like telling someone with asthma, it's not real, it's all in your lungs. The brain is an organ that can malfunction as much as any other organ. Please read this over and over and over and over. I don't know about anyone else, but I absolutely cannot write in a linear fashion. I have probably completed NaNoWriMo this year, but because I've been working on books four, five, and seven, while book one is still only one page long, I have nothing I can really show for it because it spoils things! Wow. It's not just me. Okay. Damn, girl, the power of love and friendship aren't working. Hmm. Time to kill someone or whatever. Elon Musk lands on Mars and steps out of his spaceship. It's a small step for men, but a giant leap for mankind says the ground control officer and cuts off all communications. Jeff, this is not a bad joke. Jeff, this is not a joke, it's a prophecy. I am convinced the only reason people work for SpaceX is to make this prophecy a reality. <sighs> like to charge, we block the cast! I can fix him, bitch! You're worse! Don't like it? Become God. Maybe I will. I am a Borbo apologist, but also they did every bad thing they did and I will get mad if you ignore that. Complexities. Please hate my favorite fictional character accurately, at least. Not a single recipe on Earth is honest about how long it takes to caramelize onions. Recipes shouldn't even estimate how long it'll take. It should just say, caramelize onions. God help you, you're now on onion time! <sighs> Men just don't get into a big cloud of dust and start punching and kicking each other with only their arms and legs briefly visible like they used to. 
Sag. Hey, I put Gay Loser into one of those AI image generator prompts, and the web page requested access to my laptop camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even interpret UWU as a smiley. I just read it as ooh -woo. Do you know how many times I had to redo this line because I wanted to say ooh -woo twice instead of UWU? You know, God fucked up making Komodo dragons super venomous, aggressive, and all around unsuitable for domestication. Those beefs should be in our home. If I had this thing in my lap, I think everything would be all right. I bet it would love being scratched on the head if it wasn't already so fond of chewing me and then poisoning me and smacking me hard with its horrible tail. Thyrell, I don't want to tell you this, but I don't think you're ready to own a Pokemon yet either, because I'm pretty sure they can all do the same thing. They all can learn toxic. Just went to Wawa and all they had were burritos, so I got a fucking Wawa burrito because I'm starving. I'll reblog this with a rating from 1 to 10. 1 being nasty ass Wawa burrito and 10 being banger Wawa burrito. Unlikely. Three! I saw the three and presumed you were counting down to some major event in world history when I realized it was the rating of your Wawa burrito. No, but if I was counting down, it would be the seconds before I throw this nasty-ass Wawa burrito into the garbage. I got cursed with the worst version of being a bookworm. <laughs> being a fanfic reader. Damn, man, I'm so hungry. <sighs> so, uh, how hungry? You know, this is a difficult question for both of us, Humphrey. Oh no. Somebody got Hoofry! At 8.30 precisely, the frogs beyond the hills scream. I didn't mean to make it sound so ominous. I meant literally at 8.30 every day from spring to autumn. Frogs in the woods over yonder hills will yell in unison, usually for about 20 to 30 minutes. That really didn't make it less ominous. Have you taken a hot air balloon ride in the past week? No? Yes? prefer not to answer. It's a sensitive issue. I invent a time machine to go back in time specifically to eat the Mona Lisa and perfect NFTs from being invented. I also grab a few of those bluebirds from the Rio movie and then go slap the nearest Catholic in the face with a sticky hand. Tumblr things. Goth girls and pink Barbie girls aren't enemies, you fools. They're girlfriends. Someone does something even slightly sexy, and my entire body becomes incredibly stiff like plywood while I make the noise spring door stoppers make. I actually don't remember how that sound goes. Andy, help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, shout out to whoever stole my Amazon package containing nothing but a single pair of shoelaces. <gasps> so sorry to hear about that, Mr. President. I want a book where the villain gets the girl. I am so sick of people being like, I wish there was a story where insert something that definitely already happened in Megamind. For real. Go watch it. What is it about this movie? What? Why? Why? Why didn't you watch it? Why didn't you watch it? It's because he's blue? Because he got big head? Fish guy? Jonah Hill being a nice guy? What? 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 That, I'm, I'm, I'm actually mad. I'm actually mad. Go watch it. Bro, why can't people who aren't my friends know my characters from my work in progress? Ugh, shaking my head. It's unfair, just know them, God! Behold, Skeleton of Cave Bear and Bear's Cave, Romania. I wonder why it's called that. You know, this sent me down a massive historical rabbit hole. But long story short, it's called Romania because there were once Romans there. Wow. Whenever I do something bad, I just say, But I had to! In a fancy James Bond voice, and I feel all better about myself. Perceive mugshot of two-year-old Francois Bertolan arrested for eating a basket of pears. Yeah, who the fuck arrested a two-year-old? Well, police officer was like, you're coming with me, son. Was it your vert? I bet it was your vert. So actually, these photos were taken by the kid's uncle, Alphonse Bertolan, who is a French police officer and inventor of the mugshot. These photos were taken as a joke, probably when Bertolan was developing his mugshot technique and needed someone to practice on. No actual two-year-olds were arrested in the creation of these photos, guys. <laughs> like, 1880s nostalgia with a pic from 1993. Yes, of course. You know, there was also an 1893. All right. <sighs> to people somehow misreading 1800s nostalgia as 1880s, to this person thinking a fucking daguerreotype was taken in the 1990s, this whole thread was a ride I didn't expect to take today. Get me the fuck off it! Hey, one sec, I need to go hyperfixate on a niche game that feels like only 10 other people know about. Bye! Okay, I'm back. If you think about it, technically an airplane can only fly when there is human blood inside of it.
These are the bold, disturbing takes I came to Tumblr for. Oh. Oh, gods! Almost everyone from Twitter is stopping by Tumblr. Say hello to the new inhabitants. We should give them a nice reception. Don't hold back. Should, should I be afraid? Get him, boys! You will never take me alive! Executive dysfunction is basically going, okay, one, two, three, go. And now. And we're going now. For like three hours before the thing happens. If the singular form of mice is mouse, shouldn't the singular of lice be louse? Aw, oh, man, I have, like, the best news for you, my friend. G gender rules? I open my hand, confused, and reveal a fistful of D&D &D dice. Which, which one do I? Oh, God, what's my gender modifier? Ah, you get it. Tumblr is a game, and I'm winning. I don't know, I think the reason you're winning is because, based on those little blue important sticker points, you're paying to win. I just found out my entire personality is a trauma response. <laughs> when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some more follow X. Roofs look unbelievably stupid typed out. Why can't we just say roofs? <laughs> clown language with clown plurals. If the plural of roof were roofs, the singular of grooves would have to be groof. Is that what you want? Point taken. I'll do anything to avoid groof. Break a leg. Vague, unclear whose leg you should break. Encouraging somehow, kind of violent. Break their legs. Clearer, other people's legs should be broken. More legs, more encouraging, logically. And very violent, which is a positive. I am made of the world's best mint chocolate chip ice cream. Until you realize I am freezer burnt. It's so cold inside my room. I wish my mom had a sense of humor. I pointed to batteries in a Bucky's and said, that was my snack, and she didn't laugh. The custody battle doesn't help either. Well, lizard kid, I'm here to help you out with your joke, all right? <clears throat> Hear me out on this. The next time you're at Bucky's, you look at the D-sized batteries and says, hey, ma. <laughs> hey, ma. <laughs> you want to win the custody batteries? <laughs> Soon may the well of men come. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. I have questions. To get to the other side. Duh. Every time someone asks for a new feature on Tumblr, we delete an already present feature. <laughs> Eggman is literally richer than Elon Musk. And less problematic. And more attractive. Sexier as well. Got emeralds in a more ethical manner, too. Logical brain. You have chores to do. Do your chores. Stupid brain. Thinks about Gladys doing domestic things. Glad is sweeping a test chamber with just a normal broom and a massive robot claw. No one fucking helps me in this house. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Yes, I am aware he has committed atrocities, but have you considered that he's my special little guy? <laughs> he's my meow meow. Shout out to everyone who's just so tired, so, so exhausted, so very, very tired, so very fatigued, so sleepy and tired, so... Holy shit, is that iconic artist Shubabay? Buddy! The moon is insane. Like, there's a rock up there. I've got great news for you. There's more rocks. But I don't know if you knew this. There's someone special on that moon. And he's zooming really closely. Yeah, Why did you leave this in the tags? So you could screenshot it and add it to the post as a reblog, my friend. You're welcome. Joy Young, how do I learn as much things as you have? Learn three things and you're set. You know what? It's fair you don't think birds are real. We think you humans are government drones. I mean, look how you run politics. <laughs> is he flirting or is he just looking in my general direction? <laughs> I can't tell. The orcs and the elves team up together after years of warm bloodshed to make fun of your stupid shirt. Stupid, ugly shirt. It's a Homestuck shirt. The orcs and elves may finally find peace. Damn. Listen, okay? J just hear me out. Giant volcano monster. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm not finished. Listen. Giant volcano monster with eight eyes and six arms. You, you still not convinced? Don't convince? All right. All right. Giant naked volcano monster lady with flowing lava hair and a giant flaming sword. Have I got you convinced now? I right, good. Stinkoscope. Why, hello, P. 
I happened to be searching the tag of my name across all Tumblr and came across this old post, which happened to exist before my own account, which is quite incredible. I made you. <sighs> There's going to be a scene in the Super Mario Brothers movie where the Toads are in one place and they're all like, Hey, Toad! What's up, Toad? Looking great, Toad! Thanks, Toad! Oh, Toad! They are all named Toad. By greed, would you rather have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I know it's an outdated practice, but I believe on a genuine level that electroshock therapy could fix me. That, that, that was supposed to be original post. I didn't mean to respond to that ask with that. I clicked on the wrong tab. I'm sorry. Strive this, betterment that. We all know the universal drive of humanity. Spite. Um, it's not an abandoned work in progress. I didn't intentionally leave it in the forest to die and forget about it. It is a lost whip who wandered into the forest despite my pleas not to. I sit at the edge of the forest every day and hear it calling for help, but there is nothing I can do. It is a haunting whip. Whip that died and came back wrong. It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Pouring river water in your socks. Well, why would I do that? It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Thank you, official United States Tumblr. When you hold your favorite rock. Hey, do you all know that otters hold their special rock under their armpits when not in use? And when in use, they're used to open shells for food? Their rock is so important to them that it's passed on from generation to generation. That really is his favorite rock. I hope you all find someone that loves you as much as that otter loves his rock. Hello? I'm looking for a little idiot to kill. I don't think killing your followers makes for good publicity. Clearly you don't know what people want, shorty. People with Ralsei icons are just, like, so inherently trustworthy. They're so sweet and nice and magical, just like him, and I want to be their friends. What's your credit card number? Hey, staff. Staff. Let us buy someone else a verification. Let me inflict that on a person. Please. Heartbreaking. Poor girl has to get out of the soft, warm bed, even though she is so, 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 so comfy. What a horrible way to stop thing. My pet lit match and my pet puddle of gas did not get along. They're just playing. Don't worry about it. My soul is dark because my body doesn't have lights in it. If you used a flashlight, it would show that my soul is a bowl of freshwater shrimp. You mean to tell me these shrimp run that by? Anyone else ever daydream for six hours straight and then after you're just like, nah, let's scrap that and do it all again, but like slightly to the left. My brain. <laughs> Was that good? Me in a beret, taking a long draft from a cigarette and leaning back in my director's chair. Hmm, once again, from the top, this time with feeling. <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm not a boy. I'm like a PlayStation 2. Ugh, outdated, get the four. Hey! How dare you say that to a very proud PlayStation 2? You shut your mouth. Do you ever get a song you hate stuck in your head and you try to think of a better song, but the two mash together to create something horrible? Make it stop. I took some ibuprofen yesterday. Today I woke up at 1 p.m. And later, I mean pizza. I consider that self-care. Have you drank any water yet today? I want a lawyer. Hey, bro, can you pass me your agenda for a second? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything to it. I just want to I, I just want to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. Hey. Hey. It's okay to like bad characters. Not like morally bad, but actually badly written. They might scratch an itch you can't get anywhere else. So like them. Ain't no one gonna tell you you can't. This ain't 1984 yet. I'm pretty I feel like I could give a couple of answers of series that could scratch this itch, but I don't want to awaken those phantoms. Just kidding, yes I do. Did you mean Riverdale and Ruby in the final seasons of Steven Universe? I'm just kidding, guys, love you. I'm going through my Skyrim screenshot folder. Do you want to poison the delicious quinoa, Susan? Who names the character Susan? Um, I'm poisoning an enchanted crossbow, which I gave a nickname to so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. The name of the weapon is Delicious Quinoa, Susan. A as you do. Well, get doxxed! That's not the Milky Way. Who the fuck do you have a beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? Writing prompt. You're an ancient Greek man coming home from four months of war to find your wife three months pregnant. Now you've embarked on a solemn quest to punch Zeus in the face. Soon after you begin your quest, you encounter another man in a similar situation. You decide to join forces, as two mortal men stand a better chance at punching Zeus than one. Two villages over, you encounter a woman who had relations with Zeus and was left with a highly aggressive half-boar, half-man offspring. She too feels your anger and offers to join your quest. 
By the time you reach Mount Olympus, you've amassed a formidable army of cuckolded, ravished mortals, demigods with daddy issues, mythical creatures with scores to settle, and a seamstress who you're pretty sure is Hera in disguise. Zeus never stood a chance. I want to fucking read this book. Where it? Somebody write this! I'm not mentally ill. I just have an unparalleled commitment to the bit. God. Did you know? Hyperion studies show that most cases of what some people perceive as environmental destruction and pollution is really an external projection of their own anxiety and inability to accept change in their surroundings. Okay, Hyperion, let's get you to bed. Spoken like a shoe for the mattress industry. Hammocks are better, though? Hammocks are but a gateway mattress. Sheep! Hey, what's the Tumblr equivalent of Hey Siri? Science side of Tumblr. Hey, science side of Tumblr, explain. Science side of Tumblr here. I'm in your phone. Uh, I don't like that answer. Try again. What, what are my pronouns? They're mine! You can't have them! <laughs> hey, Andy? Oh, that's right. He's on vacation. Well, it's just you and me, guys. When people give me compliments, I feel like a vending machine trying to accept a wrinkly dollar, and it's just really frustrating for everyone involved. I've never related to anything more in my life. Yeah, you didn't put a name tag on your boyfriend and he despawned. <sighs> Sorry. I'm starting to think that maybe you guys don't know what a boyfriend is. This time of the year makes me feel cold. Ugh, humans in winter. What, what are you? What are you? Dear heavily tattooed people, if I'm staring at you, it's not because I'm judging you. I'm just trying to check out your ink. It's good stuff. We all laugh at Guy Fieri, Smash Mouth, and the Shrek movie series, but we all also collectively agree that their existence makes the world a better place. The king laughs the jester, but values his wit and honesty. Because, you know, somebody once told me the world is going to roll me, and I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Heathers is the epitome of only in Ohio. You don't really need drugs to have a good time at Home Depot. Every time I go to Home Depot, I feel intoxicated from the pure energy within it. Infant experiencing the lighting aisle for the first time. Wrote adult experiencing the lighting aisle for the millionth time. Why do we keep using the same human names over and over? I want to meet a guy named The Wheelbarrow or Impact Wrench. I think I'd be friends with someone named Impact Wrench. Why shouldn't I embrace the madness? Who's going to stop me? Me? Not today, bitch! In the back of the club, arms folded because I don't agree with the music selection. This is how DJs are born. It's not, he's never done a thing wrong in his life. It's, he's done a thousand things wrong and I just don't care. Look at him. Wanted posters are just cowboy call-out posts. And I ain't got time for twit longer. Sometimes people are stupid. Sometimes they don't know what's true or what's good for them. You won't know if those people are misinformed or just stubborn. And only one way to find out. If you open a soda and it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, that's bad, right? If you drink that, you'll die. Instructions unclear. Got it with Sprite and drunk half of it. What did you drink, Melon? Why? Said to the tone of someone demanding to know what's in a dog's mouth. <laughs> Why is everything blurry? I love going viral on Tumblr.com. It's like if you stood in a field and said some of the stupidest shit a human being is capable of and then 50,000 crows attacked you. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. The Game Awards were cool, but what if instead in an award show it was a 12-hour long trilogy of films based on J.R. Tolkien's magnum opus, Lord of the Rings? My friend, have I got the solution for you. No way. No fucking way. If I had Pm Seymour narrate my posts, I'd want him to give me a voice sounding like Markiplier, just to spite you all. Can I interest you in a new Five Nights at Fumble's fan game? Well, my OnlyFans. Don't forget that sometimes you just need to rock back and forth, perhaps do a little wiggle, engage in a shimmy even, for your health. Some of us are put on this earth to draw characters standing against a blank background 5,000 times. It's not always true. Sometimes it's a triangle. Sometimes it's a square. Sometimes it's gradients. We we jazz it up a bit. Have y'all listened to some banger music and imagine a character that's cool and then just forget about it? I hate it. Why is that pine cone drinking? To forget. Canada time! OP, what does this mean? Canada is happening. Right here. Right now. 
guy. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. Insult. <gasps> How dare. Taking my pet calorie for a brisk walk. Dear God, what have I done? A girl must see her special little character at least once a day, lest she get consumed by rage and start throwing rocks at people. God invented caffeine just so I could down an entire medium Starbucks caramel frappuccino, buzz around like a bee on steroids for 15 minutes, and then promptly get sleepy and pass out for three hours. Ah, my whole day. If she's your girl, why is she using my crafting table, hmm? I'm not saying she's a slut. I'm just saying her spawn point isn't set to her own bed very often. Mm -hmm. I pity the future historians that are going to try to take a crack at this one.